Living Reality goes, Logan P doesn't help men with finances and fitness. Greedy animal, did the forest thing, now scams people, not canceled, and getting richer. FNF gives infinite more value, no scams. This is Clown World. Eh, well, you know it is what it is, bro. It's part of the game, bro. Yeah, it's part of the game. <laughs> uh, they might have been mad because we made jokes on his girl. <laughs> Y'all saw, did you guys see her on Twitter? Yeah. Oh, no. oh yo. That's, that's crazy. Is it, <laughs> do, do you know her? Who is you're, it? You're from Cali? Yeah. But who are you talking about? Uh, Logan Paul's girlfriend. She's like a. Uh, I just saw her. It was at the SummerSlam WWE last Ooh, week in oh, Detroit. Wow. Oh, wow. And oh, yeah, he was like, it was fun. What were you doing yeah. at, 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 you doing at <laughs> WWE? Well, event? I'm, I'm really good friends with Paul Heyman. What? He does our publicity. What? Yeah, what? He's, our yeah I'm, he's, a really, he's a really good friend of mine. I've known him for six, seven Look years now. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a he super... Is He's that what we're talking cool about? Human. Yeah. 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 That's dope. So wow. he invited because I live in he Michigan right now. With the yeah. bald head? Um he's more bald than <laughs> yeah, more bald. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, yeah. actually more bald <laughs> with yeah. the little ponytail on the back. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. That's dope though. Anyways, he's uh, so we did see um him perform and you know, do his thing and it was great. And she was there. So yeah. I mean I I don't know much. She's she looks she's gorgeous, so I don't know. Mm, you haven't seen the Twitter. Okay. <laughs> Didn't they get engaged recently? Yeah, they I got did engaged. see they something, sure did. And, a lot, and a lot of people were hating on it. I, you know, I wonder why. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we, we could we could pull up his Twitter, but bro, that dude is crazy, man. Like, yeah. literally, like he's posting pictures of her with like I, I counted like twenty 26, plus guys, twenty six plus celebrities, twenty six celebrities, and then there's a bunch of like like uh, no name guys on there too. Yeah, dude, wild. Now, did she sleep with all of them? No, but it's yeah. just a bad look. For a guy that just got engaged to, that's a media figure that's about to go into a boxing match. Now his opponent can literally troll him forever. Yeah. Um, anybody have any opinions on that before we move on? Does he like love her, love her? Oh yeah, for or sure. Is, it, is like that? Uh, I think probably, so. Probably. Yeah. I mean, I just wanted to know that wasn't an opinion. I just I, mean, <laughs> I needed to know that part of the puzzle. I sure hope yeah, so. Someone's willing right? to commit like yeah. financial suicide. I mean, that must be love, I guess. Yeah. I, I, I'm, <laughs> I guess Every I'm, I'm like thinking in my head like, did he know how many dudes that she dated before? Right, that's what maybe I mean, he didn't like... know the full extent. Yeah, I don't think but he knew the full extent. Now he knows. Though. Now he knows, bro. <laughs> don't make a choice, bro. Yo, man, he's contemplating that wedding. Yeah, now. but <laughs> what kind of guy is he if he doesn't stand by her now that he knows if he didn't know before? See, you know, can't win. You know what? Image, though. True. But you know why he can't win? If he if he ends it with her. Pull up his Twitter, bro. Dylan Dennis wins. <laughs> Pull up his Twitter. Yeah. I think, I think, I think y'all need to see what the hell I'm talking about. Okay. Because, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, I need to. Yeah, because either way, you can't win. Have you seen the Twitter? No. Oh, that's why you're saying the things yeah. you're saying. But the, okay. But you, but you know the worst part? He can't win no matter what he does. Yeah. If he stays, it's an L. He leaves, it's an L. Right. That's well, what I was thinking. He'll gain respect back if he leaves. You know, well, from a community. Uh, the, the, of people that don't uh, like people like us are gonna rock with him, but you know the, the mainstream world. media, yeah. But sponsor, it's just like, yeah, yeah. What do you mean by people crumble. like us? Yeah, because he's he's a very politically correct YouTuber. Yeah, so he's kind of woke. So yeah, uh, you got it, Chris Logan Paul's. Uh, uh, or, oh yeah, or, uh, no, no, we're pulling up D Dylan Dennis's shit. All right, I, I got him. Yeah, Wait, his Twitter. Yeah, bro, there's some. Nudes. Yeah, yeah. D we just don't want to show the nudes. Okay, uh, so that's another guy yeah, that plus, she. Well, he didn't. No, actually, there's no nudes on here. It's like her covering her tits and shit. But yeah, look, look, damn, he's still going. Yeah. Wait, that's Logan Paul's girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, that this girl here, that's his that, yeah. fiance. Wow. His fiance. Like, he's putting all these like pictures of her. Look, this is her with another dude. Keep going. Yeah, and then they're just like, yo, Dylan Dennis, we need you on the podcast, bro. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, they, they, you can't put him on Einstein. That's a troll. Yeah, bro, it is bad. Like, look, and that's a that's a Photoshop picture. A montage. These, that, that's a montage of all the dudes oh, that she's wow. been with. Okay. At the beach. Right? And then, uh, dude, like, this is just crazy stuff, man. Yes, yeah, wild. So, uh, how many guys are we talking? Bill Nye to sign. What? Bill Nye to sign. Bill Nye to you know, like <laughs> that woman did not sleep with Bill Nye. That's not accurate, right? That's, I guess old pop just picture. Gave her some scientific. This is her kissing some dude know. at a baseball game. It looks oh. like. Oh, that one is it was crazy. I'd rather get in, uh, naked in front of a hundred people. I seen that clip. Yeah, her and this dude. Oh wow! <laughs> like, okay, uh, dude, it, it, it's just wild. Like how much he's like making fun of him uh, uh, in here. Like, Rip 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 oh, Rip wow. Rip 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 <laughs> yo, 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 bro. <laughs> No offense. If my shorty fucks him, Leonardo DiCaprio, there's more. I'm just showing you something. So, oh, hold on. You know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's have fun with this. If 
your son <laughs> was dating a girl and mm. these pictures came out all over the internet and people were roasting him on end, what would you tell him? I tell him to leave. Fair. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna figure, I'm gonna see why here in a second. So you would say leave. How many would of you would say leave? Okay. How many of you would say stay? Well, I'll stand on it now. Is this on a first day basis? Huh? Is this on a first day basis that you're no, first they're meeting their... They're engaged. Yeah. No. You you would say stay. But you only realize now that you're engaged, that your eyes are open, that all these pictures and videos yeah, so have should, been well, out yeah, here. So what, yeah. what should your son do? Leave. You would say leave too. Yeah. Okay. Does anyone say stay? Well, I I don't say stay, mm-hmm. but yeah, I middle. I yep. genuinely would like to probably sit down with her and and see where and she see is where she's life. at. Right, and, you'd want to hear her perspective. Yeah, yeah. and I'd be yeah. like, listen, okay. Well, let's like, be honest yeah. here. Like, are, are, do you really do. think she's going to disclose to you her sexual history? Absolutely not. I mean, but absolutely not. Clearly not. Sitting down and getting her perspective. Will she actually be honest and tell you, "Oh yeah, I only fuck this guy. I only fuck that guy." Blah blah blah. When she knows that she has everything to lose by being honest with the mother of her potential husband. For me, it would be less about, "Oh, did I fuck this guy or this guy?" It'd be like, "I definitely fucked all these guys, (laughs) and now I'm in a different place in my life, and your son is super important to me." And would that be honest or not? I don't know, but to me, that would be like. The only thing she should say. Well, I'd be, flipping, I'd be more like, you accept that true. answer from your son's potential wife. When you know that your son busted his ass to create a platform, became really famous, became rich, etc. Would you accept that for your son? Prenup. Uh, that's literally what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> financial assets. It's different when, 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 way, they're, when, they're, when, they're, when their child's on the line. But isn't it crazy? Yeah. <laughs> this was true. always hidden. Then the whole facts came out, yeah, and it's brought to light. Yeah, and that was a question of do or die. Now, real quick, mm. why would you tell? Why would you tell your son to walk away? Um, I mean, it's a really a blow to his image and his pride, mm. um, especially since um, you know a man's image is is pretty important to him. So, the fact that you know he had you know this you know somewhat innocent fiance or whatever, and then now it's coming out that she's been a hoe with a pretty prominent members of the community now he looks stupid and he looks bad so i'd tell him to leave okay you know you said leave as well why i'm not accepting if if it's my son i'm not accepting that yeah you know okay if my son works his ass off to get to where he's at and he's famous and he has all this money it's like keep that image you know fair enough uh, don't worry, I'll, I'll get to you. What, <laughs> yeah. what, 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 uh, what's your take on it? You telling him to leave or stay and why? I mean, I would tell him to leave, excuse me, initially. But I also want to hear, like, the whole scenario yeah. from her side, his okay. side. Like, I want to know, mm-hmm. like, what he's feeling. Because he might be like, oh, mom, you're being an asshole. Mm-hmm. I really love this girl. Yeah. That you, like, you don't no. know her. But I would still be like, yo, like... You looking crazy as hell, <laughs> like for real. So you would you would tell him, hey, you need to rethink this 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 wedding, and uh, and you would hear her perspective. Yeah, I want to hear. Realistically like, speaking, both. can she say anything to change your mind? You're a woman, you know how it is. At that point, it's like you're actually screwing these dudes. Like, so it's like it's a bigger picture than like you're not just doing it just because like you're being actual hoe yeah. for real. So okay, mm. but uh, this was before she was engaged and dating him, correct? Yes. Yeah. So that's what I was okay. going to ask. You. I mean, yeah. is, was it just now recently details. revealed, though? Yes. How oblivious from, like, so, can you be from that? And that's what I was going to say is mm-hmm. how Wait, does so he not, not know this whole time? So maybe he doesn't need to be in a relationship until he can, like, assess what type of woman I think he potentially knew to an extent, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. not only okay. he knew to this extent. Well, it's being asked in yeah. a pretty shit way, right? I think it's yeah. the public so humiliation as yeah. well. The that's public just, humiliation. Yeah. Yeah. And on top of that, like, he probably knew about Leo. He probably knew about the baseball player. But it also means, like, their relationship was built on miscommunication. Yeah, and distrust. So, like, does it really have a future? Yeah. yeah. So, so what would you say? Yeah, stay or nay, and then why? I would now say. That you know the facts. Yeah, now that I know the facts, I would say probably go. <laughs> yeah, probably go, and okay. um, just you know, try again with something right. nice. <laughs> uh, you said. I think you said go. Right? Why? Wait, what? Sorry. I think you said you, he should leave her and why. Yeah. Why? Um. So I just believe the person you're with is like a direct reflection of yourself. Mm-hmm. So if she's for the streets, like you need to up your value a little bit. Um. I also believe <laughs> that um, women, like as a motherly figure, have a very good indication um, with reading other women, you know, and a lot of men actually can't read that. Um, 
I don't know, like mother, correct. mother-in-law to yes. daughter-in-law kind of um, attitude towards each other. Yeah. And sometimes it's very hostile and the guy might even be standing in the exact same room as you and not notice like the backlashing going on between oh, yeah. his mom yeah. and the female. Absolutely. And it's very apparent and it can create a lot of animosity. And I think the mom knows what's up. Not always though. Like I do believe you can't always judge a book on your on their cover, but like at the end of the day, like she belongs to the streets. She belongs okay. to the streets. All right. Uh, <laughs> what is your? What do you think? Should he stay or leave, and why? I definitely say that he should leave after like seeing all those pictures, and mm-hmm. probably anybody would be coming up to you. Is that really like what your son is kind of with? With such someone who has such a high profile and something to maintain, you'd obviously want someone that represents you in that way as well. Mm -hmm. And if that's not adding up, then you should be realizing like, is this really what I want for myself and for my future children? Like, again, as she said, it's a reflection of you, who your family is gonna be, your family. So you should choose wisely. Hmm. What about you? What do you think? Uh, I mean, okay, so after seeing the Twitter and the pictures and hearing a little bit more about it, I mean, it's tough. I would advise. <laughs> um, I mean, if she straight up lied and didn't tell him stuff, that's that's pretty fucked up. I, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. because a relationship, you're, it's built on trust. And yeah. if that foundation is, Arya has a big crack in it before you're married. Yeah. I, I mean, but to yeah. play devil's advocate, right? Is she really on the hook for telling him about all the promoters she hung out with, all the right. parties she went yeah, to in New right. York? This is mm-hmm. a woman that was a mm-hmm. model, right? When in yeah. in her twenties, etc. She obviously traveled and did mm-hmm. things, but yeah, I mean that's going to create an unfavorable history for a lot of men. So it's like, right? You could be transparent to a degree, right? But it mm-hmm. just it's just very bad optics, right? Yeah. So yeah. Um, so it point. seems to me like is it a full panel of girls that would question it and say, maybe you should walk away from this pretty much. Seems that way. See, it's always interesting when the shoe's on the other foot and, and it's, it's their son. son. Yeah. I was about to say. Yeah. Or a grandson. Or a grandson. But shout out to all the Rumble people joining yes. as members. Yes. I see Mary Boy. Do you think the prize is in a relationship, a man or a woman? Here we go, right? I think Just a asking. woman. Okay. Why do you think so? Well, she gives the kids, first of all. Okay. And uh, she's making, well, a man is only doing anything in life is because of a woman. Okay. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean, why are you going to job? Why are you trying to cl- accomplish something if it's not for a woman? Okay. So I think the woman is the prize here because you're doing it for her, for the prize. Hmm. Interesting. But wouldn't it be fair to say that once the man does all that and accomplishes himself and, be, you know, gets in a gym and acquires the status, the money, the fitness, etc., that he actually inadvertently turns himself into the prize? He becomes high value, but a woman still is the prize. You think so? Yes. Would, would the woman be the prize if women, uh, beautiful women are still are pretty common versus a high value man? Well, that's a high value man would not cheat and be loyal. You think a high value because man would be loyal? Because he has discipline and emotional intelligence not to do so. <laughs> Interesting. Discipline. Mark. So you think... Uh, a component of being high value is being disciplined with his sexuality. Yes. Controlling your urges and basically putting your energy into something that makes you grow more. Hmm. Interesting. Like my penis? Let me ask you this. <laughs> uh, are you picky with men? Absolutely. You are. Okay. Uh, do you, what's your preference? Do you want a guy over six feet tall? I'm guessing. No, I don't think that it's going to be mostly the looks. I, I'm not. Putting... What are you selective on then? Particularly. Well, well it's many things. Energy. Okay. Energy. Energy. Yeah, it could, yeah, it's one of those as well. It needs to be good energy. Mm-hmm. It needs to have morals, first of all. Such as? Such as, well. No uh, cheating. Uh, yeah, one of those. Respecting, not just women. Mm-hmm. People around him as well. What are your, what are your preference? Like, do you want him to be, like, physically strong? Like, what, what, yes, give me some I would prefer my or... man to, um, let's say, protect me if yeah. I need to be protected. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I just find it interesting because you want the guy to be disciplined with his desires, yeah. but you're not necessarily disciplined with your desires. Why not just go with a nice guy that's homeless? What? How am I not disciplined? Or, or more average. Why yeah. not just get with a more... How am I not disciplined? I. <laughs> you see what I did there? <laughs> what you want in a man, right? If I tell you, oh no, peel it back a bit. Like, take it easy. Why are your standards so high? 
like you know like yo just have some discipline like get with a more normal average guy you're like no what the fuck so i just kind of find it interesting that women expect men to be disciplined after a man has to work to gain his value but women are never disciplined and lower their standards with the type of man that they want why is that women can ask the world of a man but a man can't ask a girl hey i want to have multiple partners i've worked to myself to have a certain point like why is why does he have to exercise discipline well, she's disciplining herself too she's not giving her way away herself to any men that's thing as well i mean not having a whole face i think that's a understandable that's but realistically speaking are women virgins yes there are some who there are some are you i know a couple there are some okay but the vast majority of women are they virgins there are some okay but the vast majority <laughs> are they there well, because some. men manipulate women. Okay, oh. well, I mean, we gotta have some accountability <laughs> here now. because because women are the ones that pick who fucks. So, um, I, I, I'm just you see what I'm doing here, like because you're saying, okay, I want a man that's disciplined sexually, right? Like he should suppress his urges and wants. But when I ask you, are Not you gonna suppress? Why suppress? Quite literally, what you just said a second no, ago. No, no, just uh, suppress it, control no, it. No, no, no. This is energy, right? You're talking about sexual energy. You could convert it into something that's more. That would so therefore him. he's suppressing it and putting it into something else, which is literally yeah, I what wouldn't I said. say suppressed. It's just shifting the energy to something more. Okay. Well, that's how you go to gym. You just put your sexual energy to gym. That's how you do it. Doesn't it doesn't fully go away, though. It's still there. Well, yeah. That's why you have a woman, right? Oh, man. How about this? What if I say you suppress your need to be with a man that makes more money than you? Just get with a more average guy. Or maybe you take why care Why not of be alone, then? Why not be alone, then? Oh. That's discipline. <laughs> see, see, <laughs> you won't. see, like... <laughs> You, you guys see what I mean here? Like, when you put the shoe on the other foot, women aren't going to go so ahead and settle. why would I waste my time and energy on someone I don't think that's valuable? Okay, so why shouldn't I waste his time and energy on well, a girl then... that expects monogamy from him when he's busted his ass to get to a certain point and he wants to have multiple oh, women? okay, so if he got to his point, he's now <coughs> eligible, eligible to be to be able to cheat because he has money, now he's able to cheat. Is that what you're saying? I think once a man reaches a certain status... <laughs> right and it makes a certain amount of money. And if he wants to have multiple women, I think he should be able to do so. And without any type of shaming or anything, I, I, cause the problem is this men are apologetic for being men. And with all due respect, the way I view women is women are trust fund babies. Men are self-made millionaires from a sexuality standpoint. When you turn 18, you basically get a big endowment of a million dollars. That's your youth, your beauty, men that are millionaires and successful will go ahead and want to date you. Even though you really don't bring that much value to the world, you just turn 18. Yeah. But men, on the other hand, they have to pay for the yachts. They have to pay for the nice cars. They have to pay for the lifestyle. They have to go to the gym and get in shape. They have to learn how to fight. They need. They have to become competent. Men have to work way harder. Yeah, because you have. Oh, let more. me just finish. Men have to work way harder to attract the opposite gender. So it doesn't make sense to me that women will sit there and try to police your dick when they never worked hard enough with having a dick. That's my point. Nice. Women are trust fund babies. Men Mars. are self made millionaires. Trust fund babies can't tell self made millionaires how to spend their money. So I find it ridiculous when women try to say a high value man does X, Y, Z. No, a high value man doesn't listen to women. Bars. Period. Well, I have a question. Uh, Go ahead. Sure. Uh, do you think all rich men cheat? I mean, a staggering majority do. Majority. majority. Staggering no, majority. Yeah. majority. Not hundred percent. You should know. But um, uh, but see, we're focusing about the majority uh, yeah, on the majority, yeah. not the not the the few yeah, so not the all. minority. Not if if I had if I had a daughter or I my my sister, I told her this. If you want to get with a man that earns a lot of money, be prepared to share him. Yeah. Mm. Especially so, the man you Holding out for that 1% man is uh, delusional, stupid, and not in your best interest. Especially since you've made it yourself. You're on a biological time clock, right? So that's how you would raise your son? Oh, what do you mean? Raise him in what way? Just particular? if you know that he's cheating on his wife, let's say. Would you say that he's I would, I would tell job. him to be honest and let women know up front that he wants multiple women. And that's the most important thing. Um, but let's be honest here. Are most men going to be honest and tell women, oh, no. I want to have multiple no. chicks? No, because, no. I mean, look at your response. You have an issue with a man being um, polygamous, which is cool. A lot of women do. But the reality is once men reach a certain stature, they're going to do it whether you like it or not. So if I'm telling you it's raining outside and I give you an umbrella and you walk outside and you get wet and you didn't open up the umbrella, whose fault is that? It's your fault, right? Because mm -hmm. I told you it's raining outside, and I even gave you the umbrella. So why, women, why be in a relationship then? Why step outside? Yeah, why? Because at some point, the sun's going to come out. So just for that one moment? You see what I did there? At some point, the sun's going to come out. It might rain, you know? but in general, the weather's always nice. But that women got to be able to weather that storm, and they don't want to weather it. That's what comes with the territory when you're a high-value man. 
We don't want a high value man without dealing with high value man problems. That's not a high value can, man problem. Can, can I put in? Fresh. Oh yeah, sure. And then I'll rebut what she just said. My thing, it, it all depends on the the individual and how well they communicate with, you know, whoever they're talking to. Mm -hmm. um, because, and it also depends on the female as well. Now, um, with the, if you reach a certain caliber in life or whatever, and your success, you get to cheat or whatever. That depends on if you talk to your person about that, who you're yeah. with. If you're in a committed relationship, you have to communicate that. Okay, hey, babe, at this point, I think, you know, we should have an open relationship. Now, if they agree to that, give me the option to agree with you or disagree with you. Yeah. So I get to choose whether I want to stay or leave. I agree. That's the only thing. That's where I, you know. I agree. Are you cool with your man okay. seeing other girls? Am I cool with it? Yeah. No. So no, how do you hold on? He wants to communicate with you and say, you know what, babe? <laughs> because yeah. guess what? Oh, oh yeah, what? No, the only oh, reason oh, I what, disagree what, what, what? is because what? I gave him a chance to go do that. Oh, you gave him a chance? Oh. I give. But men... you still call the shots because if you're not okay, no, if you're not okay at, with it, okay, he can't at do the end it. Of the day, no, here's the thing. <laughs> Let's hear your thing. Uh, because no, at the at the end of the day, <laughs> regardless of the fact. Uh -huh. A man is going to cheat regardless. If you will, if, if, like, it depends. Not okay. every man cheats. I'm not saying All right. that. So you know it's coming. But majority of the men cheat. Mm -hmm. If you find that you got cheated on you tomorrow, what would you do? What would you do? Um, Honestly, I've been through a lot with my person. So you I stay? can only speak for myself. Yeah. I would stay. Good. Okay, good. But I would agree. I constantly take the disrespect? No. I wouldn't. If I it's it. like, you so know? you would stay, but you would he'd but be if, the nice. It's my thing is, is the lying. <laughs> You want honesty. I want honesty. So okay. Then... So if you get to do what you want to do, that means I can go. I don't mean okay. Oh, I'm oh, going to oh, throw oh, my. Oh. I'm not going to throw myself on every dude. I'm not going to sleep with every dude. But if I decide, hey, I want to stay with you while you're doing this, then that's my choice. But if I don't want to stay with you while you're doing this, then I get to leave. Yeah. I get to keep my options open. Just let me be able to keep my options open. If you want to be able to do what you want to do. See, she wants the honesty After to leave. react to it. Which is fine, but once again, that means, oh, you can see other people? So can I. Yeah. Which is not cool, though. Yeah, it so is. So how would men how feel about it? that? Yeah, how is it not cool if you, you guys, as a man... I'm not saying I'm going to go throw myself in, and sleep with every dude. No, I'm not going to sleep with anybody else and degrade myself. Just, just one or two. No, I'm not going to degrade two. myself while I'm with you. Wait, okay. Because just, that, that fucking lessens my... Ooh, value? Your no. word. So she my knows. Value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know. So she knows. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. All right, so you even know subconsciously that like going out and dealing with other men to try to maybe get a get back is a bad move yeah. for you as a female. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you have something? Mm -hmm. What's the point of being in a relationship if you're not going to be monogamous? I mean, the point mm -hmm. traditionally of a relationship is to be that person's other half, to grow with that person to in sickness and in health. And <laughs> if you, if, if a woman can't, you know, be, have multiple partners just like the men i mean how the majority of men you know okay let me they, ask you a question no. okay I mean, yes. if, if, if you were with a man that you truly loved and admired and respected would you want to fuck another guy no okay now let's exactly. flip it if a guy was with a woman that he loved and respected would you want to fuck another girl the answer is yes would in I, general would i want to... no, no. no okay, would he want yeah going back to the question again i asked you if you're with a man you love and admire and respect would you want to have sex with other men you said no now let's flip it Right, because you're saying, why not be monogamous? Now let's flip it. If a man's with a woman that he loves and admires, respect, is he going to have sex with other women? The answer, ninety plus percent of the time, is yes. But that's that. Why be in a relationship if that's the point? If it's for religious reason reasons, I believe that's at a relationship fine. From a female perspective, only because I think it's messed up to just so you be just loyal. Yeah, because I mean that's my opinion. I mean, why be in a relationship if you're not going to be loyal to that person? Be that person's other half. I mean, unless it's for religious reasons, I really I, I understand it more. But you're trying to influence like, or just trying to tell us like all like oh, we we worked for it. The majority yeah. of guys are like cashiers at CVS and like, you know, how are you working for it? just because you were born with different genitalia than I? I mean, like I well, have. Well, here's, here's the thing: like like men have to work harder in general than women in almost every endeavor in life. So I just, I, I find it very interesting and funny that women that are given their value, right? Try to tell a man who has to earn their value how to spend their value. You understand? Mm. But we're not, we're not like 
assets. We're not like what value. Do, we're not like something at a grocery store that you see. Oh, I'm I'm this price. I'm this price. How do you know how much value you have? We're just people at the end of the day. That's all we are. All right. So in okay. dating in relationships, there's hierarchies. Whether people want to admit it or not, we're all competing with each other to some degree. Women are competing for the best mates. Men are competing for the best mates. The metrics that make us attractive are different. The metrics that make a woman attractive in general, youth, beauty, chastity, right? And fertility. It's what men have wanted since the beginning of time. Women want security, provisioning, strength, competence, etc. But the things that a woman wants in a man take time to acquire. The things that a man wants in a woman don't take time to require. So therefore, our, value, our, our values are different. I mean, and that heavily, and since our values are different, that heavily influences how we deal with each other. You, hold on, you just said we're not price tags, or we don't have certain values. But like, you sell yourself online, OnlyFans. How much you charge for your? Uh, <laughs> oh, oh shit! Eleven ninety nine. So your price is eleven ninety nine. Oh, so like uh. So what the Netflix, fuck are you saying? Netflix, no, you're, Hulu you're, Plus. You're taking it like out of oh, context. Oh, like I'm talking about like in a relationship. Like I'm not. At least me on OnlyFans. I'm not. You know, messing around with other people. Like I let my partner know. Yo, like, you know, this is a good way for me to make some additional money. I have. I've had a lot go on in my life, right? And I'm yeah. not getting any support anymore from right. anybody. Uh, I've had really you're saying i'm just saying everyone has a level of i want to say authority uh price for example or value on some point. level because there's competition between you her 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 and her there is 100 percent. in in what way i'll give you an example let's say a guy's gonna choose a girl in here he's gonna look at what she does for a living how hot she is is she feminine is she can help me with my, my business all these factors are going to determine what he's going to do with you. So there's a, a, a there's a level of competition being set up between all the girls here at all times. I mean, like, there's always going to be a guy like, oh, like, she's better looking, she's cooler. I mean, like, does it matter at the end of the day? It does, if you want. I mean, like, guys. you know, no, you're always going to find, like, go on right, shitty right. dates, go on good dates. You just got to find that person you connect with. It doesn't even have to be. See, you're like, speaking from a privileged perspective because you're the one that's choosing. You're not competing. No. Like, so you're not overtly competing where you're acquiring status and money and all these other things. Like, with all due respect, women live life on easy mode, which is kind of makes you guys delusional about how the world really works. It takes two to tango. I mean, like, we have sometimes, like, we can't. No, it takes one to initiate the dance, and that's the man. Ooh. That's mm. the difference. It doesn't take two Ooh. to fucking tango. It takes the man to initiate the dance, and the woman follows. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's how dancing that's works. Somebody, because if you got a good leader, any woman can dance with him. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really take two to tango. That's man, true. you go overpriced, man. 12, 12 bucks? Goddamn. And and that's the thing, like, and I, and I say this with all due respect, but like the reality is, is that women are very replaceable, like when it comes to um, beauty. And I get what you're saying. Well, I have a biological time clock, etc. Well, you're an attractive young woman. That's cool. But this is Miami. There's a bunch of attractive women just like you that pretty much are going like to be men. similar to different. Not, not, here's the mm -hmm. thing. The, the level of high value men in it, comparison it's, it's to beautiful different. women aren't even close. It's different. It's very it's different. Very different. <laughs> it's very different because they can look good, but they can be not sugar, honey, okay. iced tea. Okay. So what do you mean by that? Shit. From the men or the female perspective? The men. Okay. But the point. No, I'm saying female like, looking, I'm, I'm second yeah. in. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get yeah. what I'm saying? No, no, no. It's, yeah. I mean, it, like high quality men that are attractive are very rare but like beautiful it's, women are everywhere exactly but it's it's more common for a man to put up with female that have less than them than a female that has more than a man to put up with a man that has less than them you get what i'm saying She's if sick. a female makes more than a man it's more like you know difficult, difficult for her to like that for man her to accept to choose that yeah. man for yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you get yeah. what i'm saying no no, no. I, I, yeah. I understand yeah, yeah. no yeah for women is in a and, and most women don't want to be in a breadwinner position but i'm just like like again I, i'm just because to me it looks like you in particular you you would want a guy that's you, you're very picky so you're probably going for a higher value guy right i'm a high value woman i pick a high value man yes yeah we know you do okay well controversial take i don't think there's a such thing as a high value woman that's mm -hmm. single but that's that's my <laughs> take on it um, because, and, and I can explain that. What'd you say, Mo? <laughs> Mo said, her, what'd you her, say? her Mo? Instagram is a high value. Mo, Mo said, <laughs> yeah, her, like, like she's, Wait, so, uh, she's, she's, she's pretty bad, man. Oh, it's bad? Yeah, it's bad. It's, I mean, it's just modeling. Uh, no, it's, it's not, it's modeling. There's cars. It's just modeling. There's, there, okay. No, that is modeling. 
Oh shit! Sure. I don't have naked pictures in there. I'm, I'm gonna have to get my blue on. Okay, so I'll explain why, and and I'll I'll explain why I, I I have this belief, and then you guys can agree or disagree. I don't think there's a such thing as a high value woman on her own, and the reason why is that typically women are evaluated on the strength of their relationships. Men are evaluated on the strength of their success, which then builds relationships, right? So when two men meet, they shake hands. What do you do for work? You know, et cetera. That's how they measure each other, by status, income, influence. Women, on the other hand, judge each other by how beautiful are you and do you have a man? Do you have a relationship? When two women meet, it's like, oh, are you single? Blah, blah, blah. So a girl that makes $100,000 a year, or let's say a million dollars a year, doesn't have the same equivalent power as a guy that makes a million dollars a year. That man is going to command more attention in the dating marketplace because women are more interested in income and status. Men, on the other hand, are not interested in that, right? Mm -hmm. So a millionaire man is not the same as a millionaire woman. Now, with that said, since women's value comes typically from their relationships, if a woman doesn't have the last name of a high value man, she's not high value because then any girl can run around and call themselves high value. Or a queen. A woman's value typically is determined by the caliber of man that she can attract and most importantly, retain, not just fuck. It's why women aspire to get married and walk down the aisle in a white dress and they dream about that. Women typically want a relationship with a higher status guy. So I would argue a woman is in high value unless she has a high values man last name to co-sign her because women acquire status through men, not the other way around. You have anything for that? Yeah, I don't agree with that. Why do you not agree? Because I think women's value first starts with her um, age then her beauty, okay. and then her brains, and then her uh, beliefs, and then her uh, respect to herself, and then her hobbies, and then her time investing into what she does, into hobbies. Let me ask you this then. If a girl has all these things in line, wouldn't it be easier for her to find a high value man? Hmm. Yes. Okay. So if she has those things in place, it should be easy for her to find a guy. Yes. So if she can't find a guy, who the fuck up is that? When it's easy to find a guy. I mean, it's the woman. There you go. That's why. I so if you have all these things in place, it should be easy for you to get a man. But if you don't do it. But there's not many high, not as much high value men. Oh. As there is high so value scarce. women. Oh, so they're scarce. That's what he was saying. You basically oh. disagree with. <laughs> That's what he yeah, was saying. there is, though. That's what he's I'm not saying that there say. isn't Finish at her. all. You triggered my trap card. I'm not you saying that You learned to an argument for me that I said earlier. I'm not saying that there isn't at all, though. Yeah, but they're scarce. But they're still manageable to find. If I wanted to, I would With find yours. one today, but I don't want to. Mm, so yeah, you can find one, but let, let, ladies, let's let's not conflate it's getting sex and a relationship or two different yeah. things. Like I'm not talking about sex. The, the, no, the game is: can you actually keep the man long term? And Just because you can attract the guy doesn't and go mean. on a date with him mm -hmm. doesn't mean that yeah. you can keep him long yeah. term. You can. And here's the thing. It's very interesting because you, you're you aware of your biological time clock. You're aware of this. So you can't sit there and tell me, oh, I'm just having my fun, etc. You're keenly aware of the fact that you have a limited amount of time to find the best guy. So if you really were with the best guy or you've been, been dating him or you can get him, as you say, you would be in a relationship with him right now. But why are you not single? Necessarily. Not necessarily. Maybe not? I don't want to right now. You I know, think that's a cope. No, you know, studying medicine isn't an easy thing. You know what I mean? Hey, man, she's green car ready. Bro, she's, she's. I think that's a cult, man. Yo, she has I mean, do you think you're going to have more value already. now or when you're done with your medical degree? Not necessarily like till I finish all, everything. Maybe this year I'm not ready. You know, why do I need to chase someone? Why do I need to look for someone? By your own, by your own uh, admission, high value men are scarce. So yes, by but... default, you have to chase them. No, I don't. They need to chase me. Okay. Oh, period. shit. So, yeah. She's independent, bro. <laughs> no, she, uh... she's independent. She got, she got this, man. <laughs> I'm fine being alone, you know. I don't mind being alone. No man, you did with M's man. Not... Some women are scared oh, yeah, yeah. to be alone. Speaking of being alone, guys, <laughs> today's sponsor <laughs> is Blue Chew. Say back to like where you guys as men would want to sleep with multiple women. <clears throat> um, would it be random women or would it be a select woman? I personally want to get married to multiple women. I want to have two or three wives, maybe four. That seems like a lot of work, but I would rather have two or three wives where there's a there's an understanding. The women are probably never really going to like each other. Ideally, they do, but I understand that that's difficult. And Meyer, for example, he wants to be able to, to sleep with a lot of women, but I, I would rather have two or three women that I provide for and we're all one big family. So but you brought, I respect that. Would you brought you? a very good point because 
I feel like in a relationship, the parameters have to be like spoken about from the very beginning. So, for example, if you're going to say, okay, I want multiple women, is it just strangers? Is it going to be a girl that we we'll both know? Whatever that is for that couple, they'll have to decide on their own. Yeah. So would you guys say between you two, like, would it be strangers or like random women? Like, what are we talking about? What do y'all find or attractive? Just like whenever you want. Sexually. Um, are you asking me specifically? I'm asking, asking you. Sp- all I'm asking here. both of you specifically. Because we all have different ones. So what's yours, Myron? Well, um, I would have a few main girls and then, you know, some girls on the side. You have what your main girlfriends girl- and then you have chicks that you fuck. So the main girlfriends, right? But yeah. the random girl, like the random chicks that you fuck, would they be like, how random are we talking? Like you don't bear, you barely know them like in the club. Yeah. So if you came home with an STD for your main women. Oh, that's where you got to be intelligent and, you know, use protection on the randos. You know what I mean? That's what it comes down to. Oh my. I have I have a question. Can't be a moron about it. You got to be careful. So say if What's you're that? a high value guy, right? But you um you sleep with girls that are trashy, high body counts, like uh-huh. just like the worst girls you could possibly possibly sleep with. Would mm-hmm. you still consider that like being like a high value man? If that like, would you count that as building status? Well, yeah. I mean, a, a part of <clears throat> one of the one of the personifications of status for a man is the ability to have sexual access to a lot of women. And some guys enact on it and others don't, but I would argue most guys enact on it. But I disagree. See, the ability is different than acting on it. I personally think that if you're sleeping with a bunch of like trashy club whores, that doesn't make you a high value guy. Just because yeah. you can attain these women, that doesn't make you a better person. It doesn't lower your value either. It doesn't lower your value. I mean, but it doesn't add to it. It doesn't. Yeah. Add, it doesn't make you it a better man. It, it doesn't lower your value if you get an STD. It, that's true too. And also being around <laughs> that type of STD. Yeah. That, no, that's true. <laughs> that, that STDs okay. and also being in that environment and you do share energy with these people. It. it I. I. I think it. It does. Dick, why are you wasting your time there? Like, why are you spending your time right. with, with these low quality women? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. why I think it's better to have two, three, four, maybe like quality women that you're low and that's how you get the variety thing out rather than uh wasting time with like your your, your your status as a man is not contingent upon getting the women you get the status and the women come after the fact so it's up to you but the thing is you need to acquire the ability to do so and then you do what you want to do with it but the point is is that you you achieve the status you get your shit together once you have your shit together and you're attractive a byproduct of being attractive is the women will want to come to you you know they say build it and they will come yeah that's what i mean build a wall I think that quality women would prefer if that guy had the ability, but it doesn't mean that, I mean. doesn't mean that he has to exercise it. I think actually women respect guys who restrain themselves more and not have to exercise that. Like, what do you really gain from sleeping with club whores? You don't yeah. really get anything that value. There's nothing you're doing there besides, you know, treating it like a game. And but it's ultimately a giant waste of time. Think, uh, it would are just you, be like are you mom- about your momentarily. Or are your priorities like what's important to you? Because I think as a man, you should do what's good for you. But how is that good for you? It's not like sleeping with club wars isn't good for you. No, I'm saying in in general, like you're making it a point of what she wants versus what you want. But yeah, if she's happier, then I'm going to be happier too. But shouldn't your wants come first? They should, but that's going to, if she's happier, then I'm going to be happy. Of course it comes first, but the two things don't have to contradict. But you're basically saying happy wife, happy life. I'm just saying happy life for me. She'll be happy. But I'm also saying that sleeping with a bunch of club whores isn't going to make you happier. It's an I empty agree. pursuit. It, it's, it's the same thing. I, I see the equivalent is like doing cocaine or doing drugs. Like, yeah, it's dopamine in the moment. It's fun in the moment, but it doesn't achieve anything. You're not, there's no progress. There's no ROI on sleeping with club whores. You do it and then it's over. And then you yeah, have less, it doesn't, less it doesn't increase. I, that's why I said before, like being able to sleep with a lot of girls is typically a byproduct of the success that you've accumulated, but it doesn't increase or lower your status from banging the girls. I mean, it's fun though. Yeah, but it doesn't increase your lower status. However, on the other side, as a woman, banging the guys will lower your value, hundred percent. But cocaine's fun too. But you shouldn't do it. I mean, excellent. the point I'm trying to make here is that, like, take away the drugs, take away the girls. As a man, if you work your ass off to become that high value man, so to speak, you have a choice to make, and you do what you want to do. But doesn't that, like, it, I equate it to cocaine, for example? Just because I can afford a lot of cocaine, and just because I could take time off and I could skip work and just do coke all day because it's fun, doesn't mean that I should do it. And I would probably be a better man if I exercise restraint and don't do the cocaine all day. I agree, but I'm also saying whatever choice that man makes after becoming that successful man is up to him. It might not be right, but it's but what choice. would make that man elevate even further? Not doing it, of course. Not doing it. So, I mean, the cocaine and club boys are equivalent. I want to put my priorities first over her priorities. Because me being happy means she's going to be happy indirectly. 
Yeah, you could put your priorities first, but that doesn't mean that your priorities, should your priorities be fucking club whores? No. Should that even be a priority in the first place? No, by phone, I don't decide. Hey. I think she was just giving an example of a guy just going out back and girls, but did, what, what else? Did you have something else? Oh, I forgot, whatever. Oh, oh okay, that was your, okay. Somebody else had something over here they wanted to say. So Columbia, no. I have a question. Ladies, real quick. What if you met a guy that was tall, successful, good looking, and could take care of you at any point in time? However, he said to you, you know what, babe? I trust and I believe in you. I want to make this work. But for now, I might have other girls on the side. Would you put up with that? Yes or no, and then why? Yes or no. <clears throat> Ten years later. But he has he has everything. Like he can take care of me, everything. He's, he's just saying that he has, you know, his sides. And he's being right? honest with you from the very beginning. Your ideal guy. Uh, Ten years later. You know, I understand because obviously, like, it's just like some women, like, they can't have one dick for their whole life either because there's girls out there that are the same way. Of course. Of course. I don't know, though. I don't think so. So, no. I don't know. Right. Only a ran through girl would want that. A virgin girl would be okay with one guy for her whole yeah. life. All right. Keep that, keep that body combo. Um,. I think maybe could consider it if I was like obsessed with the guy. Like I'd have to really like him. It wouldn't have to be just an option. You know what I mean? Like I'd have to actually want it, not just it be like a good option that I should have. You know? Okay. Mm. You think if you need him more than you want him, that'll work out better? No, I have to want him. If I don't, if I just need him, then I I can wait. You know? Mm. Okay. Interesting. Okay. For you? <clears throat> if I'm the main girl, he could provide for me. I think I'll be fine. Awesome right. answer. <laughs> Um, you said that if he was being straight up in the beginning, yeah. th in the beginning of like dating or getting to know From each other. From the very beginning, he said, you know what? I like your vibe. You're my ideal spiritual wife. But to be honest, on the side, I got to bang some hoes. Just saying. Yeah, I would have to be really <clears throat> obsessed with him to like even consider allowing that. <clears throat> okay. For you? Allow. Would it be Allow. for the rest of the relationship or just the beginning that there are fucking other people? Let's just set the parameter that it's going to be for most of the relationship. All of it. No. If not all of it. No. No? Mm -mm. Ideal guy, your dream guy. Then he's not ideal if he's fucking other people. But we know most men are going to do what they do anyway. But this guy's going to take care of you and say, you know what? From time to time, here and there. No? Okay. For you? If he's being honest throughout the beginning, I feel like that would be my choice, of course, because if I'm going to get involved with you, I would have to, of course, be okay with it. Mm -hmm. So that's I the think, question. Would you be okay with I it? I think I could be able... I would not like it, of course, but I feel like I would be able to so deal with it. you follow his program? Yes. All right. What about you? Can you repeat me a question, please? Como se dice? I'm sorry. My Spanish is kind of shaky. Angie, a uh, guy that can take care of her dream man wants to have sex with a bunch of girls. Would you accept it? Un hombre que va a proveer todo para ti, pero quiere tener muchas mujeres, varias mujeres. Que si lo aceptarías, pa? No, ya lo he tenido y no. No, she said just she's had it. And ¿Por qué? She wouldn't, she wouldn't take it again, apparently. Si tú quieres que yo me encargue también de la casa, de la familia, de todo eso. If you want me to take care of the family and the house, tienes que darme mi lugar. you cannot be with a bunch of hoes. No, you have to give them my place. No bueno. So she said no. Yeah. yeah. And she said she did it before. Why'd she leave before? ¿Por qué lo dejaste? Por eso mismo, me tenía como una reina, pero a la vez quería Because he had me like a queen, but he Mi wanted like five more. Mi lealtad está por encima de todo. Well, he y no puedo estar con otro. My loyalty is the, is like up front. Okay, but, but he had five more and he gave her, he treated her like a queen, but he wanted five more? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. And, and, and he paid all the bills and everything? Pagó to, pagaba todas las cuentas, era proveedor. Sí, pero me avergonzaba yeah. delante yes. de todo el mundo But, al tener yeah. cinco mujeres. So, ¿Cuál But, es mi lugar en la casa? Okay, so she she said that he would embarrass her by having five women because what what was her place in the house? ¿A ustedes les gustaría said, que uno tuviera cinco like más? Queen. Yeah. But he had like more women. She wanted priority she access. She didn't have so, like does she that. think she made the right decision? ¿Crees que 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 fue buena la decisión de dejarlo? Claro que sí. She said yes. Yes, Just, sure. Ahorita mismo Estoy igual con, estoy saliendo con una persona que me trata como una reina. Right now I'm dating somebody that is treating me like a queen and it's, it's making me the priority. ¿Ustedes les gustaría tener eso? Would you like to have that? Does he have a lot of money? Does, does he have more money than our old guy? Does your, Cuban guy? tu hombre ahorita? Sí, claro que sí. Okay. He, said he has yes. just as much money? 
Yeah. She's and, fucking bitches too. Angie, <laughs> ask her if she thinks that he won't cheat too. Que si crees que no te va a engañar. O sea, que no va a tener más mujeres. Claro que sí, pero la cuestión es... She said yes, but the thing is... No, la cuestión con el anterior es que lo hizo al frente de todo el mundo y me avergonzó al the frente thing with de todo the el mundo. I mean, that, si that lo van a hacer, háganlo bien. Oh, sorry. The thing with the other one is that he did it in front of everybody. Uh, no aguanto esa vergüenza. O sea, esa she, deslealtad, she, no. Yeah, she got embarrassed. Yo sé que oh, la... So he wasn't honest in the beginning. No, that she was public, public with the with five women. The girls, she, she doesn't like the yeah. pu- like doing it publicly. But, but he was honest with her. Yeah. No. Okay. Well, he wasn't. Why do you mean no? <laughs> because. ¿Por qué? She said he wasn't honest with her. ¿Por qué? Why? ¿Por qué okay. no fue honesto? Porque desde el principio Chris fue the delante de todo it. el mundo que yep. su novia, su mujer, su todo. Yo le cumplía en todo lo que quería. ¿Pero te mintió? Obviamente. So, she's saying that he lied. She lied about the five women. Si me hubiera dicho desde el principio que quería tener cinco más, obviamente no me hubiera metido con él. Two okay, factors, if, yeah. he, if he, he would lied, have said, I'm public. He if, lied, if, and then in public, he um, is embarrassed her by having those five girls yeah. in, in like the public yeah. eye. ¿A ti te gustaría una mujer que te avergonzara en público? She's asking you, Myron, she's asking you if you would like a woman if that will embarrass you publicly. ¿La tendrías? Woman that would embarrass me publicly? Yeah. Sí. No. If you will have a woman that will, tu confianza that will en betray your, your trust publicly. Yeah, but men and women aren't the same. Women don't lose status by being cheated on. Men do. Is that your answer? That's my answer. Okay. Eh, él dice que las mujeres y los hombres no son iguales. Las mujeres, no, los hombres tienen estatus, estado, o sea, estatus, y las mujeres no. Las mujeres Matter of fact, valor. women actually get respect for sticking by them. Kobe Bryant's wife <clears throat> stood by him, got a lot of respect. Will Smith? Gets cucked, lose respect. It's not the same. When a woman stands by her man when he cheats on her, she's respected. But when a man gets cheated on by his girl, he gets made fun of. Yep. So, básicamente, la respuesta de él es no. No estaría como una mujer que lo. lo Obvio no, no, ¿verdad? Sí. Yeah. Eh, la respuesta de él es que las mujeres y los hombres no son iguales. ¿Sí entiendes? Sí, pero entonces, ¿cómo quieres tener una mujer de tus sueños? How do you want to have like a dream girl mm-hmm. if. Ajá. Ok, quieres traicionarle, quieres permitir todas las traiciones y que tener muchas más porque eres el hombre, que el millonario y sí, eso. Sí. ¿Es en serio? Esa respuesta es súper. She can't believe your answer, though. She can't believe no that you're going to be the provider más. and that the woman has to be like. Y quieres que ella te respete. And okay. she, you want to be respected. Y tú no la estás her. respetando. Why, why you're not respecting her? So, let's, let's turn off eso es estúpido. She's saying that you're stupid. <laughs> I'm no, stupid. your opinion. Because your, your opinion your, is stupid. It's, it's, okay. it's, it's like a contradiction. It, you're contradicting yourself. How am I contradicting myself? Because she does. She, I mean, she doesn't believe that women and men are not not the same. But they're not the same. She even said it before. <laughs> Obvio que no es lo mismo, pero en ese caso, si te están avergonzando en público, si te están cometiendo una falta de respeto delante de todo el mundo, ¿cómo quieres, cómo le pides lealtad a una mujer si tú se lo estás haciendo en público y la estás defraudando en público, le estás traicionando su su lealtad en público? Niña, niña, tienes que entender algo. Los hombres y las mujeres no son iguales. Lo que él quiere no es lo mismo que tú quieres. ¿Tú entiendes? Sí, no claro. Mismo. Él puede hacerlo porque es hombre y tiene estatus y tiene dinero, pero tú no, porque como tú hay muchas, ¿sí entiendes? ¿Sí entiendes? Créeme que no hay muchas. Sí hay muchas. No. Todas somos iguales. Ese es el argumento aquí. We are all the same. We cannot provide for them the same way they can provide for us. You understand that? Claro que lo entiendo, pero no, no, no respeto, no estoy con esa. Opinión. So she doesn't agree, basically. I think we had enough to tell well, she's contradicting herself then because she even said to herself the man is supposed to be the leader and the breadwinner. So if you're a leader and a breadwinner, that means you get certain privileges that the woman doesn't. Yeah, but basically she doesn't agree with the fact that the man can have five women at the same time as her because she thinks she's special. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank okay. you, Angie. We're well, still on her? Angie. For the, uh, yeah. <laughs> we can no. do an English one? <laughs> So the question was, <laughs> yeah. your ideal guy, if he was successful, yeah, good looking, question. tall, t- will take care of you. He said to you, look, babe, I want other women on the side here and there. Would you be cool with that? It dep- I, for me, it depends the women. Like, I respect his, like, opinion of, like, just, uh, like, maybe 
sorry i respect his opinion of you know having like three or four or five wives but only like the wives not just random women that he's gonna sleep with on the side okay so your parameter is if it's random women no but solid connections yes yeah okay and for you leslie no why um if i'm gonna put my all into one person they better give me my all and i'm gonna be their one person <laughs> sorry <laughs> so, so, if you, yeah. so sorry go, no, are sorry you finished? no i'm just finished so if you notice right all of them said similar answers and it's because if they like the guy they'll put a with <clears throat> But again, what does that mean? He hits all the parameters that she wants, and as well, that's the ideal guy, so she'll pull it with it. The rest, if you don't like them, they won't do it. So, But kind of reluctantly, though. They're kind of like begrudgingly well, saying it. On camera, they're going to be like, oh, nah, not really. But behind closed doors, if he's that guy, she'll put it with it. Are so. you going to be happy, or is it something that you're just doing reluctantly? I have put up with it. I wouldn't do it again. So something you're putting up with, or something that you could be happy with? I don't think you can be happy with yeah. it. Unless... You're not going to be fully happy, but he's fully providing for you. So in that sense, you're going to be happy in that way. So you're compromising. Yes. Pretty much. Okay. Do you think that you'd be compromising if it was two or three wives instead? Instead of just random club whores and like all this, if it was secure and if it was a, an actual connection, would that be something that you could be happy with or would you be compromising? I feel like compromising. I feel like every woman's dream would to be to have. I got a better question, Sneeko. You have a choice. He has three other wives or he bangs random girls. Mm. That's a good one. Which one would you prefer? He's going to have multiple chicks, but what would you prefer? Three other wives or banging multiple random Multiple wives or a thousand whores? Yeah, there a you thousand go. Whores. Hold on. We'll start right here and then work our way. Even if I didn't want to be in either. No, you yeah, have to one. Three wives. Wives. Just one. Huh? Three wives. The, you'd want the three yeah. wives? All right. What yeah, about the multiple you? wives. Okay. Me la puedes repetir. I'm special. <sighs> what was that? What'd she say? Si, elegirías un hombre con tres mujeres... O que se cogería quien quiera. Tres esposa. Tres mujeres. Tres o cogerse las que le dé la gana. Dos opciones. ¿Cuál, que, cuál querrías? Ay, puta. Se la pusiste complicada. ¿Just la? ¿Just la? Just la? Yeah. Y, no, she said, son of a bitch. Ah, oh, ok. <laughs> puta la madre. She said, motherfucker. Yeah. Right. What would For you Columbia choose? Is different. Yeah. Oh, what was that? Angie, what did she pick? So, she hasn't. No sé, está complicado. She said no. One of because the two. las dos le estás traicionando mi lealtad. Ooh, can we speed up on the special? Oh. Telemundo. <laughs> right, Three you? wives. Three wives? For sure, yes. What about you? Um, well, he might give those wives more money than you. <laughs> it's got to be equal. That's the whole law is that it's yeah, equal. Yeah, it has one. to be equal, yes. All right, what about you? I don't know. I don't one. like any of them. Gotta choose yeah. one. If you had to pick one of them. Probably people. the whores. Because okay. then it's just for sex. Okay. All right. What about you? Dairy Queen. <clears throat> I guess three wives. Three wives? Yeah. Why three wives over the sluts? Just because it's fewer women. And like... That but means... you have to split your resources with those three women now. Sorry? You have to split those res the resources with those three other wives. I guess, yeah. But I wouldn't want my man... But the thousand random whores. Okay. Like, there's All always right. a risk of STDs and just. Yeah. Okay. Speak what about you? <clears throat> Speak for yourself. Three wives. Three wives. Okay. What about you? A thousand whores. Hopefully, they're not that disgusting, though. <laughs> no, they're, they're the worst. They're the bottom of the barrel. It's I'll a thousand American women. Okay. There's going to be at least 333 disgusting. I'll be happier alone, All I right. think. What about you? Uh, Dodge. A bunch of hoes or three wives? I guess maybe the thousand whores because I wouldn't know about them. We would never hear about them again. It's all just for fun. No, a thousand whores, you're way more likely to hear about it. It's going to come back. It's a small, it's a city. But then it? it's like the three wives. It's like, I'd rather like the risk how she's saying, like, I'd rather him get the wives pregnant instead of some random whore that pops up and they're like, hey, I'm pregnant. Like, there you okay. go. You know, so, so you, I guess the three wives. three wives. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. That's Myron, telling. The answer is, is see, we're seeing there's less reluctance with the wives thing. Doing it the halal way. Islam always <laughs> wins. Go. Islam is always the answer. And instead of investing yourself in all these random women that you don't care about, having some sort of emotional connection and exercising polygamy in the Islamic way is the way to go. Your whole angle is to do that. Faggot. Classic <laughs> Muslim W. Alhamdulillah. That's the way to go. All right, man. I guess that makes right. sense. Yeah. Uh, Mashallah in the chat. See, that, that's what I'm saying, man. Alhamdulillah. Okay, okay, bro. <laughs> Shout out to you, Sigo. All right, let's hit uh, a couple of these rumble. I think there's just generally some people that are incapable of having like emotional sex. Like there are some people that are only capable of d 
detached forms of intimacy, like women it be physical or Agreed. men and women. You think, you think men women? and women. I don't yeah. think it's it's not limited. So it's to not gender. subject yet to specific no. genders. It's, I don't. I don't think most most women can do that. I, to be honest. I it will, but that's because you're experiencing it from a men's point of view. Women could say the same thing about men because we're having the same experience, just with the opposite. So gender. you you basically have a lot of sex <clears throat> with detached emotions. Yeah. But you're a porn star, so you look at it different, though. But even in my personal life, like I feel life, like when, when you're I'm having sex, with... you're looking at it as a job versus. But even when in my personal life, job. It's so in your still personal different. life, you have detached emotion to your sex. Yeah. If I and what kind what kind of situations are this? You're <laughs> That's what. No, I literally been trying to figure that's it out. What I was like, what kind of are those? God. Are you like, serious right why. now? What, what kind of situations so are those? Like in your in your your of everyday life? Detached sex. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's more so like. Um, at my point in life, I'm not really looking for a boyfriend. So like. I make it very so you go clear. So you go get a nut. Is that what you say? That's different. <laughs> because of my job, I also am very careful about the people who I do have sex with. So although it may not be emotionally attached, I still have to make sure that what I'm doing is not going to jeopardize my money. So here I am. I may meet somebody and we might kick it off. Okay, so here's what I do for my work. I'm not looking for anything serious, but I'm going to let you know that I do still want to have a friends with benefits type of situation, but that also has to come with clear communication. I can have detached sex with you and still be able to be your friend or have a normal conversation and not like we don't have to be together for me okay. to be able to I have do a follow-up that. question after this, but let me just get to everybody. So you do you think uh, a girl having detached sex makes her a 304? I mean, the word being able to do detached it? sex, you could be desensitized sexually for a million different reasons. Okay. But then just having, like, men get their nut off all the time. Like, there's ladies, a time ladies, you ladies, wanna... ladies, ladies, ladies. Stop comparing I was like, I was to just men. I'm sentence. asking this question strictly from the female perspective. I'd be happy to entertain the male perspective yeah. after the fact. No, but I was going to follow it up question. with the female perspective. All I was going to okay. say is the same way a man wants to get their nut, a girl can want to go get her nut. There's so going to be the time we do love making. Yeah. Okay. What about you? I ain't gonna fly. Definitely a hoe. But... Okay. You think it? You, you think that makes him a hoe? Yeah. Okay. Don't be shy. Tell the mic, man. Tell him what's yeah. up. <laughs> why? Why? Why so? It's not that I like feel you a hoe. Mm. It just feel like. You shouldn't be sleeping around with a lot of people and expecting to have a serious relationship with a guy and have a guy to take you seriously. Okay. Because when they do it, you don't like it. So why would you want to expect to go sleep with a hundred people and then expect him to come back with one body? Like, it ain't gonna work that way. You as a hoe. Like, okay. Not against someone. <laughs> what about you? Do you think detached sex? If a woman's capable of having detached sex, that makes her a hoe. I think if it's often, then yeah, it does kind of make her a hoe. Often. Okay. What is often for you then? Uh, all the time. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you give us a numerical? You're an accountant. Can you give us a numerical uh, definition of that? Um, I guess if it's constant, if it's every time the like woman if has it's sex, the then yeah. If it's if it's <laughs> just if a it, yes, man. Uh, I guess it, it could make her go. Yeah, there's okay. no potential. For you, I know you're outspoken on this. You said no, right? <laughs> no. Okay. Why no? Um, because I think it's, it's ignorant to say that a woman has to have emotion to be able to have sex with somebody. I think that there are many situations, like she has stated, that somebody could be emotionally detached sexually. Okay. Um, which that may not necessarily even be like your fault that you react to sex that way. It's okay. just that it's hard for you to connect that way in general. So when you're having that. Do you think a majority of, of women uh, can have detached, uh, detached sex like that, though? I, I, can't, not I all, can't speak for the majority because it's very subject to person. Like it, it that's just. I mean, if I lined up one hundred women, if I lined up one hundred average women, I couldn't women. tell you how those women live their life every day. So I couldn't tell you what what circumstances they've been in that would make them possibly feel like they could have detached sex. I could tell you that the majority of women that I meet, it is not something that has to be. I have to be sexually or I have to be emotionally attached to you to be able to provide myself so sexually. So we for can you. say in your profession itself, the women in that category will have sex that is detached because of their line of work, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So can I add something? Yeah. I feel like not to be misogynistic, but I feel like majority of women are quote unquote sluts. It's just who's honest about it. Exactly. Like all these bitches. You're either a slut in the open. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. This is facts. You know, undercover is better than 
you know. <laughs> but, okay. undercover, but undercover means that now I'm lying to you. Now I'm creating more situations when I could just be upfront and honest and no most one's feelings get Most girls are not like hurt. you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Most girls are not like you. But that goes with most, most girls men are not. Are not having that, but that most conversation men, with a man. Right. But that's also has to most do. Most girls are undercover hoes. I would say. I, I, I'm not I disagreeing say with you. 80, I'm 90, not disagreeing you with yeah. you. I'm disagreeing with the statement that it's better to be an undercover hoe. I that creates a whole lot of more problems with the people that I'm messing around with, as well as that also creates a question for safety. Are you having safe sex now? Because now I don't know who you're hooking up with or what they're doing. And so now I have to question whether I can even have safe sex with you. Lying so never being the exactly right. being uh, an under yeah. Real go ahead. quick, let me uh, get to the rest of the people. Um, what about you? Do you think having being able to have detached sex as a woman makes you a hoe? I wouldn't say it necessarily makes you a hoe. I think it just depends on whether you like you can start off having sex with somebody and it just be friends. But the more you spend time with each other, like you could possibly develop feelings or you could not. But if you want to fuck them as friends, that sh- like someone said, like that should be a mutual well, agreement. Well, wouldn't it be fair to say that by becoming a friend, you're building attachment to some degree? I mean, you guys can still be friends, though. Like, it's not like there's no expectations, like relationship expectations. But That's there's still, still some level in. of investment, though, right? If you're being friends with there's someone. There's a level of inv- investment, but do you want to invest in your sex life, yes or no? Do you want to have sex, yes or no? Like, that's really up to you. All right, what about you? Do you think... Um, Women having detached sex makes them hoes? Yeah, I'll say yes. yes? Because Why do you say um that? I feel like we should just look at it based upon the definition of what a hoe is. A hoe is having sex with multiple people. And if you can have detached sex with multiple people, you are a hoe. Now if you want to make it a positive or a negative, that's on you. Some people feel like being a hoe is a positive thing. Some people feel like being a hoe is a negative thing. But at the end of the day, the definition of a hoe is having sex with multiple people. Okay. So if you're having sex with multiple people Now let me ask you this and I'll I guess and I'll start this here and then go back around and then I know you guys want to talk about the male perspective. Um do you think a woman having detached sex is a learned behavior or a natural behavior? I feel like it's a learned behavior just because of the simple fact that females, we have sex because we have, like, you have to have that. Attachment? Not even that attachment. You have to have that comfort in someone. Like, you're not going to open your legs to someone where you feel uncomfortable with. Yeah. That's why we have the ability to say yes or no. Uh That's why that that word is given to us. You all don't have that ability. You Uh all have to ask for that. Okay. So... We All have right. to say yes or no. So it's, it's so, okay. so, good point. So to you, it's a learned behavior. What about yeah. you? Do you think it's a learned behavior being able to have detached sex or it's a natural thing that women can just do? I think back to what someone said earlier, like you could be into sex and then something could happen to you to make you detach from sex. What like, could that be? Rape. Okay. Like if you okay. get sexually assaulted, you you can literally not want to ever do that again in your life because you're so traumatized from the experience well, but wouldn't that the but, argument be that that would be a learned behavior from a traumatic experience that yeah. i mean yeah. i guess yeah, more so that's, that's more that's, so that's, what I'm, that's the question i'm asking i'm not asking it, it you know how it's done i'm asking is detached sex for women a learned behavior or a natural behavior i think it could be either or i think people could just not want to be in that state either like people like all right how about this example, the majority of women if i line up 100 women yeah, and they're hoes. Learned or natural, or they're or they're promiscuous. Do you think their I ability think to have learned, detached sex? It could be learned because you're also surrounding yourself by that. So that's what you're learning from. So you're gonna go based off what you're surrounding yourself by. All right. What about you? Do you think it's a learned behavior or a natural behavior by women? I think it's neither. I think it's a choice. It's not necessarily like it just comes naturally to be able to have sex and not be attached. But as well as just because you've been through a traumatic experience. And now it affects you a certain way doesn't mean as well that it's a learned thing. That is a physical thing in your brain. That's a PTSD trauma experience. It's natural. But, well, that isn't, it's not a natural uh, occurrence that caused it, though. You know, it's a natural way for our brains to react. But the way that it happened, the reason why we got there was very much not natural. Yeah, but that's what we didn't learn to react. But we also didn't learn to react. But it's an adaptation to an experience, which means by definition it's learned. Yeah, it's but it's not because I didn't learn. I didn't say, oh, OK, so because this happened to me, I react. I'm going to start reacting this way to sex or I'm going to switch my position on how I feel about sex. It's more so like because this has happened to me, I'm now realizing that my feelings and my attachment towards it has changed due to chemical things inside of my brain causing me to react this way to it now. And you can learn from those what your triggers are and stuff like that. It's a learned behavior from experience. Yeah. Yeah. You're confirming what he just said. Yeah, your argument is basically that it's a learned behavior. 
You might not I, like the fra- the way I'm phrasing it, but yeah, you're that's what, what I'm you're saying. you're literally saying it's a learned that? behavior by your own explanation. <laughs> Can I say something? Yeah. Because I feel like that's that's probably the problem. I feel like it's probably how they're asking it is what's making us triggered so much to feel like they're attacking us. But at the end of the day, a word is a word. A word has a definition, and a learned behavior is not something that you automatically have. When you're born as a baby, you don't have this trigger to where, like, if someone, I know what's going to happen. If somebody rapes me, I'm going to immediately act like this. So once, oh. shut up. <laughs> but but once that happens, that's a learned behavior. So I think it's probably just how he's saying it, but at the end of the day, it's a learned behavior. I, I mean, think, if, if you want to say it's not a learned behavior, that's fine. I'll put it. It's not a I learned don't behavior. Think but I, I think but, it's a choice. But I think the learn saying. Okay, go ahead. No, I mean, <laughs> but what? How could it be a choice then? Because it, you're taking all of the knowledge of everything that you've been through, and you're deciding on whether or not oh, you knowledge. want something. That means you learn something, right? <laughs> okay, but a PTSD traumatic ex- uh, something that you cannot handle on how you react to is not a learned experience. That is something that was brought on to you. That is how your body reacts without you having to think about certain things. Learning. Hold on, you just said it was a choice, right? <laughs> choice means you're to making have the choice. Uh, emotional. You're lucid. Sex. You're able yes, to make absolutely. the decision, which means you're, it's a choice. To have emotional sex, yes. No, 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 emotionless no. sex. Sorry. Hell, you talking about, <laughs> Bruh. Yo, you've contradicted yourself a few times from your from your point. You're, you're a teacher, right? A uh, preschool teacher, yeah. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> You're saying it's not a learned behavior, Yo. but then you're no, going but back and saying, saying it's a choice. But if it's a choice, emotions, that means though. that that choice but... was predicated based on some type of um, back on some kind of experience, which means it's is literally learned. Because you're making the choice from some base of knowledge. And if you have knowledge, that means you learn something. Which I why I'm saying it's a choice. No, but... But I'm saying a PTSD... Uh, um, PTSD reaction, I feel like yes, natural, is not, though, so I feel like it could be... That's not or... learned, is what I'm saying. It's, it is a reaction from your body that's natural. It's a it's learned, learned response to something that occurred to you and it's an adaptation. I feel like, I, okay, right. I feel Large, like something large, that's learned w. is something that I have knowledge of, like getting taught my thing. one, two, threes. Is it learning that's natural? A, learning from your environment is pretty natural. So I feel like it's like both. <sighs> you know? I say both, like, I don't know. All right. Oh, wait, she takes preschool? Kids? Yeah. Yes, Chris. <laughs> All right, what about you? Do you yes, think a woman having detached sex as a learned behavior or natural well, in general? I think sex is biological. And I think if a woman is having detached sex, um, she's it's probably a out of necessity. She's a hoe. No. Out of necessity? 100%. Okay. Yeah, maybe she needs to do it for a living. Okay. Maybe she doesn't have any way to... <laughs> Make any hole. other, you know, maybe <laughs> she doesn't have a way to make money or she, it's a last resort. Okay. So not is, it a, is it a no, learned yeah, behavior? Some everybody. people like it. Is, 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 is that, an, since it's out of necessity, is it a learned behavior from the necessity to do it to help kind of cope with it? Or is it natural that women can just have sex and be detached? Well, maybe it's natural because men are naturally stronger than women and maybe women naturally have a sexual um a uh, position that's kind of the 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 you know the yin and the yang the the way to make things equal if men are physically stronger than maybe women have that a sexual um submissive yes so maybe. you think women are naturally detached from sex no i don't think so okay no. so it's a learned behavior then okay I think so. <laughs> is, it, is it a learn? I don't know. Logic. I <laughs> Not the building, bro. Yeah, I it, promise you, is bro. Is it a yeah. learned behavior? That's what I'm asking a, you. Is... Do you think a woman being able to have detached sex is a learned behavior or it's natural? I guess it's learned behavior, yeah. Okay. What about you? Learned behavior or natural? Learned. Okay. What about you? I feel like it's so situational. Like, some girls, like, the life they went through made them into hoes. Some girls have been, like, just always slutty. Like some people became sluts later on. Like it's so like you know. Hold on. So when there's that be, like the innate whore, just and with there's her, the whore. just like with her. <laughs> if they went through experiences and they're able to adapt to it, wouldn't that make it mean that it's a but learned behavior? But what if behavior? you were a slut before nothing happened to you? But then shit happened to you. But no. you're always a slut. Do you think a, a majority of women are naturally sluts? No. So then, wouldn't it be fair to say that most of the time it's a learned behavior? Yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> on paper, how can it be a slut without experience? Exactly. So it's kind of like. Well, I mean, sex. when I said experience, I mean like a negative sexual experience. Like, like some girls become sluts after like some unconsensual or assault or whatever. Some girls have been sluts, and then you but, know certain things will make them more. And that's still one learn, or the other. Learn behavior. 
Yeah, but I was just saying there are innate sluts. So I was gonna. We just don't like the word. That's the problem. It's the word that you're using, which mind. is making people like, no, we're not sluts and hoes. You, you can claim like, a word, though. I'm a I'm slut. A, I was going to say, sure. I'm a slut. I'm, yeah. I'm a whole 110% all the way. Well, trust Wait. me, we know. Hey, you teach kids? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, what about you? you? Do you think well. it's a learned behavior or natural kids. within women? Um, I think it's learned, but I also think you have a choice. Even though you've learned something, you mm. can still choose to not or yeah. to do it. Okay. Okay, so learned. What about you? Yeah, I would say it's learned. Learned. What about you? Did you learn to be a, a scripper? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? I definitely think it's learned, but I mean, you could you could argue like n nurture versus nature, and say that there are some people that are just more like hypersexual than others. But at the same time, like there's a lot of circumstances and like situations and conditions that tend to bring that out in some people more than others. Uh, Fredo, what's your thoughts on this? Definitely think it's learned. I think this whole that, detached sex uh, and learned behavior, etc. Yeah, I think that um, women who have detached sex are hoes. Yeah. To be honest, uh, I don't feel like it's something that is like it's natural. I don't think you come out your your mom's womb a fucking hoe. Mm -hmm. I think like if you're a, <laughs> if you're a hoe, you probably seen some hoe shit. You turn into a fucking hoe, and now you're a hoe. Um, Even uh, if you do it one time. What do you mean one time? Like, like say one time, like say you did have something happen to you, but you don't decide to have I feel sex like, continually. See, that's what I wanted to say something on that. If and something then, happened to a girl, I think nine times out of ten, if it's a, like a traumatic art experience, mm -hmm. they're gonna they're gonna want to be with a man that they're comfortable with. It's yeah. not gonna be okay. You know okay. What I'm saying? They're okay. not gonna just keep okay. fucking around just so because they be just got hard. No, they will though. No, they will. Some people, but that has to be with your psychology and the way that usually things affect people. Like you said, become hyper or hypersexual after. Thank you. One mic at a time. Somebody was saying something. Go ahead. That I feel really like common. like it's literally like a psychology thing. It's hypersexuality mm -hmm. and sexual repulsion. And girls can go down one road, the other road, go back and forth. Me myself, I've been there. I've been, you know, you had that sexually earlier. Go really repulse and then be a fucking whore. Like it's like sexuality is so fluid and that's not just like when I say that, that doesn't just mean like sexual orientation. That just means a relationship to sex. No, Absolutely. Um you okay. have some uh, okay. uh, 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 then I can I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be honest with it, man. I mean, honestly speaking, if you got R worded, that sucks. It's not cool at all. But it's still a choice. And if you decide to be a hoe, that's still on you. Yeah, but I don't think it's negative. Like, for me, I feel like my hoe experiences have made me feel more comfortable in myself because a lot of my early experiences weren't consensual. So being able to do a bunch of shit that was my choice, me personally, it made me feel good. That's not every girl. Some people go have that hoe okay. face and hate that they did that. What made you feel good? What made you yeah, feel good about it? Taking control over the situation. Getting vocal because I used to never get my nut. Now I got vocal. I'll tell a man, this is sucks. You're not fucking me good. Eat pussy. Like, you know, and then you have a better experience. <laughs> like, so I'm glad. Pussy. That's different for everybody. Yo, you learn your body. Well. You learn your body. I you don't know, know, you know, get yourself off. Exactly. No, I have a question. Most girls though. don't know your relationship. Pussy. Um, not all right. Okay. No, so, yeah. Please. Like, you, we Sugar. fake it. Too much. Too fine. much. Men need to not think that they're as good as they are in bed. All right. Um. I, I guess I'll just address, because you guys kept bringing up men and everything, and I'll just kind of tie everything together. But did you want to say something before I say this? Yeah, I Go wanted ahead. to know why exactly did you start having sex after that? Like, why, that second time after you had that experience, why did you decide to have sex and just that detachment sex? I feel like, March. so it was weird, like... I kind of have to get into it to make sense. Like the first. No, well, I want to first I mean, say I, yeah. I do. A, I'm so sorry that happened to you. I yes. really want to say like I really feel that that happened to you. But I do want to know. It happens to so many of us. I feel like. And, yeah. It just I was gonna cope. say it happens to so many yeah. people in the sex industry. Like yeah. I feel like because I was like it was kind of a grooming situation. I was a lot younger. I got to the age and I was like, wait, you're a fucking weirdo. And then I feel like I just started fucking everybody. But that was me. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It wasn't thought. That was like mindless. Looking. So you I, wanted to have sex. You yeah. wanted to. She belongs to the streets. Okay. Personally, okay. with my own experience after the I, I, sorry, after those things had happened to me, I actually became like I didn't have sex for like two years. Like I didn't let mm -hmm. anyone touch me at all. And then I went from that to being a porn star. So Damn. it again has to do <laughs> that was a with like it has to do with just how you choose to move forward with the situation. Like I can either let it take me down completely and now okay now i'm never gonna trust anybody to have sex again unless i build and have all of that effort put into having a good relationship and stuff like that or i can just surround myself with better people that i know i can trust that won't take advantage of me in that way okay. and then i'm building a connection with them as a friend i am that comfortability is there 
and I can't have that sex with still feel, feeling comfortable, okay. still getting okay. my nut off. Okay, this is we, therapy. Who's can, next? Can, can, <laughs> can I? Um, I'm making this shit up. I was yeah. going to ask something, then okay. I forgot it. You had a point, Myron? Uh, did you have something that you wanted to say? You I said kind you of spaced it. I need three seconds. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> This this is sad, man. Yeah, yeah. I just I guess I'll, just, you know, I'll, I'll give my take on this because a lot of you guys were trying to compare it to men, so I'll, I'll just make it simple, right? Ooh, oh, Go sorry. ahead. Go my ahead, bad. Fine. I was gonna say I feel like also the whole phase of women, it's like a full circle because, like, I think a lot of guys like you know gonna say like type people in the chat like that we can't go and fuck like that because we don't get the same satisfaction, which is honestly true. So I feel like okay. most women who had an actual hoe phase circle back around to not having a bunch of like. Random sex. Ain't it's no not circle fulfilling. back. Once you go a hoe, you forever a hoe. You can't, yeah, you can't not, spin I the block on that. I don't deny that face. <laughs> I never lie to a man and be like, my body counts six. Like, Do you know you what your body what you count did. is? No. You don't know? Okay. Is it a triple circle. digits? I don't think so. <laughs> I think so. They're creeping up. All right. Um, so I think the, the best way to, to answer this is uh, because you guys had mentioned men a few times, trying to compare men to women. I think if you got to look at it from a biological standpoint, right? So like what does sex do? Create children, right? Yes. Could we all agree that That's it creates children? Okay. How many children can a woman bring to term per year? I don't know. Um, without doing damage to your body, one. Because your one. body needs time to heal or and maybe everything a twin like or that triplets, But in general, one, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah, there's now, no how number. many children can a man bring to term per year? Too many. Too many. Oh, yeah. He could bust multiple nuts a day with multiple women, right? Yeah. But we're overpopulated, can... so wouldn't that mean the please, other way please around? Please, please stay focused on the example <laughs> I'm trying to give here. Because I'm, I'm saying all this to kind of paint a picture. So... If sex creates children, and we know that women typically can only bring one child to term, maybe two, or maybe even a triplet if she's lucky, right? But a man can bust a bunch of nuts and impregnate a bunch of women. What does that mean? Well, that directly ties with our level of being able to have detached sex. The reason why men aren't necessarily hoes for having sex with a bunch of women is because we are the whole makers. We're the ones that impregnate you guys. You guys are the ones that carry the seed for a year. So women have to be more selective on who they fuck, right? Because you can only bring one child to term per year. That's so with that said, hold on. So with that said, <laughs> women naturally are more selective on who they have sex with in general than men are. You could take the most promiscuous woman, right? You said before, you're really selective on who you have sex with, right? Because you got to make sure your money's right, blah, 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 all this other stuff, right? Even you as a porn star, as a promiscuous woman, you are going to be more, <clears throat> you're going to be more selective than even the most prudest of men. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So a guy that's not a horn dog is still going to have sex with more women or majority women, whereas you won't. Even With though you're no a very promiscuous woman. Right. So what I'm trying to establish here is that for a woman to have detached sex, it's a learned behavior because women are naturally selective on who they have sex with. But I feel that's like that's a biological reality. But that's also assuming that everyone's fucking to have a kid. No, I feel like you should just okay. say that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. But okay, that's the same argument as you're eating candy to sustain yourself. The reality is you're eating candy because you enjoy it, right? But do you really need it to sustain yourself? No, people eat food for, for happiness, right? They right. eat it for pleasure. Same thing now. People have sex, right? for pleasure now, but the base root is for children. And that's why we still engage in certain practices and we look for the opposite gender. Even though you're not gonna have a kid with a guy, you still want a guy that's tall, you still want a guy that's money, you still want a guy that's charming, you still look for these protector and provider instincts in the man, right? Yeah. Even though you're not gonna have children with him. You gotta remember that we're still instinctualized to believe that we can have kids from having sex. So when we meet our partner, we want them to be able to bear the, our child in a healthy manner. That's why men look for younger women, women look for taller men, stronger men, guys that have money, all these shit. So, what I'm trying to say is that biology, a lot of the times, doesn't adhere to modern conventions. We have birth control and shit, but women are still selective. So what I'm trying to say is that women are naturally more selective. So it's, it's not, it's a learned behavior for a woman to be a whore. It is I because mean, you have to be able choice. to, you have to be able to get rid of attachment from men that's required for you to have sex with them in the first place. And the only women that I've seen that are able to effectively do that are women that are professionally promiscuous. Porn stars, strippers, OnlyFans, girls, etc. No offense. That's why she's the most overly confident one about it. Like out of any girl here at the table, like she stands on that whole shit. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, <laughs> and just, yeah. she, it's it's yeah. only yeah. her. Like yeah. she's standing on that shit. Yeah. Maybe and her too. Yeah. She <laughs> her too yeah. But, like, but it know, is a minority of women that can actually have detached sex. Most women want some kind of investment from a sexual partner. They want them to take her on a date. They want to feel special. They but want to be wined and dined. That's a double standard though too because men expect that, I, okay, well I have this bitch that I'm fucking so because I'm fucking her I can still go out and fuck whoever I want but you have to stay true to me and loyal to me when like, that's a that's... very fair double standard. Oh, how? It's very I'm sorry. fair. 
Yeah, because so women he's agreeing with you. The, no, 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 oh, no, 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 no Oh, th I think that's very equal. What do you mean, like, talk mm -hmm. to, like, converse, or, well, like... Well, a lot of girls said here, cheating is talking to another girl. Well, like, so Friends? talking to his co-worker, that's cheat, like... No, nah, like... That, that, that counts as oh, talking to another girl? If yeah, like, to his co yeah, or, yeah, like, what? talking to another woman with the, I guess, um, intention, as she stated earlier, of maybe potential courtship. So, basically, he's saying, in a nutshell, if you have your Instagram, right, what happens? Mm -hmm. Guys damn you. So, in reverse, if a guy is texting other girls, he has to reach out first. Mm -hmm. So if you really care about your man, you want to make it equal, don't you have, Instagram. have Instagram. You wouldn't have your Instagram up, especially yeah. like with pictures of yourself all over the place and open. No, because the equivalent would be you messaging him back. Yeah. Right. right. No, no, right. Right. We can't talk yeah. to yeah. Yeah. Having an Instagram is not yeah. like conversing with but these guys. But guys talk to women in the gas station. Like, so a guy will talk to you. A guy will talk. Some guys will talk to any any woman they see. Thank you. Hold on. You just made it stronger. So tell me this. If you're gonna hit on no matter what you do, wouldn't it make sense to mitigate risk? Yes, mm. I agree. No. Oh, I agree with that. So having your Instagram up only heightens the issue. Depending yep. on like, really. depending yeah, on with the content. If I'm just posting things to promote our business or things like I'm not even on it, that's on. different. Are you ladies aware that as an average girl with maybe 100 to 200 followers, you have more pull on Instagram and social media than a celebrity? Are you guys aware of that? Yeah, no, I wasn't aware. <laughs> Okay, but that's like saying if I don't have IG, you can't have IG. Well, a woman having Instagram is not the equal to a man of having an Instagram. Why? Yeah. Because you can just put pictures up and get attention from the opposite gender. And you could DM me while I'm posting pictures. But I have to make but I have to make I have to make an effort as a man. So women spit game by making themselves available. Men spit game by talking to the available women. Okay, right. but there's multiple women that don't even open the request. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Still, doesn't still, because you got mad. You said before it's it, well, not you, but some of the girls here said talking to another girl is cheating. And I would argue having your Instagram open and available so that other men can message you is the equivalent. We can't use the same rules for men and women because so, men and women are not the same. So it's not fair men. saying yeah. we can both come to an agreement and get both of our IGs out the way if that's the issue. Because there's certain relationships where Instagram is not a problem. You get me? So it's like it. I just feel like it's not. It's not equal. It's not like are men and women out. equal? No, no. Okay. But... So wouldn't it be fair to say that there's different standards for the two genders since we're not equal? Yeah, but talking okay. to a girl and then deactivating your whole Instagram, I don't see it as like. <clears throat> see, you don't see it that way because you're not a man and you don't understand the male perspective. But here's the thing: men have to go out there and talk to girls and attract girls. Correct? Okay, so what if women it's... don't? Okay, so let's say my nigga, my nigga has his Instagram up. Girls DM him, girls comment under his stuff. Not to the same extent as you would get at all. Not even close. Okay, so if he was to tell me, delete your Instagram because so, so, and so, I would be wrong if I felt the same way? Yes, to a degree, because your Instagram is going to have way more gravitational pull than his. Way you, more. You could post one bikini pic, right? And get maybe like 10, 20 DMs. He could post one shirtless pic. Make us some gay guys in his DMs. <laughs> it's totally different. You it's can't the control same. the reaction that people have to your post. I but, feel like... but you can control what you post. Exactly. No, but like, why would I do that? So, I'm worried about the intentions of other people. Why should I be worried about the intentions of other people? If okay, I so then why are you them? worried about the intentions of your boyfriend messaging, messaging another girl? Because that's, that's my boyfriend. That's cheating. That's oh, cheating. Well, well, I, that, that's cheating. You're my girlfriend. Why I'm you got your ass all over the place? I'm an incentive for <laughs> men to text me. See, here's a problem. This, this, this argument has just proven one thing, and I've always said this about females. Girls want to be able to reserve the right to replace you at other time while simultaneously acting and while simultaneously having you as a boyfriend in the back. And my thing is I tell guys not to tolerate that. If you're my girl, you need to act like my girl and act accordingly. I don't want you putting yourself with a for sale sign on your neck when I'm the man. See, that's your opinion. You just see that as that, a for sale. But if you're in a relationship, your post should be way different. It is, no, no, no. It, be it, it is because, not, because it, you know, it is because women don't market themselves the same the, Women do not market themselves the way men market themselves. Men are success objects. Women are sex objects. So a man has to reach a certain level, go out there, put his foot out there, and talk to women. Women, on the other hand, exist, make themselves available, and then approach them. I argue if you make yourself available as a woman, 
That is the functional equivalent of cheating because women aren't the ones courting and approaching men. Men are the ones courting and approaching women. So when you make yourself available, that is cheating. Ladies, real quick. If your man is dating you, right? You guys are full-time serious. Can you have Tinder? No. No. No, no right? No. No, no, no. Okay, no. question for you. What is the number one dating app right now in America? Definitely Tinder. Tinder. Is it, what is it? Instagram? Instagram. Oh, really? so yeah, that's oh wow. Imagine, right? You can say to yourself, oh, you know what, babe? I got for Instagram. You could um not match his girls. It's it's the same thing. You have Tinder right now, and he doesn't have Tinder. That's not, it's, it's, not on steroids. it's not fair. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all have Tinder on I, steroids. I, I, on steroids. And I mean, because, Instagram can be used to make money. You might, you might say, oh, for other, it's just other things. A, a, a you can't make money on Tinder, so why would you have it? Huh? Actually, it's you can't a dating make some money on Tinder. But... Yeah, you can. But yeah, if Instagram is the highest dating app, then why can guys have it? Then I think Once it's again, still back to like, you guys both shouldn't have it. When you swipe, right? And you swipe for a guy, you get a match. If I was a guy swipe on Tinder, I better get anything. It's totally different. Not even close. Like, do you, do you are you guys aware that like one in three men right now is a virgin or hasn't had sex in a year? I had no yes. idea. One in three. No. How many of y'all haven't had sex in a year or is a virgin? None of y'all. Exactly. That's my point. <laughs> so like, it's not the same at all. And here's the other thing too. Like, I mean, you guys keep trying to say like, oh well, if I have my Instagram down, he better have his down. Blah blah blah. I'm over under the genuine belief that a man should should be able to have as many women as he wants, but the girl got to be close on her end. Men should be able to exercise options. She said, hell no. Men are not the same. Mm-hmm. And, so you and there's a reason for that. Them. Well, that you said you'll marry 10. Tell them I mean, here's the thing. I think if a man <coughs> works his way up, earns a certain status, earns a certain amount of money, and has worked his way to a certain point, he should be able to have as many women as he wants. But women, on the other hand, you guys are giving your value up front. Okay, so I have a question. Are you speaking on your behalf, or are you speaking on most men? This is what most men want, but can't do, unfortunately. Yeah. So that's most what guys have given the choice. Dreams. If I lined up 100 dudes... 95 of them would prefer two or three girls over one. If you told your man, if you told your man today, you know what, babe? I love you. That's sad. Huh? That's sad? Yeah, I feel like that's sad. Why? Why is that sad? Because, like, you guys are just like corny fucks. You guys don't even, like, have any feelings for you. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Stop, stop, stop. stop, stop. How about this? I think you're sad because you want a guy that's better than you in every single way. You want a guy that's more confident than you, more competent than you, taller than you, stronger than you. What if I said you were sad for wanting a superior boyfriend? Hey, you're really sad. Um... Oh, stupid, isn't it? Sounds dumb, right? For me to say that. Hold on. It sounds dumb, doesn't it? For me to negatively, you know, talk about your preferences. Yeah. I guess. Okay, so how is it okay for you to say that that's really sad that men want multiple women? That's our preference. Okay, I mean, yeah, I guess we all have our preferences, but... Wait, so it's but... not sad. It's I mean, it's sad it's for what me. Men want. Yeah, it's sad for me. I said it yeah, was bad. Yeah, yes. But it should be that way, because <laughs> you get your value up front. How old are you? 19. You're 19 years old. You could be on a yacht with billionaires tomorrow if you wanted to. I have to pay to be on that yacht. I have to be, at least become a millionaire or a billionaire to even get a chance to get invited on the yacht if they even give me a chance. Barely. Versus you, 19 years old, accomplished nothing in your life, nothing. still young, barely out of high school, and you're able to rub elbows with the elite. I have to earn my ability to be with the elite. That's why we're not the same. The queen, right? Dumb, Shout dumb, out to my dumb, boy Tate. We talk about this all the time. You play chess, right? The queen can go a million different spaces in different directions. One of the most powerful pieces on the board. But you need the king to win the game. If the king is surrounded, the game is over. But you can always replace the queen by getting a pawn to the other side. Mm-hmm. Men and women are not the same. Perfect. I had a question. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, what was going back to the, like, the Instagram question? like about A man having an Instagram is not the same as a woman having an Instagram because a man has to earn his value. A woman just giving her value, which is why I think, like I said before, a guy having multiple girls is not the same as a girl having her Instagram open. But what if the woman that you're with, like, she's unattractive, like, you know, guy's not going to be in her DM or she's very modest on her Instagram, like she's maybe full, you know, religious beliefs, like, you know, what would be the difference if, you know, my woman is probably not getting DMs on her Instagram? Like, why can't she just keep it open if, you know, like, she's not really getting hit Again, up? I always say it's up to the guy. Right. The guy, whatever the guy wants to tell her is one thing, but I think the man should have the authority over how his girl presents herself to the world. Okay, yes. I I, that's that. that's my thing. So, but I know, generally speaking, most men don't want their girl sexualizing herself on the of internet. Of course. Yes. Most guys don't. No yeah. sexualization. Yeah. But, but I, that's I mean, what most girls do, though. Yeah, yeah I think so. Which We're bad on touch anyway. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay, guys, so this is Rolo's tweet, so I'm going to read it real quick for y'all. Uh, the quickest ha- path to becoming a high-value man, number one, do not get married. Number two, avoid family creation. Number three, vasectomy in your 20s. Oh. Number four, live consistently. Number five, eliminate all sedations. 
Number six, learn game and networking. Number seven, play to your strengths and build wealth. Mm -hmm. And then number eight, resist easing up on your focus. Um, so I guess I'll turn it to um, Roll. Do you want to? Sure. Guess, okay. So I, I think we have already established the fact that uh, to be a high value man, we, we have a sort of a convention, at least somewhat of a conventional definition of that right now. Now, how long would it take the average guy to achieve what we would in some way say, this is what makes you a high value guy. The hundred, I mean, it doesn't have to be the $120,000, but like the equi the functional evaluated equivalent of that. I think it takes longer for men well, yeah, for sure. to get to, to be, to reach maturity and to reach a point of where they get their maximum to, they can maximize their potential. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, let's stick to the so, science. Cause that's what he wanted. Number mm -hmm. one, you, we had Richard Reeves on and he talked about men, boys being one or two years behind women, as far as development is concerned. Mm -hmm. And also from the book, data men reaching their, a peak, their sexual peak mm -hmm. around or uh, attractiveness peak around the age of 38 to 43, somewhere mm -hmm. in that area. Yeah. So that's so, what that's that's science behind what you're saying. Okay. It would take longer so, for men. So, but my point being is this: is that, uh, I, and I'll reiterate this one more time. The reason why I put this out there is because I watched you guys with uh, Derek Moneyberg, and I think it was uh, Brandon Carter. Brandon Carter, who was on here, and Brandon Carter. Of, I'm I'm really impressed with Brandon Carter. I I think he's funny. He's a great guy. Um, but his sort of outlook on life is to maximize his efficiency, his potential. So it's. Uh, he doesn't go to the grocery store. He doesn't own a car. He doesn't, uh, you know, he, the, the things that would take him away from staying on his grind, I mean, to the extreme. And now, this is an extreme that I would not do, clearly, because I have a wife of 27 years. I have a daughter of 25 years. I, I am who I am. I do, I do what I you do. Have a car. Right? So I have a car. Yeah, I actually have a two hours, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, I do have a car. So, um, so clearly, I'm, this is not about me. This is the most over-the-top, absurd, extreme you example. You also have a kid. I, I think also, that's what we all should point exactly. that out. Exactly. So, so, Carter. so to, who's Brandon Carter? The guy you're talking about. You don't know Brandon you Carter. You know Brandon Carter? Really? really You've been on the show with no, Brandon No, 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 no. He said he has a kid. He was just saying he has a kid. Oh, oh, he, oh, oh, he, he also, oh, Brandon also, also has a kid. Yeah. Yes, yes, I understand. Sorry. Um, but the, um, the idea is this, is that the most over the top, like what are you willing to sacrifice to get to the point so that you can get to that state of being a high value male, mm -hmm. right? So by the way, when I'm putting out the idea of a vasectomy, okay, keep it, keep it coming. Cause I love, I love that one. But um, if there was, if there was a, uh, a male birth control pill, I probably would have put that in there as well. Because what the, that, that one section in there was meant to say is that be aware of like when the sperm leaves your body, you lose all power over like over paternity and children and everything else. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things that really slows guys down. It keeps it's a uh, it's a hindrance right, to becoming to, to getting up to to becoming a high value guy. So family creation. I'm not saying you should do these things, but if you want to get to the quickest way to to doing those things, because it takes longer for men to mature into their peak potential, then these are the sacrifices that you're going to have to make to get to it as fast as you possibly can. Okay. I feel yes. like um, <clears throat> Sneeko is probably going to uh, take off from this because I'm when, when I came into these spaces. So this is kind of a question that I had, and I, I think I fought with um, Fresh and Fit. I think a lot on our first couple episodes, trying to, trying to figure out like. Um, what what are you guys advocating for? So when I would bring up like Andrew Tate tweets and Bugattis and all that shit, mm -hmm. a lot of the times um, these two clowns would tell me, they'd say, oh, this stuff's just a proxy for uh, success. You know, you don't actually mm -hmm. need the Bugatti. You need the ability to buy the Bugatti. You don't need to travel the world. You need to be, have freedom, you know, mm -hmm. and all these things. So He's lucky we're moderating. Yeah, yeah man. So it, seems like, so it feels like, uh, <laughs> it, it feels like, yeah, the, the mm -hmm. goal initially wasn't to like be the richest motherfucker in the world. The goal was to have the freedom to basically do what you want. Right. And then I think the confusing part is it feels like there's this kind of schism happening right now, or it's already started to happen in the Red Pill community. We've well, got like the kind of trad people that are going in one direction. Mm -hmm. And then you've got like the grind set hustle culture that are going in the other direction. Mm -hmm. And it feels like the lightning point for this was your tweet mm -hmm. where it was like, okay, we're going to make it clear where we stand. Yeah. Get a fucking vasectomy, fuck family and do this shit. Mm -hmm. And I think that it feels like the ultimate red pillar to you guys is what this is the feeling I have. The ultimate red pillar is a guy that grinds his fucking life away. And then at 35, he's like got fucking 15 million in the bank. He's fucked 50 mm. girls. And now he's looking for like the best mom that he can find. Who's like 20, 21 years old. He's going to get with that girl. Zero one body count at the most, maybe one zero at the, at the best, right? Virgin girl gets with her, has a family. And then mm. boom, that's like his life. Whereas it feels like <laughs> on the kind of traditional side, it's like, well, 
what if you were like 24 and found a really good woman at 22 and then you had a family at 25 and you followed your career she stayed at home took care of the kids and you followed that more traditional route mm -hmm. and your tweet i think really showed the division of right. people in terms of how they felt about which of the two lifestyles Thank people you. were actually you got for. you got it yeah excellent and then Sneeko can yeah so so what do you exactly do you believe in like do you think that that is the life that you should follow because when you go to the red pill spaces that's pretty much the end route is because you're high value you got a bunch of lamborghinis you're extremely rich and we talk about competence when it comes to a high value man like i, I didn't have a, a rich dad growing up and that didn't really hinder his his competence and in fact in a lot of ways being a father will help you become more competent because other people are dependent and you're responsible for them so that will mm -hmm. make you become a, a full capable man which is i think the most important part of life it's the most important part of life is not having a bunch of hoes not fucking 50 girls mm -hmm. or getting the most amount of money possible just hustle grinding forever the most the reason that we are here is to have a family and is to create mm -hmm. and so you, you see the red pill and it's a response to feminism you see the this doomer way like like all these girls are hoes all these girls on instagram they're all mm -hmm. thoughts whatever they all belong to the streets and so the reaction to that is the red pill which is basically feminism just male feminism it's the same response we make fun of girls who say that they want to freeze their eggs and wait till they're 35 mm -hmm. and then men are given the same advice to each other saying and i know you're not saying that's advice but pretty much like if you look at the definition of advice that's what that tweet was yeah so so i think there's there's two things here we we specifically don't run around calling girls 304s and like i i, I actually have a problem with it because i hear you sometimes talk about the audience there we have to se separate the audience almost like christ christianity and the church mm -hmm. we have to separate the audience because i agree with you there's some shit that i see that people write on your streams as well where i'm like what the fuck is this man this is crazy and i don't want to be a, a, associated with it red pill is not and again i'm red pill adjacent red pill is not a, something i get a union card for that i pay dues for it's a it's an ethereal thing that just sort of exists like he calls it a praxeology mm -hmm. so the the idea that like one of the things that's happened is every time because he, he you know he calls himself the godfather of it when somebody does some stupid shit in the in the arena then it's his fault and then that then now we're gonna yeah. punch his book because now the yeah. thing is this doesn't it's just it's just a cloud but then there's a book okay now let's now now we have a physical thing to attack and now rollo has a tweet now we have a physical thing to attack and so that's part of the issue is that like now he's being held accountable for every and I'm, I, I agree with you some of the things you hear are fucking idiotic over the top yeah. right because here's an example when we when we go over the psychological studies that show that men don't have the same they don't necessarily cheat more because they have more body uh, higher body count but women do they tend to be unhappy in a relationship there's the uh institute for family studies study that we refer to all the time that's not a uh, uh, validation for cheating we're not suggesting men cheat you did you said that in the in the response thing that we i definitely do not think men should cheat because in that in that whole situation you're still lying that is a lack of integrity regardless mm -hmm. but do men have the ability to have more sexual partners early on in life i was 20 years old i'm 45 now i was 20 years old at once and there was a point in my life where i was going to ut austin and i wanted to have sex with attractive women and i didn't think about anything else except doing that that's how my my brain worked and later on did it affect me negatively i don't think it did i just don't think it had the same thing so i don't think it's a rationale for that belief mm -hmm. but the thing is what ha what happens is anytime something bad happens or somebody says something stupid it just comes back it's like now all red pillars are saying mm -hmm. this all the time and i just don't agree with that i understand what mm -hmm. you're saying here so first let me clarify one thing so i understand Should we define the red pill <laughs> No, I don't think that's going to take all yeah. yeah. Next week. Next yeah. week. Yeah. So I think the issue with Rolo's tweet, because for a lot of people, it looks like advice. And for Rolo, he feels like it wasn't advice. I, I think the reality was the disconnect is that it, that tweet was advice, but it was for advice to become a certain type of high value man that Rolo isn't saying everybody needs to become. It said the quickest. So, yeah, I think the that, quickest that way the to quickest, get to this part. It was the advice to do mm -hmm. that, but he wasn't necessarily advising you to do that, right? It would be like him tweeting out, like, if you want to become the flattest person possible, jump off a cliff. And they say, well, is that advice to jump off a cliff? Well, if you want to be the flattest person it's possible, then, but you don't have to do this thing because you don't have to be the flattest person. Statement. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Yeah. Well, and the other Which thing is, I, think... is, I mean, there's a few people who got it almost immediately. Hotep, sure. Hotep Jesus got it immediately. He did, sure. he did stream it. Uh, Jedediah Bila, while you were on with Jedediah, she got it immediately. She's like, I know Rolo. I know he's not like this. I know this is I, this is a troll. This is the, like, she no, understood I mean, that could be true, but then I also saw but you. She's familiar with my background. I, I also saw you tweet the next day, like, you were kind of making fun of the Tracon way of life to saying that you want to be out of your funeral bed with a bunch of kids around i was making i was i was saying that you would I rather was, be listening to metal in your car i was mocking, that's how you want to go i was mocking the idea of uh the this sort of pastoral kind of uh, norman rockwell uh fantasy of 
dying on your bed with like as an old man with surrounded by grandchildren and and whatever and like as if that's that like my funeral is going to beat your funeral right as as if it's like heavy metal in a car it's i I, put it this way would you rather go out would you rather go out in a blaze of glory would you rather was it better to burn out than fade away what would you rather i don't see heavy metal in your car as a blaze of glory that seems Okay, right, but, but, it's but, but isn't see, it? here's the thing: is it's over the top because I'm drawing attention to this fantasy of staying in your bed in an assisted living facility when 90 percent of people are never going to experience that. But it's a fantasy that we sell people so that we can sell them other ideologies. I, I want to consider one other thing. You remember what he said earlier? He's like, uh, one of the things you said was avoid family creation. Mm-hmm. Had I written that same tweet, what I would have said instead was, be the one who chooses when and where you have kids, and don't let like control mix, control the birth control the wow birth. imagine I mean, that from well, i understand one. yeah so but i the understand extreme example of that is a vasectomy i <laughs> sure. would not have said vasectomy but guess what mm-hmm. my tweet would not have gone viral i wish i could say vasectomy mm-hmm. on twitter all day and go fucking viral it's that's incredible. the only thing they focused so on i understand what you're saying yeah. now so um i would argue that you do pay dues to some extent to certain groups that you're a part of mm-hmm. so this is something that i noticed being relatively outside of groups myself I, I kind of watch how people move through groups and it seems like there very much is a kind of there there are a lot of groups that exist in these internet communities and you get benefits for being part of the group because you kind of inherit audiences and, and cross-pollination yeah, sure. from other people mm-hmm. and then there are sometimes shitty parts of being in the group so for instance if somebody says or does something crazy well now you're kind of on the hook for it because this motherfucker in your union just said some wild shit and mm-hmm. now you kind of have to go to bat for him um i think that something that i wholeheartedly disagree with is this idea that you can say like well you know everybody in my comment section might say this but i didn't say that or i'm just making descriptions humans never just make descriptions we never just observe things the process of choosing to observe something already requires a decision to be made right when you go into a laboratory to study medicine we're not just plugging random chemicals and random elements into a formula and see what happens we're doing something to try to figure out like well what is going to help make humans healthier what's going to be a good medication for treating a disease or whatever that's typically what we do so when we're analyzing like the red pill um it's not just a um praxeology that you called it because even i think in your first book you say like the goal is to make it so that your wife is not fucking the alpha right the reason why we observe things is so that we can take something useful from it and then go and do something with it if i had an audience and i was making certain observations and this has happened a lot where i fight with a lot of black people i notice my audience is getting a little bit racist i fight with a lot of white people i notice my audience is also getting a little racist i fight with a bunch of women they're starting hey women right i i notice that like if i do certain things my audience definitely responds to certain ways yeah, and you, you guys as well you're not racist but You're it doesn't, not, but it doesn't racist? matter okay. at the end of the day i think what matters is the impact you have on other people around you she, like if she, i go every day and i see my wife and i'm like hey what's up and it's not at the end of like six months she's like you haven't told me that you think i'm pretty like a single time yeah. and i'm thinking like okay well obviously you're pretty my fucking wife she's like well i need to hear it i can't just say like well listen here you stupid bitch obviously i think you're pretty <laughs> i don't have to say shit to you motherfucker right i was like okay i have to understand how you feel i've got to tell you that i think you're beautiful blah blah blah. i have to do that every day because that's part of like what, what really matters at the end of the day is the impact you have another person should right? you be held accountable for your the racist comments in your uh from your streamers like directly like you said them no but if you're fostering a certain type of audience i think as leaders which whether or not we want to believe it to some extent we are that's how we're treated right we're paid when somebody gives you like we'll say on one end well i don't influence my audience and then in the next breath somebody like i'll give you x thousand dollars to promote a product why are you promoting a product because if i tell you to buy it i know you will yeah right so obviously we have influence over our audience and if our audience is all heading in a certain direction i think it's important to be like hold on guys i see you guys are saying a lot of this shit maybe we need to pull it back so when you say things about like avoiding family creation you know you might say like well, I don't actually mean to avoid it. I just mean to choose when you have children. Yeah. That might be the case, but broadly in the red pill speaking, I've seen this huge push where it's like, never fucking have kids, never get married. Women are trying to steal your shit. Child support, alimony, women are coming after you. And it's like, okay, well, combine that with the vasectomy advice or the you know control your birthing advice, and it makes the relationship seem very adversarial, like you are trying to avoid having kids at all yeah. costs. That's what it feels like, I guess, from the outset. And I think that's what a lot of the followers of red pill people yeah. in comment sections, I think that's the message they would carry forward. I, I think the issue is then who's responsible because one of the issues one thing we tried rollo and i tried is our show we try to have girls on there who have master's degrees we try to have girls on there who do all different kinds of jobs and when we do we get the exact same response yeah when we had miss nevada on there miss nevada and they were like yeah she's a ran through fucking hoe and i was like what the fuck can we we do we we have women on there with masters what can we fucking do and so the thing is while i agree with you no matter what we do (laughs) this audience still exists and they still talk about it but why do they think that what do they think that about these people the the thing is because they, they want something to complain about they want something to bitch and moan about yeah but they could complain about anything right i, I they're don't compla- they're choosing to well, complain about well, these particular I, subjects i also right? don't think commenters are the uh, normal in the middle of the distribution i mm-hmm. think commenters yeah. are on the extreme ends of the distribution which is why i personally don't feel 
super responsible for some of the idiotic things that they say. So I, I do understand what you're saying. Are we fostering an echo chamber? We specifically aren't. Well, like our oh, we we. People uh, think we're, people think we're soft on the girls because constantly. we don't they think we are because so we're not soft like on the we're not like in their face too much because they're looking for blood they're looking for something that's exhilarating they're looking for Jerry Springer you know but how many people do you think saw that tweet and whether or not you call it advice saw that and mm-hmm. are now going to apply it especially because we talk about how important it is as leaders you call yourself the Godfather mm-hmm. of the Red Pill like you you kind of own this ideology and it's like you are the forefront of it. So well, I, is I think tweeting I, that a good idea? I think I put the, well, okay. First off, it was meant to provoke. That's number one. And it did. I got Matt Walsh. I got Ben Shapiro. I got Lauren Chan. I got, we wouldn't even be talking about this right now. I, I don't, they not I don't have any of those it. people retweeting my shit. That's the only thing I'm saying. Like I, I, I retweeted vasectomy five times on so, Twitter. And that, we're still it. talking about it two weeks later. It was success. It was a Can we add in what Twitter is for, by the way? What? And you yourself said so as well. If you want to go viral, you got to say the most outlandish things. So Twitter. I would say, right, but if that was really the only reason mm-hmm. that he did, then you wouldn't have gotten that debate and got so emotional about everything that happened. You would have started. You called us fucking idiots. You called us douche and also If it was just in order to, because you weren't getting it, that's why. Well, then, then you would have been rubbing your hands and be like, okay, I got the reaction I wanted. Here they are talking about so, it. Ben Shapiro, all, all these people are talking it's, about it's it. Not, not your fault, but to be fair, he did a reaction video where he said he was married for fifty years. I'm a cokehead, and Justin Waller pays for prostitutes. Damn. So that to to be fair, there was a little ad hominem attack on us that you weren't part of it, but that's probably where where some of this came from i would have taken that if i were you yeah just saying uh, yeah because you wouldn't be here for it you're fucking two hours late for that shut the fuck up i've never out to the bottom thanks moderator um so okay so going back because uh so sneaker you have some traditional conservative beliefs so you disagree with the whole vasectomy part um what is the main i guess issue with it is it because of the lack of family creation you think that's going no, to lead to the, the, so I think the, the, people, the, right? the two branching paths that i are. set up so like can't... what are you guys advocating for but like yeah. do you think if a guy could do it if a guy could be 25 at the at the head of his career starting right there about to go down his life but also pair up with a really good woman who he could have kids with and then by the time he's in his 30s he's already got like seven eight nine year old a couple children with a good wife mm-hmm. is that something you guys would push for or do you think that men should stay as far the fuck away from that as possible and wait till they hit those prime years of being like 35 so the answer would be somewhere in the middle i think it's how over time because i think social media has ruined things so much if you you know the whole thing where we talk about 33 percent of men having zero sexual partners that begins that hockey stick starts at the advent of the uh facebook app on the iphone in 2008 you can see it just shoot right up to where it was 12 percent of men or 16 percent of men with zero sexual partners and it got up to 33 so the thing is what's happened now is i would say it's statistically and less viable not unviable but less viable for the 24 year old to marry the 21 year old and feel good about it because by the time she's 31 and he's 30 or uh, she's 31 and he's 34 35 hit the dynamics of his relationship are going to change he's going to make more money he's going to see the world differently now i'm not advocating he leave his wife but now those pressures existed where they didn't exist before 2008 sure so can i let me uh, so I would push back against this strongly. So here's something that I've noticed, okay? People ask me, um, so I obviously, I talk to a lot of women, I do my thing or whatever. W- when people ask me, like, what do you think is the best advice for, like, learning game, okay? Honest to God, the best advice is when you're, like, 12 to 18, mm. having friends that are girls. Talking to women, not being nervous around them, dating in high school. You're not going to get any argument from this sure. guy. Okay, yeah, I don't know if you believe that. <laughs> but honestly, that's the best time to do it. The second best time is now, right? But if you're not starting early and you're 25, and you've never even been shot down by a girl before. That's literally the scary. You could get a guy to climb the Empire State Building before asking a girl out. Uh, so immersion from women, being sure. around yeah, women, exactly. yeah, 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 in those warm spaces totally where dating and everything yeah. is possible, right? Um, but the issue is when we push on this grind set shit so hard, and now you're getting a guy that's like 32. And he goes on a date with a girl and he wants to talk about like white papers for crypto coins. How the fuck is this guy well, going to be in a spot the, in his life where he's ready to like find a woman, settle down with a family? Like, how does he turn that grind, on? Instantly? The grind set guy doesn't mean you don't talk to women ever. It just means you don't. You're not looking to get married. Well, one to of them. those. One of one of those pieces of advice, like eliminate all sedations, or whatever. So, so, no, the, okay, so what that means yeah. is like eliminate pornography, eliminate okay. alcohol, eliminate uh, prescription, uh, you know, opioids, whatever. How do feminist women not things. fall under the category of sedations? Feminist women. Yeah. How no. do these women? How do hoes, for example? If, if you're talking about porn as a sedation, drugs, and everything like yeah. that, uh-huh. can't you group hoes directly into? The category of sedation. You mean loose women or feminist women? Is that what you're saying? Exactly, because you're not looking for anything further than that. It's just a way to get some dopamine release and just have a little bit of fun. It's pretty much equivalent to playing a video game or watching porn. It's not yeah. anything like maybe you learn a little bit about hoes, but you're not going to get anything out of it. I would say the difference is, is that it is far more difficult for guys to use that as a sedation than it is to say play World of Warcraft all day long, or it's to uh, to you know to go drink. I don't know, man. I push back on that. I think we all know guys. 
is I think we all know guys. You're in the gamer set. I got it. Well, no, no, no. I'm saying I think for the girl set, I think we all know guys that have thrown their life away doing dumb girl shit. Um, Whether you end up knocking somebody out, whether you get a crazy reason this half the reason shows like this exist is because guys aren't fucking getting laid. That's why. So yeah, but I think Nico brings up a really good point that when you say eliminate, I think it's less of a a less of a I don't know less significant than say some other forms of sedation. So when I'm talking about sedation in the tweet itself, people have talked. I've said this a million times. Is like if you want to actually get up and actually become something and be something better. This is like where I finally get into like something like a positivity hustle, right? You have you you. It doesn't matter if you learn all this stuff. You read all my books. You do all this shit. None of it matters if you can't get your ass out of bed. If your shitty life, real life, is worse than your online escape life, that's what I'm talking about. That's the sedation right there. So could it be that you're like you're a sex addict? Yeah, it can. But I would say those guys are probably far less common than the guys who are smoking weed, um, you know, uh, prescription drugs, uh, pornography, I would argue whatever. That, else. that is actually a worse sedation just based on the fact that you're saying get a vasectomy because the consequences are much worse than any of the, of the other sedations. You're talking about sleeping around with a lot of women. I, I mean, the, the consequences are much worse, obviously, because you're advocating for getting a vasectomy because you could advocate with this girl. Right. But it's way more expensive. It's a bigger time suck. You're going to be drinking. You're going to be in environments that aren't going to be uplifting you whatsoever. You're in clubs all the time. You're around women that you don't really like. You get angry because you have to deal with, like, Myron always jokes about how he's going bald doing the show all the time <laughs> because these women will suck away your soul. And really, what's the outcome of it? A nut? Is that really, like, how many times did you go and fuck a girl and you're like that was really worth the last two weeks of my time of texting back and forth taking around on dates spending all this money getting dressed listening to her stupid conversation about astrology like is that really something worth advocating for how is that a better sedation than weed than porn the video games uh, i I'm, I'm the wrong person to ask i love women i love fucking hanging out with them i don't have the same opinion or whatever i, I mean i love alcohol but yeah. i quit like yeah. there's and a lot I, of things i've never drank before that's the other thing i've never tried coke by the way uh that, that's the other <laughs> so so i, I i'm with you're missing I'm, out okay uh, yeah. but that's the thing about, like sedations are great i've done yeah. all the sedations yeah i used to watch porn but, but here's the to... thing here's the thing if you some people could say the gym is a sedation the thing is if you were going to rank the that's... sedations i would rather say a guy going out there and getting himself in shape learning how to dress learning how to talk to women putting some bass in his voice and actually going out socializing with other people getting over his mm-hmm. fear of approaching women is a healthier sedation to me than pornography that's mm-hmm. just if we're going to rank sedations well and then i was going to say like other people have are more addicted to a certain sedation than others are if that if that is significant in your life and you're like hey you know what i'm a sex addict all i'm doing is going out and picking up random hoes all the time and and i've i finally got it down to a science and it becomes a problem and it's like affecting other aspects of your life then yeah i would say that that's a sedation that you need to like find because it's an escape I think sedations tend to be escapisms is what i'm saying i think the contradiction this nigga was pointing out is that like you're by definition you're removing from the table all the women you would want to court for marriage because you're avoiding family creation courts anymore. well when i say court i I mean like you're dating to get like married right Mm -hmm. so you're removing all those girls so the only ones left are the three or fours necessarily if you're trying to focus on the grind set but then also have fun with girls on the side so at that point it seems like you're engaging in women the same way somebody would engage with like weed or whatever you're not doing it for like you can date a woman you want to have kids with and not have kids with her like eventually have kids i mean at some point you will have so kids. then the vasectomy thing doesn't make any sense okay, and also I'm, I'm it would depend on the age too because if you're like i think it was hyperbole what he was saying okay, that. Go I, ahead. I think i think if like you're both in your early 20s and you're like i don't think i want to have kids till i'm 35 that's right, a rough that's, that's a tough sell for a lot of women unless you date someone who's younger Sneaka, sure. Sneaka, if there was if there was a male form of birth control like vasogel or something like that and instead of saying vasectomy and i no. said do this and take this and it's not a permanent thing you can all you can always you know, go back off of it no because i think that's what we should be fighting when it comes to red pill and tradcon that's like it's a similar common enemy that's trying to sedate us in a way birth control for women it messes up their hormones and makes them extremely argumentative they get weird they get on different cycles i don't yeah. advocate you to take these pills I, I tell people all the time not to get the injection like why would you go and listen to the these pharmaceutical companies why would you let them win and go play into these games and pretty much just to chase dopamine then you're becoming a rat for these big companies for big pharma when you could just like actually have a fit like that's the point that's the reason that sex exists is to have children then you're completely removing the purpose of it and then you're just chasing dopamine can yeah. i chime in and just uh, add something here real quick um so what moderator are, in there? yes moderator plan b what's up moderator go ahead. Go ahead. Just, two words plan b you know, here's the, here's the thing. I, I will I, while I agree with you now okay. today at 45, I will tell you like I would have been. I wasn't a whore because nobody fucking liked me. But at at 25, I wanted to have sex with pretty girls. That's what I did, and I don't feel like it ruined me. That's the only thing. Well, like, so I, do I. Yeah. Like and every day, but th- th- there's better things to do with your time and with your with that sexual energy. Let me like, you something. can focus that into becoming better. Into do do you not think at all though that period of time helped you understand women better? 
I'm 24. I'm, not, I'm still 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 learning now. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I will tell you at 45, and I've done. I've, I used to work in nightlife, and I used to uh, you know be a, a military officer, a bunch of different jobs. Um, and I will tell you that like the 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 value that I gained from having so many women in my life, not necessarily just for sex, but the the my ability to communicate with them now is a hundred. Like I bring, I, I do the red carpets for all these different parties, and I bring a hundred girls to Bulzarian's house. Like I, that's what I do now sure. because I'm good at doing that now. I look back at that and I say that was a good experience for me. It didn't necessarily have to have sex with all of them, but I do understand what you're saying. The problem is I, 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 where I differ from you and, and maybe from Myron is like, I don't hate being around them. I actually fucking really like being around some of them. They're fun. They're crazy. And they're just fun to be around. I just don't want to marry them. You understand what I'm saying? Like that, that's the difference for me. It was like Juicy J says, I still love these hoes. They're for everybody, but I love them. Anyway, that's the way I look at it. I mean, maybe it's just a little different. Yeah, the way you you see them purely as entertainment, but I think it's better to see. But I don't them. hate them either. I, you, don't, you understand what I'm I saying? Bet, but you're, yeah. you're not really, you, it's better to see them as people. That's, that's how I see him exactly. You're seeing him as entertainment. Well, no, no I think I the difference he's trying to point out is that you made it sound like the the because you said like two weeks of texting this bitch to get to the payoff of sex. He sounds like he enjoys the texting. I fucking loved all. Yeah, of it. which I, I do too. Because, right? Because it's because fun for me, like I, was, I was always I was in a, fa- a stage of abundance, and also my lifestyle is a little different. It's big parties that we go to, huge events, which is just a bigger, grander sedation. That's no different than really watching. I think it's networking. Videos. Though. Like I, I've met some incredible. I wouldn't be sitting here right now if I had I not done that. It was Andrew Tate who reached out to me, introduced me to Justin Waller, who introduced me to him and that, that's how i introduce myron so i i don't see it that way i see it as an, a goal it ends to a means and also the other thing is and dude uh, Walt will tell you this too. Having beautiful women around you is one of the most incredible networking techniques yes, that exists. That's true. There's an incredible book uh, by Ashley, Professor Ashley Mears at Boston University, where she talks about the guys who go to the Hamptons and the ticket to get into every party at every Ham- in every Hamptons house have with girls. all the billionaires was to have girls. Right. So that's that's why. Of course, I'm those, that's going to lead you to a fun life. Yeah. But I, I was talking to Adam Twenty Two recently, and he has his own um, his own porn thing too. I, mm-hmm. I don't know if he's allowed to plug talk. Yeah, he was probably talking yeah. everything like that. I was recently talking to him because he'd been posting a lot of pictures of his daughter and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. I always like react to them like that's dope. Like he's he's he clearly cares about being a good father. And I had this conversation with him, and he said that uh, after being with 400 women doing all the show, like I asked him, like, was it really worth it all? That he's like, there's nothing better than having kids. Yeah. And even that's coming from a guy who's clearly been a sex addict who did all this stuff. He went on my stream and he was talking about all these crazy threesomes. And he's like, he's very public about all this stuff. And he's saying there's nothing better than having a family and having a kid. Even this guy that's like stuck with all the girls, like everybody in the chat, you watch like the top porn stars. Yeah. He's been with them. And that does not compare to having a family. So, yes, okay. Dan was does party. he regret it? Does he regret it? Yeah, having because sex you, with one thing could be better than something else, but, but it's, it's still really fun, right? It's not about regret. It's about advocating what's best for your for your the young male audience and for the future generation. So sure. is it better to advocate towards vasectomy so you can go to Dan Bilzerian parties, or better to advocate like become competent men, raise a good family, have strong children, and then your life is gonna be that's the best life. I think it's a great life. I don't know if it's the only good life. I think there's a lot of people who just don't want to have children. I think we've seen it. We've seen it all the time, and they're they're happy. The thing is, if I were to look at it, I from, disagree. From the book of Leviticus or the book of Genesis, or if I were to look at it from the Quran, you're right. That's not a great life. But I think for other people, they can enjoy life without. The only doing people that. that don't want to have kids have been psyoped by the bigger agenda to believe that climate change and all these other external factors. That's the reason they don't want to have kids. It's all a lie. That's the reason we're here is to procreate. That's all animals. That's ev- you're like an evolution. Let me, ask, yeah. let me ask you this. Let's take it. To the next let's take to the next level is sex let's say you're married okay you, you found the one you're, you're with your girl right is having sex with her with without procreation is that also an escape is that now a sedation hmm. if you're not doing it to specifically have children is it then a drug addiction right but then it becomes a unity between a mother and a father so how is that not an escape though? because it's still always you enjoy, you're, still you're always, enjoying it though and it's not procreation though. right but there's always the risk of procreation like that's the point that you do it there's, there's always the possibility would you, that would you use birth control with your wife if you didn't want to have kids? No, I would never get my wife on birth control. Absolutely not. No, no, no. You, I, I you, condom. He's including condom. yourself. Any, right? any kind of birth control. Any, any kind. Bastard condom, gel, condom yeah. whatever. Any kind of pro. Uh, sure. It is a form of escapism to some extent, but it's better than spending your time with a bunch of women that you don't respect or like or even consider as really people. Okay, just so, as, so, like, so, I'm, I'm not trying to put you on the spot because I, I hear this quite a bit these days. Is every I, like the most extreme, and it's, I'm not saying like Islam, but like a lot of these really super orthodox Christian guys will say that the any sex that is not for procreation is a, a drug addict, yeah. it's drug addiction, or it's a, it's it's haram. Right? <laughs> any anytime you're doing something to feel good, it's a dopamine release. Any kind of do- is any dopamine good. Uh, oh. For you, why did your last relationship um, um, end? I think we're both like super ambitious and basically like 
he took a job in Dallas. We moved in together. And then the job, like his dream job came up and it was in Chicago. And I was just like, okay, you're not my husband. I'm not going to keep running around to different states with you. So basically he went to Chicago and then I moved here. Yes, and we're ma'am. just it's not a state. doing our own thing. Cities. Do you I'm think sorry. if you had Chicago moved with him, he would have given you the ring? Um, We're actually back talking now. And he told me that he would have. So Damn, I, you I fumbled the that. shit out of that. You fucked up. He was saying all the bills. Like, no, because think about it. Now, like, now yeah. you've had oh, another you penis had in you after him, so he can never marry you now. I told, but but you, I told there's psychic about, distrust forever. She missed her one opportunity. No, we're, we're, like, we're like best friends. So okay. we're, we're us not being together. We've been talking to each other about different dates we've been on and things that we've been doing. So he knows. I told him. If you could go into Cell's time machine and go back, would you have married this nigga? We're gonna get married. Would you have waited? No, you're not. Oh, it's okay. over. He's yeah. fucking it's a bitch over. right now. Is no, 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 no. Wait, so, so, so you're telling me right now, if you guys got back together, he would marry you? He, he is. Would. He would. And he will. He's going um, to. Let me ask you this. Ring. Okay. Um, how old <laughs> were you when this opportunity arose, where he said, um, I'm, "I have this job thing. I want you to come uh, with me that to was, Chicago." That was last year. Okay, so you were 29 at the time. Yeah. Roughly. Yeah, we've been to. We're together for five years. He was making money. He, yeah, he okay. Is. Oh wow. Um, you fucked and, up. I love and he was paying you. all the bills and take care of you, and you had your career, and he had his. And was he? And you said he was paying the majority of the bills. Uh, you don't have to say specifically how much money roughly was he earning at that point. I mean, he's a corporate professional guy. Oof. Can you give me a rough number? Like, are we talking quarter mil? Are we talking up? Uh, One fifty. A little more. Than Big that. dick too. So more, yeah. more than. Oh, you oh, fucked yeah. up. Yeah. 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 More than more than one fifty or more than two fifty is what you're saying. Yeah. More Damn. Yeah, to what? Two fifty or one fifty more? Uh probably like I mean, where he was doing good. He was doing good. Okay. Um and then when he went to Chicago, did he make even more than two fifty? Because you said it was a, a new job promotion. So did he make more oh, than quarter shit. mil? So uh-huh. yeah. So he was paying all the bills, he's making r- more than quarter million a year. And you said, No, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pursue my career. Yeah, because I felt like merch. I didn't want to like keep moving around. Like I feel like that's something you do for your husband. Like I had already moved, yep. to, picked up my life from LA, moved to Dallas, yeah. Yeah. and was like, okay, we're gonna do this. And then he's like, oh, this job opportunity came in Chicago. I'm gonna go there. So I just was like, okay. He took the opportunity and went, like literally took it without and left. asking. Yes. Yeah. So I felt like, okay, yeah. in this no, moment, no, no, this no, man no, was just made behind. a decision sure. to put himself first. So maybe I should. I've always wanted to move That's here to it. Miami. So I was just like, okay, you go do that. I go do this. If it's meant to be, you'll come back around. Was he, was he black? black? What he had to tell you, babe. Yeah, he's a black man. Do you think that your ego might have gotten away? Because, it did. Because ultimately, it did. you know this is a man for you. But you're like, you know what? I want to be my own boss and do my own thing. I'm yeah. gonna move to Miami. Yeah. You know what the chances are that yeah. you get a guy like that? It's but like you know less what? than zero. Y'all gotta make me cry. If it's no, 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 I believe okay. in divine time. time. She's, she's like doing ad libs and shit, like a soundboard, like one at a time. She's like, she's you, have you ever been on a podcast? Like, <laughs> take it. Yeah, she thinks she's uh, Zerka. Let me let me get a uh, a reading of the temperature of the room. How many of you guys think she made the best decision? Okay. Girl power. Girl power. Girl power. Girl power. How many of you guys think that she made a bad decision? Raise your hands. I'm not raising my hand. Okay. So none of the women think she made a bad decision. I do have a question. I just like I'm in Hold on, stop the show. That's precisely most, why most women are absolutely retarded. Yeah. What happened? Um, most, but should she it, follow him? It, it amazes me how... Go, go on the elevator. Uh, shadow realm. It amazes me how shadow women realm. reinforce <clears throat> bad behavior in their counterparts and don't tell them the truth about that was a big mistake. But a hiring we- individual that does well, pays the majority of the bills, has masculine tendencies, and is chasing success, tells you, come with me. Obviously, you guys want a long time. Shut the fuck up, everybody. I'm talking. Okay? When I'm making a point, shut the fuck up. Anyway. A guy, a traditionally masculine man, paying the majority of the bills, is a leader, etc., took an opportunity to make more money to support you, and you didn't follow him. I'll tell you this, man. You know what type of a small minority of men make that kind of money, and an even smaller minority of men are are okay with taking care of a woman and being the predominant leader and breadwinner. So, and the fact that all of you guys reaffirmed her decision, misery loves company, is scary. Because here's the thing: 
unfortunately, we never tell women this, but their dating value is perishable. As you get older, mm-hmm. your value decreases with it while mm-hmm. their value goes up. Okay, but I'm 31. Well, hold on. Hold on. You're 31? Hold on. About to be. Oh, my God. I need you to listen for two but seconds. You look like so Here's the difference. You're 31. You're older now. You've had other sexual experiences with men. He knows about it because you actually told him, which was a big mistake. He's never going to marry you now. And, and he's having younger wow. kitty. And While you're gone, he's having younger kitty. But he's, y'all are I, let making me, this. Hey, shout wow. out for two seconds. Thank you. I'm keeping it a thousand with you. He makes more money. He has more options. He can get a younger version of you now that's going to follow him around. Do you really think he's going to come back to you? He's not. He is. Why didn't he you trust him? Day. Why didn't he's you not. trust him? Good... You didn't trust him. That's the problem. It's Why? Okay. I'll, I'll remember this. But y'all are making but... the accusation after finding out that she's 30 years old. Because y'all are not having the energy. But he's so old. Why is she so young? I'm not going to do with this. That's not what they're saying. Look, 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 look. Are you going to listen to an 18 year old that doesn't know anything about life? I'm just saying to you, to a 43 year old man, me being 30, I'm still young. And hot, and okay. I look like she's hold on, she's hold on, hold on, hold on. So, but, hold on. But if he has the ability to get a 21 year old, he's gonna go. Not with every that. man wants that. Not every True. man wants uh, that. Uh, what if he like, 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 She's right. No, no, hold on, hold on, Mike, 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 Mike. Look at this. Check it out. Check it out. You're right. Not every man wants that. The only men who want that is the high value men that you want. That's that means you'll never get a high value male. That's not true. You can only get dudes who are gonna use and fuck you. That's the truth. That's the guys you want. You're out of the market for life. I That's guarantee you. That's not true. You want to bet $10,000 you won't get that guy? He will and never I'll, marry you. I will. I will. Yeah. Let's yeah. bet 10,000 in 10 years. Let's go. Hey, no, so let's go. We're going to date. No, up. let's go. So, so you. <laughs> okay, so what you mentioned, right? Is that the guy that you uh, so right. yeah. didn't go with is texting you right now. Talking he calls to you, right? me every day. No question for you. Because we both was like, we was in the streets and it wasn't given what it was supposed to give. So we're ta- going to put energy into The first time that you kind of broke it off with him, your ego was in the way. Yeah. Is your ego still there? It's not. I'm like, I want my man back. I'm coming home. <laughs> <laughs> so see, she's, she's not there anymore. If you weren't there with him, literally look, 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 look. Look. pussy. Look. He's gonna fuck you and the other young girls now because yeah. you oh betrayed him when yeah. he needed you. There you go. He's yeah. never gonna see you as hold human. Up, yeah. up, He's literally question. never gonna see you as human. He's be gonna see you as a criminal. For so real. Hold so hold on. And that's racist. So so remember, the ego was 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 there, right? So now he left to go to his new venture. I can guarantee you, he said other girls, like he told you, right? Mm-hmm. So, how do you differ from them? How are you, you going to stand out from them? Oh, it's no competition. He already told me. That's why he's back calling me. So, I think that's what we're like very conveniently so, forgetting. Like, yeah, she's so like, yeah, this, this, man, this man is like my twin flame, like my soulmate. Yeah. Like, but yeah. woman, yeah. you even yeah. I can call you. you. But we you left them though. But if they're okay, like, call him on your phone. Call him. Call him right now. Call him right now. They took my phone. I really can't. Bring the phone. Call this guy. Bring the phone. We all okay, get but mistakes. I will like, say though, you say soulmates, and soulmates, their definition of a soulmate is somebody who comes back to you no matter what trials yes. and tribulations yes. you have. Really? Even soulmate. after you get fucking blocked okay, by 30 other dudes, get the fuck okay. out of here. Look, I'm oh, with the oh, people. Oh, if you're, you're my soulmate, I don't want to sleep with anybody. How many been in a year? You fucked 30, right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, girls, hold on. Pause. Don't call them now. Modern rules. Fresh rules. So, we want to know his point of view. Uh, but don't make it obvious. Just say, hey, babe, I was thinking, I want to get, back, I get back, back with you. Are you cool with that? Just something like that. Like uh, along those lines. Bro, he, we know he, what he's he, going to say. And he knows I'm here. Like, oh. no. Oh, he, he knows about, no, he yeah, doesn't. He's fucking a young girl we right now. I don't want to know about somebody else so bad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so not that. <laughs> that won't work then. See, this is the thing that women don't understand. Men will say and do anything to keep you on the sexual carousel that they're currently having their rotation yeah. so he understands that he's hooked up with you before he understands that you're having maybe some tough times meeting men here so he's like you know what let me go ahead and rekindle this flame and get some sexual access but the reality is is that you left him <laughs> when he needed you the most yep. so you've disqualified yourself for any type of real serious relationship because if you can't stand it oh. with him when when he needs you the most why the hell is he going to commit to you now but and another thing too is we got to be honest You've gotten older, you yep. have more experiences, you've hooked up with other men, and he knows about it. Yep. I am, I'm going to be brutally honest with you. He's never going to marry you. Okay. It's not happening. Okay. And, and, you, and here's the thing. Women like to be delusional and say, soulmates, or he's going to come back to me, or we're destined to be together. That's a bunch of yeah. hokey pokey fantasy and, bullshit. Men... Sorry. 
Always remember, this chick wasn't with me when I needed her. She's going to be recreational use only. And, yep. He's and, talking to you to get you back into sexual rotation. <laughs> He's never going to commit to you because you didn't commit to him when he wanted to. To be fair, so just, just to be fair, because I'm the feminist guy. Yo, <laughs> what the fuck? check it out. I don't know what that You're pretty. You're very pretty. I'm mm -hmm. fucking yeah, fucking right now. But check it out. You're way. pretty, girl. You're going to have millions of men DMing you for the rest of your life. The problem is there are always going to be guys you don't want that's the problem you fucked Ooh. up always they're never gonna be like me or him or high value I, right you fucked up him, <laughs> but you, you almost had it so you almost had so it I'll, I'll, I'll never have a high value man in my life and, 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 <laughs> Deserve your outcome. Good thing, good you thing abandoned him. I don't need one. Wait, wait. So I'll Marcy, be. I'll be. Men, men have a problem that women don't. They deal with despair and suicide. When you abandoned him and he's all depressed and shit, what? is your outcome okay. the outcome right. you're getting? You're not getting the big, uh, dick, rich black guy. It. Is this outcome something you deserve? Yes, right. But you agree you deserve this shit life. Yeah. Right? Do you deserve this outcome? This reality. First of all, my life's amazing. You said you. Oh. You just said you want it back. You're like, I do, suck. but I'm still content. Like I don't need. Like I'm still content. No, yeah. Whatever happens, happens. But happens. content's not good enough for you. You want this black guy. What? I I think you, you I don't know if I you really noticed said it. I did, but y'all told me that I wasn't gonna have him no more, so I guess look, 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 I'll look, look, be in the fetal position tonight. Look, look, look. Exactly. Hey, look, look, stop, stop. Here for look. You. you answered your own question by saying you don't need him. And that's fine, you only want him, and that's cool. I, Hold on, that's fine. You only want him and that's fine because you don't need him because you make your own money, you're self sufficient. Fantastic. But guess what? There's going to be a younger, hotter girl mm -hmm. that does need him, is going to do what's required mm -hmm. to keep him. She's going to put in more work than you are willing to do. She's going to be willing to move. She's going to be willing to, you know, be by his side. And she'll handle the pressure. She'll, she'll you okay. never handle the fucking pressure. She'll be okay. Hold on, hold on. She'll be okay. She'll be okay. She'll be okay with being second to his career. And trust me, that's what men, especially higher earning men, want and need. So what I'm saying is that since you don't need him, that's fine. But understand that there is a woman out there that will need him and will treat him better than you, and he will go with her. Yeah. And, the Just, other yeah. and here's what you gotta do. Oh my I'm God. This is the hard part. That's rip the, the band-aid. Delete all your photos and media with him immediately. Yes. Uh, yes. You gotta stop I, looking I, at that I, shit. No, you yes need to delete agree, all of it. Yes, that I agree. He, he is a, a literal yeah. distant memory now. We're fucking tonight. I think, I think we're, you guys, I think uh, we're you forgetting guys, okay. that he might be a simp too, bro. No, no, no. He's I not. He's not. He's not determined. We don't know. Like he might actually love her to a extent where like he's obsessed. That's why I was gonna. That's because, why because, wait, is he, has he ever manipulated you even a little? He's obsessed. Hold on, he's only he's manipulating you. Hold on, hold on. The, the five years, I put in a lot of work over No, you didn't. You abandoned, yeah. abandoned him. No, yeah. you're with he Satan. Did. I don't think he thinks I hate him. But she's supposed to hop on a plane and follow him wherever he went and put all her Yes, like the other girls. Like the other girls. Like what our moms did. Our moms did that. She did some fucking, she did she's Cardi B. You got your, your hand raised. Go ahead. Okay. Let's hear so, it. So, why is it okay if, let's say she did do that. Let's say she did go with him and all that. Mm -hmm. And the same 21-year-old you guys are talking about, mm -hmm. what if he's like, oh, you know what? I want to try her instead. While she just changed your whole fucking life. Second time. To get over there with him. And he's like, oh, you know what? She doesn't happens. have a life. Wait, wait, hold on. Go ahead. Oh, she that agreed. happens. Like, how do we know? She wants to be a part of life? this millionaire's life. She's bringing nothing to the table. She what are you bringing to the table? table? What are you bringing? How much money are you bringing to the table? What do you do for work? I'm a swimsuit designer. A swimsuit designer. It's a six-figure business. Six-figure? Get the fuck out of here. You're a liar. You're a liar. She did it. I'm not lying. Wait, 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 wait. She had a valid question. What if she moved to, let's say, California for his career, and he leaves her for a younger girl? That's about, about I, don't, I don't really get yeah, the question. Because then she's no. dumb. Wait, wait, wait. wait ask it again. again. Oh, you're dumb for women. spilling. <laughs> hey, it was here, it was, babe. I have a, I have have a little bit Yeah, because she already spilled. Yeah. What's your question exactly? She spilled that again. <laughs> Three <laughs> times. This bitch is retarded. <laughs> hey, I thought we were allies. <laughs> we were. We were until I saw what you're capable of. What's she taking my cup? <laughs> All right, look, guys, um, we need people to not be screaming on the mic. We need to be able to formulate a coherent sentence and, uh, and uh, make a you. point. So she asked a question, a valid question first. Did you want to answer it? Yeah. Go so ahead. ultimately, there's trust and there's respect. Now, most men of that value or that level will have a girlfriend like that, like that, that follows them around for the most part, or follows their commander, their lead. And they say, you know what? 
she's loyal, she's following, following my program, I can't mess this up. So they'll, they might cheat on the side, but they don't ever really leave, oh. is, is, is the main point. So I would say, yes, that, that can happen, but it's very, very unlikely that it will happen. So she's just supposed to put up with the bullshit? What's the bullshit? What's the bullshit? He's paying the all cheating. The, huh, <laughs> he's paying all the bills. He's taking care of her. He's a provider. And he has love for her. I mean, what's the... Yeah, but if the, soon as she the does that, though, now it's... Oh, he was- now Wait, it's what is she doing? The window. If she if she decided to make a decision for herself, mm-hmm. then it's like, oh, it, it, uh, you're stupid. She, you're but hold on, pause, pause. She did make a decision herself, and it cost her her dream guy on Earth. She had a hundred years on Earth. God gave her this guy, and she said, mm-hmm. "Fuck you, God. I'm going with Satan." She, when she made her own decision, <laughs> oh, she's about to be. She might be the first woman in history to kill herself. You gotta, you gotta actually <laughs> calm down. And just delete your photos with this guy. You can't restore this. Wow. But, but no, no, here, let's be nice. What's the percent chance you do get him? What do you think the percent is? They're going to tell you the percent. He already told me it's zero, so let's stick with you that. No, it's not zero. <laughs> let's stick I, with I think, that. I, 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 would, I would say there's an extremely high likelihood that he will not marry her. Give a percent. I, I would say probably somewhere 90%. Holy fucking shit. Man, that is and, an And here's the thing. He's, he's going to sell you the dream. He's going to tell you I miss Ew. you. He's going to tell yeah. you everything you want to hear. Right? But the reality is, is he going to get down on a knee Fresh. and commit to you after you didn't commit to him when he needed you? The okay, answer is so probably when he comes to no. see me next month Here. after nine months, what should I do? After nine months, you'll be pregnant and alone. Check this uh, out. Check no, this out. I mean, what look, should I do? Look, no, honestly. Here's what, what you should do. But Mike, let me do it. Two seconds, bro. Should you I can, not sleep with him? I, I mean, you can do what you want to do, but what I am telling you is that you're not going to get the ring, so it's up to you how you want to move, because when you had the chance to get the ring, you weren't there. Now, it's probably a test on his end to see uh, a test on his end to see what you would do. You chose your career over him. You pretty much set the precedent that my career comes over you, and that's not a wife's duty. A wife's duty is to put her man first, not a career first. <gasps> oh. Or in simple oh, terms, Jesus. in simple no, terms, you're shaking your head. Please, Martin, please. Podcast. In simple terms, wow. what's your name? Layla. Layla, in <laughs> simple, talk? just shut the oh, fuck up, no. woman. Who's talking? Yo, <laughs> Layla, right? You're cute. Up. But wow. check this out. In simple terms, you agree with their 90% statistic. Take this. We're going to play Russian roulette. 90% no. chance you're going to blow your fucking brains out. No. He's never, wow. ever, no. ever coming back to you. I guarantee you $10,000. Yeah. Hold on, go ahead. I okay, <laughs> so I just want to give an advice to you and every single girl out here. Um, don't let all they got in their head get to your head. Because it doesn't matter whether he's back or not. You shows for yourself. It's her like, soulmate, she I'm said. I'm talking to you. I'm she said it's her soulmate. Of course it matters. I respected your time. If you could respect her, let, let her finish her point. It's fine. Let her finish her point. Thanks. Please continue. So Please. no one should care about no wife, duty, or none of this bullshit when at the end of the day, men don't do half the shit they have to do. First so if you shows for yourself, keep doing that. The right man, whether it's him or not, it's gonna come to you, hold and on. if he doesn't Listen, come, I'm not against that's being okay. Hold on, because hold on, you don't need a man whatsoever. On, just hold like on. a man doesn't need a woman. I respect everybody's time. So hold on, you just lumped the man that she was with with other men as if he wasn't a provider and protector and did all and the other what? things. And what? She can provide for herself. She doesn't want to. She Nobody wants her wants dream to. guy. She, she said she loves him. Because I haven't heard that from her. Do you mom. love him? She's watching. I do love him. Yeah. Damn. And she, what? She so she, it's not a random him. dude. She's in love. And what? You're she saying let go of the guy she's in love dude. with? If she's choosing herself, yes. Well, because that's what men want us to do. Well, not choose ourselves. They want us to choose so, you. Okay. Okay. Wow. Uh, all right. That's fine. That's her take on it. She said. She said that she pick herself. And then you were shaking your head too with something. Yeah, I honestly forgot the point. So. Okay. Can I ask my question? Um, can you can you like bring it like think about it and let me know? Because, yeah, of course. I'll get back to you. I'll yeah. Back. Um, what are you trying to say? Okay. I mean, like, I totally understand what you're saying, but if she wants this man, if she wants this man to provide for her, protect her, provide that manly status that we had back in the day, then she has to provide that same contract of okay, you make that formal contract of okay you're gonna provide for me you're gonna pay my bills you're gonna do this i'm gonna protect mm-hmm. the house for you i'm gonna cook for you i'm gonna t- raise our children i think for. that's a conversation that you have if they agree on that then yeah do that if she's saying that she doesn't want that and she wants to be by herself and work for herself make her own bills then she can't ask this mm-hmm. dude to give her that because she wants
wants to do it herself. Now, if they both want to do it and they want to work yeah. together, that's fine. But that conversation needs to be had. You can't expect a man to provide everything for you or a woman to bring everything to the if table for you. To. Reverse. If if I'm bringing everything to the table and this man's not paying my bills, this man's not providing me, he's not giving me what I need. Why am I bringing everything to the table? Okay. Roles reverse. If a man's bringing Wrap everything to the table and you're not bringing shit to the table, why is he going to provide for you all the time? All right. Uh, did you have something that you want to say? How, how do you describe a high-value man? Okay, status, <laughs> network, and looks. You're looking at That's it, bitch. Wrong You're looking at it. That's, That's right. right. You're That's right. right. That's right. 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 Absolutely not the truth. For real, <laughs> but for real, but for real. Like, but for real, though. Since when is love a contract? It's a, it's a contract. bunch of different things. It's, you know, obviously income, status, uh, oh, respect no. from your peers. But wouldn't you one. think that that's different for everybody? Poor people. Yeah. What's no, but like how our opinions are different on everything that we talk about. What is a high value Answer man my question for first, me though, to her? Completely. Was, or to her, or to her, yeah. or to him. Because um, be, money well, is, that thing. doesn't mean um, shit. The thing is, uh, whether women want to admit it or not, you guys are all very similar when it comes to what uh, you're attracted to. Women yes. have a very rigid thing so on what they like in a man. Oh, don't so, interrupt okay. him. Don't interrupt yeah. him. Maya, just say the Tinder statistic. She'll get it right away. Yeah, I mean... You guys go for, like, yeah. literally the top 1%. You yeah. guys know what a high-value yeah. male is. Women typically... It's the guy down your throat. It's the same small percentage you of men. And protected. if you look at these men, they all have very similar characteristics. You know, height, income, mm -hmm. status, sex and strength, uh, Yeah, you know, uh, and being a leader, mm -hmm. being a protector. Man, these are hardwired... Uh, Attraction traits that mm. women just look for. Like, think about it. When you guys are in night, instincts, you, instincts, so much instincts. Instincts. when you guys are in the no, nightclub, no. you guys know where the high value guys are. Like everyone knows. Yeah. The VIP. They're not yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. They're, no, the they're not there. They're, 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 they're not there. They're, 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 they're not there. 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 They're not at the women where they all concentrate. Mm -hmm. They all concentrate mm -hmm. in the VIP the section room. with the men that have the higher perceived status in that social perceived. situation. That, if you take that and extrapolate that into the real world, that's how it works. Women typically congregate around the highest status men. A majority of them are looking for a small minority of men. Higher earners, respect, um, accolades, yeah. etc. And okay. hold on, before we go on, you and you, like he said, perceives, and you're like, perceives, mama, yeah. like some Migos shit. Why do they keep doing ad libs when because, you're talking? I mean, it's so like, fucking can annoying. We, can we Bitch, I'm doing a bunch though. of blow and it's annoying. But can we be for real about it, though? <laughs> but why do you guys Perception do like soundboard shit? These two keep doing soundboard when Myron's talking. You oh. just did it right there. Because you should wait, let wait, people wait, talk. Wait, wait. It's so annoying. You had a point? This is, I have. I guess I have two points. Sure. One is, is, Perception, heavy on the perception. Men okay. put on huge plays of high status. Like, okay. first of all, oh, yes, yeah. women, we're not dumb. What we gonna go look for a broke dude? Like, be for real. Like, I, I okay, mean, obviously, you, you guys got fucked by well, broke dudes. That's why you're here. Oh, what? But yeah, let's, like, let's, let's, let's I, I don't want to marry point. a let's broke man. So, go like, ahead. we're not going out looking for a broke man. Of course, we're looking for somebody who's you know, has the money and all the things, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And another thing is most women have their own shit. So why is it that one minute men want a woman that has her own, got her own money, blah, blah, blah. Le the next minute is, oh, I just want a little bimbo that follows me around. You So yeah. either you want to trick or be tricked. Like, okay, but you got to be for pause, real. And then when pause. we talking about being married and we talking about, Marriage and I won't marry you and blah. Like okay. you gotta like let's be serious. What are men really looking? So you so again you either want to be a trick or you want to be, be in love. Like be like you know let's let's All right, let's you're let's. Your your point, your, point out, right? bit, your point is a bit disconjointed. I'm trying to figure sure. out what your exact what point. Is and my point is, is here. my point is my point is <laughs> what y'all want. My Please. point is what is it? Because I guess bouncing off what you were saying is like. You know, you know, he won't marry her. Like he's high status now. He wants like a little bimbo that comes and follow him around. Boom, boom, boom. No, Why Byron didn't it? say that. But he said that other girls said. gonna handle he pressure and be loyal. You just changed what Martin said. You're a fucking retard. Martin said the next girl's gonna be loyal. You fucking retard. Anyways, the question is, you're dropping Why is it that? Women can't have their own and still, like, why is it that she's wrong for her to go right. off and Let say, I want to do my own career? Hold okay. on. I want to go and do my own career, build my own stuff up, and build my own. To, are you asking it to me? To I guess him, the to men. Him. I guess you, he just want to fuck people. So yeah. 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 Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're safe. She's safe. You're safe. You're safe. Don't worry. 
right. Four so, uh, He's desperate. I like yeah, Bum, I guess but I'm not that dumb. You, like, why isn't because that a woman is. can't, like, why isn't that they just, they went off. Uh -huh. He did what he needed to do. Yeah. She did what she needed to do. Yeah. They come back together. You feel me? Now they like, she got her own shit, he got a his own shit. couple. Yeah. Exactly. Why you gotta be, I gotta be a little bimbo that fuck. Why you gotta be, why right. you wanna be tricked? Why, why do you wanna be tricked? Because yeah. loyalty is the like, most important thing for raising like kids. So she, she was not loyal. loyal. She That's abandoned not, not being loyal. big dick money. Most men are not loyal, sir. Yes. There we go. To answer your question. Um... Because you're saying, why can't she have her own career and do right. what she wants to do, right? Yes. Well, I think women need to understand, right, okay. that you can go ahead and chase your career, okay. be a high earner, become successful, do okay. everything that you want to do. Yeah. But understand that when you find the man that you want, you got to make a choice. It's either going to be your career or him. If you pursue your career, a lot of the times that's not going to align with his mission. I would argue mm. a lot of times it p puts a you know a widget in between you two because mm. you chasing your career and success is going to contradict you being a dutiful wife and sorry dutiful girlfriend and eventually a wife. So mm. I think that's one of the issues that women have to deal with is am I going to put my career first or my man first? But it's very difficult. You can't do both. You have to pick one. And City, it's crazy how black women think they're incapable of being racist themselves as if they deserve a pass for being ignorant AF. Black people can't be That's racist. Fuck. Yes, the fuck they can. No, no the they fuck can't. they can't. If you walk can't. outside calling a white person a fucking we, cracker and you get mad at them calling you a, you know, a... Okay, pause. No, so then, then we gonna have a no, little no. Uh, racism one-on-one -on -one real quick. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Black people yeah. are not socially... Um, we, we, we are... Financially, fuck. Bro. You want me to say it for you? Hell, yeah, say that shit for my girl. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Let me let me ask this question. So, and I'm gonna ask this question with the panel. How many of you think black people cannot be racist? Raise of hand. Green, if you think they can't be racist. We are not. Okay, okay. Well, I just want to get the poll here. You guys, th how many of you think that black people cannot be racist? If you think yes, they can be racist. Give a green. If you think they can't be racist, give us a red. Technical terms, I have to or, tell you why. Okay, no, I'm okay. gonna give you a chance to explain. Okay, so you, so you don't think so? Two of you. Half half, okay, you two, can you guys you please throw your things up? Do you think black people could be racist? Yes or no? Bro, that's the second time you've oh done that, man. Oh my god, bro! What the fuck, bro? How how lit are you right now? Yes. I'm aware what's happening. <laughs> I don't know if you are. You've knocked the water down like two or three Twice. times now. That fell with fucking. You knocked it over. All right. All right. Ladies, yeah, come on. Okay. There, All right. How many of you think, so two, three of you think black people can't be racist. Okay. I'll give you a chance to explain. Why do you think black people can't be racist? Go ahead. Wait, can or can't? Can't be. Well, you were making no, the wait, argument wait. that they can wait, be. Wait, wait, I meant, I meant that they can't can be, be racist. All right, so you meant to go green. All right, so two of you think that they can't be racist. Yeah. Why not? Go ahead. Okay, so we're not in financial empowerment to be racist, meaning you have systematic mm -hmm. racism. There we go. Um, we don't have the power for that. We can be prejudiced. Mm -hmm. We can discriminate, you know, Technical. in a sense. But to be racist, we don't have the power in society to be racist. Exactly. What? We don't. Racism doesn't okay, have but to do with power. It, but but you can be prejudiced. Wait, let me finish. You can be prejudiced. Wait, wait, wait. You can be white person down for being white. You can be, wait, wait. You can be prejudiced. You can. Yes. But when you go into being racist, we're not powerfully, financially equipped to even do systematic racism. It does. Yeah, we're not. 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 It has to do with power. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Racism doesn't have to do with power. All right, all right. How about this? Yes, how about this? Racism how about this? Definitely let, let's let her racism. finish her point. Let's let her finish her point, racism. and then I'll open it up to one of the other okay, girls. But racism definitely has to do with power. What are you talking about? Um, look at America. We were built off greed hate slavery racism definitely has to do with power black americans we are not in position to be racist towards other people we're we not can be prejudiced. Here. yeah we're, we can be prejudiced of course yes we're prejudiced at times but to be racist we're not financially empowered enough to even be like so that. let me just to stop okay. another ethnicity or race bag or to put them in jail or to make laws no we cannot okay we cannot. so you're saying basically that um black people can be racist because they don't have the societal status to be able to do it. Thank you. Okay, and what is that your do you I agree with her? I a hundred percent agree. Y'all cannot sit and say that black people can withhold anything that y'all got going on, bro. I'm not gonna laugh from all y'all excuse me, even from the ones that Trinidadian and whatever, from all y'all excuse me for saying this, lights that's in here. Y'all cannot right. sit because some of y'all are like gonna get past with, what? with with being some of some of y'all are gonna get past with being white, even though you guys are saying that you're one percent or twenty percent. Okay, <laughs> with that being said, black people cannot systematically oppress 
any Thank motherfucking you. rest is going on. Mm-mm. We are not higher up. We cannot. For the the five mm-hmm. percent that makes it, claps to you. But Gucci. for the but for the Gucci. But for the 95%, bro, we can, bro, like, be fucking for real. If you make it to be black, bro, you fucking make it, and we give you claps and, and slaps okay. on the shoulder. Um, but, so, like, no, bro, you can't. So I'm going to tell you guys why I think you're incorrect, and my argument is simply this. Uh, you're incorrect. saying that ra- racism, I think all races can express racism, and then you said prejudice. Prejudice and racism is pretty much the same thing, not really. essentially. No, it's not. Because no, if because because you could be prejudiced to people for other traits, it could be I'm prejudiced towards you because of your height or your language or whatever. But, but it's you can not abso- systematic. Hold on, hold on. But sorry, you can absolutely be prejudiced to someone because of their race. Now with that said, you because your argument is you can't be racist because black people don't hold power in the United States. Is that that was we your argument? We don't have right? the power. Look, we don't have the power to oppress. Okay. In Georgia, mm-hmm. indicted a former president of the United States. Okay, but who put Who's her in position? Man. Who put her in position? Real quick, respectfully, who yeah. was she a puppet for? A white man. She she didn't do that. They put her in position to do that. No, she has. She, she is the chief law enforcement officer in the did, county. Okay, but who but as a, as a district who's attorney? Who's her higher ups? Who's her higher ups? She's the boss. No, she's who's the her boss. Higher ups? She was elected. No. <laughs> so yo, Shin, who put her in position? She was elected to do that? by the people. Okay, who put her <laughs> in position? The people. The people. The people. If you, you still believe by your people, then you are I'm part saying. of the issue. You're Please. still forgetting. Look, look, look. You're not understanding. No, no, no. What no. I'm, I'm understanding, and your argument is based on wow. black people can't be racist because they don't have positions of power. Oh my God. Barack Obama was a black man. He was the president of the United States of the strongest country in the okay, world. He was elected by the people. Years. Hold on, hold on. No. Hold on. And he did it. And he did it for two terms. Now we got Fannie Willis, who's the district attorney. If down in Georgia, and she indicted a former president of the United States, minute. who's a white man, wait, wait, by the you, way, you who's a billionaire. Barack Obama. Wait, wait, you said Barack Obama. <laughs> Respectfully, Barack Obama has people he listened to. Who owns the United States? If we're going to talk politics, let's talk politics. Barack Obama is not the, the highest up. He has people he listened to. You have a degree? Bro, can I yo, say something? Bro, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, because because your whole argument was based on black people not having power, who and I the, who, I demonstrated to you, States? I demonstrated to you two clear <laughs> examples and where them, black people have power. Black people do not. Can, people you power like me? can you please you stop interrupting me? Can you please stop interrupting me? Can you please stop interrupting me? Okay. Go ahead. I let you make your point, which is why I'm uh, refuting it right now. You're saying black people don't have positions of power. I to gave you racist. two clear. To be racist. I gave you two clear examples where we have a district attorney that literally indicted a former president of the United States, who's a billionaire white male, by the way. Okay, that says that that people keep saying oppress us, and we had a former president of the United States who was African American. Now you might say, well, who really controls the country? Who really controls? People voted him in. I'm can I say talk. something really can, quickly? Can I, can I, can I Commander in chief and then a district attorney. Like black people does not have the power to systematically oppress another race. Wait, can that's I please fact. just say something that, really whether quickly? Whether we agree to disagree, that's fact. Can I speak, bro? That's you guys, can yeah. I just say something really quickly? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm not black, mm-hmm. and a lot of black people are racist towards me because I'm Arab. I get treated Thank you. a very, very disrespectful <laughs> by black people. Yes, they will come to me. Yes, they will come to me. Yes, okay. they will say, I can agree oh, with I you don't like you because you're Arab. Oh, you're from Arab? Go back, Arab? Oh, you're from Arab? Go back to your country. That's not racism. Oh, I need a, yes, yes, it is. No, that's not. That's prejudice. No. Look up the definition. Pull up the definition between prejudice and racism. Those are not the same. No. Can you pull up the definition? Can we write that on the list? Can we write that on the list? <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go ahead. I will literally go to a all black club and get told by the black women, you can't be here because you are not one of us. That is racism. Who has time to Somebody say that in a club that's partying? Somebody pull up the definition because they don't know. I'm the funniest here talking about a club. Let me see. I mean, she just told she you just her told experience. You that's her experience. Mind, 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 mind you, here on the panel, not a fucking... you call her light. She's actually Trinidadian. So she has some black in and here. And she just said, I'm not claimed by this. Like, like, what? The black is the same You never heard color. that. You can replay this shit 50 times. I never in my mouth said that. Somebody said it. Somebody, Somebody said, said it, but I did not claimed by okay, something. Let's we can proceed. play that shit back. I really don't give a fuck. The point is, the point is, is that I think it's... But my thing is, you judging me off of my fucking country like we all don't come from the same goddamn place, nigga. We all from Africa at the end of the day, whether we're fucking white or whatever. Okay, but skin color and... But wait, let me just say,
say this because I'm already <laughs> on the mic. Yeah. Yeah. Racism, yeah. racism yeah. is not based off of power. I it's can society speak, and I can speak as Wait, a Wait, nah, let me finish person. my shit, though. I've been trying to say this shit. Let her finish. Let her finish. <laughs> racism isn't based off of, like, power and systematic bullshit. It's based off of how you treat other people and how you judge other people based off of their skin color. That's what the fuck racism End is. Story. So if a yeah. fucking black person is calling a white person cracker and a white person is calling the other person, you know what? It's Wait. not wrong if the white, if the black person what calling. What can you say? Him, huh? Aren't you black? Yeah, say. Yes. Say. I, they said not guys, to say that shit. Not to say, nigga, but not to say. And we done been not one of the gravity of the effects. It's about its racist at the end of the day. It's not racist. Or like, let me use the definition of racism, please. My thing too, please. But my thing too. It's treating someone, ladies. It's very simple. Racism is basically treating someone differently based on their race and their skin color. So it's like, I get what you guys are saying, but I think that's a ludicrous concept to say black people can't be racist. Like. <laughs> no, if Black you want, can like, they can absolutely be racist. Is and prejudice racist. is a component that's <laughs> can, that comes in racism. We, we don't and have that thing, skill down to be racist. I just my gave you two examples of where black people have power. We can agree to disagree. There's more black millionaires now than ever before. There's more successful black people. Black people have more. You can make the argument that black people. Stop interrupting me. Stop interrupting me. Black people have more influence in the United States than any other group of people, and they're only a minority. Hip hop, music, culture, etc. Black people have an enormous influence on what? American okay, culture. Let's talk about that. What so you're saying that they don't Cosby? have power. What happened to Bill Cosby when he wanted to buy NBC? What happened with Tyler Perry when he wanted he to not... buy BET? Hold up, hold up. What happened? Most black men that have power, real power, something bad happens to them. We, also, what wait, wait, wait. Too. Black people does not have the power to to for systematic oppression with other races. We have been oppressed by other races, and we can agree to disagree. We there, have is nothing, there is yeah, nothing holding black cool. people back we from being that. successful mm-hmm. in today's day and age. The system. The yes, system. it is. The, the absolutely. Absolutely. So, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, then if that's the argument, explain to me why Nigerians okay, come so here. Me... Explain to me how Nigerians come here. Oh, yeah. They're black. They have some of the highest incomes in the United States. It's not like a police officer is going to pull them over and be like, oh, your name is uh, Dikembe, so I'm going to treat you differently than Jamal over here. No. Why is that people that come from foreign, from Africa, come here and do fine, and they're black too? <laughs> That's yeah. not every Americans person. Are that but you know, lazy. But, but wait, real quick, you, a lot yeah. of people say Americans yeah. are lazy. Didn't we just have this conversation? They are. They are. They are. Yeah. And they got people. About what they they I'm not, are. I'm not they oblivious to that, and I agree with you on that aspect. But I'm still saying what I said, and I stand on that. Ten toes. So I'm step, 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 step ahead. They have more opportunities than 99 percent of human beings in the world. Being born here, knowing the English language, and having an American passport. But you made th- it's just that people here a lot of the times are lazy and don't want to go ahead and strive for more. But you made a very no. good point when you said the people from Nigeria come in. It's because their upbringings are not are from, the, from the United yeah. States, which where where they're leading the systematic. So then it's a cultural problem, so not a racial harder. problem. It's even harder. <laughs> it's, a, oh. it's a combination of both, though. Okay, but it's a combination. But of it's both. clearly not racism, though. It's not solemnly <laughs> racism. It's a combination. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> okay, it's cultural problems. Which who goes ahead and decides the culture? Black people. Mm. Black people. There you go. Can I, can I Where we promote? Where do we promote? I, oh, rap. Hennessy, rap music, Drugs. killing each other, drug use, etc. Hennessy. Like, my thing is, how is it that immigrants come here from Africa that look just like us, but they're successful? Because and they don't have an American passport. Rules. They don't. They don't have the same. That doesn't matter. They they so that proves my point. That proves my point. That skin color is not the reason why you're not successful. Have it's exactly. decisions <laughs> and choice. So let me ask you this, Myron. This is for for you guys. Have you ever been discriminated against for your race? Of course. Everyone is. And then how do you feel about that? I don't let it. I don't, care. I don't let it define me. Mm. Why, why do you care? I don't mm-hmm. let it define me. Why should me? I stop you? Can I'm not from here. I'm from, I'm from Barbados. Everybody okay. gets discriminated oh against God. to yeah, some it, degree. It, it stop me. And and I know you guys are saying like, oh, white people are their oppressors, whatever. You can make yeah. the argument that white people get the most racist treatment nowadays than ever before. Mm-hmm. Affirmative action. Who's the public enemy? The white man. Let's blame the white yes. man for everything. Yes. Like he's the reason why we're oppressed. Blah blah blah. If anything, if you're a white male, it's harder for you to get a job than a black woman. Yeah. So explain mm-hmm. to me how that's not racist. Hey, it's just know. that the thing is, is that it's okay to be racist to Caucasian people because they're the oppressors. But I would argue anyone can be racist no, I don't to any think race. That's right, neither. I, mean, I don't think it's to be right to be like that, that towards go. anybody. So I'm not one of them people who think like, oh, well, you need to treat them like this because they're this ethnicity or race that's fucked up all the way around. The, the, the thing is this: black people are racist as hell. It's just that no one calls them out on their bullshit. That's, that's the right. reality. Yes. Y'all are racist as fuck, and I and I can say this because even black you? people are racist to me. You ain't one of us. Yeah, yeah. I kind of oh, am. Yeah. No, you ain't. And it's like okay. 
So you Literally, say y'all, when you I was growing up us. as a kid, yeah. I got bullied the most by you black women just because I had different hair and my skin color was lighter. Yeah, yeah I would yeah. go over to white people and they would accept me openly. But the, every black girl in my elementary school was bullying me, saying I'm not black, saying I'm too white to hang with them. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Yeah, every person I really got bullied by was fucking black. And I'm not mad at that that thing, but I'm just saying the um, most hate and racism I've experienced from people have been from black community. people. And it's because, because no one tells black people they're racist. But we deal with colorism within our community because I also went through that as well, right? I went that's out fight. That's think. how I learned how to fight. So I went through that because <laughs> I had a lot of fights in regards to that. Fights. But mm-hmm. I also have two brown-skinned daughters, and then I see what they go through. My mm-hmm. oldest daughter, I seen what she what she went through. So yeah. that's something that we have to fix within our community and heal in order to move forward. Can I ask yeah. a question? So that means that we're racist to each other, even. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, even nice though job. Admit it, I admit it. Admit it. That story admit just reaffirmed what I said. It. What, are you going to say something, yeah. then I got to ask the next question? That's fine. I just want to ask uh, a question real quick. Um, yeah. Just going back to, just wanted to know, so you were saying that it's oppression, not racism, so you don't feel like a black person telling me that they don't like me because I'm Arab isn't racist? I wasn't saying that. No, 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 no not, you, not you, not you, not you. Oh. To me. you yeah, because you said that. Question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, nigga. Focus. So, so you don't feel like a black person telling me that they don't like me because I'm Arab, and to go back to my country isn't racist? Is that gonna stop? To the mic. Is that gonna stop your money? Yes or no? What the fuck does money have yes to do with Yes or no? That? Just answer my question. Is that going to stop your money? Culture. Is that going to stop your progression from anything in life? Doesn't matter. They're saying yeah, it's doesn't matter. It's is that going to permit? Per- she is, ex- is that going to yeah. prevent you from getting a job? Is that going to prevent you from any fucking thing? Depends on where it is. Absolutely. If I went into Girl, a black, no, it's not. I, Girl, you getting in front of and where I'm from. You getting in front of and hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She's simply asking you, like, is it racist? She's not asking if it's gonna affect no. her money or anything else. Sorry. So you don't think it's racist to tell someone go back to your country? I think it's ignorant. Ignorant. Mm-hmm. But why I is don't it ignorant? Think it's racist. But why is it ignorant then? Because you shouldn't be saying that shit to people, bro. That's but, mean as fuck. But but, but why is it mean? It? What did it say though? Can you repeat that? I'm Wait, saying, hold like, on. I'm sorry. My bad. No, because because she's <laughs> asking you, is it not racist to tell her go back to your country because she's Arab and she's not black? Do you don't think that's racist? I think that's ignorant. And it's you fuck. think you think if like if I went into a black community and tried to get a job, they wouldn't hire me because I'm Arab, but they'd hire a black person because they're black. It's not racist. They well, she hire, just they said gonna hire you as soon as you black, apply. You gonna be fucked. Black people you are gonna, racist you to each other, so they might even have that racism. And you gonna be the motherfucking manager. Let's proceed. <laughs> Okay, we okay. had this race Olympics, but nobody ain't winning this You're shit. You're going to be the manager right. of my life. I'll um, take it to the grave yeah, okay. right now. You're right. the manager. All right. All right. All right. And uh, also, also right. um, next one. We, we got some chats here. You want to do it? Like, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Uh, chats for us. Because they're pulling Wait, up. Wait, can I just say? I'm just so, a quick question. What the purpose of this segment of your show is? Oh, my God. What was the, pur- what was the purpose of it? Pur- yeah. Uh, so the audience gets an idea of who's on the panel, mm-hmm. ages. Cause we collect- oh, that's not the- what I mean. I mean, like, so you have, like, how you uh, help guys. And so this segment, like what's or like this portion of the after hours with the girls. Yes. So it's what's, oh, what's like the reason? The point. Uh, after hours. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, of after hours. Yeah. Oh, well, two things. Um, it's obviously it provides entertainment, right? Because you're able to see ideas clash. Um, and the other thing too, I mean, I hate to say it like this, but it does expose a lot of things about female nature that we talk about during the daytime show. And there's a third thing. Super entertaining. It's also to fuck you girls. Oh. I love you that wish. men are so curious. They have to have a whole show about what women think. I don't give a fuck. You're 35. It's not necessarily that. It's it's more along the lines that, um, so we tell guys what makes you attractive as a man. And, you know, it's one thing for us to explain it, but for us to bring girls on and have them exemplify what we talk about all the time, it, kind of pretty much like look we told y'all this is how women tend to think and view the world in general and you can see it pretty much in the panel and what i've realized is that even regardless of woman's education her where she's from economic status whatever women typically have certain trends and patterns when it comes to dealing with the opposite gender yeah and also as a woman wouldn't you want men to become better to deal with you for mm-hmm. example better men more yeah. successful more in shape yeah more open-minded like, so once again helping men become better as well like also, yeah. also, what's the hardest thing a man can say as you're about to cam 
You're coming. What is the hottest thing you can say? Oh, I'm very intimate, so I love you would probably be oh, the best thing. Interesting. Oh. I actually oh, recommend yeah. that on I'm my, a romantic. Yeah, on my dating like program, it. I actually recommend a dessert of Just lie if you don't mean it. I say either. <laughs> no, we don't when want she's that. about no, to come, either, either say you love her or you hate her. They both work. Yeah, um, I guess yeah. so. Did anyone else have anything? Maybe on the couch or anything? Yeah, oh, I have sure, something please. to say. We want the man sure. as a leader. And then if the men are litter, the girls, even even they are whore or whatever, they, in the past or whatever, mm -hmm. they're going to, like, you know, try to equal the men. And if the men fucked up, then what do you want yeah. from the girl society? Yeah, don't you don't have to use whore. Just, it's synonymous with woman. Okay, sorry, point. my vocabulary is Yeah, just say woman. Bad. It's synonymous. So, so I, I don't, was that, like, more of a statement or was that a question I'm trying to? Uh, yeah, kind of both. Like, I tried to say, like you said, that the woman wants a guy, like, who's a feet and, like, uh, has money and stuff. And I said that the woman wants a leader uh, instead, like, and doesn't matter. He protector. tried to make money. Good, yeah, protector. Like, he tried to make money even if he didn't didn't make money yet so if he doing right things the girl's gonna be better and as zarka said that we're not gonna be a horse like yeah you know um, what I mean. so by example. Um, okay um so let me ask you this then do you think do, would you agree that only a minority of men can actually like take care of women and are you know competent leaders what's yes. nori i'm not sure minority what? the fuck minority, minority means like like it's not Small the majority amount. of men Oh, oh, can take care. Uh, but I don't think any man, if he wants to, can take care of the woman. No, but, but my question is, do you think a majority of men are capable and want to actually be no, the breadwinner, the so. leader, the protector? No, I don't think so. They don't want to take traditional responsibility traits. Okay, at so all. would you say it's a minority of men? Yeah. Okay, so do you think it's a... So that means that man is rare, right? Men are in their feminine now. Okay. So would you yeah. say masculine men are rare now? Yeah, yes. very. very but it's okay. okay if they're feminine as far as they take responsibility. Like, be a, There's like, a balance. You know, well, like, taking responsibility is actually a masculine trait. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so, There's uh, a balance. So, <laughs> no, I can take a responsibility when it, when as well, comes, even though I'm a woman. When it comes to taking responsibility as far as, like, you know, providing and caring for and providing, yeah. provisioning these things, like responsibility and that angle. Not that's only just do the right trait. things, yes, you know, no. even if you address no, no. provocative, just don't be like, you know, like you go to the club, even you were, I don't know, talk to the girls that want to trust you, do the right thing. Okay, now, now you're kind of going into a whole other thing. I, yeah. I just simply asked you a question. Like you're saying you want a man who's a leader, who's yes, that could take care correct. of women, right? Yes. Then I went ahead and asked, are these traits common in men today? Most of you said no, no. correct? Correct. Yes. Most guys, you would agree, are feminized. Right. No. Yeah. And don't. Yeah. That's a not a bad thing. It's fine. Most for okay, me, so for sure. you, but the rest of the women here, I think, want a more masculine man. Because yeah. if you have a feminized guy, like he's a feminized man, is it going to take care of you? Okay, okay, well, then I don't. Because he thinks that you're equal okay. to him. That's yeah. what makes him more feminized. Yeah. I mean, feminized, like you know, maybe soft and like. No, sweet. no, 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 no. Okay. That's a bad thing. Young lady, though. we're having. Okay. We're having rough. We're having rough sex. Period. Let me ask you this then. So you're saying. That, uh, you know, you want a guy that's a leader, protector. And most of you agree that this man is rare. Do you think it's a fair deal for a man who has all these traits, which makes him rare, to accept a woman that used to be a hoe? Why would no. he even come in no. contact with her if he's that in his Well, she did mention before a girl in her past, blah, blah, blah. She looked beside, yeah. find the guy. What's whore? What? Like, she has a lot of guys or what? Like She has a pa she has a promiscuous past. Do you think that woman deserves a count. higher caliber guy that, that has these traits that are rare? Yeah. yeah, of course. He if she's reached a point where she's not there anymore. Yeah, just look in the mirror. Okay, let me ask you this question then. If you think a woman that is has a promiscuous past deserves a top tier guy who's taking care of her, who is rare, then does a guy that's a bum panhandling on the side of the road, does he deserve a model? If no. he one day got his shit together, yeah. Well, if but, oh, hold on, hold on. What? If he got his shit together. So it's contingent upon something, correct? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, the girl is fair. too. If she got what is together... this stupid bitch talking about, Myron? You <laughs> triggered my trap card. Do you, do you see my? Do you see She's my saying logic it here? The yeah, but the touring. leader is the man, so he's supposed to do the first move. Like, let's say, uh, if all of society is bad, then who's supposed to do uh, the right move? It's no, 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 no. You're missing okay. the point. You're okay. missing the point. What I'm saying is that you guys aren't going to go ahead and accept a bum if you're a model and you're very attractive. Right. Why well. should a man who's exceptional pick up a hoe? Should, he shouldn't. shouldn't. You guys literally said they deserve no, it a second ago. If she wasn't a hoe anymore and she like got her shit together. But if she was a hoe, does a leopard change his spots? No. Love can always make a, a lot of people Listen, change. People she was, like, Listen, what, all I'm seeing here, I don't know if you guys see the logic here. Mm -hmm. In your guys, like, like men should accept women regardless of their past, but you guys would never accept us if we weren't where we need to be. Yeah. Because well, that's no, not true. Not all of the leaders are men, and she can't be... She can't one be whore at a time. Hold on, stop the show. Hold on, real quick. <laughs> Candace, now you see why we do this show? <laughs> yeah. 
There you go. The, the flawed logic and showing how women contradict themselves all the time and don't make sense. And they view the world through a very narrow lens of what benefits me. I don't give a fuck about men. I literally use the same exact analogy. If a bum, does he deserve a top tier model looking chick? All of you said no. And I agree, actually. I didn't say He's got to get his shit together. Okay, if you're going to use that logic, then a then a guy who's exceptional, that's attractive, that could provide, protect, and provision, which women are looking for, a hoe does not deserve him. You're you're okay. you're missing a thing of logic that you sure, didn't plug good. in for these people. Sure. It's because in your mind, it's once a hoe, always a hoe. But in yes. their mind, yeah. you can stop being a hoe. But you didn't plug yeah. that part in. But that's what that's yep. why nobody's that's understanding. Well, I use I use the leopard yeah. in spots. Yeah, yeah but you that said that quickly. Phrase. But I'm saying like for them, they're saying because yeah. because to them, your analogy fit. If a guy becomes successful, he's entitled to a yes, good woman. Yeah. And for the woman, if they stop being a hoe, then they are entitled to a decent guy. Thank you. When does these bitches stop being ran through? <laughs> and the man's supposed to be wise enough to understand if the woman can change or if she's good enough, you know, or if she's just uh, became well, why, why gamble if it becomes successful? Gamble if you're going to yeah. change or not. I don't want you in the first place. Yeah. Right. Why, why, why gamble it? Like you're broke. I guess the reason you would gamble it is right 95% of women are not um, virgins upon getting married. So the reason you'd gamble it is because you only have 5% of women to look at. Mm -hmm. And so your options are extremely limited. So mm -hmm. because your options are limited, why wouldn't, I mean, you might be forced to But I mean, that's going it. zero to 100. You don't have to get a promiscuous girl either. Yeah, you can get you a know. girl with a lower body count. Yeah, yeah but you have yeah, no yeah, way sure. of knowing, right? Well, so if you had a real connection with actions, someone, though, you would you know, you can't, you can't you can't look at a girl until she's got like five bodies. Yes, you can. There's no way of really Are you kidding? Knowing. A loose you can. Come on, Fresh, tell him a loose pussy I'm whistle. I'm saying in the real world. In the real world. You world. can hear wind coming out that fucking <laughs> hole. I want to be. If you're gonna in the, I'm just saying in the real world, you can't yeah. tell if a girl had like the body count by looking at them. There's no way you'll know, right? I agree. You can tell by their behavior. Nobody wants to see that. Let's be honest here. If she's partying every night with friends, going on random trips, legit like, talking to guys randomly, it's like, okay, cool. I get that part, but like, do I want that for myself? No. no. So all, on paper, seems like she's a hoe. Yeah, on which paper. is fine, but I don't know why you why not just focus on the behavior then. I don't want a girl that's like talking to a ton of dudes, partying all the time, whatever. Exactly. Because I, I don't know why folks don't like, because you don't know the body count. And and you're a dumbass if you're a guy, not you, but like if a girl tells you a body count and she knows that you're super judgmental on it, she's going to lie to you every time. Exactly. Anyway, yeah. right? Exactly. You have, to, you have to judge on behavior. Actions will tell. Sure, like, yeah. And I think this is why it's so uh, important for tell. men to understand how women think. And a lot of times this show will explain that. And you'll learn tactics that women employ to, you know, kind of, because I always sell men sell success, women sell purity. You need to be able to detect the women that are trying to sell you purity and identify if she's a religious sales. Sure, but you're also like circularly, you're creating your own problem, right? By telling a guy, avoid a woman with a high body count, you're creating women that will lie about their body count. So now you're creating methods to detect women that you're creating because of your own ideas, right? Well, that's where it comes into experience, why it's so important. Yeah. That's why I said guys. That's what I said, but I, like, I'm just saying you're creating your own problem with your own system there, right? Oh no, women are going to run around and fuck people no matter what, and they're always going to try. Sure, to but they're probably going to lie about it more to a guy that she thinks is going to judge them harshly over it. Versus, I tell guys don't even ask. Sure, that's I, don't even ask. I wouldn't even. I, I wouldn't even ask. I wouldn't even put that atmosphere out there. If she volunteers that information, it's whatever. But don't even ask because the answer is going to piss you off no matter what. And it's up to you. Just identify patterns, look at her past, and you know, come to a logically sound conclusion of what you think it is, and then decide is that number two high for you. Every guy's different. With I agree what with that. But then in that case, you're pretty similar for men and women. You look at the past no matter what, right? Yes, but a, a woman's past is far more important than a man's past. What if you Why? 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 Hold on. If you, if you had to date a man, value. and mm -hmm. not you, okay, but like if a woman was going to date a man and in his last relationship, they ended because he was physically abusive, the woman's probably going to judge the guy pretty harshly on his past there, right? No, and no, women no, also, women talk a lot to each other about men they've dated. So mm -hmm. if you are a fuck guy, all the women in your circle are going to know about yeah, it. They're going to hear about that shit at no, the no, PLA, yes. right? But sexually, we mean, for example, if the guy's like, Bang, we're talking girls, about promiscuity in it doesn't general. matter because he's, he's a guy but if a girl's doing that it's kind of like I, I think it matters in the friend circle of women too that if there's a guy that's fucked like every girl in a circle it's gonna be harder for him to date any of those girls i think people will Very judge much. him for yes that. yes mm -hmm. for sure not it's not gonna have the same negative connotation because yeah. a man that can have sex with a lot of women is doing something right versus a woman that has sex with a lot of dudes is definitely doing something wrong I agree with sure, you. Sure, maybe, but like mm -hmm. women are going to be But not like that women won't date fuckboys generally. Right. 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 Like, like, if you I might know... fuck a fuckboy, but you're not going to date a fuckboy. But hold on. Did they, they know? But if they, if they don't know, know, though, then it's you a could, game. Well, sure, but then we're back at ground attitude. zero where, like, if nobody knows anything, I mean, like, but I'm just saying in general. Well, to simplify this, it's just simply this. 
Fuck boys are attractive to women, but girls that are hoes aren't necessarily attractive to men for anything. Girls nice that are hoes are attractive to fuck boys. They're just trying to fuck. You think Zerka here has ever said no to a girl because of her body count? No, no, no. no, no, no. I'm right? saying from a sexual standpoint. Hey, Myron, I'm saying what? Destiny, leave Anastasia alone. Zerka, Zerka, <laughs> Zerka, would you shut down a girl? If you found out a girl had 15 bodies and you were the fucker, are you kicking her out of your hotel? Oh, absolutely. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. So no, we're taking her Anastasia, what's your body count? Am I fucking tonight or are you fucking dirty? <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and switch over to Rumble. Uh, guys, um, let's get ready. Everyone, it's, uh, it's, fine. it's fine. Yeah, guys, come on over to um, rumble.com slash fresh. We're going to switch over because we got the special guest here, and I don't want to keep them waiting. Yeah. Can Very I simple add one. Something? How long would you stick around? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. Yeah, like we have internet nowadays, so he can do something like online. Online, yeah. And he can also like, like uh, take online. a risk and create his own like business website. I don't know. like. Is just... that easy to do? Uh, I think yeah. <laughs> yeah she, she's saying yeah. it in a nutshell. They can just figure it out. Oh, yeah. Figure it out bro. right now. It's you know, not, you know what like, it is, man. Like it's... women have like a lot of women don't have a real concept of money. Like you guys just go on a boat and you have no idea that the men that put you on that boat had to spend thousands of dollars for you guys to even have that experience or on the boat. Yeah, and yeah. Then, here's the thing: they don't even enjoy. They didn't even like respect the experience really. Like, yeah. oh, we feel creepy. Not they true. want to jump off boat. I want to jump off boat. <laughs> it's like, like, bro, they don't even appreciate <laughs> it. <bro. laughs> oh, like, Twenty women, I put a word. No. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, honestly, if I'm gonna be a thousand, like the, the the amount it costs for them to get that boat is worth more than like a typical Ukrainian salary. Like, it's no, a lot I'm of money. Sorry. To be fair. Some of these guys are creeps and weirdos. Yeah, I get that. But I get that. Being on the boat in general, he's right though. But that's what I'm trying to say is that yeah, like they, they don't have a real concept of money. Like her Why answers like tells so? me like Why do you think so? What do you mean? Why yeah. do you think so? That's wrong. Think like uh that we don't have an idea about the money. Because you said like, you wait, want wait. to jump off the boat. That you he's just saying you no, 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 they no, spent no. so much money no, on no, this, no. Yeah, like we and don't that, appreciate and you don't it. No, it we're grateful for all experience. Like Yeah, we were grateful but yeah, but they're just having fun. Yeah, not they're not even thinking about they're that. Fun. Vacation. It wasn't yeah, fun. 100%. I understand because both sides, fun. but that's what they're trying to say. You and, don't realize how much and, money and that, these men are spending to have you on that yacht, and then we all to, to take you. advantage of it, kind of, because we're like, you're saying that fun. we haven't had they're money. Like, fun. What? Yeah. Most yeah, women. but when girls have money, it's a lot more different than guys having money because girls don't really care that much about spending it on, like, whatever. Guys, they are more focused and not focused, but, like, they're more, like, It on sounds point. sexist. What, what's sexist? It's not sexist because yeah, I yeah, see you're I'm, I'm, I'm hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you try to get on the boat? No, but no. like oh, if my oh, oh, that's if, sexist. Gotcha, bitch. But we're from that's Ukraine. That's right there. It is. Oh, oh, we're from Ukraine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The most sexist because country ever. <laughs> Did we? Not... Hold on, hold on. Stop the show. Hold on. Stop the fucking show, man. <laughs> like earlier in the show, I asked you. The guy wants to have you pay for the yeah. day, whatever. What was the first thing you said? But oh, in Ukraine, the man pay for everything. Do you remember? In Ukraine, the man pay for everything. Everything. I'm sorry. That's do sexism. Remember? Do you remember that I told you that if I'm asking her to go somewhere to the cinema, that I will pay for her because I'm asking her to go somewhere? It's a kind. Do you it's remember that? That was, but that was with a, a woman. That's with another woman. But when I yeah. asked you about the specific situation, yeah, I'm paying with that for man, my friends also. They are men. I'm paying for them. Oh, uh, you didn't say that before. Now you're switching it up. It's a you courtesy. Said her. It's a courtesy. But She's I'm being paying kind. for my friends, where I I could pay for my like uh, boyfriend. It's for me fine. And I've told you I was paying for my. Here's the thing, you okay. can't make but a, for an the argument. first day for, sorry, you can't make an argument against sexism when you directly benefit from sexism. And do you think these random men are your friends that invite you on a yacht? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but she's not thinking about that at the time. She's just trying to have fun. I'm just saying. And they just want she's to just talk. trying to have fun. She's not thinking about it at that uh, specific which time. Which I agree with. That's but the point I'm... that I was trying to make in general is that women don't really have a real concept of money and or the opportunities presented to them Absolutely. and or how the real world, world works with and, money. And I agree. Because what I was saying was, like she said, oh, he could just start a website and make money or get a job. And then I was asking, well, who do you think is easier for it to get a job, a man or a woman? And then she thinks, oh, a man. No, it's actually easier for a woman. Actually, Way easier. Their own scenario right now, they're here in America chilling niggas oh. are dying in war fighting over there ukrainian men can't come to canada they can't or the united there states they're stuck chill. in ukraine that's yeah. the highest level of sexism yeah if we're going to be all the way a million they can't even leave so not yes, only do they got to pay for days but they got to fight in war for women that aren't even there yeah Damn. on yachts fucking i'm great in miami god damn if we're going to be honest here sexism benefits you guys at the highest level men your age are dying holy 
And Ukraine Fuck is losing war. I'm, su- I'm not supporting this. Supporting like, what? Supporting that uh, uh, men can't leave uh, the country because of the war. I know? understand that you're not supporting it, but you're still directly benefiting su- from it. If I'm benefit this, I don't support this. Like it's you're like, benefiting from it because you're a girl. Yeah, that's, that's what our he's point. Saying. That's my point. And here's the thing. I mean, I don't want to sound like an asshole, but Ukraine is losing the war very badly. Mm. Really badly. We all know this. Are you I mean, they're Russian. Mainst- <laughs> you better check the news. No, like, look, no, oh, because I, you sound like that. Look, 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 look. I, I am very well aware of what's going on with the conflict. Okay? I don't think so. And uh, Ukraine is losing the war. Absolutely, Zelensky mm. doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, and you was thinking that Donbas region uh, in Donbas region, uh, Russian lives. It is. It is. F- it's yes. not true. It's been I'm Russian from there. for the longest time. No, you, you I'm just admitted that you're on the edges. You don't. Know, you're not really from the Donbas. You said that you're from literally Donbass. on the edge where the uh, Ukrainians are. No, I'm are. from the Donbas region. Like probably, I'm sorry. That's uh, I. I this is like not three really languages. Like not, we're, not we're not going there. We're not going there. We're not going there. Look, you, wait, that. hold on. Let me ask you this: Do you actually think Ukraine is willing to conflict with Russia right now? That Ukrainian is winning. Yeah. You think Ukraine is winning? The yes, conflict? I hope. Yeah. Okay. Hope, hope, or do you know? Well, we know no. that Ukraine will win, like for sure. <laughs> no, 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 but are you winning right now? Is the question? Yes. You've lost a third of your country. No. Yes, you have. They've taken all of eastern Ukraine already. Mm. What about the heart? They're already, using, rub- about the they're region. already using rubles in Crimea. What are you talking about? That, like, you, it's you, not you the got- third part. Ukraine like, is the biggest uh, country in the Europe. I mean, Donbass would- region is not like a third party. In, even Donbass. No, I said, I said one third of your country a- is gone. No. So Russia's already taken the one third of your country and captured no. it. One third. They're they're using rubles right now in eastern U- Ukraine, <laughs> like they're using rubles. I-, I can't believe that you don't know this. Not in all parts like of Eastern Europe. There is a part that are occupied, and yeah, they use like rubles, but it's not one third. Yeah. yeah. No, they've t- they've absolutely captured one third of Ukraine at this point. Now I'm shocked that you guys don't know this. We know. But, oh, so then why are you denying the truth? No, like it's we not know better uh, than you. About that's, uh, I'm not saying this to like shit on your country or anything, but reality is reality. Like Russia is absolutely winning this conflict. That's not no, even a question. It is a win. It is a win that uh, they're using rubles in the, the cities. Like, yes, that means your currency is non-existent. Which following after there will be no Ukraine after that. Let's agree. If this. they're not even using the currency, what does that tell you? Disagree here. Let's like, agree. Disagree here. All of Eastern uh, Ukraine is gone. They've they've taken it. It, No, Russia has absolutely captured most of it. You know what I mean? Like it is. That's what it is. If you guys don't like the truth, that's what it is. Yeah. And I'm crazy that you guys. We like the truth. We Ukrainians. Huh? We like the truth. We Ukrainians. And you really need to check the news because you don't know anything. Like. Oh, you're watching the mainstream media. That's why you're watching like CNN and stuff like that, which is obviously going to always give. I'm watching my parents there. And I yes, know we have relatives, true. we have like dads, but he's not saying and, they're winning. Like, our grandparents okay. he's not happy and, for them. Like, so look, 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 let's say this, right? He's just saying they're winning. You guys are right in your own right, and then there's there's a the truth, okay? No, so, they're fucking wrong, bro. Like, I, I, like that's <laughs> one thousand percent. Shut up, please. Who the fuck are you talking to? To you. Wow. Look. Let me tell you something. I'm sorry. It's okay, like no, 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 no. You want to hide from this, but you're, you're it's on not my cool. show. Look, look, look. You're on my show. We okay. don't talk about fiction over here. We talk about facts. Okay. It's an absolute fact that Russia was winning this conflict. It's an absolute fact that one third of your country is fucking gone. If you don't like it, you can get the fuck out of here too. All right. Mm-hmm. But I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat the truth. All right. You guys want to sit here in La La Land in the West and live life and be on yachts and having fun or whatever and not know what the fuck is going on in your country? That's your fucking problem. But I'm not going to concede on that. I know for a fact I brought professionals in. You and weapon inspectors. They have talked about foreign policy that know way more than you guys do. Okay? You're absolutely wrong. Every military professional knows for a fact that Ukraine is losing this conflict. That's a fact. You guys don't know because you're too busy in fucking Canada fucking off. That's the truth. All right? If you guys don't like it, get the fuck off the panel. But I'm not going to lie on my own podcast for your feelings. Feel free to leave. Bye. Feel free to leave. Facts over feelings, man. Welcome to Fresh and Fit. I don't give a fuck. Okay. All right. That was definitely a heated exchange. <laughs> man, nah, man. We're not going to fold to some fucking girls lying about that shit. Don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They have been in the, city, in the country for years. My family tells me, okay, they're going to tell you what they want to say. The Western media has been lying about the Ukraine conflict for fucking years to continue giving aid to Ukraine. It's a fucking lie. Zelensky is out here scamming everybody. 
Ukraine is one of the most politically corrupt countries in Europe. One of the second, poorest countries right next to fucking Moldova. But nobody knows that shit. Anyway, uh, where are we at? Chats. Uh, chats. Can three body count or above make you a whore? And if not, then what body count is too much? Go ahead. Um, I don't think, like, over three, that doesn't make you a whore. Okay, what number for you is too much then? Like, as a girl, like, too yeah. much as a girl. Um, What number makes you say, like, nah, bro, come on, man? Maybe, like, over 12. Over 12? Okay, yeah. so three and above is not, but 12 is when you start to draw the line? I mean, not draw the line, because, like, you can't really control, like, how many people, like, you know, you, you might have a boyfriend. control it. No, like, it's like when you if you food. have, if you're with someone, like you can choose what, what you want to eat, right? Same thing with sex. Choose what you okay. want to smash. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. You choose, much? but. Is it 12 or what? What's the number for you? Yeah, 12. Okay. So if someone has 13, whore in your eyes. <laughs> no, I number. honestly, I honestly don't think like that matters. Like your number. Okay. Does a hundred matter then? Totally. I mean, like. Damn. That's. If you that's son, insane. That's insane oh, so to have that injury, Okay, so but... you did clearly have limits here. So if your son... <laughs> okay, for myself, but Jesus I'm just Christ. saying it just doesn't matter. Yo. All right, if you, if you had a son, what number would be too much for his girl to have for you? What would you be like, hey, man, you need to rethink? Mijo. Like 20. Okay. Be like, come on now. Okay. okay. All right, what about you? What's too much for you? In a girl? Yeah, is three, too, is three make a chick a whore? Or, no. okay, what number is too high for you then? But just for a girl, right? Yes. Okay. I think 20 is a reasonable number. Okay. Yeah. What about you? What's too much for you? I honestly don't think about it. Like, about... Okay. What's too much? What about if your son was going to get married to a girl? Uh, what number would be too high for you where you would pull him aside and be like, hey, you need to rethink this wedding? If I was a man or... A... If you were his mother. If I was his mother? Yeah. yeah. If and you I want was your his... son's best interest. If I was his mother even concerned about who his wife's body count was, I'd be a little concerned for myself because that probably <laughs> means that he's a, like mama's boy and that there's more than a mother-son relationship going on because I don't think any mom is like, how many guys has your fiancé fucked? Because that's weird. Don't you think it's a mom's job to protect her son from predatory women, though? I think... The moms that are normal just want their sons to be happy and they can tell if a woman is classy, treats him good, and is nice to the family. I don't think she's Googling his like looking and doing but data science. Sexual history play a role in her being classy. But who's who's going into details to try to find that out? That's weird. If you care that much, that's just weird to me. Well, well shouldn't a mother care about her son that much? Yeah, she can, but she cares about him if she, he's happy. That's all that really matters. And m yeah, but what mothers if he doesn't have know? good instinct. Yeah, but what if he doesn't know? And how would the mom know? Because women know women each other well from experience. I'm telling you, no mom questions how many men have your fiancé fucked. Okay, let me ask the ladies here on the panel. Would you guys care about how many partners your son's potential wife had? Would you I guys would. care? You would care? Would you care? I don't... Um. I don't. Wow. I wouldn't want to know that. Yeah. Would you like, care? But yeah. Like I wouldn't want to know. I don't want to know either. either. I don't want to know either. Like I won't really like care. But Would you can you tell care? if she if she's nice or not. Like you can just tell. That's right. what I'm saying. This is why saying. fathers are so fucking required, man. Holy well, shit. Well, let's be fair. This is why dads. No, hold on, hold on. Yeah. I gotta say this. This is why dads are just way better parents than mothers most of the time when it comes to upbringing a child and preparing them for the real world. And this is why single mothers do so terrible with their children, and single fathers do so much better. <laughs> Mothers are not willing to have the difficult conversations and protect their sons from really bad decisions that could be potentially devastating for them long term. Like, that's crazy to me that none of y'all care about the promiscuity and the sexual history of your son's potential wife who can marry him, take half his money, destroy him in the divorce courts, take his children from him. Like, do you guys not understand that a female's promiscuity in the past absolutely determines her ability to be with your son long term? Yeah, That's but true. Can I ask you, are you, are you, are you, are you, are you someone's mom? But that, are you a man's mom? <laughs> the the chances of <laughs> him then, even then, knowing? Like, how would, like, how would you even know what a mom of a son would think or feel? This is what she should care about, though. That's from your mind. But I'm telling you, most moms just want 
their son to be happy and they're happy. So, like, so, so you. Well, <laughs> no, okay. Ahead, I mean, first of all, like the chances of the son <laughs> even knowing. Maybe you should stick with you as a man and but stop I think putting I said yourself. Fathers are so important. Stop I putting think, yourself into a mom's the issue mindset. Is, is that you're thinking the question itself. So let's make it more fair. Nobody asks their son's fiance or, you know, uh, girlfriend how many bodies they had. But let's say, for example, you, you figured out from a friend of a friend, she's been playing around with multiple guys, had multiple partners, and, like, just, just for a living. That makes would more you, sense. Because would yeah. you the way be concerned posed, for your son's well-being at that yeah, point? Yeah, yes. The way he posed it is like, oh, he's he, the guy's going to know, and then he's going to come tell his mom, which... That just, but I not... feel like as a guy, you would never bring a woman to meet your parents unless you knew 100% this girl, you know. No, okay. men do you that. You they bring guy, strippers home to marry. Guys do all the time. And once it's... again, it's from experience. You as a mom should know, all right, she's a good girl or she's not. You should know that from Yeah, from she should know that. But she so you is... asked you earlier for your opinion. My, for your the alarming thing to me is everyone's willingness to kind of turn the cheek and like not care about that. Like that's what it was is was very interesting to me. But again... Goes back to what I said before. This is why typically fa single fathers do better than single mothers in the stats because single fathers, at, at least they, they have the disciplinary aspect of um, being the parent, right? They might not have the nurturing and the whole feel good, oh, I might love you, blah, 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 but they will at least discipline you and reinforce that there are consequences in life. Yeah. Well, that's because I think men and women play different roles they in do. a child's life. They do. So they need both. They really need both. Yeah, they do. But... It just, it just, I just find it very interesting how all of you were willing to like only one of you was like oh I'd care about it but like no one took like an emphatic stand to be like it's different no for that matters like I have a daughter like I don't have a son so like I have brothers I have three brothers you would know? you want your daughter to be promiscuous so no if like <laughs> so so I'm why would saying... you want your son to get with a promiscuous woman if you don't even want that for your daughter no I I'm not saying that I would want it I'm just saying that would I agree with her on that one thing that. It would be a little strange that I would somehow know about who this girl has been with or how many right. people. I think that's was, that's was what they were stuck on the actual finding out how they would they yeah. would know. But ultimately, we're just saying if you knew from maybe another source. Yeah, if we that know, we don't streets, want that. Obviously, right. no. Okay, well then they agree with you. They just didn't so, want. And, to and I don't think uh, fathers are doing that much better than mothers. I mean, there's statistics also that show that daughters that live with their fathers have a much higher suicide attempt rate. Right. You know what I mean? Huh? Yes. You know, sometimes like well, fathers but don't really like, take care I mean, of like their it, daughter that well. Like they don't even like give attention or like care. It's different. Like um, single fathers do better than single I, mothers in every right? metric. No. Single mothers are the leading contributor to degenerates in society. Going to prison, alcohol abuse, drug abuse, um, being a convicted felon. All of this dropping out of school. All of this goes up significantly when with single mothers versus single fathers. And that's because um, whatever the reason that they're single. And a lot of time it's because the father wasn't, you know, responsible enough. It's well, who picked them, though? <laughs> but I mean, the reason I think I a mean, lot obviously of mothers you're in are... a unique situation. Like for Not you, you're widowed, enough. but most women are not widowed. Most women end up picking a really bad partner. Yeah. Or they don't appreciate the one that they're with. But the reason they're not doing as well as some of the guys is because they're it's too much for them. Like they're not cut out for all these things all right let me go back to the topic what body count is too much for you then miss uh only fans tv <laughs> if any thing is i don't really think about that because yeah okay i don't what, what about what's too much for you well i said 20 to 30 is too much i would okay. say that all right what about you i i think like what yeah, she said 20, 20 to 30, 30 and yeah. of course it depends on your age if you're like early 20s and you've already racked up and you know this crazy part is some of some of this generation lose virginity when they was like younger mm -hmm. so body count are super high like crazy high. what about you um so part. i wouldn't think that someone over three is a hoe um now of course depending on their age okay um what's too much for you for myself no no, no. i mean what's too much yeah for, not for you particular i mean women in general like if a girl told you you'd be like ah I guess once it gets to the double digits. So 10 and above? Yeah, for me, like, okay. for myself, like, I have different standards for myself, but, like... Okay. Yeah. All right. For others. All right. Interesting. All right. Uh, where are we at? No. No. no we does, got does, 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 does sexual partners, Sex partners matter for women? Yes or no? No. No. Okay. Why no? 
I get it now. <laughs> She's like, wow. Um, <laughs> so hyped. Um, I guess both parties, men and women, have an experiencing face. And um, okay. I'd rather that than tomorrow my grandkids seeing uh, the OnlyFans mother. Boobies out, but JJ out. I prefer that not. I rather the woman slept with as many men as she wanted through her exper experimentation okay. than that. And um, so you think it doesn't matter because of experiencing? No, okay. right. I guess I guess there's different types of experiencing in your life. Okay. It can right. be sex. It can be other things. Okay. Okay. But, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then hooking up. Nope. I don't want that. What if tomorrow they cheat on my kid? Okay. That last so one. you're okay with a woman experiencing, but it better not be with your son. No, no. Experience as much as you want. But uh, when you get married to him, no don't more. go hooking up with nobody else. Who do you think is going to stay more faithful? A woman that's had a lot of sex in the past or a woman that's not had a lot of sex a in the past? A woman that has had a lot of sex in the past. You think she's going to be more loyal? Yeah. Okay. Right. Why? Because um, if you enter in a relationship and you're a virgin or you're whatever you are, you lack experience. Um, you don't know if you actually like how the penetration is going for example or you don't know if you like the boobies touch in a certain way okay okay guys if you don't try out then how do you know you're being successful in a sense i mean you're thinking logically and about this but uh it's more of a emotional type of like thing biological no, emotions Sex is nature. Yeah, but, but it's biology, though. So, I mean, like, you're thinking logically about it. Yeah. But okay. And also... I guess at the end of the day, we're all animals, no? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you think, think promiscuous women are more likely to be faithful because they've experienced more pe things. Yeah, and they okay. know what they like and they don't like. Okay. All right. And what what about you? you? Don't, if you don't try, then you want to experiment with different people or with different things all right uh for you uh what do you think uh it, does body count matter for women in your opinion i do not think it matters okay and you said no why why don't you think it matters because well i don't tend to judge people on what they're doing so are you saying as it pertains to me specific or in general in general yeah why do you think body count doesn't matter for women well because i think you make a conscious decision of who you're going to sleep with okay um some people Great. they do plan promiscuity they know that they're going and having multiple partners, and that's what they have agreed with their body to do. Mm -hmm. So who are we to say, oh, you had how many? At what point does it become too many partners? It's too arbitrary. So there's no number for you, no limit? Per personally? Five bodies is equivalent to a thousand. Are you saying, are you speaking to me? No, 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 I'm asking your opinion in general. I just don't come from a place of judgment of what people do with their vaginas. Okay, so you don't think any body count matters? I don't think so, no. Every, as long as you can sleep at night with what you're doing with your anatomy and that's anatomical parts, why would it matter to me? Interesting. Do you think women that have high body counts can sleep well at night? Absolutely. In general? You think so? I think so. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're saying no because you can't judge someone else. No, I don't think we... I, I mean, obviously, I mean, unless we're saying like she's getting gang banged. If it's a conscious decision that she's made... Then why, at what point is it too many partners? What might be too many partners to you might not be to me. Do you get what I'm saying? There's no, standard. okay, she hit 10. She's it, a hoe. There's no, yeah, there's there's no, there's no, no standard. There's no standard, yeah. There's no standard. Mm -hmm. All right, so, what about you? You said body count doesn't count. Why do you say that? <clears throat> because, I don't know, it's your body, it's your decision. Everybody, I don't know, it's your decision. Um, really... I don't really have more experience, so yeah, I love that. Me gusta mucho la exclusividad. She likes she likes a lot of exclusivity. Yeah, yeah, she likes sharing. She, she don't like to be. I'm talking about women, not men. <laughs> no, but in general, she's saying yeah. 
It's in general. She she likes to be exclusive. She don't pick. But anybody. doesn't that contradict promiscuity? Hmm, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that contradicts what you just said. So you like exclusivity, but you're saying body count shouldn't matter. I mean, depending. I feel. Let like, her speak. Okay, my bad. Yeah, it depends because it's your life, it's your decision, it's your body. So, yeah, it's whatever you want it. But you want exclusivity. For me, yes. No. For but, the other person, is whatever you want it. Okay, so you're saying, so you're saying, body count doesn't matter because it's your body. For women, mm -hmm. how many people you have sex with? It's your body, it's your decision. Okay. So, do you have sex with a lot of people? No. So you don't subscribe to it? Mm-hmm. You contradict yourself, though. <sighs> okay, so, let's see. <clears throat> how about this? Say it in Spanish. Angie, give Angie a mic real quick or give her headphones so we can hear what the hell's going on. They're both from Venezuela, so we won't have any fucking uh, issues here because I want to really <laughs> understand what she's saying because she's contradicting herself and I want to make sure I have this right. All right, go ahead. Say it in Spanish freely. So you said body count doesn't matter. Why? No importa porque realmente es tu decisión, es tu cuerpo. Tú decides con quién quieres estar, con quién no quieres estar y qué quieres hacer. Okay, she's saying that it doesn't matter because it's your body, so you decide who you want to be, what you want to do. What okay. else? Okay. And what else? Did she say anything else? Repite. Okay. That's it? Yeah, that's okay. it. Okay, but you said that you want exclusivity. Para mí, sí. Yo realmente soy una persona que no he tenido mucha experiencia, no he estado con muchas personas. For me, yes. Okay, you gotta give me a second. Okay. For me, yes, uh, because I don't have much experience. I haven't been with that many people. Okay, that says everything you need. Is, okay, interesting. Okay. Okay, so it's your body, but she doesn't practice what she says. I'm not joking. Okay. What about you? Does body, you said body count does okay. matter. Yes. Why do you think it matters? Because you're supposed to give it to the man that you're supposed to marry to. You're not starting to give it to anyone, you know, everyone and and whatnot. And no one's going to really take you for a girlfriend or take you seriously. Because who's to say that one day after another, I'm going to go fuck someone else. Okay. What about you? You said body count doesn't matter. Why? Because you decide who you want to be with. You just don't be with anybody. Kind of the same thing there, Ritu. Yeah. Wait, so you're saying body count doesn't matter, but you decide who you want to be with and you don't be with anybody? Honestly, I'm going to tell you something. From the answer we got there, that okay. was for Speaking me. Speaking to the mic. Oh, my bad. For the answer we seen there, mm -hmm. I feel like that was the best answer I could have picked. I'm answering from those three shows that I have. Uh, oh, the previous question. She's yeah, because you thinking... guys are going based on that, right? No, I'm just asking you, do you think a woman's body count matters? In general. In general. Depending. I mean, you're not going to be with 10 guys in a week. So, so is it a Speak no or a yes? For so, me, it don't matter because I'm not the type of person that I be with anybody that just me, you know? Like, it's depending on the person, I think. Do you think a woman's body count should matter in general, yes or no? I'm sorry? Do you think a... Jesus Christ. Angie, <laughs> please say, say it in Spanish. I want to make sure the ladies really understand this. No, no, no. Go ahead. Que si tú crees que el, el body count, la cuenta, de, no sé cómo decirlo, de, de personas con las que, con las que han estado, sexo. importa o no importa. Pero you're talking about me in general. Sí. For me, it don't matter because I don't be with just anybody, you know? Like, so it does matter. Because you're clearly picking who you want. So body count does matter to you because you're selective. I mean, I don't pick it, just anybody. Like if so, so you're picky. Yeah, right. Kinda, yeah. Which means I body am. count matters. Not kinda. I am picky. But <laughs> you know, like it's a choice that you make. <sighs> Fuck, Ooh, man. Yeah, no, you're so low right now. It's okay. Yeah, we, we. No, this is why women can't lead. This proves my point. Like, yo, y'all can't even answer a very simple question. Don't say y'all. You answer the question, right? You answer the question, but it absolutely contradicts your practices. Because I only had three choices. And out of those three choices... I, I think there's a language barrier here. No, no, no. Angie translated it perfectly. They just don't make yeah. sense. She's saying, so 
Body count does matter, or it doesn't matter. It does matter. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> she's saying no. <laughs> she's saying no, but her her, her but explanation. But are you basing on the answers yeah. we got, right? If I'm not wrong. No, I, uh, no. So she's going off of the question from before. Yeah. He's saying in general. I for know. You. In oh. general, well, out of that question, I think it can matter because you don't pick anybody to be with. Out of that question. You confused the fuck out of me. <laughs> You're speaking gibberish. He's like, if tomorrow yeah. you met a guy and he has like 200. No, we're talking about females no, 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 only. No, 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 no. Not okay. men. <laughs> so, yeah, so all your friends, imagine you're the one with. You know, the... I'm just going to write her answer. I'm going to put yeah. no, but she's selective. <laughs> yeah, I am selective. It doesn't make sense. What about you? Does ma- so Figure clearly it, it does matter then, but that's fine. Does Figure body count out. matter to you? For me, it doesn't matter. We've got one life, so if tomorrow I met someone and I want to. YOLO. I will, like, Yolo. like I've got okay. one life. Okay. So, yeah. What about you? Thank you. That was simple. Yeah. Does body count matter? Yes or no and why? Yes. Okay. Why? I think you should just value your energy more as opposed to giving it to everybody. Okay. Value your energy. Thank you for the simple answer. What about you? I think body count matters. Why? Because there is an exchange um, between the two individuals. So if you have a high body count, you're bringing something into that situation okay. like you're transferring whatever Come on. okay yeah, you know you wanted something energetically speaking i 100 percent agree with you we have ladies women have a chakra on their vaginas and <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> it's so it's body true. count does matter now no it doesn't <laughs> as long as you're on like very mental process, but then... So it's okay as long as they're in the whole phase. You can they... clean yourself from that in multiple okay. ways. Okay. So. Yeah. All right. Uh, you guys believe that? I, I do. Believe that. How many of you think you can clean yourself from being promiscuous in the it past? It takes seven years. Raise of hands Chakra-wise. if you think you can uh, clean yourself from being promiscuous in the past. Raise of hands. No, you can't. Nobody? You shook your head? Yeah? No? Oh, okay. So only part one person. Okay. Now let me ask you a question. Um, do you think a woman with a high body count deserves a good man? No. Start here and then work our way. Sure. I mean, I, I'm not. I I don't feel like I'm should feel obligated to like say what someone deserves. We want your opinion. What someone deserves and doesn't. Okay. Deserve. How about this? We'll make it better. Does a woman that has a promiscuous past deserve your son, who's going to be a protector and provider? Boom, there you go. No. No? No. no. Okay. Damn, you, you're what judgmental, you? damn. Yes. It Why? Happens. Why does a promiscuous woman deserve your son as a protector and provider? You can, and not that saying you'll forget it completely, it'll completely leave, but you can change. And if we're speaking, believe it or not, like... God accepts everyone for whatever they have been, whoever has died for whoever, no matter what. So it's like, who are we to judge? We have our own opinions, 100%. But But your son's not God. No, but promiscuity, like, who, if your son doesn't, your son, that's up to him, right? Like, if he doesn't want to be with a promiscuous woman, he doesn't, and he doesn't have to. He shouldn't forgive her. He shouldn't accept it. He doesn't have to. But if he does, who is anyone else between them two to judge? Okay. So your son. You're you're okay with your son getting with a promiscuous woman in the past? Yes, a protector provider. So you think she still deserves your son? One hundred percent. Okay. What depending about you? On Even the worst at. case scenario possible, De- like where like she Depen- might have sorry, depending on trauma from other other guys. I was, I was gonna say depending on where she is in that moment. Like if she, let's say she's still promiscuous, mm-hmm. like no, okay. <laughs> deal deal with that then. Yeah, you know? stop. Yeah, but yeah. it's it, it's needed time. You needed healing. Like you should have. It should have been a phase in the past. If that's what it is, you know, not. A current situation still withholding. Okay, mm-hmm. so you only accept it if it's a past thing. Yeah, hundred percent. What you know, about you? Uh, do you think a promiscuous woman deserves a man that's going to protect and provide for? Her? Let's say it's your son. Just to verify yes no. what you said before, you said, do you think a girl with a high body count yeah. deserves a good guy? For me, a good person deserves a good guy. So it doesn't matter. Like a good person deserves a, a good girl deserves a good guy, even if she has a good body count. Or do you think a, a girl that has a high body count is a good girl? Yes. Okay. So you think she deserves a good man? If she is a good girl, she deserves a good man. So a thousand cocks. It's <laughs> okay. crazy. If, if she is a good girl, like a good person, she deserves a good person. 
it makes sense when you hear it that way. Yeah. When like, you break it down, it don't make no sense. Yeah. Okay. All right. What about you? Do you think uh, a girl that has a promiscuous man, or sorry, that has a promiscuous past deserves a man, a good man that's going to protect and provide? Yes. Maybe your son. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You'd be okay with your son getting with a whore? Former yes. whore? Yeah? Shout out to all the whores. Thank you. Are you a whore? No. You don't want your son to get with someone like you? I mean, yeah, that would be perfect. Stop the cow. <laughs> so, you, but you prefer your son get with a whore over someone like you? I don't you. prefer him, but if that's what he wants, that's his choice, you know? And if he has to learn from that experience, he's going to learn. It's his life. Interesting. Okay. Do you think a woman that's promiscuous deserves a good man? Fuck no. Why not? Once a hoe, always a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> I would never put my son in that position. Thank God. Okay. Yeah. Some sanity is still here. What about you? Okay, I respond this question in Spanish. Okay, go ahead. Creo que sí, porque su decisión y si la quieren no importa. Todos tenemos un pasado y que tú hayas sido una persona promiscua okay. no significa que seas una mala persona. Uh, I think yes, because everyone has a past, and because you're a promiscuous person, it doesn't mean that you're a bad person. Okay. What about you? You, what do you think a man, a woman who has a promiscuous past deserves a good man? Absolutely. Okay. I think to make them walk around with a scarlet letter is like, and how do you even know your your son's future mate's like sexual history? Why would you even know that as a mother? It's not your business, not your relationship. If you knew. But why would you? Why would you even concern yourself? It's coming from a place of judgment. It's not your relationship. That's my piece. And I do have a son. Okay. So you don't think judgment is appropriate in any situation? It it's seems. not even, that's not, I think that goes outside of your bounds as a mother. That's an adult relationship. That's why your would son, I though. Sit, that doesn't matter. Because you create your, your children for the world. I'm not going to sit there and say, how many, how many people has she had? Mm-mm. She yeah, but isn't it, isn't it your duty as a parent to protect your child from the world to some degree as well? The world's a cold and dangerous place. My son was raised with values and morals, and even that, if he chooses to accept somebody that has a past, I would rather a, a son that's not judgmental. So if Absolutely. your son was raised with values and morals, wouldn't it be fair for him to want a woman that has morals and values as well? That's assuming that somebody that has a past doesn't. There's redemption, right? So you're good. So that's assuming okay. once you sin forever, a sinner, you can't be you can't be redeemed. Okay. Quote unquote redeemed. All right. Jesus died for. <laughs> this is very interesting. Amen. Takes on this. Amen. All right. Questions what came. about you? Uh, do you Questions think do you think a woman that has a promiscuous past deserves a good man? Yes. Would you be okay with your son being with a woman that used to be uh, promiscuous? Yes. Does she have to do seven years? Of cleaning before? <laughs> <laughs> not really. It's not none of my business. He okay. fell in love with her. That's a them problem. Amen. Okay. What about you? She ran out of Do you think a woman that uh, has a promiscuous past deserves a good man? I believe I won't know anything about the past of the girlfriend of my future son. But if you knew? It's, um, I don't think that a woman um, can stop, like, can be exclusive with one man after having, like, a hundred of dicks. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you think her ability to be faithful is going to be hurt? I think so. Yeah. So it matters. Yeah, it matters for me. Okay. So would you, if you knew your son was about to get with a girl that was promiscuous, would you allow it to happen? I would talk to him. What would you say? Um, mm, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What if your son is not pleased by her because she hasn't had any experience i mean it's and he goes cheating on her for example yeah but a woman who has a hundred of dicks also has a very good experience <laughs> yes and that's why they don't cheat <laughs> because they know what they like and if they don't like it they find another dick but that's not even always the case correct i agree I mean, if a person loves you, they will teach you everything that they like. Yes. So he should educate her. <laughs> okay. This is so cute. All right. Do you have something <laughs> fresh before I give my take on this? Uh, once again, I mean, we make choices in life. And as women, you make choices yourself. And if you have a lot of partners sexually, I'll just be honest with you. Sometimes it could damage your psyche. 
And when it's a psyche, I mean how you look at things. And when you look at things could mean, you know what? This guy is great, but he's not the best I ever had in my life. I've had better back in the day. You might go on Facebook, hit him up, Instagram, TikTok, you, you name it, Snapchat. The point is that like multiple partners means there may be a loop where you might want to go back in time to relive that moment. First is you have low body count. You might say, you know what? This is all I really know. I like it. I'm good to go. So there's a chance that you might actually go back to the past or relive some moments. You were going to say something? Someone's going to say something? Go ahead. No. Nope. I'll wait for my theory. I just have a question. I don't yeah. want to sound stupid. No, no, no. Can we like act like is being promiscuous being sexually active or being a sexual person? Oh, no. We're yeah. talking about active. active yeah. Active. Like promiscuous. Like, like actually. Active, yeah. Like actually. Like actually okay. smashing. Yeah. Because I feel like sometimes there's also a difference between like the sexual energy that women can give off to people. And that. No, we're talking I mean, about straight up having sex. Okay. So does that change okay. your answer now that you know the actual... Will body count mattering and your? Guy? Well, I said body count does matter for sure, but um, yeah, definitely. Because for me, okay promiscuous, with... like promiscuity, is just like a girl who's kind of just that has that sexual aura, that energy that like gives off, regardless of just being like flirty. Not even flirty. Like sometimes people just think like I mean me. I don't know me. I'm not trying to be flirty all the time, right? But some people might think I'm flirting with them. Just. A general example. So you mean like dress, so dress like, like a hoe? Like just dress like a hoe? Yeah, like you know, like you dress the type of way, you talk a type of way, but like that doesn't mean I'm intaking in the activities. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. So why pretend so, to be a hoe? It's not pretending. I just am skinny and cute, and so I look good in clothes, and people think I'm a hoe. That's not my fault. It's your fault. It's not my fault. You're wearing a clothes. I mean, yeah, they're cute. Dress like her. Yeah, they're cute. You'll be fine. I do, I do, but still people think I'm talking, people think I'm so hitting on them, I can literally wear sweatpants and a big ass t-shirt, Be a grandma. and people think I'm, I can do that too, You got it. and people still will think you. that, thank you, <laughs> so I'm just saying, like, it definitely, I think, I just wanted to understand the difference of what we're actually saying. Yeah. It's like, of um, course. So, very interesting takes here, uh, that the ladies are saying, well, it's, it looks like it's half and half, half the women believe that body count matters, and the other half believe it doesn't. And uh, some of you guys said that, hey, even having a bi bi high body count doesn't make you a bad person as a woman, etc. Uh, can we hit the elevator theme real fast? Um, come on over to Rumble, guys, if you guys. I'm going to give my take on it, and I'll open it up to ladies if they disagree. Um, are we good? We're good. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to disagree. I think women that are promiscuous are bad people. Um, and the reason why is because... There's not much required of women. Uh, men just want you to be pretty, feminine, and most importantly, not be a whore. And there's a reason why since the beginning of time, female promiscuity has been an issue. Uh, and the reason why is because, for one, men can't determine paternity with a woman that's promiscuous, right? We have modern convents, right? We have modern creations now where, you know, you could do paternity tests and you could do a DNA test, but this didn't used to exist before. So if a girl was a whore, she would effectively have you raise a child that you thought was yours, and you might not ever know, right? And it's one of the highest forms of betrayal. I would argue that a man raising a kid that he thought was his but finds out isn't his is the equivalent to a woman being raped by a man. Because the man is being raped of his time and his resources and providing for a child that he didn't that he thought was his. Just like a man taking sex from you without your permission. A man is giving his resources without his permission. So that's the functional equivalent. And this is why women that are promiscuous have been admonished since the beginning of time. And the thing also is that I don't think that there's any such thing as a high value woman, but I do think that all women have value, whereas all men do not have all value, have value. What do I mean by this? Well, women, by the time they're 18 years old, command the most value that they're ever going to command, really, right? Between 18 to 25 years old. So it's a woman's job to preserve and cherish that value and give it to a man that's worthy, right? That's why women are more selective on height, income, status, etc. So if I see a girl that's a whore and diminish their value... She doesn't deserve a man of a certain caliber and a girl that's been more responsible with her value deserves that guy versus her. Um, and also girls that are promiscuous, right, tend to be bigger cheaters. You can't ensure the kid is yours. And typically that comes with trauma. Most girls that I know that are hoes, nine out of ten times, they're alcoholics, drag addicts, fucked up family. Something is wrong with them. I hate to say it, but that's just what it is. And the other thing, too, because you mentioned that if a girl's promiscuous, um, she's going to know what she likes and what she doesn't like. Well, if I've only drank water my entire life, I think that water's pretty damn good. <laughs> but if I've drank water, then Coke Zero, maybe some Coca-Cola, Sprite, etc., well, I'm going to have a craving for that every now and then. And my water might not suffice. 
And what I've realized with women is, and they've done studies on this, by the way, the higher a woman's body count, the less likely the marriage is going to stay going or everlasting. Women that have the longest marriages have less than five bodies, typically. They have the most successful marriages. And then virgin women have the highest uh, rates of success with the marriage. And the reason is that it is a big part because women tend to pair bond better with men that they when they have less body uh, uh, less bodies. That's just how it is. We're, and the other thing too, why it doesn't work when women are promiscuous and sport fuck is because women are emotional lovers. What do I mean by this? It's very difficult for a woman to have sex with a man and not be connected to him so, to some degree. A part of her leaves her when she has sex with a bunch of dudes. I mean, most women don't want to have sex with a bunch of guys. They prefer, if they could, to have sex with just one guy that is attractive, tall, has money, charming, charismatic. They want everything in one guy. Unfortunately, most guys can't do this, so they have to maybe have sex with this guy that has money, maybe have sex with this guy that's good looking, or maybe not even fuck that guy with money, but get money out of him. Sugar daddy. The point is, yeah, women, it's very difficult to find a guy that has everything, but if a girl does find a guy with everything, she'd prefer to just fuck him. So women are naturally monogamous to a degree. Men, on the other hand, are not naturally monogamous. We're naturally polygamous. We want to have sex with as many women. And here's the difference between us and you. If I go fuck another girl, I can still love you. If you go fuck another guy, it's over. And we both know that. All of you guys know that. So the reason why female promiscuity is not respected is because we know that it takes you a certain place emotionally in your head to get there. And on top of that, the kidnap might, might not be me. It's raping me of my resources and time. It's just an L all around. So that's why promiscuous women are not respected because you're given the value up front and you waste it like an idiot. It's the equivalent to being a trustful baby and being broke by the time you're 50. You should have invested that money appropriately. I agree to disagree, we can go back to, you to be honest. Um, I think that it depends on the country. It depends on the religion. It depends on the prison principles and morals that you... Uh, Let been, me ask you a question. Yes. Why is it that every religion, every society since the beginning of time had had issue with promiscuous women? If you look at that, you look at Chinese people from the Ming dynasty, mm -hmm. and you compare them to Europeans, mm -hmm. to Muslims, to Arabs, mm -hmm. to Asians, er everybody. Mm -hmm. Why have they all had an issue with female promiscuity even though they never met each other? Okay, here's- And cultures are different. Here's something that I'm gonna bring up that it's bold as hell. <laughs> Why does a Muslim woman like to get it from behind for her not to lose her down there? Because she wants to value her pur purity? No, because she still wants to experiment. But because of religion, principles, morals, and what's wrong and right, she rather keep her emen Hymen, untouched. Yeah. Okay. Hymen untouched and get it from the back. Does that mean that she's not promiscuous as the rest that have been trying? Also, it depends on the country for example what's the average rage a uh, range for people in america to lose their virginity 13 years old what about the uk 11 on occasions so with that being said that doesn't make it right though i'm i'm saying that there's an these countries also have hold on if you look at it these countries also have the highest divorce rates lowest marriage rates ever Families are gone. Single mother households are on the rise. So, mm. I mean, if you're going to compare the United States and the United Kingdom, we're failing societies when it comes to families and, you know, having a healthy relationship between the two genders. I think it also has to do a lot with health insurance and all of that. What? How does health insurance have to do with And the UK families? is completely free for you to get... Um, the peel for the next day or peels in general, condoms, whatever, over here for you to get the birth control, for example. But there's still a bunch of single mothers. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that you should take care of yourself if you're going to do something. But with that being but said. But a lot don't. Correct. And that's their laws. And then tomorrow they get. Well, it's all of our laws because who pays for the free contraceptives that you're talking about? Taxpayers. We pay for it. <laughs> So we actually lose. Yeah, but it's not free. And those kids end up being degenerates and end up burning society even more. They become criminals. On occasion. Drug yeah. addicts. Yeah. Homeless. Yeah. Who pays for that? We all pay for that. True. So we take a L. The, 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 the nuclear family is the backbone of any strong society. And my thing is, is that female promiscuity has led to the degradation of the family unit. Here's the thing. And the reason for that is because of feminism. 
Feminism is probably the biggest contributor to the destruction of the family. This whole equality thing. I'm not a feminist, but with that being said... But you subscribe to feminist ideals. I share some principles. Because you, you said you want a man that's going to be chivalrous. Do you think it's Correct. fair for a man to work hard, earn money, become successful, and then go ahead and commit to a woman that made bad decisions in her past I and think, is promiscuous? I think that if you're a kid and lose your virginity in America or in the UK at 11 or 13 or 15, whatever age they are, and they reach a point at 18, that they don't want to keep on fucking anybody. Like, they'll, they'll be assuming, more selective. They're assuming, but I mean, they end up becoming promiscuous. And my thing is this, I'm not saying that women can't be promiscuous. They could be promiscuous, but I absolutely think that women that have a bad past don't deserve a future. Fair enough. Because it's not fair for me as a man to work really hard in my past while mm -hmm. you fucked off, quite literally, and then I'm responsible for taking care of you when I could have got a girl that was more pure. But what doesn't, what, what, are you saying that you were not promiscuous as well a promiscuous man is not the same as a promiscuous woman i, I understand your at all point. i would argue a promiscuous man makes you more attractive to a woman but a promiscuous woman absolutely would destroy a man in general at the same time if a woman has sex for example with x y and z people and then she meets you probably you don't have the best pee, -pee in the world but okay uh maybe but guess she what? She connected with you on a different level for But guess you what? To... If it was the only PP, she wouldn't know better. Correct. That's why you want virgins or women no, with low body don't. counts. Because what if she didn't like how you did it to her? Does that doesn't mean that tomorrow she's gonna be experimenting with somebody else? Probably not, because the woman if if a girl gets with a guy and she likes him and she loses her virginity to that man. Her emotional tie to that man is going to be extremely strong. I disagree because I've had a lot of friends that have gotten married, per mm -hmm. se. Virgins. They lost their virginity to their husband? Yes. Okay. What happened? They got that divorce in a year. Well, the stats don't reflect that. The stats reflect that when a woman marries as a virgin, the marriage uh, lasting is extremely high. The chances of it lasting are extremely high. But the more promiscuous a woman is, the less likely the marriage is going to last. And there's a bunch of biological reasons for that. Men and women aren't the same. And I, and I get what you're saying. Well, you shouldn't want a virgin. Who cares what you think? You're a female. Men want women that have low body counts. Just like you want a man that's going to be a protector, a provider, and take care of you. We want a girl that's going to take care of us and not be a slut and embarrass us. Yeah. Women that are promiscuous or have bad pasts destroy men's reputations. Look at Will Smith. Look at Logan Paul right now. When a girl has a bad past, it can absolutely cripple and destroy a man's reputation. Yeah. But, but it doesn't work the other way around. The alternative Sorry. is true, but I though. Think some, some men, they like that for wifey, mm -hmm. and then they go out and cheat with the girl that has a whole yeah. lot of I, I, I knew that but was that's, But that's, yeah. but, no, but that's the truth. Yeah, but, it's but who has... Society. What are you trying to get back right now? Nothing. I'm just saying. No, no, no. You're I trying like to get back your last name, right? Right. You took the last name of a man that you once loved, right? Right. Okay. So... But what does that have to do with body count? I'm going to explain okay. that. Once a woman has a certain body count or has a certain past, she no longer qualifies for a man of value's last name. Women want to take a man's last name, and I'm telling men to value your last name and not give it to a woman that isn't worthy. Because if you give it to a woman that isn't worthy, what ends up happening is she destroys that last name. Well, it doesn't apply to me, but I took the last name to have the same last name as my children. Okay, but regardless, you took a man's last name that at one time you loved, and you're fighting for that last name back. You want your maiden name, so you can take another man's last name. No, I, I'm not. See, but I... It's complicated to even say how we got to marriage, but no, my end goal is not to go back into marriage. I don't need to be married. You don't want to be I'm married? I'm not opposed to being married, but it's not like my end goal to get rid of this last name to go get another one. No, but missing. you understand that carrying another man's last name is going to impact your ability to get another one, and it's going to impact your options. How so? You're carrying your ex's last name. You want your maiden last name so that you can have that status. It it this is the thing. Women don't look, 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 look. look. I we got more to the table than the average. We got to operate on reality here. Let's do that. Women want to get married to a man who's superior to them in every single way, so they can carry that man's last name. Because having a man that's uh, that's a winner's last name is a symbol of status. Okay. No one knows Vanessa Bryant's last name, but we know her last name is Bryant. Okay. Women take the man's last name for a reason because they acquire status through the man's last name. It doesn't work the other way around. This is why men need to be in the leadership role. Men need to be the protectors and providers, etc. Because that's what a woman wants is a man worth's last name. So you're getting your maiden last, na last name back. 
And I think that's very important and embodies kind of what I'm talking about because you understand that you're almost like getting your identity back and you're absolving yourself of that former guy. Right. Okay. Well, at one point you loved him and you took his last name. I took 12 years to do that, and that was a legal move. But that's... It was not late. So anyway, I, I'm not going to open that for a discussion, but what I will say is there is some women, of course, that they look for men to provide for them, and I've been fortunate enough that I've never, ever, ever needed that to be the case. So okay. Well, I might you're... be your exception, but I don't apply to your... Okay, um, well, the exception think... doesn't make the rule. A majority of women... Absolutely. Absolutely want a man to provide for them and I'd argue even in your case you would want a man at least that's equal to you Absolutely, and okay. ambition. so hypergamy doesn't care. It's the truth. It's the female mating strategy women don't seek Men that are inferior to them. They seek men that are bare minimum equal to them Once well, again, On the other hand men are okay with dating women that are inferior to them. It applies to cultures over here in America For example, you take the person you meet Stop. There's women here from all different types of cultures correct most of them want a man who's chivalrous I'm, I'm not saying so, so here's the thing culture only applies to some degree, but there's human being Steadfast rules women want a leader women want a man as dominant women want a man who's better than them, regardless of culture And then on top of that promiscuity has never been respected in any culture Correct. So there's just human rules that apply to all cultures all religions all regions of the world in general You interrupted me and I couldn't finish actually what I was gonna say oh, go ahead, But over point. here in America you take your husband's last name in other countries You become off that men you can use their last name or you cannot use their last name it's up to you what i mean is for example of uh, i don't know i have two last names because my dad married my mom my mom still has her last name and it's off buccelli or the buccelli i don't know uh, but my mom is her name, Bornemisa de Buccelli. She is not Buccelli, is, if it makes sense. Uh, I don't understand what you're trying to say here. Is Buccelli your father's last name? Yeah. So she took his last name? Nope. She, keep both. she is She's Bornemisa off. de yeah. Buccelli. She, off, but not... she is Bornemisa of I Buccelli. Mean, she still took his last way, name, though. She still no. took his last name. She signs yeah. with her name and last name. That off is if she wants to use it. But people know yeah, that her that she's tied to your to her husband anyway. So I mean, still. Yeah. But that's just yeah. Natural, they do though. believe yeah. they're foreign. Okay. Well. That's natural. I, I feel mean, like the off uh, doesn't really count. It, it, the, the point of the matter is is that women acquire status yeah. through their men. That's what I'm trying to say. Men don't give a shit about women's status. No one cares about female independence or your job or your title. Men don't care about these things in general. I agree. Women do though. So what I'm saying is that women acquire status from their men, not the other way around. Very rarely is it the other way around. So my thing is, if you're going to deal with me and you want a guy that has a future and you want a guy that has certain things in place, well, that's going to come with, I'm going to have some qualifications too. And most men don't want promiscuous women. Correct. So, I mean, <laughs> I, 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 like, I generally think that women that are promiscuous don't deserve a good man. I don't think so. And, and it, the studies show that it's in your best interest to not marry one of these girls because they're going to fuck your life up. Yeah. There's a reason why when you look at porn stars, all their relationships almost always end. They, Because promiscuous women just don't know how to behave a lot of times. If you can't even control the penises that go into you, then like, and that's your ultimate power, then you don't deserve a man of value. There's different cases of promiscuity, I guess, than somebody that is a porn star. It's not somebody that it's experimenting on her it's youth. an example so it's just an example but i mean yeah. women in general that are promiscuous are, are not worthy of long-term relationships I with a guy it. that's worth anything in my opinion I get so okay. i kind of was thinking about it in the best aspect of let's say you start off wearing um a robe everyone starts off with a robe and um you know your son because that's what we were using it as an example of you has got to go to the club does wait, anyone wait. have to go to the club no all right, the show goes on. Um, Tell Chris fuck off right now. Your your son, you know, his robe is clean. It's um, it's together. You know, there is no flaw in it. And then all of a sudden, he meets a woman, and you can you see her robe. It has holes in it. It's it's dark. It's you know what I'm saying. Like it's very flawed. It's you can tell what she's been through, but that is only based off of how 
your body count is. So imagine your son in, in his robe, fresh, clean, you know what I mean, untouched. And then he's standing next to this woman that's almost naked walking around in public. You wouldn't want that. And you wouldn't want it vice versa either. I mean, that's not what they're talking about, but like in that aspect. It's analogy. I agree. Does anyone have to leave? Yes, I respect mothers. I really do. And I think that if we could champion mothers a little bit more, maybe a lot more women could find themselves in a place where they could be a mother. So there, there I was like an, this guy. There was yeah. another survey that came out that showed that 83% of women said that if they could, they would have preferred to be a stay-at-home mother. Oh. I would Wait, say 83 percent. Everybody on this panel no, no, these, would these like are women who did not. Mother. They're not serving no, women who are no. stay at home mothers. Yep. But in no. general, women, who said no? that they have not a me. that they have a partner me. who is me. able to provide no. enough for them. This yeah. goes against what you were saying about we want women who make as much money as us, and and we they don't care about money. Eighty three percent of these women who were surveyed, and these women were surveyed. These women were not stay at home mothers. They said, if given the choice, would you have preferred to be a stay at home mother? Eighty three percent of them said yes. That's one and a half standard deviations. That's what they're asking question right. I want to say one thing though. I want it. Being a mother doesn't mean letting your body get fucked. It means after what? you have the kid, are you actually doing motherly duties? Yeah. Can we ask that question right I now? Because I want to see why they said no. They wouldn't want to be a stay at home mother. I want to know why they said that. Actually, that the whole thing. Would. Eighty-three percent they, they would rather be a stay at home mother, but they didn't no. have the ability to because the partner just, didn't make enough money for that time. I think it's just the way the nature of women are. Like men, okay, y'all provide it, and the woman wants to be home nurturing. Yeah, like Love that's it. just the nature of it. Life yin and yang. I even said this the last time I was on here. Like I feel like there is roles and everything. Like. I mean, I'm not going to take away from y anything else other than the fact that it's like, you know, you guys, like as guys, y'all aren't able to breastfeed. Y'all aren't n naturally adept at cooking and cleaning and things like that. Not na That's why I said naturally adept. Some guys can. Sure. But, you know, it's just the yin and yang. That's why 83% of the women is saying, yeah, I'd rather be home doing exactly what I'm built to do. Yes. I'm, I'm not even going to go that far. I'm just going to say that <laughs> eight, the, the stats are saying that 83% of women would rather stay at home than and be do in the what they're supposed to okay, do. Now, the very fact do. that I made that statement, some of people are going to listen to this who are leftists or, or feminists, and they're going to be very angry. Like, man, that that what you're doing is you're um, what's it, uh, uh, encouraging a certain level of like gender roles. And I'm like, I'm not encouraging anything. That's just what the, stat, that. that's yeah. what the statistics say, as much as that angers you, that a lot of women would prefer to do that. Why? Or, particularly a lot more women women then currently are doing that mm, and yeah. we go back to the average man making $39,000 a year $39,000 a year she can't stay at home and no be way. a mother and that's mm. the reason why that's part of the reason why that's happening go back to what Justin was saying the very proof the battlefield of men competing with other men is that bottom third of men having zero sex it's those men making less than 39,000 that means if the average is 39 that means there's a lot of men making 22,000 yeah. they couldn't have a housewife correct so that's so. My, but that's my point the, we we have to compete with each other and so what happens is we have this this stratification where there's this large, this small group of men at the top, 83% of right swipes on Tinder, Bumble, and Hinge go to the top 20% of men. That's such an outrageous number when you think about that. Yeah. That means the bottom 80% of men are competing for 17% of the women. Wow. So it's hmm. incredibly inequitable. So what does that mean? That means that we have a situation where there that men are competing with other men. And in doing so, there's a bunch of men at the bottom who are getting nothing, surplus men, right? And then we have a bunch of women who are specifically saying, I would prefer to have a husband who was able to provide for me so that I could stay at home. 83%, just so you understand, 68.27% is one standard deviation. One and a half mm. would be about 84%. Mm. So that's one and a half standard deviations. That's incredibly st statistically significant for something like that to happen. Yeah. So what, that's a description. Uh, Myron and, and, and Fresh, they have an interpretation. I don't even want to do the interpretation. I just want to present the math just to show you that's what women are wanting and they're not getting it. Yeah. You mm. see what I'm saying? That's that's really sad. Is, uh, oh my God. Like, that's really sad. Interpretation is just simple. Women are lazy when it comes to resource <sighs> creation. That's what it comes down to. And people can get mad that's at me. So, whatever. What does that mean? Expand. Okay. Bro, women that's crazy. Lazy. I just want to respond to what you um, said. That was really was, sad. Was Before was you said was, that, what, um, go ahead. Go ahead. I don't. What I was saying is, is that women are lazy when it comes to resource creation. What I mean by that is typically women aren't going to go out there and work more hours, uh, work a harder manual labor job, et cetera, to the same degree that a man will, because a woman's value is not determined upon, upon her status or income ability is determined on her beauty and her ability to secure a man. So in general, this is why men make more money than women. Men are more incentivized. We're more geared for going out there and creating excess resources because our ability to mate is contingent upon it. But a woman's burden of performance does not affect her ability to find a man. 
that's why women in general are lazy when it comes to resource creation. But that's like really lazy. sad. So that makes me I ain't gonna lie. But I, what other way are you gonna put it if it's not lazy? I would only matter. say I disagree, but I know you're not gonna say like, that's the... Okay, so, aka they're lazier because no. they don't have to necessarily do it. If you look at any manual labor job, if you look at look at jobs that are more laborious men dominate these fields why because men understand they have a greater incentive to go out there and perform well i'm yeah. not incentivized because my body would wouldn't be able to do it that no, i agree I'm lazy it's because i'm not incentivized to do it i agree with what he's saying words, lazy. You keep I, looking at me like, what are you gonna say i only disagree with what he's saying if you're dating a dude who literally is like expecting you to provide more than him and i guess that would be like the wrong person to be with so the, so, the majority of divorces are 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 caused because of financial problems yeah and when i say financial problems it's the financial problems of the men but the, it's generally not because a woman makes too much money and the man does makes too much money it's generally because it's not when the woman loses her job it's when a man loses her job then divorce is initiated right, right? 70 or you think it's getting so divorce a man though when no, the no, man no, is not again, making again you were asking for a, de a prescription i'm just giving you a description right. what i'm saying is what the, the problem is when you say a woman wanting to take care of a man those relationships on average don't work out well yeah. they end in divorce that so that's weird. not that's not a viable solution on average right Okay. This is so sad. And this is like, I still have the same thing I want to say to you. And you finish your point and it still made me sad. <laughs> oh my God. Like, if I was on Tinder, I'm banned from Tinder, but <laughs> if I was on Tinder, I would, what is it, swipe right? The good thing? Yeah. I swipe right everybody. Oh my gosh. Well, everybody. Yeah, that's not, no, not. that's not true at all. <laughs> what does that even mean? What? I'm so because some niggas, tend, some niggas Tinder bios be like, nah, bro. I'm no. not even looking at the bio. I don't care if you're on Tinder, Android, but you're, you're no banned anyway, so yeah, no one's getting anything. I know, but that's so <laughs> sad. And if I was there, I would just probably just make everybody just One minute you're irrational, now you're emotional. Bro, I'm... So I'm, anyway, I'm, I'm just a woman. Just to bring this, to bring this full circle, Hi, right? nice to meet you. I'm, why, a soft, I'm a soft girl era. Because he said that 83% of women would prefer to be a stay-at-home mom. And yes. the reason for that is because women typically don't want to go out into the workforce and work most of the time they have to do it because one income from their man is not enough so therefore mm. they have to go do it however what i've realized with most women is they want the ability to work electively what do i mean by this okay i could work from home yeah i could work a side job whatever but in general yeah, women if they could would prefer not to work however men don't get that privilege so that's what i mean when i say Women are lazier than men on average when it comes to resource creation, making money, going out there, being successful. Are there women that will go ahead and do it? Absolutely. But in general, they're not. That's I like why that men earn more that. money because men understand that my burner performance is going to dictate the caliber of woman I can attract. But a woman, on the other hand, no one cares if you make 100K per year or 10K per year. You, you, you can still get a guy if you're attractive. So what do women invest in more? Typically themselves. If I went around the table and asked you, would you rather be pretty and poor or rich and ugly? Oh, Most of y'all would say pretty mercy. and poor. Of course. Okay. Wait, say that one more time. If I went around the table and asked y'all, <laughs> would you rather be pretty and poor or rich and ugly? Don't even Most say that word, gang. Don't poor. even say that yeah, you were. Don't ask we don't like that. Wait, 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 but this well, is like you, be be you ever heard of that Britney Spears song, yeah. Lucky? She's literally talking about she'd rather just not have it all and just have it all. Because she had it all. Yeah. Because she yeah. had it all. She yeah. wanted it all. Like she didn't Britney want it all. Spears, Britney Spears is coming from a place of incredible privilege. Yes. Talking about, I don't want this stuff anymore. I'm like, yeah. Britney Spears. But no, that's what I'm saying. Stop, 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 Some girls would rather look, just be rich and ugly. No. No, they wouldn't. If I lined up 100 girls and asked Britney would. If I lined up 100 women and I said, would you rather be pretty and poor? Or ugly and rich. Most of the women would say pretty and poor because they could go ahead and land the guy. I agree. Ninety-eight. Now, 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 if I ask the lie. men, would you rather be pretty and poor or ugly and rich? Most They're of those guys would say ugly and rich. Ugly yeah, so does not not fucking prove my point. That men's value derived from their status and income versus the woman's value comes from the way that she looks. I can't wrap my head around it because I'm a passport bro. I'm a, I'm a get, Look, I like girls. Ladies, you can work <laughs> Initial hard, value. get a career, be a boss, but that's cool. Uh -uh, not me. We're just saying when it comes to dating itself and finding a man, it's not important to us. Yeah. That's okay. what we're saying. I like that. So I'm okay. Do you understand that? Because you have problems with that. I, I, so, I so stand with my point. <laughs> I do think I do think I do think a high me. value man would want a woman who has wisdom and knowledge and but has an ability no. to have. Oh, 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 yeah, it does not matter. Like, you 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 maybe, maybe your definition of high value men. Maybe your definition of high value men has nothing to do with inherent characteristics of like strength and providing and and being an ultimate like good person. But that's how I define it. They, I think that man would want a woman who has 
has a uh, head on her shoulders, is intelligent, knows how to have a conversation. Because the ultimate reason that you two are coming together, I hope, is to have children and to carry on your lineage. And you want those children to be educated. I, and if a man's out at work, you'd want the woman to teach him your children. Right. They're, yeah, the, they're the ones who are going to be around your children the majority of the time. If they're staying at home, schools you teach. want them to be able to have a coherent conversation and be able to speak and be able to fill that child with knowledge. Is that right what they are saying is that it right? does not matter if they are smart or if they are dumb. Niggas are gonna fuck with it them. Matter. Fuck with them. It really does not matter. Like right. I'm, I'm not trying well, to we're say talking that about, to me. I'm not talking about just intercourse or a relationship leading to a family. It doesn't matter. Intercourse it does or not or matter. relationship. It doesn't you matter. You actually think that matters to no, me? No, I do because I was yes. actually in a relationship with somebody who was like, you know, hey, I want to be with you for this, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's a one percent out of a thousand. But. I think a lot of guys know, okay, I don't want to put my seed in this garden and grow that plant. If this, yes, like, no, never like, put your dick in crazy. Agreed. I agree with you. Well, then so never I, put your inside a woman. I, I mean, but. <laughs> like, misogyny. The pull, misogyny. Up, the pull up game is just as easy misogyny. as Nintendo nowadays. Like, guys know how not to knock a girl up. They know how not to shoot the club up and just, you know, get out of there clean, you know? Uh, so, guys, do you think that. out of, like, Stealing the majority? 99%. 99% are thinking 99% will, will do it to a crevice in your, they will put their dick in a pot. <laughs> no. On a counter. your armpits. They, 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 don't care what hole, they will do a train okay. wall I think so, that it can fit. I think people right. are watching too much okay, porn so, okay. thinking let's, that's the reality. Let's jump into the thing. It's true. Let's come back. Let's read the chat. They'll go to the club and do the same thing. Now explains why you get so many DMs. I mean, that profile gets off some of That's my girlfriend's IG. That's my girlfriend's Instagram. That's not my Instagram. That's my girlfriend's Instagram. See Two things. I actually think that it is more likely to repulse a guy if you continue to tell him how much interest you're getting because why are you even <laughs> why do you care <laughs> like why are you sharing that with your man like what yeah. what gain does he what does he gain from that information Nothing. and then the second thing i do think that you guys are arguing in bad faith because when it comes to the um most lawyers date other lawyers it's like duh they're in the same social circles how many people um, how many people are you around that aren't lawyers like i know a lot of engineers because i do engineering i agree right. with you yeah. so that's why proximity is also a big thing but i'm saying with the onset of dating apps and all this opportunity we're still seeing that lawyers typically yeah but even with that point um, I also think that that brings back the point of women can be a little delusional about their sexual marketplace value because even though we have more options, that doesn't mean that those options are real ones. That doesn't mean Ooh, that yeah, and so your real us. options are determined by Black people queen. that are in your stat in your status level generally in your IQ. Now, men are more likely to go down on some of those, but in general, your options are still at least for long term mate prospects, marriage still reflect where <laughs> you a are. W whoopee. What the fuck? But my point. <laughs> but my point is that you saying that most lawyers oh. marry other lawyers isn't ref isn't representative of the fact that men want to date women of the same status it's just who they are around so more it's the same thing exactly. it's the same wait, wait, it's the same thing it's the same thing as like saying we'll with cooking. most black the women fuck? are the breadwinners but it's like duh most more of us are single so yeah we're the breadwinners what i'm trying like, that's to, not a that's not a relevant fact it kind is of a relevant fact hold on hold on hold on hold on please let her finish her point and then uh, jasmine okay. yeah. you. you're so go ahead so did say that again that part again with the uh it's almost like it's the same thing as saying like most black women are the breadwinners in their relationship it's like if we're single duh you're automatically the breadwinner so it's Sartain, like chill. you're extrapolating you're a single, fact you're not in a relationship no breadwinners of the household not the relationship breadwinners of the household put your hands in think about my wrist Oh, that was right. so cute. Very cute. Killing right. And then, uh, what, let's go ahead, Jasmine. What's your response to that? My, my response to that is exactly. You tend to be around. I would say this. If you have a specific type of woman or type of man you want to marry, surround your social circle and surround, like, if you want one of these virgin good women, go to church, go to mosque, go be around these people because that is how you're going to find those yeah, I, don't, I don't think anyone was disagreeing yeah, with that. But, yeah, but I mean, she I mean, was yeah. saying Okay, okay but hold on, hold on, hold on. But then you can make the argument that it's not status why they got with the woman. It was so proximity. Cool. So cool. I, I agree. Proximity is a big thing, but generally people tend to want people w that are somewhat of their equal. But, 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 <laughs> uh, but they're more likely to marry their lawyer, the lawyer than the paralegal who's around them all the time, too. 
or the secretary. Uh, yeah. They're not as much of a lawyer. You know, Mary Fair Googles that. more than other lawyers. Uh, uh, okay, again, like, like the, the real reality is that it's proximity, not necessarily status. Because, like I said before, based on what I said, if that woman decided to leave and lose her lawyer status, because when she leaves, she's going to lose that lawyer status, the man ain't going nowhere. But if it was the no. other way around, the woman is going to leave. So status matters a lot no. more for men also, than it does for women. I, I agree. But what I'm trying to say is, for instance, a person in law office, he's more likely to marry that receptionist than a random person that's not around yeah, him. But, it, but he's going to be still more likely to marry that uh, lawyer but it's, than it's, the receptionist. It's, it's still proximity, though. Oh, you mean, well, I mean, they probably work together. I mean, that's, that's what, that, yeah. my point. My point is proximity matters. But even if there's proximity, men will still lawyers instead of they're more likely to be with the other lawyer than the other re- the receptionist. Status. Okay, you know, hold on. Where are the stats for that, Jasmine? Yeah. The one, that the they're more likely to hire, to, to, to marry I the mean, co-lawyer took, versus you, the paralegal. You took my phone, but if you literally look up mo- uh, lo- uh, what profession lawyers marry most, it is other lawyers. He even agrees. Yeah, but, but it's not it's not 50% lawyers. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I agree with yeah. that. But also it tends to be, they also tend to marry people. They don't, they're not marrying like virgin CVS workers. That's also not. No, I, I get that. But but what I'm saying is that you're, you're making the argument that status matters for men. And I'm saying it doesn't but it it's and the it argument that you're making is literally based off of more proximity versus their stats no that, i'm trying to say is proximity matters in fact i brought that up Destroyed. the first time i was on here i brought up the proximity but what i'm saying is proximity still because the receptionist is just as close to them they see them just as much as the lawyer colleague that's across from them but they're still more likely to marry that lawyer than that receptionist even though they have the same level of proximity they see each other every day they're working in the same firm i still what, think that's what, more no. I still sorry. No. I still think that's more proximity because they're probably around more lawyers than receptionists. No, I mean our paralegals work hand in hand with us more Who so you than. Who go to other... law school with? You ain't going to law school with paralegals. You're going to law school with other potential lawyers. And I agree, but what I mean is also when people meet in the workforce, they're not they you proximity matters, but they still tend to marry across. Now, men are male lawyers are more likely to marry their receptionists than female lawyers are more likely. I agree with that, but you're still seeing this general people that like to go across. The but proximity. that proves my point that status is not as important for men. Boom. You're Done. trying to make the argument yeah, but, that but status he, matters for men, and I'm trying to tell you, no, it really doesn't the, matter the, that the, much. The, but the, the proximity thing is the reason why the proximity thing is happening is because of the proximity. Meaning they're they're marrying across because that's who they're near. I, I don't agree. know my neighbors. I just like I go to work, I go to the gym, and that's like we don't live in the same communal society we had before. We're just on our phones. That's it. And then there's the people that we come across on a day to day basis. But like that that generally what you're saying before is like they're gonna marry the people that, yes they're working 80 hours a day with a lawyer that's who they're gonna end up fucking and the paralegal. just just or the paralegal but you said the men are oh, just as likely to date the paralegal and then no, you see uh, what's it date. called uh gray's anatomy they're all fucking in the break room you know all the doctors are fucking in the other doctors that's because they're around doctors and like the thing is you're never going to break that you're always going to see people in the same socioeconomic class dating each other but it's not because that's the only person they want it's just because that's who they're around i all agree the time. that's why when i first came on i said the biggest one of the biggest predictors is proximity but even in proximity when there's the hierarchy, you still see that men, even though they're more likely to go down in the uh, firm hierarchy, for sure, for sure. they're still prefer the women. Like, like even if you look at IQ, I mean, Ty Lopez said this last time, men don't, high uh, high IQ men can go like one standard deviation. They don't start going super lower IQ. One standard deviation is pretty high. That's Wait, an 85 let, IQ. Let, let's yeah. put it this way. If you have a woman, you have the woman's like same attractiveness, whatever. Um, One is a CVS worker and the other one's a lawyer. Which it, one do you think is the guy more likely? If same attractiveness, of course, but you're talking, no, yeah, no, but, but, but what you're saying is the, a 1% tiebreaker. No, no, yeah, yeah, if the CVS worker looks like my girlfriend and the lawyer does it, then I'm no, just telling you they're going to no, choose the honor girl. The point that I'm trying to get across is that if you just look at one by one, then yeah, like we can clearly see that, hey, if it comes to a profession, same socioeconomic status level, that is something that matters. We can't pretend it doesn't matter whatsoever. So that's what I'm trying to... But, yeah, but it doesn't, doesn't God fucking damn it. But it doesn't matter that much. Like, yo, can you guys like brain hurts see, here's, you guys are trying to literally. put like equal footing with like <laughs> status <laughs> and looks. Let's, let's, like, try the, let's try this let's try this different. Like, like, are we, we lacking gonna, common sense here that men really don't give a shit about oh, oh, status as much as so, women uh, think? If we, we were do? gonna weigh the two, would looks outweigh status for women? When looks outweighs status for women. If we're gonna weigh the two, do you no. think a man cares more about her physical attractiveness than her status? What do you think they care about more? I think a woman in general is looking for long-term. I know a man, a man, a man, a man. 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 Is he going to look, does he care more about her looks or her status? What do you think he cares about more? Um, I think, well, okay. I think if he's looking for like, uh, 
Yeah, if he's looking to just fuck, then look. Even no, long term or short term, he's, he's looking for. Looks yeah, are gonna matter. Are gonna matter more. Okay, my intelligence home. is gonna be a tiebreaker. I hope you really don't think <laughs> that intelligence is like, man, she's ugly, but that no, intelligence. No, I have a question. No, no, no. What I'm trying to say here is that usually, if a guy is looking to have like a long term prospect and partner. Um, maybe they have like a mid to average girl, but she's like really smart and she's really nurturing that and she has a good temperament. Though. Well, yeah, it does matter because if you're gonna have a wife, why would you want like a fucking? He asked a very simple question and you can't answer it. He asked you a very, very simple question. No, no, no. You can't I, 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 no I, I think what we're, we're gonna debate statement. is I'm saying that all those other things besides looks are maybe 10 to 15 percent of it, and you're saying they're 33 percent. And uh, but they're not 50 50. Okay, we, we can agree that. We cannot possibly agree. We cannot possibly say it's 50 50. And like again, there's no evolutionary psychology study that doesn't say that men care more. Men obviously care more about physical attractiveness than women do. Even gay men do. Like it's just it's a, it's a thing inherent in men. Men look at signs of replication, like and signs of youth, and like that's looks what I want. is number fucking one, man. Yeah, like but this it, is incredible that you guys are literally trying to argue with us that like looks are comparable to status. I, 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 I have a very simple question. Wait, incredible. Wait, here, a, she has something. Wait, she has something. No, you question. couldn't even answer a no, simple no, question. I, I of, I wait, hold on. Quickly. Just one thing I wanted to say, like, socially speaking, like, if status was so important, why are trophy wives so popular? Like, why are men, like, bringing around these, like, really hot women that have absolutely fucking nothing to add to any sort of conversation? So, are you yes. finding that, like, lawyers and doctors have the hottest wives? Because you would be... I'm not saying yeah. that at all, but I'm, why, why is it a social phenomenon that trophy... Trophy husbands aren't. I, I I would have it answered that question that a lot men, quicker than uh, I would agree that also, looks matter more. But usually there's she's a correct threshold. Because, oh. look, what's on, what's what? on the rise? Can Trigger I interrupt? Trigger daddies. Is that the real time? Rise, so it's been. You know, yeah, like, I mean, I've seen these resume studies before as well, where, you know, a man and woman are both equally qualified. And when they take the names off, they overwhelmingly pick the women. Like, I mean, I've seen it both How ways. How do they overwhelmingly pick the woman if they don't know it's a woman name? No, I'm saying like I've seen it where the person, right, he has a job resume. And he didn't get hired, but applies to the same positions, change it to a female name, they give him a call back. Mm, that's interesting. Um, I guess, generally speaking, the reason why I said that, what you said doesn't repeat my point. Women are good for the workforce. Okay. Like, this is why feminism has done so well, because they employees want women. Women are easier to basically get to pay less because women are more agreeable. Women tend to work less hours. Women tend to be uh, more representative of the entire population. They they tend to take more time off. Like, even though they're not necessarily the best employees, they w represent the company well. Wait, People want to like have women around. It's a little bit dishonest to frame that, like, women want to take more time off. You're talking about Very things serious. related to, like, paternity, that's a fact. right? That's a, that's a fact. Women overwhelmingly, the, the, the whole gender wage yeah, gap the, thing. The reason why they want to take time off is because of maternity leave, right? That's part of it. Yeah, but women yeah. in general take but more I, vacation time. They work like, well, like they want to take time off. Okay, look, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because, the, and what I was going to get at here is that women earn less because they deserve less, and the reason for that is because women overwhelmingly take more vacation time. They work less dangerous jobs. They work less hours. They work less hard manual labor jobs. They go into the top ten fields that pay the least versus men going to the top ten fields that pay the most. So the reason why women earn less a lot of the times is because of their own personal choice. And on top of that, let's add in that women dominate college attendance. So there's no excuse to be making less. I disagree with a lot of those presuppositions. Everything I said was a fact. But even if no, I grant you, misogamy. even if I grant you yeah. some okay. of those premises, <laughs> oh my God. you know, they were you're, all you're saying that women are being unfairly advantage, advantaged in certain STEM positions where they're being selected simply because employers want to have more women in their industries, right? I've seen women that are less qualified than men get positions, whether it's STEM, Plumbing. I'll never forget. One girl came on the show. That's anecdotal. She was in plumbing school. Mm -hmm. No, no, that's true. That's true. It's true, but anecdotal. It's but... anecdotal, but that does not make it less valid. I've seen a woman that literally couldn't even pull a wrench, got the job as a plumber because she was a woman. Okay. Yeah. That's I've seen other really... times but where that, women. That business was probably led by a man, right? Yes. Why would he hire an incompetent employee? Because it diversifies the workplace. Affirmative action. Affirmative action Wait, diversifies so that's not a the workplace. Choice, right? Well, I that... thought... I feel like you're saying, oh, they're willing to diversify the workplace. But if you're saying this is a bad employee and bad candidate, that's not a logical choice. So it seems really weird to me that if men that are- That my point. No, no. Can, can I finish, please? Go ahead. So if you're saying men are more logical, they're ruling the workplace, yeah. you know, they're the ones who get everything. Why are they making this so illogical choice of hiring women that are less qualified? It seems like there has to be some underlying- Okay, uh, less look, money look, look, having, less well, here's the thing, here's positions. the thing. Having one or two female employees that are incompetent and, and not as efficient does not override the other 80 maybe male employees that are competent 
and they're able to simultaneously look we're not sexist we have women that work for us we have female plumbers etc the image okay the, the 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 positivity of the image of being a diversified workplace overrides the minor so loss you, of time and efficiency that, with like, the woman the in the vast majority of cases yes women are simply hired over male candidates a lot just of the time for pr reasons 100 percent. Mm. i'll give you an example i was a former special agent of homeland security investigations okay mm. within all the federal law enforcement agencies there were announcements specifically for women to get them on the job why well i'll be honest with you a lot of the times when i worked with female agents or female law enforcement personnel they weren't as good as the guys. I'll just be honest. They, but that's they couldn't... your personal opinion. But by what metric do you, would you say that they were not as, as competent as the men? <clears throat> okay. Well, they almost are never represented in SWAT teams for physical reasons, of course. Mm -hmm. Title three intercepts, right? Wiretapping phones, doing big case investigations, OCDFs, et cetera. Overwhelmingly men. Okay. So I rarely saw female investigators competing with the guys. Now we could say, oh, well, there's not that many, et cetera, which is why they worked really hard to get more female agents. But when the females come in, they typically do things that involve people. What do they do? They do outreach. They go to the schools. Hey, work this job. It's a fantastic career. They're going and dealing with victims, which is cool because women tend to be more interested in people versus men are more interested in things. But do you consider that less important or do you That's consider that also very engaged. important? Well, to the mission of the agency, it's at the bottom of the totem pole. The, the mission of the agency is to go after the top criminals and use sophisticated means to go after the top criminals not necessarily do outreaches at universities. Though that's a valid way to, I guess it's valid, that at the end of the day, the agency is there to arrest the worst criminals. Well, so, even in criminal justice sectors, what yes. do you think is used more, a pen or a gun? What does that have to, I'm still confused. Like, well, when, like, just answer my, just hear my question. In sectors of criminal justice related yeah. to law enforcement, SWAT teams, um, even FBI investigations, yeah. how often would you say, like, would you say it's more likely that those employees need to use a pencil throughout their day or a gun and writing reports and, and being intelligent is the most important thing in running investigations i feel like you didn't answer oh wait writing so you're saying pen. metaphorically because no one writes anymore but yes you could say writing right, and typing stuff like this yeah that's what i'm saying it's like yeah i acknowledge that like on average of course men are more strong than women i'll grant you that any day of the week that's absolutely true but how relevant is physical strength, even in jobs and sectors that's like this? That's my point. That it's not that it. relevant and the men still dominate. The, what I'm trying to say, ladies, the, the only reason I even brought that up, that's just one nuanced example. Yeah. What I'm saying is that in law enforcement, construction, engineering, technology, any type of position that is male dominated, when women enter, they're gr gr <clears throat> greeted with open arms and they get a hiring benefit over men. There are female only announcements for women in law enforcement, construction, and STEM, et cetera. That if you could you imagine if they had a male only announcement, it would never fly. They would immediately be sued. Well, there's no need for male only announcements when you're saying these fields are already dominated so much by men, right? But I think what we're like story. Like, 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 story. Like, like, fact, you like, also gotta remember too uh, that women choose to not go into these careers. Why careers. do you think they choose not to do that? Why do women choose not to get into these careers? Because they're interested in people, not things. Yeah, welcome us. Like I got a story. So I know I feel like we've demonstrated that there are women who are interested in these things. Yeah, but then you're already assuming that they're necessarily less competent than their male counterparts. So then it's not even for lack of interest. You're saying that they're just like always going to be Worse. more remedial, less, less there, skilled. There's, a, there's a multitude of reasons as to why they yeah. may not choose to go into certain fields or whatever, mm, but, but it's a bunch of different things. Women just aren't interested in the same things that men are. Is that really true though? Yeah. Yes. Or women yes. 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 No, 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 you know, women, men, they're just not interested in the same things. But then I think about an interesting study from a university recently mm -hmm. um, that talks about the first classes that women take, right? Um, and men take in their first year of university. There was a course that had to do with computer logic, right? Computer programming. Mm -hmm. um, and when they put the title computer programming, it was overwhelmingly men mm -hmm. who applied. But yeah. when they changed it to something that sounded more english more more language related i think it was like language of i don't exactly what I remember what it was but basically they rephrased the computer science class to sound more liberal arts and then the rate of women who applied increased right but doesn't dramatically that, doesn't that, doesn't wait wait, wait. That... let me finish let me finish right so then you might be thinking oh doesn't that prove the point women are just more interested in languages well 
It seems that the retention of women who realized it was a computer logic course and decided to apply next year to the next level of it mm-hmm. was extremely high. It was like over, I think, 50 to 70 percent. It was around that range. So if you're really saying women are less interested in, let's say, computer science, then that retention rate wouldn't make sense. It would go dramatically down the next year, but it didn't which shows that, hey, maybe the barrier of entry is a little bit more intimidating to women, but once they're in their, these fields, it seems like they do like it. Okay, so here's the thing. They've already proved this, that women are interested in people and men are more interested in things. In the Scandinavian countries, where it's the most egalitarian and the most equal, okay, women, what they found is the women refer even more to what they naturally want to do, okay? The women go more into the social sciences, more into the nursing, more into the social work, etc., and the men go even more into the, the science, the technology, engineering, and math. This has been proven in Scandinavian countries, which are far out of us when it comes to egalitarianism and equal, equality. Have you- so simply put, Women are interested in different things than men are, and there's nothing wrong with that. But we are biologically different, which changes the way we view the world, the way we view each other, the way we view work. And here's another thing, too. This is an unpopular opinion, but I'm going to say it anyway. When it comes to creating resources and excess wealth, women are just fucking lazy. And that's the truth. If you look at most of the millionaires, most of the people that are high net worth, etc., if you look at versus all the women that are high net worth, they got it through divorce. They got it through inheritance, etc. Men, on the other hand, earn the money. Why? The reason why is because there is a burden on performance for men to earn money and there isn't on women. So a lot of the times, the women that do earn a lot of money do it electively, but they don't do it mandatorily. There's a difference. Have you considered in Scandinavian countries, <laughs> yeah. right? You're saying, oh, no, like, you see, women yeah. are more into these gender roles, et cetera, et cetera. But in these Scandinavian countries, it seems like there's no real incentive to change or to go more into, like, let's say, STEM fields if all the women fields are being paid an equal amount, if not extremely high. Okay, so, for stop. example, teaching. Stop, 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 stop. What is the ratio between, okay, they did a German study, 100 men, 100 women, they all tested the same on the IQ. What was the ratio of who quit first? What was the ratio? Please tell me. That's what I want to know. I don't know what German study Women you're give up to. before men. Women are emotional and they give up before men. And that's why as in most cases, German wait, study, I'm going back on the study. Have, Can like, I speak, please? Her speak. One second. This? One mic at a time. So I'm while next. you spoke about those two studies from the college, Yale, whatever you spoke about, do you know why when they knew which gender it was that they chose men, even though that the women were higher qualified? Because Y'all are emotional as fuck. We're emotional as fuck. Look at you. And we speak with emotion and this? we get hyped as fuck. And men will continue the task until it's over. Okay. Women will give up when frustration comes through. It's very rare that a woman will finish. I just Thank want you. to point this Look out. Look at emotional as fuck. And then, and then you've been trying to talk for a minute yeah, too, right? Yeah, I'm stressing for a long time. Do you actually have because something productive to say? Because you're going to just give a drunk statement like... I'm not. I'm not even drunk. I'm good. I want you to... I have a question for you. We are not equal and I spelled equal wrong. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just zoom in, zoom in. Okay, Yo, okay zoom we're gonna in. move it. I'll no, move no, no, but for real, like the what? point is, like we're obviously not equal. Like y'all not. bad, emo- and y'all showing it right now. Y'all, hi- y'all like because <gasps> y'all emotional. Y'all gotta chill, and that's the whole point. Like, yes, we they have some privilege that you guys are right about because I gave a little example, kind of but yeah. shorter. Y'all yeah, smart sorry. as fuck. Y'all know how to talk. Y'all got the studies and shit. But the point is, <laughs> yes, we are not equal, and the and we are privileged. We're super fucking blessed, and y'all just ungrateful. <laughs> like, chill. That's it. Let's change the subject. Let's talk about something that's not so funny. Yeah, yeah, chill, chill, chill. Around a lot, the term high value man. Um, but I think if you're a high value woman, if you, if you, you know, let's face it, a man is there to protect and provide. If yep. you don't need the provide, if you can provide for yourself, and I'm not talking about like a Gucci bag, a <laughs> Chanel bag, I'm talking yeah. about like, provide me safety, provide me something biologically I need. Yeah. If you can't do those two things, then you're worthless to me. And so mm-hmm. I'm not going to put up with you like fucking around because. So. I'll give you my controversial take what I'm about to say right now, and especially as an educated woman like yourself, you might not like what I'm going to say. Misogyny. Misogyny. I, I, I genuinely don't think there's a such thing as a high-value woman because all women have value. So therefore, it would be kind of ridiculous to say that there's high-value women up there, out there. And what I mean by that is a woman can only claim she's high-value if she has a high-value man that co-signs her. She can only become high-value by taking a high-value man's last name because mm-hmm. becoming high-value is very difficult to attain. And I argue that all women have value. Not like men. There's a lot of low value men. So some like mid level men, and then there's some high value men. But all women, to some degree, have value because a woman that's average can absolutely bat five levels above her and get a high value man. But it can't work the other way around. So since it's that, since those sexual dynamics are so polarized, 
I don't think there's such thing as a high value woman unless there's a high value man co-signing her. I disagree. Okay, sure. Because some people think that Andrew Tate is a high value man, but I wouldn't consider him to be a high value man. So if he was to (laughs) co-sign me as a high value woman, it would mean nothing to me because I don't see him in that light. Okay. Okay. Um, Hurrah! Fair fair, uh, assessment, but uh, this is where I disagree with you. Being high value doesn't necessarily deal with morality. Does he have status? Does he have respect from peers? Does he have respect? I mean, in his case, he has respect worldwide. He has financial success, right? We could take it a step further. Trained martial artist, four-time kickboxing world champion. Yep. On paper, he's absolutely high value. Yep. Now, um, and any woman that gets with him is going to acquire the Tate last name and be high value as a byproduct of it. So though he might not be your cup of tea, mm-hmm. it's pretty irrefutable that he is a high value man. Mm. But if he's I, I, because, because he's high value in the metrics that make a man have value in the world. So a man's value is one thousand percent determined by the by the impact that they create in the world. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. A man's last name only carries value if he's able to change other people's lives to some degree. That's why people that are lawyers, doctors, celebrities to a degree, etc., they have they have value and status from their accomplishments, and that is where their value comes from. People respect them, etc. So men, we acquire value much differently than women do. We acquire it through status. You guys acquire it through beauty. And then being able to get a man that has status. Now, some women are able to go ahead and get status on their own, right? You have three um, PhDs, if I'm not mistaken, right? Oh, PhD. Ed- Ed- educated, etc. But unfortunately, that's the equivalent to a man being extremely metrosexual, extremely good looking, but broke. Because even though he's attractive and he's beautiful, that is not a commodity that women seek. Just like a woman that has education, status, and income, that is not a commodity that men generally No, see. you're right. Because in Miami, I just moved to Miami. I mean, literally, I go to like, you can go to any store in the mall, Forever 21, H&M, Zara. The women working at the cash register literally are like the most beautiful women you've ever seen in your life. I'm like, yeah. are you like yeah. a Victoria's Secret, like Brazilian <laughs> supermodel? And she's high value. She's not educated. She's well, working. she's not high value unless she gets a high value man. Yeah. Well, yeah. she will, though, mm-hmm. looking like that. Yeah, she can. If she can land him and get his last name, because they could get fucked. But can she get his last name? Yeah. And, right. and here's the thing. I'm really happy that I have you guys on the panel because you guys are higher IQ. Let me tell you from experience of being here, most women are absolutely retarded in Miami. I can't have discussions like this. Trust me, no. You're very educated, well-spoken, et cetera, able to articulate your points. You, from a cognitive level, are better than most women. However, a lot of these women that you're way smarter than will beat you with meeting to get one of these guys because they're more, they might be more attractive or younger because mm-hmm. men typically don't care about a woman's education or status. Even though you work really hard to acquire these things, these are male metrics of success, unfortunately. Which is why I tell successful women all the time is like, that's great. It's awesome. You can have a great conversation with a guy. He might be intrigued. But are you going to beat out the 21-year-old model? It's going to be tough. So then how does that add value to the 21-year-old model? Because you said the other guy has to like co-sign for her. So if that's who he chooses, but yet she doesn't have like no IQ or no education, then how does that make her a high-value woman? Well, he can he can make her into his he can make her into his woman and make her the best girlfriend for him that's why leadership is so important for men look at it this way like donald trump everyone been know who donald trump is but who did we know mrs trump until this man was president (laughs) like let's be real you know what i'm saying but kind of like i'll take it a step further real quick just because you just mentioned a good point monica Lewinsky became famous off of sucking a high value man's dick Hey, think yeah, about that for yeah, a second. Yeah, yeah. Think about that for a second. That happened almost 30 years ago. We still know her name to this day. So, intern, 18 years old. She got her status simply from sucking a high value man's dick. If that does not prove that women Hold acquire on. status through men, I don't know what that's your point. Kim Kardashian, Ray J. Yeah. I hit it first. Pretty Famous. Much. And real quick, you considered Andrew not high value. So, who would you consider high value? I like Drake. I like Drake. But well, come on, bro. Wait, 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 wait. So <laughs> why do you like Drake though? <laughs> Drake. His songs or like tell me. No, I feel like I relate to his music. So the things that he says, so, even songs. if he doesn't write it, you know, but I feel like I relate. So, and he's a Scorpio, I'm a Drake. Scorpio. It sounds Drake. like it was like True, a Scorpio. you fucked with him because or you fucked with him being high value because you like him. That's a very opinionated statement. Mm-hmm. Like back to the Andrew Tate thing, like 
this is not shame. Keep in mind, mm -hmm. I get like anyone can go anywhere and say, "Oh yeah, Andrew Tate." Da, 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 da. It may be shit. It may be really good. But like, if I were to go to the streets of Orlando and say your name, they'd be like, "What the fuck is that?" So that's kind of what he's saying, like high value. In other words, it doesn't mean people have to like him. It doesn't mean people have to hate him. Like that's what he's known for. Whatever he's known for is putting his fucking name out and getting him paid. Extreme example, and I really hate to say this. It actually pains me to say this. Jeffrey Epstein on paper is a high value man. Even though he's a deplorable individual, he is a high value man on paper. Because when we're talking about high value, we're talking about we're not talking about morality, and that's arguable, whatever. But when you look at status, income, what he's done, um, <clears throat> even though he got his status through some bullshit and money, you can argue on paper that he is so like not to liken Drake or Tate to to him, but I'm just showing that as an extreme example of like high value really doesn't have to do with morality. Cause I, you're going from an opinion standpoint, I don't like Andrew Tate or I don't consider him a high value man because I might not like his views, but Drake and Tate are both high value. And I would argue yeah. Tate has more of a positive impact on the world than Drake does. I mean, Drake hasn't mm. really saved guys from, you know, yeah. no, but off of themselves. You know what it's, like that. it's like, how he makes her feel. Yeah. yeah. So that, that's what's driving her yeah, yeah, yeah. value status. Yeah, but objectively speaking, I mean that's why Both Drake and Andrew Tate are high value men, but I would argue that Tate has more impact from a positive standpoint than Drake. The Dr Drake is a musician, cool. Yeah, okay, yeah, you got me. I'm in my feelings. But Andrew Tate's can keeping guys from killing themselves. I like so, them both, but yeah. well, isn't that Drake morality is though? Like what was that? he's doing stuff somewhat moral because you're saying a positive impact. Yeah. Right. So it is moral in a sense. I mean, to a degree, but he's right, creating like, more impact have... in the world overall. You, you get what I'm saying? Like yeah, but like, like somebody who has money and donates it and is charitable, right? I would consider that more of a high value man who just like takes all of his money and doesn't, I guess, share it or like put it towards anything positive. Yeah, and that's why I said it's arguable. It's yeah. debatable. That's why Epstein donated to charities. <laughs> Unfortunately, he did. He did. Even though it was all like kind of a scheme to get the money back, he donated to charities. Uh, Chris, who would you consider to be a high, high value man? Uh, I mean, a man who actually creates value into the world. He can raise his family properly and uh, just, you know, just make sure that his his lifestyle is on point. Because at the end of the day, if, if you're struggling paying bills as a man, then are you really high value? Mm -hmm. So if you if you have a family and you're, you know, you're, like it depends on what, what goals you have. If you actually, you know, um, acquiring those goals and you're happy, um, making six figs, you know, um, able to feed your those you care about, isn't that high value to you? Because some girls, like for example, some girls go, like, "Yeah, my high value guy is he makes six figures a year," and then some girl down on South Beach can say, "Oh, a high value guy is a millionaire," you know. You know what I'm saying? So it all depends on what's going on. Cool. But if you're high value, man, you gotta be able to take care of your circle. Yeah, and, and and I think a big part of being high value also is having respect from your peers. That's a big one, yeah. right? Like you got you got. Do other men want to be you? Do other men respect you? Are your accolades like known to others without you having to t say it? Like, it, does your reputation freak speak for itself in a positive way to a degree? I'm curious real quick, though. Would you consider your, your current guy high value? I would. And it's based on morals and values. Uh -huh. Like, we, we have a really aligned morals and values. Where is he now? He's in L.A. Oh, okay, doing what? Um, right now, he's probably, I don't know. I don't know. What question he's question for you. If that's the premise and you're happy with this, and I, I think you are, can he cheat? I would hope that he wouldn't. But if he cheated, would you leave? I would strongly consider it. I mean, we'd have to renegotiate our, our arrangement. I mean, mm. okay. And okay. I Fair. think that intimacy is precious and it's um, sacred. And I think that to, oh, sh to oh, share he's it. Fucking. To share <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, he's <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's a daddy and everything, but he got uh, LA. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's not her dad, bro. Dad, that's not her dad, 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 bro. Oh. Her dad, dad lives in, fucking. Her dad lives in <laughs> Paris. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, bro. They fucking. Uh, okay. does, does that answer what you had yeah, before? Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, yeah. On. And, and and Andrew does donate to charity too. He does actually. I mean, uh, know Ukraine, that, uh, other charities as well. Yeah. I mean, he's uh, full guy. disclosure. He's a friend of ours, which yeah. is why we're a bit biased. Uh, right? okay. But he's a personal friend of ours. So yeah. Shout out to Tate Brothers. We all know those lies. Mm -hmm. Those charges. Are Any bullshit. questions, comments? Uh, uh, go ahead and pull it up. Uh, uh, more real quick. So you can oh, see real quick. Oh, that was, well, that was one year ago. Yeah, so you can see uh, the no's were uh, 6,790 and the yeses were 736. And on average, the women who didn't cheat said they had about 3.8 and the women who did cheat had about 8.9. So yeah. you can see that. So we were off by two. 
Yes. Oh, yeah, but the, the point is right there. The next paragraph says the average number of male sexual partners for married women who cheated on their husbands was 2.3 times higher than those women who did not cheat. Do you guys understand? That is, you cannot, from this point on, this debate is over. The idea that body count doesn't matter, this checkmate, it's over. It's done. The data is in. Women who have more sexual partners make worse wives on average. Everybody they are more cheats. likely to cheat on you, period. You cannot say that this is a function of a massage or a patriarchy. Mm -hmm. There is actual solid data on this now. The, I, and this is probably the most offensive thing ever. I promise you, I promise you, if there was data out there that showed as women had more sexual partners, they were better wives, you would publish that data and immediately, in a heartbeat, in a yeah. heartbeat and you would good. You would be awarded the Nobel Prize in, in psychology without review. Immediately. You would, get, you would be granted hundreds of millions of dollars of research if you found any data that showed that. But of course, they did this data back in 1995 we couldn't find any studies on this for like 25 years because nobody wanted, wanted to, to do this research yeah. that showed very clearly that as women have more sexual partners they make worse wives they are less likely to stay in a relationship they're more likely to cheat and they're more likely to fall Mike, for divorce. Mike, who hurt you, you misogynist? <laughs> <laughs> My <laughs> expectations hurt no, me. Hold, Thank hold, you very much. Small, small dick energy. energy. Right? No, He's no, making a lot of emphasis on that. Yeah. 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 Small yeah. dick yeah. energy, right? Cut it. Small dick energy. All right, let me Besides. just let me just state this for the record because I know the first thing that's going to happen yeah. in the comments is, well, what about the guys? Okay, this is not about the guys. Okay, mm -hmm. that's a, I, I, every time no, you no, throw this out there, it's like, we're not filing We're not, hold on, here's the thing. We're not filing for divorce. We're not filing for divorce yeah, yeah, if 80 percent of divorces are filed by women and and we're talking about you're more likely to file for divorce if you've had more previous sexual partners mm -hmm. well it's like well what about men if men have more previous sexual partners are they more likely to file for divorce we're not the ones filing for divorce yeah period so we're, that's not the issue that's not where it comes it's, from so do you guys understand the point the issue is that this argument comes up body count doesn't matter it doesn't matter what i did before then that should read out from the data you should have maybe a small correlation maybe women who cheated maybe had 10% more sexual partners, not 230% more sexual partners. That is a that is a full-on statistical correlation. And so if you see that and you have a problem with it, again, let me ask you something. If I had an if I had a niece or if I had a sister and I told her, I was like, hey, just to let you know, there's there's some studies. It might have to do with your endocrine system. It might have to do with your neurochemicals. But for some reason, when you have more sexual partners, it doesn't allow you to imprint on the man that you end up wanting to marry. And so that may cause you to have a, a worse relationship. If I tell that to my niece, is it because I don't love her? Or is it because I do love her? Mm. You do love her. Because you do love her. So yeah. I'm giving good advice to my female friends and female family members because I do love them. Do you guys understand? Yeah. That's not misogyny. The point of the that fucking like the point of the data is to show you what reality <laughs> is. Do you guys understand? I don't know what that means, but that sounds hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Chris, what the fuck, man? Chris, what the fuck, man? Chris, what the fuck, nigga? What, nigga? Like, yeah, no, no, what? No, nigga. What the fuck yo, is going on bro. here? Yo, these guys want to smash, man. So, <laughs> hey, listen, man. It's yours, right. man. That's true. She wasn't a problem meeting, but you're right, Dan and Myron, and you warned Mike. Nigga, you're right, bro. I was warned. Okay, here's the other thing. All right. And I do want to say this. Somebody clipped this and said that. I ain't going to say his name because he's a fucking cloud chasing loser. But there's been this idiot running around thinking, well, actually, it's men have more sexual predators. They're more likely to cheat. Mac but Lamar. they're not the ones ending relationships. <laughs> yes. You fucking loser. Okay, That's the so, whole point. So, so here's the thing. I, 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 I go on shows all the time and I bring up the 70 to 80% divorce rate. We talk about this all the time, right? So then women say, well, you shouldn't be looking for the for the for whoever <laughs> initiates the divorce. You should be looking for the reason why there's a divorce. That's Maybe true. it's still the man's fault, even though it's the, the, uh, the woman who files for divorce. Yeah. So what's a way scientifically we can mm. control for that? Ah. How about we just remove men altogether and we look at <laughs> lesbian, lesbian couples marriages. versus homosexual couples and we look at the divorce rate. So if what women are saying is correct and it's men to blame, what we should find is the same level of divorce or lesbians should be divorced less. And what do we find? Anybody want to take a guess? Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. What do you find? Can... Oh, yeah, because, yeah, you were, you were, you were real good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What's the reason? Yeah. Yeah. What's the reason? Yeah. Okay. I can take you a guess. You have no mental okay. blame. I can take a guess. <laughs> what, do, what do you think? I mean, I know you're, you have an agreement. So it's obviously going to agree with what you are saying, so it's going to be women. Okay, how much Lesbian. more? How much more do you think I lesbians? I don't know, like, it was 150 the other time, so maybe, like, 100 this time. 
It's you're exactly right. No. Women women file for divorce. Lesbian couples file for divorce 100 percent more than gay men file for divorce. Mm -hmm. So even when you don't have men to blame, you are still leaving relationships. <laughs> so listen, uh, listen, listen, listen. Uh, I love this. Yo, yo, yo. She didn't skip yes. nothing, bro. She didn't skip nothing. Do you understand? And by the way, do you want to know the number one? This is why women deserve less book and stores, ninjas. God damn. Do you, do you, sorry, do you want to know to what, what precipitates lesbian divorce the most? Do you want to know what it is? Sorry. It's when lesbian like women have children. And when they wow. have children, I don't know the data on this, but I will bet you every penny I have that the that the lesbian member that files for the divorce is the one who is the biological That's mother the of the child. I almost guarantee you. Damn. Because because hetero homosexuality for women is a spectrum, and for men it's more binary. So what happens is all of a sudden she has a baby, and she looks over at her partner, and she looks at the baby, and looks at her partner, and thinks about, I need someone to pr protect, provision, provide, and it's not you. And so I'm going to go start I'm dating out. men again. And that's I'm essentially out. what happens. And I'm out. So that's essentially what happens. So even when you don't have... <laughs> yeah. God. Even yeah. when, when ladies don't have men to blame, they're still leaving relationships more. Wow. Even when they don't have men to blame. So that's the, that's the issue, Sorry, right? Sorry, T-A-W. I think the bottom... Yeah, fantastic. I'm going to give you a Don DeMarco for that one. I think the bottom line here is that women... Just, you can't make women happy, bro. You can't. It, it, it's amazing how little it takes for men to be happy. But for women, it's so tough. I saw this picture, Right. It was like a TV, like on a fucking, like a small ass table and like a mattress on the floor. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. guys were like, man, it's so easy to, this is all, yeah. girls, no, it's, it's, it's a meme. It's a meme. It, yeah, it's a meme. And the women said, men That's really be happy grand. with just this. Yeah. Can and you now, believe and, men can and, do this? To yeah. Be like this. And yeah. then, and then, it, then someone put it like the top comment, like, man, girls really be mad at how little it takes men to be happy. And it's so true is that like mm -hmm. women are not necessarily ever satisfied. And I think it's a biological reason where women kind of have to have this mindset of because the grass green on the other side. Need it's a security thing. Right? Long term security. Like men are always looking for the hottest girl. Women are always looking for the utmost security. So they have to have this mindset of mm -hmm. the grass is always greener on the other side, which makes them way more predisposed to end relationships. Yeah. Do you guys believe that there are any women that didn't need a co sign from a high value man that you guys consider to be a high value woman? Yeah, no. there's one. Who? No one. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you said a woman Not even your mother? I don't even an example of a high value woman that, that, that like, I, think, I think more girls should aspire to be. Derek Jeter's wife. Oh. Yeah. Derek Jeter's wife is a fantastic example. If you look at her Instagram, mm -hmm. all her pictures are with him. Yep. Nothing sexualized. It's I think it's like two or three pictures. Yeah. Like, you know, low key. <clears throat> yeah. Out of the media. No attention seeking. Family. Him. Yeah. yeah. So. What about Messi's wife? Who? Messi, the soccer player. Oh, Messi. Yeah. I consider him a high value man. Absolutely. Yeah, of course he is. Like yeah. he's yeah. I don't yeah. know, he's awesome. Like yeah, of course he is. What about his wife though? I never heard like oh she's a high value he, yeah, yeah he shit on him yeah. like but she well, asked got somebody him, that's that's my, I mean yeah. I mean look at the person that's behind the family and then look at what's being put out there. I've never heard anything bad about his wife or anything that would demise or his career. So I mean look at Will Smith. Yeah. Look what his wife did to him. <laughs> right. That's true. Destroyed because of one mm -hmm. allegation, which was true, and then it comes up by now. It was August Alcina taking down his wife. <laughs> hey, man, August, you, you did that shit. Bro. Ironic. But are you guy. asking about, like, single women? Yeah, because like, I, I would say I would say maybe, like, like Zendaya. Like, no one's ever heard anything bad about Zendaya. Are you bro, crazy? Bro. What? Zendaya bro. is in a, in a scene bro. with, with two, Zendaya with two. was the pinnacle of getting to that point. <laughs> was. High value. However... She fucked it up. Yes. How? You didn't see that trailer for that movie? Yeah. The, the tennis movie? Bro, she has no, a threesome. A threesome. In a bedroom <laughs> a train. with two white dudes, yeah. a reverse Oreo, yeah. oh. <laughs> kissing the dudes and about to smash. Yeah. Oh, she, I didn't know she, got, she got a man at home. Zende Ho. I'm just saying. <laughs> she belongs to the Zende Ho. A That's celebrity crazy. girl that has to act it's... and play movie roles and has to be Let a part of the industry. This, though. It's a hell. This, this is Tom Holland's fault. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. That's his fault because his leadership should have told her you're not doing that role, facts. Mm, because I, because even if it's acting, you represent me now. So he should provide that. the bag that she doesn't get from that movie role, though. She if she's getting like two mil off that role, he should get provide two mil. Then that's what well, I'm saying. Because the thing, she, already, talking, she already had, she already has money. That's fine, but you're stopping my bag now because of your feelings. Well, if I'm so, acting with two guys, that isn't even a real sex scene. Okay. I'm just kissing them for like a acting role and i don't actually love them like how you said you can like fuck women and not feel anything as an actress we we can 
separate our emotions and feelings. Absolutely. So it's like, why should she be a low value woman? Because she's just doing her okay. job. If we're going to use that logic, if we're going to use that logic. Then what's the difference between a porn star and an actress then? A porn Wait, star your logic, is a porn star should also for be able actual to... sex. They actually fuck. I think like actors, they just do not fuck. No, it's a job. It's though. just a scene. It's only a job. Yeah. But, well, here's a scene. Uh, no, yeah, because by your logic, you're saying, hey, they're just acting. Well, a lot of female porn stars are just actresses as well. They're just acting a scene. What's the difference between kissing someone in a film versus having sex with someone in an erotic? Zendaya's not getting multiple dicks inside of her, though. Yes, she is. <laughs> I mean, okay. what is she? she she isn't. But how do you on. know? How do you know? What is the image being sent to people? <laughs> yeah. Sees there on the TV screen. But that's the beauty of movies to no. make you feel like it's real. Well, a man at home that cares about you. That movie director, he can fuck about you. He'll pay you and say, "Okay, awesome job." But in the day, he'll family at home waiting for you. Why would you disrespect your family over some money? Yeah, I mean, it's... tell me that. Well, not only that, mm -hmm. I think women need to understand that a lot of the times, the bag is going to come at the cost of dignity, and you have to ask yourself. What's more valuable to you, dignity or a bag? I would argue for women, your value is 100% determined when it comes to mating on your dignity. This is why so many women that make money that have a bag that you're talking about, we know girls, you know what? Yeah. Be honest here, fresh. Let's just keep it a thousand. You know a lot of women a lot. that make a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, half million to a million dollars a month on OnlyFans. That's Allegedly. Crazy. Please tell me. How they're doing when it comes to their day to day and how they're coping? Yeah, so um, you know, I dabble in the uh, arts of uh, you know gifts. I'll just say that. No, but um, <laughs> I I think for them it's more like they obviously have a goal of making money, being successful, and at what cost? The morals. Now, at that cost though comes relationships, and as a result, they might find guys that they actually like because of their past and their current status of a job. They can't find true love because they want love. Oh, obviously they want love as well, but their their profession, their whole act, their whole scenes that they do results in guys saying, "You know what? Damn, she's hot, but wifey taking her to mom, home to mom. I just can't do it." Mm -hmm. Now they'll play the part for a little bit and they say, "Nah, you gotta stop." Or they say, "You know what? I'm out. I have fun, but I gotta dip." And, and what makes this worse for Sandea is that she already has money. She's no. already she ha she's in a privileged position where she's able to decline roles. But she's not married she to Tom Holland, though. That's the difference. Okay, okay. well, let, hold on, hold on. Okay, here we, here we go. Fair enough. Okay. Good, good argument. Let me ask you this: If you work at a job <laughs> and you want to get promoted and elevated at that job, wouldn't it be fair to say that you need to display the traits for the elevated position prior to being elevated? Yes, but what if Tom? Hold on, stop right there. Okay. If you want to elevate her to wife. Wouldn't it be fair to say that she needs to display wife characteristics to be elevated? What if he doesn't believe that the things that Please she does yes or is no not... to that question? Then okay, yes, yes, yes. That's my point. Mm -hmm. If she wants to be elevated, remember, men are the ones that give out relationships. That is a job application to a degree. And I would argue someone like Tom Holland would be the equivalent to a very, you know, I mean, high level. Like he's, he's a Spider Man. It's, it's a, he's, it's, Spider -Man. It, he's a, a prestigious <laughs> law firm. Let's use an example. He's a prestigious law firm. And there's a bunch of people that are applying to this law firm. She needs to go ahead and show exemplary performance to get elevated to wife because he could replace her easier than she could replace him. But for some people, like he may have gave her the green light to do that. She probably asked him first, well, that's just not, like how Adam him. 22 and his him. wife, you feel me? Notice how I blamed him though for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. What but about... She also should have not taken it, but he should have, she should have not taken it and he should have stopped her from taking it. Mm -hmm. But the thing also is like y'all are forgetting Zendaya is a Disney Channel star. You have little kids mm -hmm. watching this chick. So like, let's say you have like these nine, ten year olds. Like, fuck that shit. I watched Zendaya go growing up, and I didn't even know about this until just now. So hearing this is like, bro, I used oh, to shit. like look up to her. Oh, like, shit. let's be for real. This is a little oh, light skinned curly headed chick. Like, damn, she look kind of like me. <laughs> I like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm fucking with Don't that already. Don't do that. My bad. My bad. I ain't, I ain't <laughs> as fine as her. Look, Respectfully, but like, Facts. let's be. But no, like, let, <laughs> but no, like, let's be for real. Like, you see all these Disney Channel stars doing all this shit, mm -hmm. and you see Bella Thorne, who is literally her co-star. Co yeah. What is she doing now? Looking only like a fans. fucking slut. And now you have Zendaya, who people look up to her. Like, it's not just about the money. Like they said, she but already they grow has, up though. You know, yeah. like they can't be little but forever. She, it's not about but, being little. It's not about maturity. It's not about age. It's literally about how wait, you present yourself. Who to taught the public. you all this? Because you seem like you're aware of everything. I'm and you're, just not. 
No, no, anyway, but, but who's that? Like, did no, you grow up around your father? I just, and, and... Well, yeah, I have. I grew up in like a very traditional household as okay. it is. So like, I was already raised with a What's certain mindset. What do you mean, like ethnically? Yeah. Um, my, both of my parents are from the Virgin Islands, but my uh, mom is Puerto Shasta. Rican and my dad is Trini. Okay. So like, no, obviously, boom, oh God. <laughs> try for them, but <laughs> no, for real, like. It's like we can use freaking Dora. You see Dora as this little Hispanic chick running around like, where is the banana? You know what I'm saying? And then you see these crazy parody videos of Dora fucking boots. Like that's just crazy. Wait, 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 only fan models making all this money off of their bodies and i really look at it to the family like all these women like you're right they're going to be 35 years old one day and miserable and sad and some of the people who end up actually having families that are do only fans are going to harm their future children yeah. and that's what i it's already see. starting it's already there, starting. there's already kids like you know offing themselves because kids are teasing them on the playground like hey dude look your mom's sucking dick on of only of course fans. they yeah. are that makes perfect sense yeah. no kid should have to go through that and yeah. so all all these women putting these their families through these horrible situations is very harmful for children like you just said they're oofing themselves it's terrible it's very sad yeah uh, and again like i said before it's a multitude of situations right you like i said before it's the lie with pursuing money it's a lie with pursuing status it's a lie with pursuing um a career and pursuing masculine endeavors in general uh not prioritizing family the body positivity movement, they're all working in tandem mm -hmm. to brainwash women into not pursuing the things that are gonna fulfill them long-term until later. Oh, it's okay, you can have a family later on. The problem with that is that the guy that you want isn't gonna want you when you're in your 30s life. Yeah, yeah. and therapy plays a really big role. You were talking about mental health earlier and therapy plays a massive role in what we tell women today. Mm -hmm. In society, like when I went to therapy, they told me it was okay and that they tried to give me a pill for my depression, a pill for my anxiety, a pill for my obesity, instead of being like, oh, just fix your own health. All of the therapists lied to me and most people that go to therapy are actually women when you look at the statistics. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's and a lot of them are obese and a lot of them never get their problem fixed because the therapy system wasn't built for the client to succeed. It's built for the therapist to succeed because mm -hmm. that's how they make their money. So when you think about it, don't go Thanks. to therapy. Just don't go to therapy because the therapist is making money off of you. I was in therapy for 10 years. They Wait, made 10 years? 10 Damn. years. Wow. And my problems weren't fixed until I left. Wait, you're 18 mm -hmm. though. I'm 18. Damn. Damn. But, but no, no, no. That that goes to show and that Big Pharma gets involved and therapy, all this mental health crap. I'm not saying that mental health isn't to be taken seriously. But what I will say is that Big Pharma has a large incentive to make a big, uh, to make a lot of money on you early on and turn you into a lifelong customer. What are they selling? Hope through therapy a lot of the times. People need to get educated. They need to take responsibility. It's been so important and it's so important today. Yeah. Uh, absolutely they brainwash you guys you we are too. aware of the lag okay so this uh, is what we'll do we'll refresh stream yard yeah uh give us one second guys we're gonna refresh the stream real fast get stand by real fast stand by. Yes. <laughs> her Don't yeah what, what are y'all's criteria for a, a woman that would be worthy to like lock down don't be a hoe <laughs> what qualifies I mean, you as a hoe also, yeah, yeah. What's yeah, what's a hoe? Yeah. Like, yeah. for example if i was dating you um, I would not let you go on a you know a girls trip with three or two of your friends. Yeah, you're crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. It would so, never um, last. But what, what makes you it's, think it's she's not doing like, why? why? Like, what do you think we're doing on these girls trips? Yeah, uh, yeah. What do you think you're doing? No, I fuck no, girls seriously. Like you who come here in Miami for you, girls trip? You don't fuck girls like me. Let me ask you this, and just so we can get, because I'll get the read on the room, then you can ask your question. Right, cool. How many think? How many of you think it's appropriate for you to uh, go on a girls trip to a foreign location uh, when you have a boyfriend at home? Raise your hands if you think it's okay. Yeah, because. Okay. Do you think everybody needs fucking? their break? Like, now now okay. you have. Okay, but, go ahead. Ask your question. Now no, they, no, they all think it's appropriate. So also, ask how many guys have we slept with on our trip, and we've been here for five days or four days or however many. I mean, None. Four days we haven't hooked up with anyone. Like we're not texted here. anyone. So, yeah. in, in, in my experience, um, born and raised in County Dade, I'm 35 years old. Um, I've seen a lot, even to a point where <laughs> I shouldn't say this, but <laughs> I was like 25, and it was like a bachelorette party, and. Damn. Shut it on camera? No. Yeah, go, go ahead, man. You already started. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> All right. So if you're watching, nigga, like your girl isn't faithful. <laughs> so yeah. So I fucked the bride, bro. Like the whatever is, is oh, what it shit. is, man. Oh, oh, was that that was it was like ten years ago. Oh, oh. Yeah, oh they forgot about that already. Hey, hey listen, that is, and I see girls do many things. Uh, you know, they will get a, a guy's number and then they say, hey, listen, I'm going to, like, even recent, like two years ago, I had a girl. She um she left her friends from the club to come stay with me. And um, for like three days, and then her, her 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 sister actually, and her sister's boyfriend, they left her, um, and they flew back up north, and she was with me for like two extra days. So I see it all, and you go, "Hey, I'm not doing shit," but you know, I'm looking around right now. It's like, listen, I see red flags. And right, right, look at her. <laughs> you got because piercings like this. So yeah. I mean, honestly, you know, and tattoos like, and. But listen, but this hey, just my God. personality. It fits me. No, it's fine. But I like I love girls like that because they're very like you know, spicy and There's it's like it's one next for time. it. There's like a reason. That's why fine. I don't care about the reason. I'm like, still fucking. But not, not, not me, you. But like girls like that, I see. So um, it's like I feel like it's appropriate for you to take breaks, you know, to go on a trip with their girls. Like you I need feel it. like you need wait, to wait, open that door. You're with your man all the time. Yeah, you're gonna get worn out. Out and you're gonna yeah. fight all the time. You need space and to miss no, somebody. Right. Not space, Honestly, but why do you need to go? Well, you know, go how, about, how about this? Well, let's, so, let's go. Let's like, have would you guys this. go on a trip? You no, know, hold on. No, because with women, you gotta oh. kind of use analogy. So let's go yeah. to a drum roll, real fast, right? <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Let's say, right? Me and you are a relationship, hypothetically, right? And I'm gonna go to the nightclub and hang out. However, at this nightclub, there's gonna be women that are more attractive than you. They're going to be in an abundance. They're going to be offering me free drinks. They're going to be bringing me to their section. They're going to be offering to fly me around and give me money and hook up with me, right? For nothing more than the fact that I'm there and I'm attractive. Mm -hmm. It's what you do in that situation. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, yeah. I have a response for that. Hold on, hold on. Me too. Immediately. As soon as I go into this scenario, I'm going to have all these options of women that are better looking than you, that have more money than you, that have more status than you, that can offer me certain things that you might not be able to offer, right? Mm Okay. Would you genuinely want me to go to this environment that could be destructive to our relationship? Yes or no? Yes. You're basing your whole on, analogy. Hold on, one at a time. Yes or no? Realistically, like, having an honest conversation with yourself, do you think, it, would you feel okay with me going to this location knowing that there's going to be better looking women that are going to give me money, that are going to fly me out, give me free liquor, and want to fuck me? Would you be okay with me going? So, like, basic answer, no. Okay, hold on. Yes, because be it depends okay. on what you do in the situation. And yeah. you're basing that's our relationship on the fact that you're physically attracted to me, and that's it. So you're saying that these bitches are, sorry, I, I'm not no, you're fine, right? <laughs> that these girls are more attractive or whatever, so is that all you want? Like, I'll we're only you, I'll together? I'll give you a chance to explain, but you're saying you'd be okay with it, Yeah. knowing that. Yeah. Okay, what about you? I'd be okay with you that. Okay with yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. You okay with it? Interesting. Yeah, you're going to open the door for a person to fail if they want to fail that position. Yeah, please. Yeah. Like, so you're okay with it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, that's where loyalty comes from. Defin- I'd be definitely okay with it. A relationship is all about trust, you know? And if, if, I, if I don't got it like that, then go find better. Okay, let me ask you this. If you, you know, worked really hard, saved up $200,000, and you bought a Lamborghini, mm-hmm. okay? Vroom, vroom. Um, would you feel comfortable parking it in the hood? Yes or no? Um, would I feel comfortable? Depends if I need to be in the hood, then I would take my chances. I have insurance. No, you don't need to, you don't need to be there, but you're just parking there insurance. anyway. Thank you. Yeah. you don't need to be there, but you're parking there anyway. Would you Why? feel okay with that? Would I yes feel no? okay to park my Lamborghini in yeah. the hood? Yeah. I mean... Yes or no question? No. Okay. What about you? Yeah, I got insurance. And if I have money to I got a Lambo, I'll just buy another one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You'd be okay with parking your Lambo there? Yeah, it's very situational. No like, why am I there? Yeah, yeah. Like, if you have no choice, I gotta you're go gonna go to Philly for something. Right. My friend lives in Philly. Quiet. I'm gonna go to my friend's house. Your right. answers are very, very interesting, ladies. Uh, and I know why they're giving these answers, but we'll get into that in a second. All right, what about you? I mean, Would you feel comfortable too. parking your Lambo in the hood? Well, respectfully, yeah, I got a key and I live in Philly. <laughs> like, I've already at risk all the top. <laughs> I'm already in danger. You're not safe just because you live in a nice neighborhood. Yeah, I like mean, that doesn't make you right. safer. Mm, not really. Not really. Mm. I mean, if I'm anything, you're I'm more of a target. target. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. You know, this is a very, um, this is a really good example of privilege is invisible to those that have it. So women don't have to work for their value to attract the opposite gender, but men do. So it's easy for you guys to speak from a privileged position of never really having to having to build yourself up. You know, you don't have to worry about building up your looks, building up your status, building up your money, and working really hard to achieve um, a certain level before the opposite gender recognizes you. 
men, we have to build our value. Women are given their value. So for you guys, you're speaking from a position of privilege where it's like, oh, yeah, I got insurance on it. I'll get another one, blah, blah, blah. Not knowing how hard it is to get a Lamborghini in the first place. So yeah. in other words, it's not easy for a guy to get a girlfriend. It's not easy for a man to get a hot girl. So if he gets her, he's going to be territorial to some degree with that woman. But, you know, for you guys, you don't look at it that way because women don't necessarily earn their value with attracting the opposite gender. So it's easy for you guys to say, oh, I let them go. Trust. Yeah, all this other yeah. stuff. I went Because you don't have any skin in the game. But once you have skin in the game, I promise you, your mindset would change a lot. But again, this kind of, your answers are very indicative of female answers that don't mm. understand the struggle of the male experience. Well, but, sorry. I have a point to make to you. Didn't sure. you say that fem like society is backwards and that basically... What? What's a profession that a guy does that's a red flag to you? Not bad, actually. Ooh. What's a red flag job for you, ladies? We could start here and then work our way. Um, for a man which, to have. which is the negative? Is it yellow collar or is it blue collar jobs? Yeah, I, yellow I yellow collar? Yellow no, collar. I, I, I love you a long time. No, no. <laughs> I, forgot which, yeah. I, I forgot what it's called. Blue basically... collar is, is, is a, a more you know laborious type job, maybe a construction worker, whatever, and then a white collar is office. Office. Well, I mean, depends on their age. Like, I mean, for example, my age, any job is... You know, will suffice. Blow jobs. But what's a but red what flag if, job, though? What, what if you made more than him, though? What am I gonna? What are we gonna do about that? I mean, like getting a job can also be circumstantial. Like, there's a lot of factors that going in, like that go into a job. Your, your experience, how far you are, if you have reliable transportation. At least right now, it doesn't matter as long as you have a job. What about like McDonald's, CVS, porn star? I mean, what? Wait, what? porn what? star. <laughs> You never know about this. I don't know about porn star. Um, that's not something I would. So is that a red flag? Oh, wait, technically, aren't you a porn star too? Oh shit. To an extent, but the thing is, in my content, I just post myself. I've never want like I've gotten opportunities to shoot with other people. I don't want to do that. Okay. I don't. I don't know if I am. Like I, I'm not against that idea, but I don't want to consider myself that. So what's but... one red flag job that if a guy had it, you'd be like, mm, you know, it'd make what, you go what age? Go... Because it, it varies. Let's it say varies. twenty-five years old. Oh. Well, then we can say lunch lady or something like that. <laughs> For a man? Uh, lunch nigga. Okay. <laughs> That's the first one. That's yeah. the first. All right. What about you? Red flag job. Um, I mean, you said 25. So at that point, I feel like if he was still working fast food or anything along those lines, I mean, it's kind of a red flag. Mm-hmm. Um, cause I feel like you should have pushed past that point and tried to do something else. He's trying though. It's taking a little bit longer. No, he's so any fast food, even Chick-fil-A. My pleasure. My pleasure. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Right. What if he's a manager at one of those spots? Ooh. <laughs> but I'd be owner. <laughs> Even I feel like that doesn't suffice. Um, so he's making like 70K a year. Personally, for me, I want somebody that I could actually build a company with. There's nothing along those lines. So if you don't have that mentality and you can't, don't have that drive, then I'm not going to talk to you. So you want an entrepreneur? Yeah. So, it, 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 so even if they have a good job... Let's say they're a lawyer, but they're employed by a firm. I mean, yeah, that's like at that point, like that's fine. But like if you have the drive and the motivation and the work ethic, then like, yeah, I'm fine being with you. But if you don't, then for the most part, no. And right. I feel like people in the fast food space and things along those lines, some very small portion may have the drive and the motivation to try and get out of that situation. Well, let's say they're a regional manager making 100K a year. Then I mean. The office. Still. The mentality. <laughs> the office. I feel like Merch. that's very complacent. That's a very complacent person. Just sing in that show. Do better, nigga. Do better. All right. So he's got to be an entrepreneur, basically, for you. Any, if he works for anybody, it's like. I mean, it's not even like working for anybody. It's like, personally, like myself, I work for somebody right now, but I'm a 1099. So, like, everything I do, I'm an independent contractor. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, fast food, anything else? Right. I mean. Okay, so fast food is the biggest red flag for you. Okay, regardless of income, it's fast food. I mean, yeah, I guess. Okay. What about you? Red flag job for you? Um, Club promoter. Ah. See, that's a big one. Have you ever dated one? Uh, no, but I know some uh, two, two guys that were actually supposedly in relationships and, like, they were not faithful. <laughs> it was not possible. Okay. And yeah. you saw them, like, have sex with another girl? Well, I know the stories, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And actually to add about the fast food manager, if you can be a manager at a fast food place, why would you not go maybe, you know, somewhere better? Why are you just staying in a Complacent. fast food? Like, yeah. Well, depending could... on the, the chain, you can make a lot of money as a manager. 
you're like a di- an operations manager, a district manager, you could be making hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollars, three hundred thousand dollars a year. Their argument is go somewhere else with a better, I want to say, reputation. Yeah, reputation. That's, that's what they're saying basically. So you guys are more concerned with the title over the income capacity. No, it's not even that. I feel like if you can make it to that level, then you should be able to push yourself to go outside of that. Like what you're already doing. What if doing? their skill set is within dining? Then I mean, you can go to a five star restaurant, and do something else. They don't pay as much. <laughs> um, to be fair, that is true. <laughs> okay, so they don't pay as much. So you guys are more. I mean, and that's fine. I'm just okay. Asking so some if you're critical reg- questions here, so for you guys, it seems the title is more important than the income, which is fine. No, so if you're a regional manager at a uh, Chick Fil A, yeah, it's and you would be only a manager like somewhere else, like yes, stay at Chick Fil A, but like if if you compare the same position, regional manager at Chick Fil A, or you could be regional manager at Ritz Carlton, it doesn't exist regional manager there, but if you could be at a more reputable company like that, then why would you stay with a like a fast food? So thing? title is important. Status. Interesting, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you for being uh, honest. No, 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 that's fine. That's fine. Thank you for being honest. You guys are confirming things that we've talked about on this podcast many times before. Don't worry. It's not bad. Well, I wouldn't not accept it, but I would still question it. Okay. What about you? Um, so I don't disagree with that, but also What's a red flag job for you? If we're going with like the twenty five year old age range not range, um, like anyone who's still like who's trying to get into like the film industry and like hasn't like really made it at that point okay be actors, particular about film okay i was gonna say like either actors but like <laughs> all sides like directors anything like all the people you know who like went to film school and they're just like okay. mm. trying but not really so anyone that's just that's in film struggling at 25 years old is a red flag to you slightly yeah okay if they're not successful yeah okay anything mm. else look at morgan freeman man well, she said if they're not successful. Oh. Be Morgan Freeman. Right. Like what? He started late. He started right. at like like 40 or He started uh, late, okay. yeah. All right, so film. All right, what about you? See, I was going to say fast food, but then I started thinking. And then I was like, people who work in fast food, they're put in stressful situations. So it's like they're they're forced to work faster and harder. So I just know that like they, you know, they have potential and I'm not going to look past that. So what I am going to say is OnlyFans... <laughs> If you're a man with OnlyFans, damn, or you're a, a male porn star, I will not be looking your way. That's a red flag for me. That's it. I'm curious. Why do you say that? Because I've heard that before, but why? I just think it's like weird. How's it weird? Just like how when, I'm sorry. I'm I'm gonna bash everybody. I don't like OnlyFans. I don't like anybody that has an OnlyFans. I'm gonna say that. Okay. Directly, oh, like I, you, I respect you as a yeah. person. Like I respect you. you as a person. It is what it is. But I just don't don't fuck you don't with that with fans shit. Okay. Hold on, you gonna take that from her? What am I gonna do about it? It's not a very. At I the end of the day, that. it's not the best profession to do. Kind of stop. Money, <laughs> but yeah, money, fresh money, man. It's <laughs> it's you know but, what. But now she don't like you. Oh. But you're never going to be liked by everybody at the end of the day. What am I going to do about that? She seems like a respectful, educated young lady. What am I going to do about the fact that she doesn't like OnlyFans? Stop. To to some degree, I don't like it either, but it's helping me. Stop. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay. Let's talk shit. <laughs> All right, let's before. All right. Um, let me ask you ladies this. Would you prefer being a sewage removal person making $100,000 a year, or, or would you rather be... A flight attendant making thirty thousand dollars per year, but being able to travel and shit like that. What would you prefer to do? Cleaning out shit in the sewers, right? Okay. Making hundred k a year, or you know, sewer basically a sewer manager, I guess we could say, or a sewer sewer removal specialist. That'll be your title. Or you're a uh, flight attendant traveling the world, but you're only making thirty k per year. What, what job would you prefer? Let's start here and then work our way. Go ahead. I would prefer to be a flight attendant. Okay. Flight attendant. I think I'll go with flight attendant too. Flight attendant. Although I hate the smell of shit, I'm a I'm gonna do the that option. Be a sewage cleaner for a hundred bands. Wow. Okay. Over money, money. Uh, the flight attendant gig. She likes money. Looking pretty and handing out peanuts isn't gonna pay the bills. <laughs> I think it's just right. peanuts. 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 That's right. true. All right. Is that actually pretzels, uh, by the way? Yeah, Nowadays it's pretzels, it, but yeah. thank you. 
Okay. That, that's interesting, though, You're to welcome. get the girl's perspective on that. Um, that's good. Interesting. Would you guys say that women value the title of a job more than the income of a job? Start here. I mean, it varies per woman. I mean, in my opinion. In general, in general. That's something really I can't advocate for. I don't talk to many people. I don't get these types of opinions unless I'm on the panels. But um, You don't talk to people outside of the show? Not like that. I'm very picky with who I associate with. Okay. All right. What about you? <laughs> Would you say women prioritize status of a job over income of a job? Most women, yes. Yeah. What about you? I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Yeah, I got would you. Would you say that stupid? No. Would you say that women prioritize <laughs> the status of a job over the income of a job? Okay, so because of what I said earlier, because of the flight attendant, I have to say yes. But okay. really, um I think it really depends. Okay. What about you? Probably status. Of a job? Yeah. Okay. What about you? I personally think women look more at the income. It doesn't really matter the status. It's just income? Yeah, a lot of people here just look for money. All the girls, like a lot of girls here just look for money. But can you agree that like certain positions don't really correlate with the money? It's more like, for example, you have a stigma, like a stigma behind it, basically. I mean, yeah, the stigma. If, you, if you're if you talking about the stigma, then yeah, the status. Like if you were like a president, you wouldn't even make that. Controversial take. I think women in general are fairly lazy. Um, and what I mean by that is like women don't really like to go into laborious jobs that are taxing. They prefer to work a... Uh, you know, an office job that's nice and air-conditioned that pays them 50 k a year versus being a construction worker or a power lineman making a hundred to $150,000 a year. Pardon right, me, shaking but your head. may I say yeah, something? Yeah, You've ahead. said in your prior podcast that women tend to be, or no, we are biologically much more weak. Yeah. Well, you, you really think we're going to, like, do all these really difficult jobs? You know, we're going to do something that fits what we can do physically, emotionally. Of course. That's why women are lazier when it comes to working more laborious jobs like it's from not physical lazy capacity. though it's it's not it's something you probably just can't achieve you know it, it also depends on the woman right if you're a bodybuilder to an extent you could well not a bodybuilder consistently at the gym you could be a construction worker no you can't they be... absolutely could get the job and they'd have a higher likelihood of getting the job too it's just that they choose not to i mean so therefore they're lazy okay but like that doesn't you know, people don't have to have a certain job to call them lazy. You know, like, are you, how many men do you see as hairstylists? How many men do you see as nurses? Does that make them lazy in that regard? Well, they work harder jobs physically. Who says? Men do. Who? Who says? It's just a fact. If you look at any type of infrastructure job where things are being built, it's dominated by men and not women. Yeah, but like I said, the point is, like, sometimes because of our biological status, we cannot complete these activities that men do with much more ease so why are we going to break our but they butt? still can't do it we can but there's a lot of women that do do it but the majority stick to what they can do yeah so i don't understand is that women in general are, tend to be lazier than men but that's, working that's, laborious the, jobs. that's not the word you should use for it oh, it's what not... word should i use then hmm. <laughs> unavailable less capable to an extent you know we're all capable of it but you're going to get a job that suits you, right? So I don't understand your point. The Calling it lazy to me is a little out there. It is lazy because they, can, they have the capacity to make more money, but they choose not to and they'll take a pay cut because they don't want to work harder physically. Even though they're capable of doing so, might be a little bit harder. They can do it though, but they choose not to. You want us to say inferior? Yeah, what about a, you? You disagreed with my point. Why? Uh, can you restate the question for me again? wasn't really a question. I just made a statement and you were just, were just like shaking your head. I was women saying that women in general are lazier. tend to be lazier when it comes to working laborious jobs like construction or any type of infrastructure type job that is, you know. That I mean, yeah, in a sense that is true. Um, women are lazier with um, physical jobs yes, and a lot of things along those lines because they don't. It's a lot more strenuous activity that they don't really want to do at the end of the day. So what do you disagree with? Because you're shaking your head saying I was wrong. I feel like women will do, like, the harder... Some women have the capacity to try and do those jobs, and I do know that because of my But I said a majority. Experience. Yeah, majority. I didn't say nothing, like, all, but I said a majority of women are not going to do those jobs. That is true. I mean, that I is... I mean, even just in our own example here, 
all of you opted for the lower paying job that is less physically strenuous over the higher paying, more physically strenuous job. Mm -hmm. Even though it was damn near three, it was over three times as much money earned, all of you opted for the, the lower income job. But if I asked that question to a bunch of men, all of them would have probably said the sewer job. Well, I'll be in there tomorrow. Yeah. That's where I belong. So, so uh, you know, I think <laughs> men are far more willing to sacrifice themselves and put their dreams to the side or do something that they like less to make money versus women are not necessarily willing to do that. Women are more likely to chase their passions, even if it pays them less than men are. But the reason for that is because women aren't assessed on their ability to create income, really. No guy's ever going to come to you and be like, oh, you make 20K per year? I'm not going to fuck with you. Men in general really don't care about like, that. You can work at Wendy's or Chick-fil-A yourself. Guys will still wipe you up. Yeah. Vice versa. Matter of fact, you guys said that you wouldn't be interested in a fast food worker. Yeah. A guy ain't going to give a shit about that. If a girl's attractive and cool, she works at McDonald's, he'll date her all day. That's a fair point. Yeah. So so you don't disagree, I guess? Even though you're no, the your way hand. that you restated it, I understood it better. I don't disagree. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess I might have misheard it a little bit at first, but I don't agree with your statement. <laughs> you're triggered but it's okay uh it happens very often where girls will hear what i gotta say and their feelings take over and they're like i don't like this but it's the truth and the reality is is that women in general dominate the most useless jobs the most useless professions they get the most useless degrees give this us examples of the useless professions and stuff well i have it in my book actually right here why women deserve less uh <laughs> outlined and summarized. Yeah, actually, yeah. I literally wrote a book on this about um, how women dominate job fields that are, you know, fairly useless to society. Um, they're more involved in, like, social jobs, man. Like, being... Uh... That just reminds, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. The whole work smarter, not harder. Not necessarily smarter, but it's like, if you can do something the easy way, why not? I mean, mm. your own life itself, you're doing you're getting paid less. really easy jobs yourself so for example top 10 jobs for women preschool kindergarten teachers executive secretaries child care workers regular secretaries dental assistants medical records specialists receptionists information clerks medical assistants dietitians nutritionists hairdressers and cosmetologists all normal. these job fields are dominated by women better than 89 percent versus you look at the top 10 for men plumbers pipe fitters steam fitters electricians carpenters auto mechanics supervisors of construction extraction workers construction laborers firefighters industrial mechanics aircraft mechanics machinists 95 and all those are 90 plus percent men well the latter these jobs are critical for infrastructure to run society the other jobs are kind of eh. you're not going to yeah. tell me that being a preschool teacher and child care that's not necessary you know you have to i mean that how about you ask kim kardashian she seems like she knows she's she's always, she's no, she doesn't she's unhappy you ain't seen kim kardashian around she says i'm Are i didn't come happy? this far i didn't come, come this far, far to come this far, far. i'm not, not happy she's happy. saying stop, it stop right now quick, stop real quick would you constitute um kim kardashian as a high value woman in your eyes yes she's what? unhappy okay um you know what yes, let me let me ask a question Black what makes a woman High, a high value woman in knows her worth knows her worth okay what else um i don't know she's got a stable job <sighs> takes no, care of herself physically mentally no. okay um is able to take care of the guy also men not mentally like take care of him but like be there for him when he wants to talk to someone okay. about his issues like, else? after a long day of work Anything or something else? um so you got here knows her worth takes care of herself takes supportive. care of the guy yeah supportive. supportive okay what in your eyes makes a woman high value you said that you're a high value woman what constitutes a high value woman um morals morals okay ethics okay. career ethics oh ethics e sorry. ethics okay ethics mm -hmm. career okay what else standards standards self-worth okay self-worth how do any of these benefit a man yeah, well, I, support. Why does it? I matter? mean, if a lady yeah. is happy with herself, then how can she not be happy with her man? Because here's that the thing, is. ladies: the things that you mentioned that make you a high value woman, quote unquote. A lot of girls share these characteristics. It's fairly common, even though you're saying that it's not common. The reality is, is that a lot of girls offer these same traits that you guys talk about being high value, and then some of them men don't even care. What if I walked into you in a club, walked in, up to you in a club, and said, "Listen, I got an extensive Jordan collection." bunch of fucking awesome gucci wallets and i go to the fucking salon and get my hair done and my nails done i'm not gay or anything i'm just really metrosexual what would you say to that 
I mean, if your person, if your personality is right, but would I'm you like, actually be attracted to these traits that I take yes. care of myself as a man, realistically speaking, versus the yes. traditional masculine yeah, traits? Yeah, if you take care of yourself, yeah, no, that's no, no. Yeah. But what if I led with that? Is my point? I led with that. I'd be like, would you care? That's like, mm, not really. So why do you expect us to care about a woman that has an education or a career? I mean, because a lot don't. You already bring beauty to the table, correct? Yes. What does it look like if I bring beauty to the table? Isn't it kind of redundant? We match each other. We complement each other. Do you think women actually want a feminine man that's metrosexual? I, I want a man. You what if I start yourself. talking so, like this? Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking the, the gay. The reality bro. is, because here's the thing. You say we match each other. I would argue women don't want a match. They want a man that is the opposite. Opposites attract. You're a feminine woman. are supposed to be. I'm supposed to be a masculine man. I'm supposed to lead, be the leader. You're supposed to be the follower. You're supposed to be feminine. I'm supposed to be masculine. We're supposed to be a, opposites. A not guy a can be masculine and very in, like and very confident about his looks. Name too. one. But my point Name is, one dude no, like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You do realize, though, that like yeah. what I did there, Drake. I'm sorry. What I did Drake. there was I led with feminine qualities. You didn't give a fuck about my feminine qualities. You care about my masculine qualities. So what I'm saying is that you led well, with education, my career, and I'm saying men don't care about these qualities. Those are masculine traits. Yeah, I feel like it's hot if a woman is in her feminine, but also a little bit in her masculine. I also feel like hold it's on, hot. Are you if... a man? That's for average. Hold no, on, but no. I feel okay, like we on, stop, all stop, 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 stop. No, I'm not Who's a man. Who's the ultimate consumer of female beauty and pick the women? Men. So why does your opinion matter? As I feel like it's hot. Who cares what your opinion is? That's not what men want. What if I ran around and said, I feel like women love guys that get manicures and wear why really nice shoes. Why y'all? Stop interrupting. Sorry. So why is it <laughs> yes, that sir. women think, okay, it should be this way, right? Women should like a guy that, or, sorry, men should like a woman that has her career in check and everything else like that. But if I went around and said, I think women should like guys that get manicures and are super pretty, whatever, y'all would look at me like I'm crazy. Yeah, why? Let her answer, hold on. I think that women probably just live their life not giving a fuck about societal bullshit, and <laughs> men do. And so she's I think it's the opposite way around what Women do you care mean? a lot about what society thinks. Mm -hmm. But you're, you're you were that? just saying earlier that we don't have to think about that, about society, about how men and their feelings, like they can't feel their feelings because society is the one who said Which you can't feel your feelings. Exactly what I'm trying to say is that women don't give a fuck about what men want. They don't know what men want, which is why you guys lead with education, career. The fact that you think Kim Kardashian but what is men a high want is, what is alarming. She's not. Why? She's, she's not. Kim Kardashian. Boss. Let me, okay. Okay, you know what? You, you guys want to know the truth about Kim Kardashian? She's unhappy. She is the functional she equivalent. The okay, she is the functional equivalent of a homeless man asking you for a dollar on the street. And let me explain what I mean by that. She's had sex on camera. Men know her body count. They know her past. She's old. She has children. She's already proven to be unworthy to a lot of men and divorced a bunch of guys. Men don't look for that. Men look for a girl that's pure, not a whore, young, youthful, doesn't have kids. Men look for women that don't have a past. You look for a man with a future. The fact that you look at her as a role model and think that she's a good because woman. Because she's successful. I know, model, I know oh, men don't care about that. She don't give stop. a fuck. Successful isn't all of it. Stop fucking interrupting, man. Shut the fuck up when I'm talking. <laughs> okay? You'll get a chance to talk, but when I'm talking, shut the fuck up. Anyway, what I was saying about success. Men don't care about a woman's success because men are supposed to bring the success to the table. Just like you generally, women in general, don't care about a man's beauty because you guys look for other things. Mm -hmm. What's more important to a woman, security or a man's handsomeness? Typically, it's a man's security, security ability. There's a bunch of ugly dudes. We're on, I already. There's a bunch of ugly dudes I'm gonna pick that the, have badass chicks. I'm going to pick the cute one. But you ain't going to find an ugly guy that has a badass chick that's also broke and be able to hold her long term. Women look for different things. So when a woman says, oh, my education, my career, whatever, men generally don't care about don't these care. things. What about Beyonce and Jay-Z? We talking about Kim K, but what about Beyonce? Let's do it. She's also a failure because the thing. How? The thing. Look, <laughs> she makes more than you. She does not have a body count. Here's the thing. She's unhappy. Jay-Z cheated too. on her, right? She ain't going nowhere. She's actually smart. And the reason why is because she knows I'm older. I'm famous. I have a lot of money. There's not that many guys out there that I can get with. That's on my level. A high value woman would not settle. There's no such thing as a high value she did woman. Settle, she settled she did for settle. a guy who cheated on her. That's, that's like, not right. a high value woman. Hold on. No. So you're, you're high value? Subtle, Hold on. You're high value? I, I'm saying that I wouldn't date a guy who cheats on me. Wait, but are you Beyonce? I'm not Beyonce. So you What's can't really speak point? about what high value is if you're not Beyonce, right? 
Why? Ooh, you we all have that? opinions. But, then why is, would you opinion? be able to speak on high value women? Right, you, 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 let's just do it simple. Exactly. Well, hold on, just make finish my point. Jeez. Beyonce, you got to understand, is the, the things that make a man high value are not the same things that make a woman high value. You guys, Do you guys understand that men and women are different? Women look for experience. Men look for lack of experience. Women look for security. Men don't give a shit about that. Men, women look for age and confidence and ambition. Men look for youth, beauty, fertility, not being a whore. We're com we're attracted to complete opposites. Okay, so a woman's success is really irrelevant. It, does a guy ever meet meet you that has the money together? And be like, oh, so like, uh, let's split this bill or some shit like that or whatever. Like men that have their shit together typically don't care about a woman's ability to earn money. They care about your mind. No, no they don't. That's what they, that's what they say. Y'all are so delusional. Have you ever been still, with a high class Yes, I have. I've been with billionaires. The okay. thing is, no, y'all motherfuckers, y'all women are so delusional that y'all still don't realize that men lie mm -hmm. to get in y'all pants. We're not even talking about Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. No, I'm talking in general. Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. And the majority of you women talk about, high value man cares if i'm physically if i take care of myself at the end of the day if you're trying to get married your titties and your botox and your ass is all gonna fall at the end of the day physical appearance doesn't matter what and even and even if a high value man the isn't even because they're saying that oh uh, a high value man no. cares if I take care of myself. No. They do. Yo. No, it's not even they about what they want to be Let me finish. Let me talk. It's not, it's not even about the physical game. appearance Thank or what's God. in your mind. It's about if you could be a woman, <laughs> if you could be feminine, if you could Fuck raise you children, about? if you could bring him peace in his life, if you're secure as a woman. I think that's. Chill, you're dropping chromosomes. How? No, Shut they have to be not. Let me finish. How do you can be feminine and be dirty at the same time? Dirty. What you mean? What I'm saying? Just say it to stop, ladies. Look, this is the thing. Controversial take, but I'm going to take a tackle at this, and I'll give it, turn it to you guys after. There's no such thing as a high-value woman unless she has a high-value man by her side. Okay? What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's no such thing as a high-value woman unless she's able to attract and retain a high-value man. A man gets his value by the value he creates out in the world. His peers respect him. People want to follow him. He's a leader of men. He's able to create financial security, whatever it may be. He has a real last name. Women want that last name. He creates value for the world. The woman is able to create value for him. She becomes his chick. She carries his last name. Now she's high value. There's a reason why when two men meet, they shake hands. What do you do for a career? When two women meet, they hug and kiss and say, do you have a family and children? No one gives a fuck about a woman's education. No one cares about a woman's ability to earn money. If you guys don't believe me, y'all are all wearing makeup on, and no one cares how much money you make, okay? Now, with all that said, the man creates value for the world. The woman creates value for the man, retains the man, gets his last name. A high-value woman cannot exist unless she's co-signed by a high-value man because the things that make a woman valuable are intimately tied to men. But you know what's even more scarier? That you guys don't know what a man actually wants. And it's scary because you want a man eventually, right? And have kids. But if you don't know what a man wants, how can you ever get that man? Now let's turn it to the girls. Do you guys disagree or agree with that sentiment that a woman's value is directly derived by the caliber of man that she can attract and most importantly, retain? I disagree. You disagree? Okay. Why do you disagree? Because I feel like I'm Marge. whatever. I'm, I'm as valuable as I say I am, not what the world Go says queen. I am. Okay, yeah. let me ask you a question. <laughs> the fuck? That's the, that whole dictates I the agree. market. Yourself or the market? What? Yourself? Wait, you're you're saying a Toyota can actually identify as a price of a fucking Ferrari. You don't dictate <laughs> the market. Cars. You're a fucking retard. The other dumb bitch you talk about, Beyonce. Beyonce, women date up. So if Jay-Z leaves, she's fucked. There's very few. There's Kanye, that's it. Do Beyonce can agree? fuck the I'm shit sorry. out of a teenager that's 19 <laughs> with rollerblades, some Karuche, some fucking okay. young bitch. Beyonce can get replaced so fast by a younger girl. She cannot replace Jay. You're a fucking retard, IQ. Okay, you. dumbass. You're wearing sunglasses Beyonce inside. is a billionaire Please. alone, That's dumbass. what I'm saying, babe. I like, who, like, what but, other males are billionaires? Like, I just explained to you that men don't care I about I feel like we don't care what money. men think That's then. That's fine. Oh, hold on, hold on. Good point. I really like that you said that. I really do like that you said that because basically... You triggered my trap card! That was my point. Women 
don't care what men want, which is why women chronically stay single because they don't know and or most importantly, don't care what men want. But men have to care and know what women want to get them. That's why guys lie about their money, I agree. their status, and they sell y'all sweet nothings. But wouldn't it be fair to say that if you want to attract and retain a man that you actually like, you, need to you should probably pay attention to, and care about what he You've wants. You've doomed yourself to this mindset. I feel like I'm more focused on what I want and then I'll focus on what the right, guy exactly. wants. Exactly, but this mindset is extremely dangerous for a lot of Western women. If you keep operating like that, you're going to end up 30 just with OnlyFans and you're not going to be able to attract any guy also you're never well, gonna be I'm, able to you're if that's what's meant for me that's what's meant for See, me but hold up hold up that's why that's the, the exactly the mindset that is dooming this this society right now because if, if you don't even care about having a family and it's okay that just to make money so you could travel and have only fans on instagram then everything crumbles apart i can have a child alone darling can i ask no, you something baby, another, baby, another, Yo, get out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here, man. Hey, you gotta go. Fuck about you. Yeah. All right. All right. Hey, uh, the first, man spoke. Uh, get out, man. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta leave, bro. Go. So, yeah. like I was saying, Fresh Castle, right? Yeah. So, Dude, no. she's annoying, bro. Yeah, she Goddamn. Yeah. The whole show. Que annoying. You're not annoying. Right. You just like hearing the sound of your voice, but it, it should matter, and you should not want to raise a kid alone. I, that it is true. I have a kid alone. Well, it's you're saying right. I don't care about having kids. I do have. But I do you, care about okay having kids. You're okay with having kids. Oh, sorry, I, John. Do you it's want to end up like her? Because you're telling me. Well, do you, do you I don't that? think I'll end up like her. Is this what you me. want Trust your motherhood me, to look like? I really don't think that'll happen. M M M. Can I ask you something? I have to try really hard what to end up that way. What's this bitch's name? Yo M. Hold on. Emmy, right? Yeah. You're winning an Emmy with your IQ today. Yo, check this out. My question to you is: You said you decide your own value. Then why don't you price your OnlyFans at a thousand dollars because that's ridiculous because you don't decide your own oh, shit. <laughs> oh shit a thousand dollars for a subscription let them cook to my only fans would be ridiculous who would pay that, that why I would it be money. ridiculous i don't even know if you could set it that high well, 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 okay 500 i don't even think you but can you set you it that high you determine your value <laughs> not anybody else so yeah, what does my value have to do with pictures and videos of my that's how my you get body. a husband that's how you make money that's oh, how you put food on the table you that's value your value it. your value is 5.99 admit it is it 5.99 no it's, it's 1750 that's sure. okay you saved it now you're hot again how did you add the 50 cents on isn't that crazy this should be a perfect example too. No, no, but look 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 like you're pricing your body at 1750 there's a girl here she has a kid she has an only fans and she's completely delusional i know you want to think that i determine my own, it doesn't matter what men think i can operate the way i want you're gonna end i don't up i'm not doomed. saying it doesn't matter that's what exactly they think. what you say i'm saying i don't care what they think until i get what i want sure then i'll care about a relationship a family all of that you can't until... keep delaying it because there's a time clock for women you're at 30 your eggs to de deplete by I like 90 percent. you can freeze your eggs okay but that's There's not options no the guy that you're going to want to be with is not going to want to be with you freezing your eggs and this should be a perfect example of a girl who makes absolutely no sense she's drunk well, yeah, she has a I kid and an only fans i could see that that's the track that you're on if you keep operating like that <laughs> i don't think i'll, I'll you're exactly like, like you. you think you're completely different you're the same okay. you both have you both sell your body I'm for 1725 on about nothing <laughs> That's where you're going to end up. If you freeze your eggs and have a kid with a guy that's not going to want to be with you, you're going to end up exactly like Why would I have like a kid with someone who doesn't want to be with you're me? Because you're saying it doesn't matter that, that you have a kid with the guy who's going to be around. I'm not going to have a kid until I can support my kid. But you said a single mom, so that's like a... Yeah, if I'm rich and I can... Single moms, 80% chance they grow up to be murderers and school shooters. She's a fucking retard for this. Single dads do good. You're not going to do good. Another thing. If I fucked you tonight, I would have to wouldn't. fuck her in the dark to because I'd have to cancel my Netflix subscription to buy her OnlyFans and win her all. You're 1750. You said you 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 decide your value. Why did you decide seventeen dollars? Less than that. 1750. She had a 50 cents. Like, bitch, get Hulu. You're saying that the value that I put on my OnlyFans is determined by the value that I'm putting on myself, mm -hmm. and that's not that's beauty. True. That's all you women have is beauty, nothing else. Ten. Yeah. But we want to find out your dream man, right? My dream man. Monogamy. Yeah, she wants monogamy. Yeah. So. So. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and pull this uh, this calculator we'll up right here. here real quick. Yeah, we got a we got a test here. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and build your dream oh guy for gosh. you. Okay. Welcome to uh, yes. the Fresh Fit <laughs> Dream Man Show. Um, this is a thing. So we're gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and just put in the numbers <laughs> and enough. see where he ranks. Uh, right. Okay. What is the minimum age? Let's run through this real quick. Minimum age. Um. 
He has to be. He has to be as old as me, so I'm gonna say 21. Okay, 21 to what? You good? Uh, maximum age. Let's go. Let's go 29. All right. Minimum height. I don't really have. A, well, I guess as tall. Your dream as, man. Go has ahead. to be taller than me, so this I would one. say. I would say he has to be at least like 5'10". All right, 5'10". Okay. Yeah, uh, All right, black. Uh, what Next. race? Preferably race. Black. Next. <laughs> but, Yo, I guess. Are you open to uh, Are you open to uh, white or Hispanic? Yeah. Your dream man. Keep it a thousand. I mean. <laughs> Preferably black only. Black. Okay. All but right. I never said only, black. but like preferably preference. Right. Then we'll put you black. Know? Then yeah. All right. Yeah, I told you, man. All right. Um, education. Bare minimum education. Uh, oh, I would say at least like at least an associate's degree. Okay. Bare minimum income per year. Um. Keep it a million. Don't don't lie here. He has it's to make important. one million a month. He has to make at least like. 80,000 a year. That comes out to about what? Uh, 6,000? No, that's like 5K a month, roughly? Yeah, something like that. $5,000 a month? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's the minimum. Okay. <clears throat> and what is that? Can he be married? No, he okay. can't be married. Can he be fat? Obese? No. Sorry, Mo. Okay. Thank you, Chris. Sorry. All right. All right. So let's see where this guy ranks. And just so you know, this comes from the national. Um, U.S. Census Bureau and the National Health Survey. So this is the most accurate assessment of men in the United States. Oh, wow. Holy exactly. shit. Exactly. You scored a perfect five out of five cap back. So the likelihood what? of you finding your guy is extremely don't, don't, rare. Don't, don't, don't. You will not. More than likely, you will probably be single. Uh, what so did, wait. How is you might want to get like, what's, what's How did they get to that percentage? Okay, I was explaining that a second ago. This comes from the U.S. Census Bureau and the National Health Survey. It's the most accurate assessment of men in the United States. So that's all the men that are not married and not obese in between. The percentage, it was, what was it, point one, was it? Pull that back up, that's like so less crazy. than 1% of men? Wow. Yeah, something like that. Meow. Okay, and we have Meow. how many? We now have let like me ask 8 you, million people. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now 5, let me ask 10. you this question. <laughs> See how rare that guy is, right? 5, 10, 10. How many other women do you think are chasing him? What's that have to do with me? Bruh, competition. <laughs> I don't care about the competition. You should. I don't have to. I only have to worry about myself and what I bring to the table. Go, you got it, bro. You got it, queen. You realize right now, like on some level, delusion. they want your man too. Okay, bro. Say delusion. Y'all niggas think I'm kidding around when I say this shit. <laughs> I, that women live in fucking la la land. Like yo, <laughs> what the hell? But like as a man, okay. The, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna give you a second. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a chance to respond. But this is what I'm trying to say. In the face of facts. cold, <laughs> hard, hard facts. statistics, facts, we literally just showed her that her dream man is so like possible. less than 1% of the population. And she's saying, I demand monogamy. Yeah. When yes. every other girl wants this nigga, you're more common than he is. You think that you're going to be able to get monogamy from this guy in the face of statistics? Yes. Okay, in the face of statistics, that's still a positive number, which means it's <laughs> no, positive. It's not. Okay, period. Zero point seventy nine. That's still a positive number. It didn't say negative. Less than one percent. And and with all the people that we have in the world, he's still out there. Bruh. The point is, it's not a zero. It's not okay. a zero. And with all the people that we have in America, he's still out there. Did he I just learned about if he manifestation. If he actually likes you. If you guys even drive together, yeah. he will be those that. things. How do you okay? know? Oh, that's a great. Oh, we didn't even talk about that. We didn't talk about this doesn't oh, yeah. include if he's good looking. This yeah. doesn't include if his teeth are nice. No. If he's in shape. This okay. is just strictly. That percentage determines that my man is out there, <laughs> like, whoever he is. So Yo. that's all that matters. Man, and I really feel like this, we this should all practice that, that level of delusion. This, this is scary. Oh, really? oh, zero point. No. Okay, so but as a man, it's like do you spend your every waking moment thinking about other men? that you're in competition with? No, I understand as a no. man, if I don't do well for myself, I'm a loser. So by default, competition is always there. Okay. So knowing that, I play my role correctly. You yourself know that other women are going to be competition, but you don't want to accept it, and that's why you're single. No, but that. that's all. So all I have to do is play my role and be the best no, candidate? No, he's saying, to, if you want the man, fight for him and understand what it really is. Which yeah. means, he might have other women, 
but don't take it personal. See, this is what it is. That's part of the plan. I think it's realistic what, for him to, to fuck yourselves. other women. It can oh. happen. It's part of It can. So what? But that zero point seven nine percent page <laughs> says that it's my man falls in that bracket that won't. You know the problem? Girls want this monogamous man, right? Mm-hmm. And they don't understand that on some level, you might find him. Mm-hmm. But let's say he does cheat and you leave him. Mm-hmm. The next guy, what's he gonna do? The same thing. Under so it's kind of like you're leaving the guy for another guy that's gonna cheat anyway. <laughs> so stay unhappy for the rest of no, your life. No, I was just saying, accept it. The rain is falling. Use your umbrella and keep moving. He Hello. wants you to heighten the percentage, but I don't believe it. Hold on, girl. let me ask you a question then. Let's go into a dream scenario, okay? All right, okay. dream scenario. <laughs> bro, this is scary, bro. <laughs> Let's say I live in my mom's house. Mm-hmm. Couch surfing. Don't got a place right now. Mm-hmm. But I got a friend. He's really successful, fresh, right? Mm-hmm. He invites me on a yacht. There's a bunch of bad bitches on this yacht. Oh yeah, you know, you know, bad bitches right? right? only. And I get on this yacht, and I'm like, yeah, I'm yeah. fucking lit. Mm-hmm. I'm going to talk to all these girls. Woo! But mm-hmm. they know that I'm couch surfing and I don't really have a job right now. And, you know, I kind of have a porn addiction. But Damn. I'm going to get one of these bad bitches on this yacht. What do you think my likelihood of getting one of these chicks on this yacht? <laughs> Your likelihood of like. And there's a bunch of millionaires on this boat, by the way, that are. Way better off than me. Yep. I mean, that 100%. that comes down to your qualities. What do you have to offer? Are you no, funny? but what are my chances like, of, of getting a girl on this yacht? Like, I said, like are you funny? Do you have other good qualities that can increase your chances? I mean, the other guys on the boat are funny, too. Yeah. With game. Good game. Yeah, they're all, they're all, they all. You might meet someone Lambos. who just likes you for you. <laughs> really? wants well. to get it in with you. Okay. Do you think I have a realistic Some chance of getting? Get, like, Hold on, bitches all the time. I'm on this yacht though, on the yacht, and though. I'm competing with these guys. Do you mm-hmm. think I'm gonna get any of these girls? If you were, if you were a young kid, maybe, but as said. an adult, no. You have to think of how you position no. yourself. What do you have to offer? What are, what other qualities you got? You may not be the richest. What else you got? I just explained it. Yeah. I have the same traits that all the other the guys on the boat everybody. have. So, am I realistically gonna be able to get the, any of these girls? It's, on the yacht. Wouldn't it be crazy if I went in there and said, yo, who cares about the competition? Yeah. Wouldn't that be fairly That'll delusional? Position yourself better. Not delusional. Some girls like that. Yeah, some girls like confidence. Wait, like, first of all, yeah. you won't even do it. If I saw I you would. on the boat, you won't do it. I spoke up because I would do it. No, I mean, uh, the other girl with the money. Bro, every day, dudes that <laughs> don't have shit going for them are but couch I gave surfing. You a specific, I gave you a specific scenario. On their mom's couch. I'm, I'm, like. I'm giving you a specific <laughs> scenario. The girls know that I'm a bum and I'm on here competing with a bunch yes. of millionaires. Do you think I'm going to get one of these bad you bitches? Might. You might. She won't know. do it. You, you literally might. You never know. If you're funny, if you're good personality, all right, let's, hold on, hold on. <laughs> all right, let's start here. Am I getting one of these girls, you think? No. Damn. Literally, so what about that's you? up to you. I but Come also on. I've seen a lot of girls also get with low value guys. Exactly. Exactly. I see it happen every day. Hold on. But they know that I'm a loser. I'm, yeah, but yeah, most of the time it's also like we know attraching they always losers know you're are a loser. Hot. For how long? Unless they're dumb. I'm being so serious. Some girls, I have I literally just heard it can the other day. Can you let her day. finish and then you can go ahead. What were you going to yeah. say? For how long? Yeah. I was going to say a lot of trashy, like, guys that are able to get girls like that, it's normally not a girl they would regularly want. It's a girl they would settle for. Mm. And would it be fair to say that the guy probably had some smoke and mirrors in place? Yeah. So he purported some status, yeah. But then yes. the girl finds out, and then she's gone. Yes. But again, li- ladies, listen to this scenario. The women know that I'm a bum. Oh. Uh, but it's also normally a, a bum girl, right? That, a slut type girl. That's that would saying. get. With... Some girls are gonna be down for Man. it. No, that's what realistically, I'm night. Realistically, <laughs> a high value girl wants really somebody to word of mouth invited her on the yacht, and she's All right, like, man. she's okay. Girl. And what, what what do you say? Do you, what do you think? Do you think I'm gonna get a girl on this yacht? <laughs> I'm gonna go for statistics. No, <laughs> but, you think that but is it possible? could happen. It could. It could. Fantastic. What about you? What do you think? <laughs> no, I mean, if you knew no. you're a bum, no. I mean, if I. What about know. you, Miss Russia? What do you think? I don't think so. Mm. What about you? If you have the gift, the gab, yes. Exactly. But if not, fuck no. <laughs> yes, exactly. I explained yes. to you that all I have the same gifts that all the other guys on the boat have, but I don't have money. Then but you what might if a get girl it. Likes you how might you get look it. in comparison to the other guys. Yeah, you actually might really get cute? it. It's actually insane. We watch okay. it. Okay, the show. <laughs> this perfectly <laughs> illustrates why. No offense, with all due respect, can this I perfectly s- illustrates that women are absolutely retarded no, in general. No, can I say something? Hey. Yeah, y'all said enough. 
Oh. I just established in this example that all the men have the same exact situation, but some have money and I don't. Okay. Okay. This is what I mean when I say women don't understand hierarchies, right? If all the guys on a boat are competent and have money, etc., girls pick and fuck and date up, typically. Why the fuck are they going to go for me if they can get a guy that has the money and the status and everything else that I provide, but I'm a couch surfing bum? They're going to go for the better option. Now, I get it. Some of y'all might not want to admit that because that's a very, uh, how do I say this? surface level type attraction that women don't want to admit that women date for status and income and all these other things that come in but if everything else is all equal money absolutely matters why am i giving this example because an example i gave you you're just like every other girl okay so the fact that you're not willing to compromise see how i brought it back the fact that you're not willing to compromise on him having other women Guess what? There's chicks that are better than you, mm-hmm. that are younger than you, mm-hmm. that have less bodies than you, mm-hmm. that are willing to accept him having other chicks. So why the fuck is he going to pick you? The answer is no. Just like me being on the out like all these other men that have everything that I have, but they got the money and I'm not, I don't have the money. Guess what? The bitches aren't picking me. I'm competing on this boat. You're competing in real life. <laughs> Ta-da! Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, y'all not get it? Like, it's an analogy. That's all I was trying to show here. Yeah, I, I yeah. get your analogy. I'm just saying, but that's just the very, like, some bitches are in it for hard yeah. Yeah. You don't believe in yourself. <laughs> yeah. You don't think you can but get any queen. bitches. Like, I don't know. Oh, man. Okay. Like, your stats saying. are still like, unique to you and you alone. Is crazy, like, man. incredible. Uh, crazy but, 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 this is what I mean. Things. Like, yo, the reason why women don't understand, like, competence hierarchies and hierarchies in general that there's just better people than you is because women don't really compete. Uh oh. Like, women nice. go through life and don't understand that there is a competition going on. <laughs> The knowledge or the work ethic or what they know compared to like an employee on the bottom. Some CEOs don't even fucking know what they're doing, but they're still in charge of the company. They're still running. I mean, stuff. they know what they're you doing. Know, they're not competent. Show. Yeah. This ties in perfectly into the question that I was going to ask, which I was going to be the theme of the show. Ladies, mm-hmm. is there a difference in how men and women c- express camaraderie? I say like, and this is such like a point is the fact yeah. that like male suicide is so high and they're always like, oh, males should speak about their emotions more instead of just bottling up and then going and like trying to kill themselves. Yet when we're trying to give them a space where they can talk to their partner, like they should be able to do it because they're a man. Um, they shouldn't talk to women about it. And I'll tell you why. Yeah, um, but they're not going to speak to other men because men yeah, are also men. Not oh, not not to to you. Speak to why would he tell you what... Right. Yeah, but your, no, your mom's I'm not going to cry to his best mate. No, I'm saying I'm saying men need to go and be vulnerable to other men, not to women. But they yeah. don't. They take advantage of that shit. They don't. You don't know that, though. You don't know that. You don't want to look like the weak man in front of another, another man. Fuck. It shows strength if you're able to show me mm. and talk about things. No, me. it's an ick. It is. This is like, I mean, I'm an emotional guy. Girls, I don't do it all the, the girls time. Even the girls on the panel yeah. are, tell, are disagreying with you. Yeah. See, you Trust say you want an emotional guy until you actually get one, and then you're going to be like, you know, God damn, you're pussy. You know. all the time, of course, but like, if well, we You can't turn it off, though. Yeah. It's who you are. Yeah. yeah. So you might but want it today, but not tomorrow. if I have a conversation because we are having trouble in our relationship and we want to fix it, then like, let's have a fucking conversation Do you understand that emotional people, you want an emotional guy you can't pick and choose when he's emotional he's gonna be emotional all the time because he's an emotional no, individual a non-emotional guy can talk about his feelings no but no, if a man is no. emotional he he's an emotional man like it, yeah. it will show a lot of times there's a great area and those men actually do hit you by the way the <laughs> emotional man I wouldn't but girl I don't know if they're they gonna hit you but they're gonna be crying though and yeah, yeah and when they're crying for two hours don't go fucking complaining I just thought it weird the gray area is usually not even in the I wanna sit talk because once again that happens Randomly, we're just saying. Generally speaking, most guys are going to be emotional. Men open up to women, always, especially their girlfriend, dude. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, like, and the reason why is because it's pointless. Like, you guys don't live the same experience well, that men do. do. So, are y'all in a relationship? I can't take that for you. What does that have to do with? with because I'm just yeah. saying, like, y'all talking about us, but if you ain't got no girlfriend, then maybe well, he don't want. Obviously, I'm your points are not. You know? Are not Me his realization. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, God is cute, but God is good. I'm just saying, though, God is good. But let's go back to it. My bad. I love you, God. But back to what you asking what is a relationship. But you asking what is a relationship. But y'all over here are talking about women this, women that. But if you ain't got no sexual relationship, then. Let me ask you a question. (laughs) Can't Um, nobody really talk about me. Let me ask you a question. Uh. Mm-hmm. What are women looking for versus what are men Thank looking you. for in general? Thank you. And uh, what, what, from the opposite gender. I mean, I don't really know what women, what men are looking for. 
I know what I'm looking for. Uh, I know a lot of women are looking for like providers. I don't know what they, but I don't know what men are looking. For. I don't really care. They're looking. So you're asking me a question. You don't even really know or care for what you're even trying to argue for or ask. No, I'm. Thank you. I just want happiness. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just asking, did y'all have a girlfriend? That's all I I'm asking you, why? What, what does that have to do with the I'm topic? He wants to be your girlfriend. That's oh, why. Oh, no, that's, no. <laughs> I'm just saying, you like, you keep saying women this, women that, and what men can do, what men can do, but if y'all were being men correctly, do you think y'all would have a girlfriend? Or not? <laughs> like, I mean, y'all not doing shit. <laughs> what if they don't do want a girlfriend right now? Get a girlfriend that's going nowhere that just sits at home. But they, if they want a girlfriend, they can have a girlfriend. Right, let me ask you a question now. Um, <laughs> because clearly, I don't think you understand the, the difference between men and women here. You, mm -hmm. It's very obvious you don't. Um, men and women aren't the same. A woman's goal is to get a relationship out of the top guy that she can get. A man's goal is to have as much sexual access as he can. So let me ask you, who picks who fucks, men or women? Women. Women. Yeah. I'm okay. If I now, to who picks who gets a relationship, men or women? Men. I agree, men, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> wouldn't it be ridiculous for you to ask <clears throat> us if we have a girlfriend when we're the ones that pick the girls? Just like it would be ridiculous for me to say, like, oh, are you fucking well, a bunch of dudes? Why haven't you found the right girl yet? <laughs> like, Can you just, like, listen to the question? Men pick who gets relationships, correct? Yeah. And you pick who fucks, right? Yeah. So, if we don't have a girlfriend, or if like, maybe we do have a girlfriend, we're the ones that are picking them, correct? Mm -hmm. So that's a stupid question to ask. Why don't y'all have a girlfriend when we're the ones? That means that we're selective, just like you select who you fuck, right? I mean, brain. but what's wrong? Why you ain't got no girlfriend, though? Maybe, like, maybe we don't want one. But why not? Maybe they're at Are home. you missing the logic of what I'm <laughs> saying yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's just curious at this point. <laughs> so, so, like, no, 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 no. Like, I'm not, like you're talk. college educated. Like, do you not see the, the ridiculousness there. of what you're asking? I you see your point, point but no, I'm no, trying no, to no, figure no. out... No, I don't. Why y'all even have a girlfriend? Incredible. Like, what's the point, though? No, so, but, why do you want to know? Wait, wait, But he's asking, right? Uh, for example, the girl in the red hair, she has a low body count. You know, we should ask her, well, why? And she fucking, That's more or less. Believer. So... I don't believe her. Who got red hair? Me? Her. Her. Oh. You bragged earlier that you have a low body count, I didn't count, brag. Right? I just used it as, like... But yeah, you, you kind of bragged about that. Shoot me, I'm not a hoe. I'm sorry. You're saving hoes now. This shit got me weak. TMI. Mm. No, it's not a it's not he's Wow. <laughs> Can we get back to the question? The well, caliber of me. Is there a reason? Okay, you know you know what? So I'm, I'm really hoping. Do the other ladies at the panel see what's going on here? Uh, like yeah, with the ridiculousness? I don't know, I'm kind of lost, you know. Nah, they say well, thing, then this conversation it, was pointless. It, yeah, th th yeah, you guys are rambling. Yeah, yeah, it's so like, no, fuck? it's because she asked a very stupid question. She said, "Why don't y'all have girlfriends?" That's like me saying, "Why aren't you having sex with dudes right now?" <laughs> okay, because you don't want to. Because you don't want to, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Because you're selective on who you have sex with, right? Okay. So wouldn't be because you choose who fucks, right? Yeah. So wouldn't be fair to say that we choose who gets relationships, so we're selective on who we commit to. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Common yeah. sense. Easy. Yeah. Not the club. So now let me ask you again. Okay. Why aren't you fuck guys right now? Because I don't want to. Oh. 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 I do have a girlfriend. I do. So, so, you, so she don't go out. <laughs> no. She sits at home. Yes. All the time. Is she bored all the time? There's no. more no, things she needs to do with her time. You guys like acting no, like you don't have to sit at home. <laughs> 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 She's in a nice apartment building. I think she's pretty happy. Yeah, she's no, happy. like you she literally chill. don't have to sit home the whole time. You don't have to do that. They just don't want you to go to the club. You can like yeah. 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 go to so many other places and wait, have wait. hobbies. Girls, girls, so, so tell me, girls. Uh, and, and, and here's the other thing too. She's great because I do what I want. I have multiple chicks. Yeah, he does. Yep. See, she a good that's one. That, do you get tested between shit. girls? Oh God, here we go. <laughs> no, <laughs> sure. But, like, but you know what's scary? Okay, okay, don't, about, so it's not even a club. It's about the environment that you're in shit. as a girl. It's like if I can mess this up with my man, is it worth it? No. Girls, this is like come. I don't, I don't know, bro. Why if do my guys? Man wait, 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 wait,
That's a good question. Just book. Exactly. So why would you want a girl to go to clubs? Ooh. Oh, no, I go to clubs to get lit. No, no, I don't care what you want. <laughs> Facts. Niggas go to the club to fuck. Oh. Mm-hmm. Why do we So then tables? again, why Ooh. should men be able to go to the club if y'all in a relationship if you go to the club to fuck? Because they can fuck whoever they want. I don't care about no, the niggas. I don't care no. about the girl I'm with. Why am I going to be with a girl that wants to check her ass in a club? And she's like, no, I ain't trying to fuck, but the guys want to fuck. I already explained to you why yeah. a guy can go to the club and have sex with a girl, and it's not that big of a deal, versus if a woman does it, it's a big problem. I would never understand because how a man could go at the end of the day, you would be someone's wife. You. Nobody's going to wife a bitch that's in the club. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Right. I'm not saying I'm all his friends, going to the club, and then he finds out. No. no one's also going to marry a guy that's just fucking exactly. guys you and girls in the club. Exactly, you a hoe, you a hoe. Not. I would I argue a man that has sex with a bunch of girls at the club is very attractive to yeah. a lot of women. Yeah. Hold on. Unattractive. Where'd you meet your man? <laughs> I left my man. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on. The, the club, right? No, you I met him at an event, man. actually. Yeah. yeah, I met him at an event. Oh, at an sorry. event, a social event. event. <sighs> You can't make this See, up, See, like, yo, uh, uh, women, do you, ladies, do you yeah, not understand? Yeah, I didn't get with him that night. We've been talking ever since, and then we met up and went on dates. So I guess it's different than just going home and shagging someone to sleep while And you sit. gave him a kid. Shagging. Okay, cool. <laughs> you're, you know, you're missing the shagging. point that a dude that can fuck a bunch of girls is attractive. A girl that fucks a bunch of dudes is not. Why? Yeah. I don't want my no. man fucking loads mm-hmm. of girls. Nobody wants yeah, a whore. Yeah, but if he's pulling That's bitches, like, don't nobody want no, no man like, with no STD. Honestly, like, no. Like, like, like if men don't want a whore. You have experience. That's one. Thing. So, I think I mean, we are going to disagree like, here. I don't think experience actually means the amount of people you had sex with, because I feel like the more you have sex with them monogamously, then it just gets better and better for both people, because you get to know each other's bodies more. Oh, I, agree I agree with you. Yourself, I agree yeah. with you. That's, that's a female Speak perspective. For, for me, female perspective, I don't know what my you man thinks. Do you disagree? Well, my man says it gets better with me each time, so I would think so. <laughs> 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 And the sex you don't is better. Think sex gets better with time. So you think like no. for you guys. I'm so you, you have the same experience so with your girlfriend every guy, time. So you're just gonna get with connection is better. It's better. Once again, after a while, it gets boring. Really? Yo, this it does. It, 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 oh, it, it, so it, so it, I don't want to sound like an asshole. A lot of you ladies on the panel don't know shit about men, bro. This is crazy. Yeah. Like. Men don't need the same, you know, emotional connection to have sex for men. Men want, there's a reason why they say, I'm going to go get some strange. Men want variety. Men want different women. Going to go and get some what? And get a Gemini. Huh? Strange. <laughs> what? What did you just say? A bit of strange. Yes. Yeah. No, it's strange. In America, it's a term for getting a, a new girl. I've uh, never heard that. Never, never heard, heard that either. Yeah, 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 girl yeah, but men want sexual yeah. variety is my point. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, you got. I mean, think think about it. You you you're go, you guys are going to club, right? A couple of y'all are going to club after this. Think about it. You mentioned it yourself. Why do men have ten to fifteen different girls at the section? Yeah. Because they were trying to find find whoever they're gonna fuck right. that night. But no, but but. To, they trying to look like they have a bunch of people out here to bring in. Oh, they trying to look like wait, they got some motion. Is that variety? <laughs> yeah. Is that variety? Yeah. When you go to the section tonight, y'all are not going to be the only women there. There's yeah, going to be you no, guys. The There's going to be blondes. There's going to be uh, you know Asian girls, black girls. What? There's going to be girls of all different you varieties. Y'all are not going to be the only ones there. You got it. You got it. You got it. So okay. that proves Thank my you, point that men want variety. Okay. That so since y'all are into variety, that's why y'all yeah. say it's okay for y'all to go go be with somebody else and then come back to us. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that men have a natural proclivity to want to have multiple women. Yeah. You guys want to have sex with the same guy all the time, and it gets better because you have more emotional connection. For men, it's like, ah, we yeah. want some strange every now and then. Yeah. Not, you know? I'm tired. <laughs> we get bored of having sex with our girlfriends, dude. Yeah, we do. I know. That's a dark secret, but yeah, yeah. Y- y'all fucking, yeah, yeah, man. It's, it's, it's boring, but y'all don't think we get tired of having sex with y'all? Then why don't you no, talk no. about the same the bedroom? There's like, so many other things you could do. Old. No, because women typically want issues. monogamy from one guy, the best guy, and that's what they want. Yeah. Most of them want to have sex with just one guy versus multiple guys. Most, not all, but most. True. Anyone disagree yeah, with that? I agree. No. I agree. So, I agree. so then why are you arguing against variety? <laughs> because my man don't need no variety. You have no man. Yo, you're delusional, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you have no man. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, remember yeah, she, she said, yeah. I, I, I don't have no man. My man, fun. that ain't my man. He don't need no damn variety, okay? Man, you probably uh, talking about girls like part of you right now. Damn. Alright, you finna drop her after this show. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so are oh, you finna this one? Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, um, highest caliber, right? Okay. Have any of you declined?
Next clip I want to I want to do. You, you were actually the first time you were on my show. Yeah. Uh, I had some ladies on the show. Yeah. And we had a whole conversation about uh, being vulnerable in front of your woman. Remember this clip? Yeah. And uh, you're like, fuck that. No. Yeah. You cry uh, in front of a woman. Here's what happens. So let's play that clip. We'll have that discussion on the other side. Nat, you got this? The woman is some of the worst advice that modern day women give to men because if I sit there and I cry to you, oh my god, my life is hard, blah, 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 you might sit there and console me for a bit, but deep down, you're like, you, and you're no, gonna go and that find is someone. so not true. I know. No, <laughs> vulnerability shows cry, cry vulnerability is Be so human. powerful. Again, this is a common example of women saying one thing but doing another. They're saying this right now, but deep down, if your man came to you and was crying on your shoulder saying, I don't know what's going on, her I vagina's gonna. For him. Can me? I finish? Can I finish? If her vagina's gonna dry up, she ain't gonna wanna fuck with him anymore, and she's gonna look for a stronger, more capable man, because women are designed to look for security. Just cause they cry once, bro? Hey man, I can't tell you how many times we brought girls on the show with yep. their own, they tell us on air, I, one time my boyfriend cried in front of me, and I never looked at him the same. Being vulnerable. Okay, so even, even my question on the show is like, so what is acceptable as a man? What do you think? You know, because you even said earlier, we all have emotions, but we're not emotional. You know, I'm a big advocate and believer in stoicism. Yeah. That's something that I've had to learn before I came to Valuetainment. Pat gave me a book, PBD, shout out to him. It's called Meditations, Marcus Aurelius. Yeah. And, and stoicism essentially is like, whether great things happen to you or shitty things happen to you, you just kind of got to be the rock and deal with it, be a stoicist. Yeah. Um, how do you grapple with this? Like, you, like you. Sometimes you might get triggered. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. So, a man, emotions, dealing with their women, life. Life's not easy. We all know life's tough. Yeah. How do you guys handle this? Well, let me ask the girls. How many of you want a vulnerable man? Raise your hands. Three. Okay. No, that's cool. And then on the couch, how many of you want a vulnerable man? Shout on the couch. Vulnerable man. One. Okay. Anybody else want a vulnerable man? No, absolutely okay. not. Is but it here stupid? Is we it do. stupid to say to a certain extent? Is it not, considered stupid? What do you mean by that? Yeah. Like, maybe not like, oh, like my life is terrible. I hate this. I hate that. But more, it's more in the sense like if I, if I do something for him and he shows a little bit of... Well, the problem, the thing is with vulnerability is that you're in a position where it, it could be, you know, a KO. It's, it's essentially critical. Because okay. that's what makes it vulnerable in so the first maybe place. Got it. Maybe There's a difference just, yeah. between like showing some emotion versus being vulnerable. Yeah. So you yeah. said you want a guy to be vulnerable. Why? Okay. Because I like a man that can show up their feelings. So it's beautiful when you can connect with your man with their feelings. Okay. So what feelings do you want to see? The men's are more stronger than the women's. But you can show me. If you are my partner, I'd like you to show me your feelings. That's and that's for me um, is a vulnerability. This is a problem. <laughs> okay. What about you? No. Why? I think showing vulnerability with someone is very, very special, and I think it takes a lot of bravery to do so. So if someone can show vulnerability to me, I feel special, and I also look up to them a lot because they are, they can do it. And they can admit fault, they can feel upset about things, like yes. they can feel love, they can feel the connection. But I feel like when he, <laughs> but I feel like when he means, give me an vulnerable. argument. If you, you can do all the insults, but it's not gonna prove me wrong at all. I feel. I, I feel like when he means vulnerable, it doesn't mean like out of emotion. It doesn't mean that it you're like schizophrenic and depressed stable. and it's just like going to the mental health. No, like, Melina, she's like, talking. Yeah. It's not like vulnerable, well, like better. everything affects him. It's em emotionally is stable that like, they can control their emotions. It's different. Vulnerable, it means like everything affects him. I don't want a person like that. No, it doesn't mean that. He can be All right, so who else wants a vulnerable man? One, two, who else that raised their hand? Yes, uh, okay, why? I, because I think that being in touch with your emotions and, you know, be a leader, as you say, but be able to balance that and show um, your emotions and how you feel truly and not have put a face on all the time is something that's attractive to me. But wouldn't it be a fair to say that as a leader, you need to be able to lead regardless of how you feel? Correct. Yeah, so you can still lead, but you, that doesn't mean you can, you don't, you that can't share being vulnerable, in private, though. you can share in private yes. with your woman how you truly feel yes. and ask for her support. That's why she's there too, no? It doesn't work. A guy cried Smart. in front of me and I never was attracted to him again. What is that? It's because you're a like, shitty person. Straight, I'll take a, I'll I'll take a Henny and Coke, vulnerable. thanks. All right, yes. on the couch. On the couch. You girls are making me very vulnerable right now. I just ordered a cocktail. <laughs> yeah, um, on the couch, someone said they want a vulnerable guy. Uh, why do you want a vulnerable guy? On the couch. Go, oh, I don't want to raise their hand. I think she had a it was a go, go with the white top. Yeah, give her a mic. Alicia Keys over there, what you got? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you want a vulnerable man? 
Can we keep a mic over there, guys, and just like ready to rock? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I think a man should be vulnerable to an extent. There was a guy that I was talking to. He did cry when he couldn't deal with a certain situation, and I don't like. I didn't. Where's really that guy like now? Yeah. Where is yeah. he now? Yeah. Yeah, I will say, at the time I was like kind of turned off, oh. but I think. So, see, like, and, I, and I love when women say, because here's the thing, that was a trick question, ladies. You, I love how women say, I wanted to be vulnerable to an extent, but the, yeah. the whole root word of vulnerability is that there is no extent. You don't no know where it's going to go. You, no you don't even want to have a woman that's a mess. But what? you want, you don't want to have a woman that's just an absolute mess. Like you don't want them to cry all the time. But when you're describing emotional no, men, you're describing them as they, like you're crying all the time. But that assumes that men and women are the same. Um, if a woman is vulnerable, it doesn't have the same negative stigma it doesn't turn us off to the same extent as when a woman uh, when a man is vulnerable because I, I men don't date girls for security women date men for security well, if i'm supposed to be your bodyguard and protect you and i'm constantly crying and i don't know what the fuck is going on you're not going to yeah. feel safe around me that's just how it is yeah, let's, let's, like, should, like, let's say to... you're like married to someone and his mom dies like if he's like a little bit sad and you be there for him like you're not talking about that right you're talking about like day-to-day -day kind of stuff like a yeah. mess that's but, like okay so let me frame the question yeah, this yeah. way because yeah. i'll be here i am I've cried That's twice in the last 10 years. Once, when my dad died. Okay. Okay, cried. Right. And I didn't even like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> we had a contentious relationship, but my dad died. Right. Second was when a long-term girlfriend of mine got cancer. It was 24 gorgeous cancer disasters. Mm -hmm. So it was really freaking tough. I cried, mm -hmm. okay? So, but... I've done business deals that have gone off, like awry, not crying. Yeah. Right. I've lost employees, I've had major issues, I'm not crying. Right. So I think there's time and place for it. So I think what she's asking you is, yeah. like, when's the last time you cried? Like, if God forbid something happened to one of your parents, you would cry. Yeah, no, I mean, my grandma passed away a few months ago, I haven't actually shared this. And yeah, I went on, uh, there was uh, a girl over, I went over and I, like, I went over on the balcony, I, cried by myself and like I saw her coming I was like fucking you know <laughs> yeah. immediately feel really and I told her but I, I told her leave that. me alone and yeah. and the reason why is because even though it sounds so great to be able to open up in front of your girl I understand that the female hard wiring is literally designed to look for security and be repulsed by inadequacy so by you crying you don't know how your girl's going to react to it for example here's a perfect yeah. example right now she r r r when we asked her the question she oh, raised man. her hand I want a vulnerable man right so, but when we asked her what ended up happening, he cried and it turned her off. Mm. You don't know how a woman's gonna respond until it actually happens in front of her. Yeah. Every girl is different in how they respond to that, um, you opening up your emotions. So what I tell guys instead is, go ahead and be vulnerable with a man, no homo. And the reason why <laughs> okay. is because guys that you trust, because men understand the masculine experience. Women don't. Women really don't know what it's like to be a man. Hell, most girls don't even know what men want, let alone understand the masculine burner performance mm -hmm. and masculine experience. So if you're, if you're able to open up with your guy friends, yeah, they'll make fun of you about it. You guys maybe go get a beer after whatever it is, but you're better doing that because there's not gonna be the same negative ramifications to your relationship as a woman. Is there girls, out, are there women out there that you could cry in front of and nothing will change? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But are you willing to take that risk? Okay. I think well, I think the issue yeah, is too, as well as the like both parties, we don't know the extent to it. So for example, let's say I cried to Melina. She may be like, you know what? I like this, this is great. But to um lady you know. over here, I cried to her, oh, you know what? That's a turnoff. So as a man, why risk it at all? What's the yeah. point? Yeah. Another thing too. Because you, you in that case you know who is the good one, right? If you try it sometime. If you know that your girl would leave you right away, she's probably not like the but, best but, person but, to date but, in that case, right? But once again, though, it's to make things work, right? And ultimately, why even risk it in the first place? Yeah, but in that case, you're never really going to know if she actually cares about you. Uh, yeah, you can. It depends of course on not, because if she ways. would leave, if you show a little bit of emotions, she clearly no. doesn't care about but you. Most she only don't, cares about herself. Most women don't want to be cried to. In no, that's the not true. I think you feel really special. Here's, if here's the thing. Is opening it's up very to you. easy to speak in 2020 hindsight on a podcast with hundreds of people, not actually thousands of people watching, and say, "I wouldn't change." But it's much different when you're dependent on that man for your livelihood, for your home, for your income, for your food, for your children. You're gonna be have way different priorities when you see that man cry in front of you, and you understand that guy controls your future, and he isn't like stable himself. You're gonna think twice. It's always women typically always talk. And ideals versus the real. The real is is when this guy's supposed to be your leader. He's supposed to be leading you through life, which life is really tough, and he can't even handle it. You're gonna look otherwise. Do you think that the girl would have left you if she saw you cry on the balcony over your grandma? 
I'm sorry? Do you think that girl would have left you if she saw you cry over your grandma? It's a different no, circumstance. No, she wouldn't have because I had built up a, a, a certain resume with that girl. But you However, think it would have lower, you know, it would have higher her risk to leave? I'm not going to risk it. Okay, but you think there could be a risk in that case? There's a, there's a well, risk that, that, isn't, person, that isn't right? worth it because I understand that the cornerstone of female admiration is respect. And I'm not willing to risk that to open up to her. Because I don't know what happens when you open up Pandora's box. We know women are emotional. We know women are erratic. And women are controlled by their emotions. If she gets the feeling, right, which could be fleeting or not, that I'm not an adequate partner and me crying this temporary thing of weakness, yeah. that could fuck up the relationship long term. I can't tell you how many girls have come on the show. I love my guy, blah, blah, blah. I saw him crying in front of me. I don't know what happened. I just yeah. couldn't. I could never look at him the same. How, do you think we had a girl? Hold on, Fred, hold, on, you... Fred, hold, on, hold on, Fresh. I feel like you want to answer this question as well. Yeah, yeah. Myron, I appreciate you. You just got vulnerable here that's with me. That's what I was gonna say. That you was got, okay. You got, look at all you got. I mean, your grandma yeah. died, bro. I think yeah. that's. Hello. Uh, when's the last time that you had to cry? I don't. Period. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 Period. okay. Only so me. I get the comment right. Only yeah. I'm heartless. Yeah. <laughs> but I have emotions, but like I just do it differently. I'll okay. go for a walk with, with my dog to the dog park. I'll like drive my car. That's why I kind of let, let loose my emotions. So for example, if my girl says to me, "Hey, how are you feeling today?" I feel great. Always great because once again I'm the rock. So why even put that in the atmosphere where I'm mm -hmm. like, oh I'm sad today? Mm, yeah. Gotcha. So how are you feeling right now? I feel great. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The whole point right. of this is to make things last with your partner, right? So I want to minimize all the things that can go wrong in this relationship. So ultimately, some girls answer, for example, I want a vulnerable man, vulnerable man to an extent. We don't know the extent, so why even go down there, that road? It gotcha. makes no sense. A, a big part of, uh, like, another thing too also, and it's gonna sound fucked up or whatever, but as a man in a relationship with a chick, your job is to mitigate risk. Yep. And that's why, like, wh why do you guys think I tell you all the time, plan the date, have everything mapped out, yep. you control everything, because when a, you leave it up to a girl, if the date sucks, she ain't gonna take accountability and be like, wow, I was really boring. It's on your the fault. It's your fucking fault. So you yep. might as well go ahead and control all the variables anyway and mitigate risk and not leave anything really open up to interpretation. And that's what women want. Every girl here on this panel, they may admit it or not, is they just wanna be pretty and fucking show up. That's it. They don't wanna have to plan or do that anything. They just wanna be there and exist and be, have the guy be in the driver's seat at all times. That's what women really want and desire. That's why so many girls get mad. Plan a date, guys don't plan nothing. I don't wanna to go to your house Netflix. That comes from their rooted mindset of they want a guy who's assertive, dominant, and a leader and has his shit together. That's what they want. And you know what's funny? I, gar I, I, I guarantee you, if your dad, who's yeah. your rock, cried in front of you, he'd be like, this is my hero, why is he crying? Same thing for your man. Why'd you want your man what to you cry? What do you mean if I saw my dad cry? Yeah. I would, I would, I mean, when his mom died, he cried. That's your father, though. Grief and I didn't, different. like, disrespect yeah. him for that. Clearly, I was like, damn, I've never seen him cry before, and it feels insane. Like, that's reasonable, though. I got to though. see him. That, that's I, your I father. That was, that's reasonable, yeah, it, That was a really, really, really he's wonderful thing. That he because he's already cry at that moment. Yeah, because, because he right, cried well, about let's, his let's, mom, uh, right? But wait, wait, can I ask you something? I'm really curious. Do you, how many women do you think are out there? Do you think there are women out there that would be okay with their man being emotional from time to time? I said that earlier. There are some, but it's not worth the risk. It's not worth the risk, it's, 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 a, okay. it's a minority. So, I, again, I always give guys advice from a practical standpoint based on uh, probabilities, not possibilities. The probability that she will lose respect for you is extremely high. So why risk it? Thank Last you. point right here, then we got to get some super chats. I think, I mean, most women, like, when men cry in front of them, it's very uncomfortable. Even, like, you know, guy friends that I've had or anything, it's very uncomfortable to watch men cry. And if you're sexually attracted to them and they cry in front of you, I think it, it really just, in a sense, gives you an ick. I mean, if it's your man that's supporting you and supposed to protect you and then you're watching them break down and cry, it's kind of like... Okay, well, if you're fearing for our security, well, then now I no longer feel secure. And it's kind of like you're depending on the man to keep you feeling secure. So if they're breaking down and crying in front of you, then you don't, you kind of lose that secureness. And I mean, like, yeah, is there a few women out there that would be okay with that? But I mean, the majority of women want a masculine and dominant man. And I mean, the exception to the rules, those that are okay with the beta and the simp. And, and, and if that's what you like, then that's what you like. And it's okay for them to cry in front of you because you're okay with that. But. And sorry. And what you said before, my, my dad, never seen him cry. Same. What was beautiful about him not crying was a family member in our, in our family died. What was beautiful was watching him hold my mom. Yeah. Why, why is go. he not allowed to show emotions? Yeah, no, I never said he wasn't gone. allowed. Yeah. I said it was beautiful, like, beautiful to see how he controlled back. his emotions right. for his wife. There you go. 
Yeah. He's yeah. a rock. I have that shit inside yeah. for yeah. her. Awesome. That sounds like he went Thank through you. a lot of Thank pain to that. just keep that in and feel lonely. But he had to be there to support her. Does he really have to Before we all get too emotional, we got to do some super chats. We got to pay some bills out here. Respect to everybody out there doing the super chats. Let me ask you, do you prefer a man that gives you equality or gives you the chivalry? I am financially stable, but it would be nice if man if man treats me like Okay. A so you want chivalry? Yeah. <laughs> what about you? Do you prefer chivalry or equality? Chivalry. Chivalry. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Equality. Equality, All right? Makes sense. <gasps> the, uh, was your um ex-husband was he was he a uh, was he um did he give you chivalry or did he give you equality? I would say equality. He gave you quality. Yeah. No, because she's she's independent, so it makes sense. Yeah. But well, we're more like a team player approach, though. Okay. So why didn't it work out since he gave you what you wanted? Yeah. Mm. You want me to go there? Domestic violence. Okay. Whoa, yeah. that's not cool. Yeah. But Wait, you did you did you hit him? No. Never. No. Okay. All right. Uh, I mean, what? if we're going on battles here, she would win. Snicker, bro. <gasps> All right. What about you? Uh, that was a cheap shot. Equality. <laughs> <laughs> You want equality? Yeah. That means you guys split the bills, you pay half the bills on everything, that's what you want? Yep. Okay. Ms. Venezuela? You sure you want that? Okay. I'm sure. All right. Let's say what about you? Chivalry, of course. Chivalry? Okay. Yeah, fuck equality. <laughs> well said. God damn. What about you? Equality. Okay. So that means you guys split the bills. I mean, if you want to bless, you can bless, but... No, 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 y'all split the bills. Yeah. Equality is equality. You paying rent, you, you pay half rent. The trips, everything. Yeah. yeah. You okay with that? Yeah. Okay, and then uh, every like he I mean, takes he takes burglars on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, and you take the burglars other days. I'm sorry, can you repeat? Uh, that means like uh, if someone breaks into the house, he got it from Monday to Wednesday, and then you got the other days. Yeah, cool with that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Mi amor, if it doesn't work, the quality, and you don't get that shivery, you're gonna lose money, time. And yeah, you got a point, but oh, no, no, she wants equality. Let her, let her have it. Depending yeah, she, on the person, she can have also. It. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. if you're a person with machismo, I will not do equality. Ah, uh, bueno. Fair enough. Fair enough. Bueno. Fair enough. <laughs> if it's a good man, I'll do everything for you. We man. need a couple of subtitles over happy. here. So, okay, if he's a good man. Yes. Uh, okay, would you would you consider a man good if he was equal with you on everything? Would you even find that guy attractive? No. If he's not a bad guy, yeah, why not? So he'd be he'd be a nice guy. Yeah. You want a nice guy? Yeah. <laughs> was your ex a nice guy? Yes. He was amazing. Where's he at now? You don't want to know that. <laughs> I told you, man. So be, does being nice work? She cheated. I'm sorry. Does being nice work? I didn't if... cheat. <laughs> so then what ended oh, the relationship? That? Yeah, I did. I'm sorry. What ended the relationship then? If he was a nice guy. Um, life happened. Uh -huh. What is yeah. life? Definitely. A lot of things can happen in life. I need a bit more of tea. I'm dying on the chair. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. Can I get more tequila? <laughs> 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 Me too. No. There you go. No. Can I get more tequila? That's why being a nice guy doesn't work, guys. No more All right, no, what about you? Can you want equality or chivalry? What is chivalry? Chivalry is when a man treats you like a gentleman. He pays for the bills. Opens he takes doors. for the dates. He opens the doors. Treats yeah. you like a lady. But he's a leader. Through to my education, I prefer equality, but okay. when sometimes they... No, you gotta they, pick one. I yeah. prefer equality. Equality. Yeah. Damn. So split the yeah. dates, split the bills, split the dates, everything. Yeah, because we're all together, like, like it's together, we're gonna be, yeah. I f is, is that how it, how it is in France, normally? You just guys, you just play everything in couples in France? Yeah. Yeah. So that's normal. Yeah, it's very... Yeah, it's, it very, is, like, like... Feminism like, is big in France, right? Huge. Feminism big? Feminism is big in France? Oh. Like a lot of feminists? Huge. Like equality. Uh, equality is big over there. A lot of feminism and uh, like... That's what I mean, right. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Miss Long Island slash Orlando? Chivalry. Chivalry? 100%. Okay. No question about it. Okay. What about you? Chivalry. <laughs> Here's the thing. why. Wait, why the face? Why? <laughs> it it kind of contradicts all your answers. Yeah, that's, to yeah, that's fine. <laughs> all right. So for the women that say Mark equality, I I, 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 uh, I want to know why no. why equality for the ladies that said equality. Can I go first? We can. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I feel like if you can actually articulate man, yourself this time. Okay. I feel like when they. How do you say that other word? I forgot. My bad, guys. 
¿Cómo se dice la otra? No, la otra palabra. Shivery. Shivery, yeah. yeah. I feel like they can take control of you because they're taking care of you and I don't like that. I mean, I was run by myself. I can do whatever I want. So you want to pay half the majority of the bills. You're okay with that? Not majority, but I could pay half. But that that's what it is. Like you're paying the major bills is what I mean. So yeah, you're paying like half the rent, half the light. I don't like food. to feel like a man is controlling me because he's giving me whatever he's giving me, you know? like. Okay. What about, do you like it when a man is in control? In certain mm -hmm. ways. What do you mean by certain ways? You know, he could give me a quality, you don't, that's but in certain ways, in la cama. In la cama. Oh my God. Yeah. In the bed. He's taking the bed. He was good in the bed. You want him to give you equality in the bed? No. no. Oh, you want yeah. to you want to take him control, to, in, take yeah, control, take in, the control in the bed? Sex. Okay, yes, yeah. that's, that's a good point. So, okay, so you want him to take control in the bed, but everything yeah. else you can be a leader in yeah. some place. Mm -hmm. Okay, who agrees with that? Anyone agree with that? I'm just still Nobody? stuck on it. You agree with that? Thinking okay, why do you agree with that? <laughs> because yes, it is what it is. <laughs> Question for you: Does Mr. Reggaeton go half with you <laughs> on everything? <laughs> when you guys go out, does he go half with you? He played with everything. Oh, interesting. <laughs> when you guys, yeah, yeah, I know, bro. Um, Mr. Reggaeton, does he let you tell him what to do? Sometimes. Like what? Um, hmm. Can't even find it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. What about you? Uh, the last guy that you were attracted to, um, or that you were with, like, did you boss him around or did he boss you around? It was like a, I could say a 75 for me and 25. You bossed him around? Yes. Okay. Did you break up with him? No. He broke up with you? No. <laughs> Someone broke up with somebody? Nobody broke up with nobody. She broke up with him. All right. Uh, did anyone else have, uh, who else uh, wants equality? You want equality, right? She definitely cheated. Yes. You want equality. Okay. Why? Man, you... I hear you. <laughs> huh? I hear <laughs> that too. I know. No. That's not me. That's oh, no. Mo in the back. No, 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 no. Yeah, I know that's not you. That's Mo, in the back. say what you want to say, bro. Go ahead. She definitely cheated. I didn't cheat, I cheated. man. Yeah. She cheated on her guy. Her face I mean, I think all. he was cheating on me. Why would I cheat on him? Yeah, because you know you got to cheat back, right? Just in case, right? 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 Exactly. Un clavito saca otro Thank clavito. You. It exactly. doesn't work like that. No, people. yo no creo que un clavito saca nope. otro clavito. I don't nope. think so. Okay, mundo. Okay, why did you okay, want... Okay, yes. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Why do you want equality? Because um, I take the team Over player approach. I just think that you both should come to the table with your assets together and i like it that way if you build your assets you build it together prior then yes of course bring it to the table if he has assets on his hand bring, bring it to it the to table. table but if you're nobody's per se at the very beginning and then you are both entrepreneurs i guess there needs to be equality but once again Going back to the project boys, for example, when you take as an individual care for them for so long, as you said, Javi B, you get <laughs> tired of it. Yeah. You get tired of it. But you want chivalry too, right? I do. You, I do. Yeah, you want a guy to. A hundred percent. Okay. I'm tired of project boys. Mm. Okay. So you want a guy to be better than you when you meet him? Yeah. He want him preassembled. Yeah. And, and that's kind of what I was going to get at here is that mm. for the girls that said equality. Yeah. I mean, the guy that you're with isn't equal to you. He's better than you in every regard. The guy that you're with lets you boss him around because you're not with him anymore. Mm -hmm. You. Last I guy agree. that you were with, what happened to him? Were you guys equal? Le Copain. The last one I was in relationship yeah. with? Yeah. Well, did he treat you like an equal? No, he treats me like the other one, but I prefer because it wasn't like something for long term. So when it's in, when it's in, yeah, when it's in relationship, like yeah. traditional things, it's equal. The guy can sometimes do some effort, stuff like that, but it's always equal because we know some point is going to end at one point of the life. So it might be like if you want to, I don't, I, I'm going to give example. If you're with someone in a relationship yeah. and one day you're going to do a family with this person, yeah. you're going to buy your own house. So you're going to like put, bring money in France, like both mm -hmm. parts going to bring 50, 50. Cause if one day there's a divorce, you want, so, you want 50, 50. Yeah. Cause if one day, cause there is going to have uh, if, cause if one day one of both, you're not married 
and and one die were like let me ask you a question hold on, like hold on hold on okay divorced and do you want a man that's your height or taller like in like in height, height. You same want, you want him the same height as you because i'm tall how tall are you uh 171 centimeters 5.8 i don't know how so you want a man five foot eight that's good okay uh <laughs> do you want a man that makes as much money as you or but preferably I, more but i would like him more more okay do you want him to be stronger than you yeah i would like to stronger than you okay do you want him to be more educated and more smarter than you not really can be like not ba not less but same so we can learn together but if you had the choice would you want him to be smarter than you or no between smarter and less or between same and more yeah same and more same is good same is good same is good okay <laughs> interesting it's, it's a very, culture very interesting huh yeah. it's just how they were raised the culture yeah but i don't but the thing is dude is like all right i'm just gonna say it uh anyone else have anything before i said before i say what i'm gonna say no, here good. <laughs> sign a prenup before getting married <laughs> the woman or the man both what you're bringing to the table yeah. prior to getting married, that's yours. I have some but if you say. are starting to build a family, starting to build a business together, or I don't know, whatever it is, mm -hmm. then that's 50-50. But whatever you guys have prior to mm -hmm. it, okay, that's yours. You got something you want to say? Why would you marry someone like you don't trust? Bring the mic up. Sorry. Why would you marry someone who Prenups, you don't, who you don't trust with? your money with getting your, married man. is just like a, no, a it's not normal just that. job or a normal but it's business. not marriage is a contract and it's through sickness Correct. and health it's and, a contract. and poor and wealth and it's through everything it's through duality in life and you're signing a contract once you're building it together yes but from but the whatever start, you bring to the table that's from the yours. start of your relationship and who you're planning on marrying like i would never marry anyone who i ever had a doubt of my life my safety because let's People say you guys that. never even it doesn't have to you're... do with with how much you love that person because at the very end even if you sign then why are you marrying then why are you marrying them because marrying is not like a boyfriend or girlfriend prenup. no but like listen like but marrying the... is not like a boyfriend and girlfriend marriage is a contract correct it's it's per se a business it's a contract deal. it's written yes. it's it's a contract in the spirit realm as well yes. as here physically so and why would you why would you, you treat it as a boyfriend and girlfriend relationship when it's so much deeper like if everything was just marriage we would all be married to whoever we dated since the dawn of time correct it's a lot deeper and a lot more spiritual it's a connection with someone so why would you get with someone who you even had a look of doubt that it wouldn't continue to be great as way. you said it's a contract at the very end to your religion to your spiritual realm but like just in general like why would you ever even think about accepting a proposal from someone who you might have a lick of doubt from if you think you're gonna till death do us a part type of situation it shouldn't bother you if you sign that that's what marriage up. is but that's what marriage is so correct if that do you part why would you put into place like let's say you have a prenup but let's say like not even that anything wrong happened in the relationship let's say someone passes away mm -hmm. and now you have nothing to provide for your family that you've created together there's ways that you can work the legal agreements in that sense there definitely is but i'm just saying like i would me personally i would never like put myself in a position with someone who I thought something could possibly go wrong then that's not the person who i should be marrying and then also to what we were saying before like i kind of have a hard time understanding like do women not like to let men lead because they feel like they're being controlled or are they not respecting the men who they're with and what the men are expecting of their relationship because if you cannot fit just like women if men can't fit for us we're not going to be with them Correct. but if we can't fit for men why why is that them controlling us and just not us being enough for them i'm gonna give you an example um i don't know maybe tomorrow your boyfriend and you do not work yeah and you decide to move with your sugar as you know <laughs> <significant laughs> <else. laughs> that's what um, it's hypothetically that's speaking not like it's hypothetically speaking with that being said he has a lot maybe your current boyfriend 
No, he's good too. We're both. That's why we're chilling. We're both perfect. Both. Cool. Yeah. So with that being said, both of you have something. Yeah. But if tomorrow you get married with him and you get a divorce and you keep the kids and whatever, you don't want to keep whatever you brought into the table. You want to give it away. But get how? the divorce ugly and lose i don't know 20 percent of it if you sign a prenup at least you're securing whatever you had your jewelry brand but i'm not marrying him for his money and what he has i'm, I'm not him. saying you're marrying him for his so money i wouldn't care because i could do it still especially if we're claiming we're independent yeah women, but what if what if tomorrow he cheats on you and then you he, decide to break up with him then he cheats and we break up and i continue with the rest of my life but no, what but if he wants saying, to no, I got him, what yeah. if he wants to keep your jewelry business but like i've learned that's what i'm saying like we're claiming we're independent women i can still be independent with or without correct so it's like if it's taken away I'll do it again. But nobody's taking away anything but, from that's, you. That's what the no, no, kind but, of is. But she's putting it in, a, in a, uh, a way where, like, you have a lot to lose. Yeah. So things happen in life. No, yeah, nobody's perfect. Yeah. Things can happen and they will happen. Yeah. So you're saying, not why saying not protect yourself in the very beginning? Because like you're saying, but marriage is not what it was 10 years ago, 20, yeah. 20 years ago. It's mm -hmm. changed a lot. And mm -hmm. people go for whims. So, uh, I don't feel like this is going to work. I feel like I, sh I could do better. I'm just going to leave. Then I wouldn't be with that person. But you don't know. Saying. See, people put on a mask or, or a charade for 100%. a year, two years, three years. You see, you know what? I'm tired of this bullshit. I'm out. Mm -hmm. What you going to do then? Oh, it's a contract. They won't break it. They will break it. But if they do, you just figure it out. Like, that's what no, I don't no, understand. No, 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 you don't figure no. it out. No. It happens to you. Lawyers no. come happens into. To you. you don't just figure it out after the fact. comes money. into. If you, okay, you know what? If you're a millionaire, right? Yeah. You married a guy who was like, yeah. let's say. Making 50k a year. Yeah. And you didn't know prenup. Yeah. You so said, you know what? I'm going to make this last forever as long as possible. Yeah. 10 years pass. He cheats on you. You find out. What are you going to do? Well, technically, because I have some very, um, I know some people going through this right now. You get half as a woman. <laughs> so, no, no, no. You're the millionaire. No prenup. Yeah. Um, me. He's didn't broke. You? He's broke. You get half. Yeah. Like, all right, me personally, and you don't have to agree with it. It just is what it is. Like, you guys came in this together knowing what it is and what it can be. Let's say it does end up wrong. You also know that's a possibility. If marriage in America, I don't know if it's all around the world, It's it ends in 50%. It's like 50%, right? Like yeah, but you're going to have to give him the money because you're the breadwinner now. You're the one. You're the millionaire, so you got to give him the money. I chose to marry him and knowing what he came with. So you're way older now. Can't find another man. You just give him half your fortune. Are you cool with that? Way older. And I know you got what about your kids? Child support, all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and then like. If so basically, he made you almost broke again, at forty years old. What are you gonna do? Do it again. You can't. You're forty. How it's, not? It's gonna be tough. How? It's never too late. Or let's say you're like fifty-five, sixty. There's a time 60. limit for women. I mean, no, definitely there's a time limit, but then that's why you gotta be educated and know what you're doing with yourself. Like you can't. You gotta build. Sorry. Sorry. You gotta. It's more than just that, too. Like, as a woman now, and you're making your own money, and if you are successful, you're not just only having one. You know, like, there's so much more deeper ties into it. You have your own ways of success. You have multiple streams of income coming. You have stocks. You have things and things. You might get half, but if you're really a boss woman, how we're claiming we're going to be, how we are, you got it regardless. And whoever, to me personally, if you're choosing to be with someone, it doesn't matter how you end up. It doesn't matter what you start with. You wanted to be with that person. Gents, everything else is like, let's pop that else. bottle bubble, please. So it's like, I just, pop what? I just that see bubble. it differently, bubble. personally myself. No, like, she believes in marriage and how much it can be a good thing. Like, which is, I'm very yeah. traditional. It is this and no, I'm very I, I traditional. get that. Um, see, I see your perspective, but I mean, like, realistically I speaking, um, men take way more risk when they get married. For I sure. get what you're saying. You're speaking from For like, sure. oh yeah, like uh, yeah, it shouldn't be that way, but. Realistically speaking, women it don't is. take the risk in marriage. Marriage only has upside for females, not necessarily for men, because mm -hmm. let's be honest, most women marry way above them socioeconomically. They typically 100%. don't marry someone on their level. They make someone they marry someone that makes a lot more than they do. So yeah. women don't take the risk when they get married. 100%. Um so I think a prenuptial agreement is not even I don't even think I should get married in the United States because it's just not in your best interest. Yeah. And the other thing too, also, I wanna say, is that it might be elevator music time. I'm just gonna say because I want to be able to speak f freely guys come on over to rumble real fast. Let me know when we're good uh, And by the way, you're not traditional by the way yeah. <laughs> You think you're a big oh, 
Okay, right now I'm not. I would love to live a traditional life. I really would. I just right now not. That's not for me. Times have changed. Yeah, times have changed. So um, I genuinely think that women suck at most things in life. And um, what I mean by this is like if you really look at like human accomplishment, human endeavors, etc. It's always men that lead almost everything. Um, and what I've realized is that women typically don't want an equal. They want a superior in every regard. They want a man who makes more money than them, stronger than them, more capable, more intelligent, etc. Which is fine. I don't have an issue with that. I think that's the way women should think. But I think with that, right, since the man is responsible and has to be responsible for the woman, her protection, providing, etc. I think the man should be the leader. Because women are shitty decision makers. Uh, they control 80% of the debt. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. three. They control almost 80% of the debt and they're 80% of the consumer base. So so I don't think women should be in positions of leadership with a man. I think the man needs to do so, especially since women, you said a second ago, women's emotions go up and down, yeah. their periods heavily dictate how they behave. Now, does this mean that all women are shitty decision makers and shouldn't be leaders? No. no. There's obviously a minority of women that you know are deductive problem solvers, logically sound, and can be good leaders, but a majority of women are not. And I would say in a relationship, even more so, most women want a man that's a leader. So. Even though I know, you know, you said you want equality, your actions show otherwise you're with a man who's better than you in every regard, so that's a lie. And then you said that, you know, you want a guy that you can boss around, etc., but you're not in a relationship with him now. I mean, actions speak louder than words. What I've realized is that women say one thing, but they behave completely different. Um, that's just how it is. So, if anyone d disagrees, feel free, I'll turn it over to you guys, but I genuinely think women shouldn't lead anything. I agree on that side. But I disagree that... Back, we're all lying. You I said was that we're really all, that honest. We're all no, no, you told no, the truth. Okay, I, was you say, women, I was talking about the women that said they wanted equality. There's three here on the panel that said they wanted equality. And I'm saying that your behaviors don't represent that. You're with a man who's better than you in every regard. Hell, you can't even get him to commit to you. And then you, you're with a guy, but you boss him around 75% of the time and he's nowhere to be found. So that proves my point. Women don't want equality or they don't want a man who's going to be a leader or they don't want to be a leader in a relationship. It doesn't work. It's a lie. And then in your situation, I'm, I'm self-sufficient. You're self-sufficient now, but let me be have, honest, though. I tend to have the problem where I am, like, the, I wouldn't say sugar mama, but I bring more to the table. Okay. Um, but would it be fair to say that when you were younger, you were not looking for the equality that you're striving for now? I've always been that way. You always wanted equality. I've always been that way. She was so always minority. an island. Seriously. Yeah. But the man that you're with, when you got in a relationship with him... I uh, still I always brought more to the table. You brought more I to think, the table than I him? Th I think yes, I think it's a Then why did you let him be the le owner of the business? Because that's his thing. He that's his that's his specialty. That's what he ended up doing is irrigation. So he created it. He created it, but we like I'm CFO. So I'm I was his partner. He put me on and all that. But that didn't mean that I relied on that business. I went and got my masters with two kids. Like I did my own. So at the end of the day, when it came to do divorce papers. But most of your time was devoted probably to the business, I would assume, not no, to no, it being was a librarian. To me. It, it was, was to my own. It was to being a librarian. And being a mother. Okay, but he was the predominant breadwinner. No, he was not. You were the breadwinner. Yeah, I was the breadwinner. But not only that. Throughout the entire marriage? Yes. Wow. That's wow. been the case with most of my relationships. And I think that's maybe speaks to my wanting to be very independent. And you initiated the divorce? I did. So, let me so just go were on you in a leadership role in the relationship? Absolutely. In that case, he has a lot to lose. Mm -hmm. He does. Uh, so, so, that, that's why he don't want to sign. So, he yeah. Yeah. That's why he so... doesn't sign. Yeah. But here's the thing. I also come from a place of, like, so independent that all I asked for literally was my res restoration of my last name. So 100% um, the company to him, 0% um, spousal, 0% child support. I don't need anything but my last name back. And I think only a woman that can... Provide for herself. Ask for that. Most I mean, that women sounds are like out a here W. Why wouldn't you sign? Mm -hmm. Most people are waiting for ten years so they can do what they can get their little like percentage. I don't need that. Yeah, I but why is he refusing to sign if it's if he literally loses nothing? Because Maybe just his like ego? she said, there are some people that believe in tradition and they, when you fuck up, sometimes you want to you want to make sure that you can keep it. Mm. Wait, he, so he, he cheated on you? No, he beat me. Remember? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Don't so anyway, um, so I think there's a lot of guilt there and maybe like hopes for reconciliation. W would you ever go back? No. Nope. Okay. No disrespect, but I'd be yeah. interested to hear his pers hear his side. I would give you that Friday. Contact. Not not that there's you know ever uh, uh, an excuse to ever you know yeah never raise a hand at a female ever. ever woman, yeah. uh, we disagree with that, but you know there's always two sides to every story. You know, yeah. and I think um, there's a lot of built up trauma, and because my first degree was in psychology 
and I was part of a cohort that was very good at like analyzing people. I think he became like a case study, to be kind of honest with you. Mm. So trying to like fix him, but from a psychological standpoint, project boy, a lot of trauma, a lot of trauma. And maybe um, I just didn't know. Also bought into the concept of the ride or die, right? The, oh, loyal, don't ever call the cops, yada, yada. Never call the cops. Okay. And it took its toll. But anyway, I've moved past that. I'm now a fierce advocate for women getting out and breaking the cycle. And October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So, yeah, shout out to that. Hmm. Okay. I mean... Yeah, I mean, we've always said it before, like, if your girl isn't getting in line or you guys have disagreements, like, just break up with her. Like, never raise your hand at a female. Just but, walk away. Yeah, uh, but, you know, unfortunately, some guys don't do that, which, you know, obviously is very stupid. Um, but we, we understand why you don't, you don't want to get back to him. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's the case, then yeah. we understand. Well, I have a daughter that's watching as well. Yeah. So. All right. Understandable. Uh, okay, yeah, we can hit the chat. Well, that got deep. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean it, it happens, you know. It's an unfortunate reality with uh, with a lot of relationships where yeah. guys are doing that stupid. But at shit. least you got out and you left. So shout out to you for leaving. Uh, yeah. Cool. Solana Vegas says, "Ladies, let's cut the crap. Y'all are independent and proud. What's your body count? If you don't want to say it, what's your excuse? None of your business doesn't count." They should have put theirs in, in that in that comment, <clears throat> so we can know theirs as well. It's probably low. What's Wait, your body us? count? No, no. People though, that Houston. I wanted to sleep yeah. with, probably, I'm going to say around 10. I don't know how many people I slept with because I used to be a prostitute. She belongs to the streets. Why would you say that? I mean, she's honest, though. So. I like the honesty. <laughs> yeah. All right. Why'd you stop? Um, I don't want to live that life anymore. Why? It's a lot of damage, a lot of emotional damage, lot of physical cocks. damage. Yeah. A lot of cocks, yeah. yeah. A lot of cocks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about you? Why do you count? I don't want to answer these questions. What's your excuse? I don't know. It's just so much for me. I'm not going to answer. Why do you count? I'm 38, so I'm like a decade more than like everybody here. Mm. So I feel like on the average of three people a year, starting at 21, I'm now 38. I mean, you know. Do the math. Do the math. Okay. Boom. Okay. Times 10. Right, what, what's, what's the number? Somebody do the math. <laughs> do the math for us, Look at my calculator. Between math, 21 guys. and 38, three a year, minus, years, the, minus the three years I was married. Three, Boom. I mean, three, three, years, three a year? Bro, that's like... Three years, not bad. It's a whole person, though. Wait, like, so you're telling me... Three if I'm year, dating... From 20... 21? From 21, minus the three years I was married. 48. And the last... Okay. at thir- For the last 20 years... That's, that's not a... Whatever. Like, 20 years? We're going off of three, three only. I'm 38. Oh, like 50. Oh, oh. All right. Like, okay. yeah, like 48 to 50. <laughs> and then that doesn't include all the guys that she didn't count. All right. Yeah, yeah. that's like All right, cool. like that's an accurate number. Yeah, sure. Right. Right. Okay. Cool. We'll, we'll give it to you for now. Whatever. What about you? Uh, two. Stop See, they're the like count. 12. That's like that. I, mine is not... Doesn't count. But mine is two also. It is. It is. 200? Two. two. Stop the count. Don't play with me. Two. Wait, wait, wait. Two at the same time, or oh, okay. remember, I'm only 22 years old. That's what I'm oh, saying. Yeah. I'm only 22. Get to my age. I'm There's girls that get 22 in a semester. <laughs> yeah, what's yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't out of there in high school. I wasn't really doing uh, I started I late and I caught up. I mean, chat saying you're like 26. Who was 26? You. I'm 22 years old. I mean, they say you're 22. I was born in 2000. I'm 26, so okay. 2000. God, what about you? All right. I don't know. I feel like I want to keep a few things private. It's my own privacy, you know? Like, but I'm, I'm very proud mm-hmm. of... Is it over 10? A little bit over, yeah. A little yes. bit, yeah. yeah. of course. Yeah, okay. Okay. Seven. Hundred. Stop the cap. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Yo, yo. <laughs> you know what's the problem? <laughs> Just to be frank with you, yeah. your Twitter... Is that seven doesn't count. Yo, bro. Yo. Okay. They, you asked me my body no, no, count. No, no, I'm going to answer the question. Fresh, 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 fresh. They're going to assume the worst because of that. Okay, I don't care what people assume. I fresh. Don't. Got it. Okay. I've seen many girls on, you know, show. <laughs> Come on. Yo, your Twitter by far is yo, the worst. Yo, I'm sorry bro, to say. Like, you bro. mean the, the yo, like, what do you mean yo, worse yo, in what way? Yo, like, I don't have no much, no clothes. I thought he was, like, yeah. o- overreacting, but I'm not going, like, that's just kind of Yeah, wild. I do porn. What did you think? Like, yeah, Twitter but, Twitter, Twitter, you said your wife material. Twitter. No, I didn't. 
For a lawyer, you said you were. I bro. said that a lot of lawyers bro. and people like the kind of men I like liberal men that you're saying is so unattractive. I like those kind of men. They don't care about this shit. Uh, liberal, like what? Don't so like take to family the, functions. Yeah, events. because at a family function, I can like if you took you to a family function, it would then took me to a family. No, I would be able to be in there a lot better than you. Family no. show. I get that. Yes. When they do research or find out who you are, like the guy, his he even his he talks to me, about me to his family. He says what I do. They think it's cool. You no, guys no, don't no, get no. it. It's twenty twenty three. Wait, 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 wait. But they haven't seen it though. But but but, but fresh. I mean, if yeah. I was a girl, right, or a family, whatever, right? I saw your page. I pressed wait three buttons, <laughs> right? Three <laughs> buttons <laughs> and. <laughs> You were like, bro, bro, I'm like, you know. What, what, okay, what's your just, point? Yo, Shorty's getting dogged out in the second bro, video, dog. Bro, yeah. 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 fucking the second video? Yes. Bro. Yeah, you should check my OnlyFans for the whole oh thing. Nah, I might not. Nah, bro. A lot of your audience. So does that count as your seven or no, that's work-related? I will say. That counts as my seven. Oh, okay. Yeah. Her doing that is actually pretty good for marketing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She ain't dumb. You know what you're doing. She ain't stupid. I do well. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah, sure you do. <laughs> we can tell. Uh, what about you? Me, I. What, oh, I'd rather not share that. It's a lie. Okay. I just don't feel. She's like thirty it. years old. <sighs> yeah. See, okay. Yeah. Spend time on well, Venezuela mostly. Is it over ten? Yes. No. No. Stop the cat. No bueno. No. <laughs> see. All right. Por yeah. favor. I peg it at like twenty. Yeah. Yeah. At bare minimum. Top right. ten. But what about you? Oh uh, no! I'd rather not disclose. Cause like is it over ten? No, it's not actually. But not the cap. I'm not lying, but I just rather not say that. Cause like, why did the person ask a question? I'll include theirs. Like they should have been like, oh, I have like this many body counts. I mean, he's a dude though. Do we? Okay, so, I counts. mean, like he's asking us. <laughs> okay, so this is you guys. Said you guys care about body count, but then you she only had seven, and clearly I'm at forty. Yeah. But I mean, what? But you said her Twitter. You would have. Oh, she's a hoe. Here, I'm not. A, here's the issue, right? You see what I'm saying? It's about perception. So is it body count? No, no, no. It's physical? perception because, for so example, it's not body I don't. Count. I can't tell, but looking at your body count, I'm making a your age. But with her. If it's I can see there. visually online what's happening, but that's different. So physical body count yeah. versus perception. You yeah. said, "Oh, guys care about body so count." Body count. No, but no really one's walking with a posted the, with a yeah, body the, count in their forehead. The perception. Yeah. The perception is high body count. No matter if I can see it or not, is because online they can see visibly or. So perception assume. is what matters. Hundred percent. Right. So not body count. Exactly. No, no, which no, is no, the no. point. But, you but, are wrong. But, perception or body count. But only because there's no body count figure on your head telling me what your body count is. I can only assume for what I see. So, yeah, so it's perception. That's what she's saying. She's saying yeah, it's exactly. perception of body but count, not actual body count. the underlying tone or the underlying mm-hmm. foundation is the body count. But it's not the actual body count. You know, it's a it perception. Is. How old are you? Because no one's ever really going to know. You How old am I? 28. Why? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Women absolutely know that their body count is 100% to some degree tied to their value as a female and their ability to find a man. That's why a bunch of girls didn't want to disclose it, yep. lowered it, or just didn't, or gave some other number. Or because Women they don't know, want to get roasted. Well, well, what okay, do you but mean? Why do they get roasted? Because your audience is the type of... It's, not, just... about, it's not about the audience. In general, women know that their body count reflects their value in the dating marketplace, which is why women keep that number close to their chest. No, but it's your sexuality usually. And who can yeah, allow, allow you to be private? Exactly. No, 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 no. Yeah, but, I don't but have here's to the disclose thing. that. I get it, but here's the thing. Why is it private for a female? Why is it so important for it to be private? No one is It can be private for you to say what no one is asking. And outside of the podcast, first of yeah, all, exactly. nobody believes this in real life. You'd be <laughs> not a big yeah. if you asked Look, that. look, look. Ladies, it's ladies, a perception, ladies, ladies. but it's not a question. Look. My, my main point I'm trying to make here is that your body count absolutely matters to a man that's going to want to take you seriously in the future. Some. Does it go on the birth certificate or something? <laughs> okay, you're, you're trying to say it doesn't matter? Yeah, like, I don't know. I'm not... Hold on, let her answer. Do you think it matters or not? If mm. I'm marrying someone or if I'm going to be with someone, I'm going in with it for the future, not looking. No. Like everybody okay, has look, a look, past. Look. I don't care can. what you want. Does it matter to the man? Maybe, but how do you how Are do you verify engaged? that you don't have an Instagram okay. check? No, 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 like hold, 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 like, like, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Why is it that you didn't want to say it? I just don't feel like it, and like <laughs> you don't feel like yeah. it. Yeah, listen, Why? I said it last no, no, week. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Why don't you want? Why don't you feel like it? I don't know. I don't I'll like tell you it. why you don't feel like it because you know that if you disclose your body count, it's going to hurt your ability to potentially find a man later. 
That's why. Are they going to watch this? Who knows? You never know. Who yes. knows? But if it's on, it's on the internet forever. And like, ladies, you're going to sit here, you're going to sit here and play a bunch of bullshit and like, no, it doesn't matter, blah, blah, blah. But each and every one of you started or gave another number, blah, 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 or didn't want to disclose it fully. The reason why is because it's an uncomfortable conversation for women to have because you know your body count absolutely is tied to your value as a female to some degree, most importantly, to a man that you want. Men do care about ask, this shit. Do you ask women this up front or no? no. Look, I've said no. it why? last time on the show. Because it's important. Right. Right. I don't you want to say But why is it weird? That's why I'm That's asking you. If it's, a, it's not important to me, but it's important to you to ask. I'm wondering. It's weird because it's not pertinent information, in my opinion. But yeah. it's, not, it's, it's, not, it's, that's, uh, it's not pertinent to you, but it's but pertinent it's, to yeah, men. So why don't you? Why don't men ask? Why is it a weird thing to ask women? Do you know need to ask them. What the fuck? What? Common sense. Yo, you got to go to the bottom line. Why is it taboo for men to ask this? And why do women not want to answer it? That's the question. Why? Society. Because it's because women know deep down being a whore is socially unacceptable. And if they reveal a number, uh, whatever it may be, it might make them look like a whore. So they'd rather just not do it. No, well, I just don't have to answer the question to some dude behind a, a computer, like asking me that. Like, but why don't you why does he want to like, intrude into my personal life? Why, 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 why is it an intrusion? Ask? Huh? Because I, it's look, personal sex life. Like, yeah, that's why don't you ask? Like, also real. Like, saying, like the numbers. If it was, if it was no. so like not issue, you just say it. But because of your personal sex life, it could affect it. You don't answer it. Yo. Why don't you guys mm. ask it anyway, though? Why don't you ask it? Well, if it's so important and it's so normal and it's not first a crazy off, weird. Yeah. First off, women lie about the number, hundred percent. So you don't want to put it as one part of the inquiry. We don't ask. However, your actions can Jack Chris can tell on some level how you were from the past or currently. They're missing, so, they're missing the entire ask? point of the question. Mm. It makes you uncomfortable because you know that your value is tied to your amount of partners. Could it make it's you not, uncomfortable? Because it's just a, like, no. if it's not a, because I think it's just a weird question. Now you, yeah. got, and a lot of people in real but life don't ask it. Why is it a weird question? Because I think it's weird because it's not pertinent information. Why is it weird? Because, it's it's why, why is it taboo? Why does it make you uncomfortable? I'll tell you, if a guy asks me that, I think he's crazy. And that's what makes me uncomfortable. Crazy? Yeah. I like, I'm like, I would not want to talk to him anymore because he obviously has different values than me he cares about things exactly. i don't care about that's why guys don't ask yeah well they should if they care why why put no. like if you care about it but, then put your values on the table notice, right? in the front i mentioned that's earlier right. perception so yeah. by default he's gonna say you know what all right i won't ask the question but i'll look around and see what her life is like outside of this well yeah. I, even and if then, you don't want to believe they, her answer it's one part of the inquiry Hold on. and then they see twitter yep. only fans they see on planes you I get well then don't you want to see if my and ins- then yeah. they assume okay High body count, shoot for the streets. That's oh. not my question. My question is this. If this isn't a weird question, this is totally normal. Men should care about this. I'm not saying they have to believe the woman's answer up front. I'm not even saying that perception isn't more important. But it's it shouldn't be strange of you guys to ask women these questions if it's such a normal and okay thing to worry about. Now, they may lie to you, you and you may not it. believe them. You just said it. What did I just say? You just said if someone asked you a question, you would cut them off. Yes. So and then I, if a guy doesn't want to lose you, he wants to smash you, he's going to say, you know what? I want to ask. These guys wouldn't smash me anyway, but I don't think like, isn't this, isn't the scarcity mindset oh, guys? If you, isn't the scarcity mindset? Most Why guys, don't... if they can talk to a girl and get her in a place where they might be able to smash, they don't, they don't want to fuck it up. So, the, so you're saying the reason you guys don't, so I think that's fair to say that the reason guys don't ask because he makes you look crazy and a lot of women don't like that. That's true. But they're going to go ahead and try to ascertain on their own what your body count is based on your behavior, the way that you act, your past, etc. They're going to go ahead and do their homework yep. and figure out where you stand. Whether oh, they exhausting. overtly ask you or not, they're going to do their own independent investigation and figure out, okay, I want to commit to this girl, make her my girl. Let me make sure that she's not a fucking slut. Yep. Let me do the whole facts. Men absolutely have a stake in a woman's past. That's so just the if, way it is. if these women, if these are righteous women and these are righteous men let's say they're both like whatever i think it's totally fine to be like hey i value sexual purity it's important to me to know if you also value that how many like how many men have you been with do you value sexual sexual purity purity is more important no i'm saying the man should ask the woman this question you're saying that but you're saying they shouldn't because it affects their ability to get laid answer your own question if it's a woman if it's a woman that he wants to settle down with that's my question if it's a woman that he wants to settle down with what and and it's a woman that are you for real yeah if it's a woman that he wants to settle down with why would he not express that this is important to him bro you you just took a two hours man I mean, I'm I mean, just, no. okay. I mean, I would ask you a question. I don't, and you're saying if it's a woman he wants to settle down with. You answered it. What? Because he won't get laid? But if it's a woman he wants to settle down with, and it's a woman that he believes shares her values, like she's a virgin, right? I think if a guy went on a date with you and they're like, hey, I have. I, Shut I, up. No, no. I don't even understand that. Okay. We're going to move it along. God damn. Move it along. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, wait. <sighs> off your wishes, and I don't think that's ever going to work. Would you guys agree? And I'll open it up for discussion here. Would you guys agree that um, happy wife, happy life is a lie, and it needs to be happy king, happy kingdom? Mm. It's from both parts, I think. We have to be happy. So. Well, but one party, one one gender always has to appreciate the other more than they appreciate them back. Who do you think needs to be the gender that's more appreciated for the relationship it's, it's to work? It's not more appreciated. I think we have to yeah. be equal with yeah. appreciation Nothing and respect. Nothing in life is equal. But respect, but you not. have to be equal. Yeah, but obviously he's saying on some level, one party has to have more. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Ladies, that's let's true. live in reality here. In every single relationship, there's always someone that likes the other one more. Yeah. There's an adorer, okay. er, yes. and then the adored. Okay. For a relationship to work, who do you think mm -hmm. needs to be the one that's adored? The man or the woman? Long term. We can go around it the table on this on one. the situation. I don't know. It, you cannot say if it's a woman or a man, I think. Generally. I see in, my generally. in general. Generally. Generally. Who needs to be the one that is... You know, happy wife, happy life, or happy king, happy kingdom. Which one is more important, in your opinion? We can start here. She used to be a wife. Yeah. All right. You should know. Yeah. Happy wife, happy life, or happy king, happy kingdom. Which one do you think makes more sense? I don't know. I mean, for me, I feel like merch. It's hard. It's hard. It just depends on the two people. You know, like in some cases, yeah, the woman tries harder than the guy, and in some cases, in general, the guy tries for a relationship to work. Yeah. You know. If I had to line up 100 relationships and 80 of them worked, which arraignment, I don't know. alignment I feel like these would you days, say? Girls are trying harder for guys. Hmm. You really think so? Maybe in Miami, at least. Yeah. I think the ratio is off, for one. Oh, you mean so. like top level guys they're trying for? Like there's just more girls than guys. So girls are like a little bit trying a little harder for guys because there's not as many guys out there. You really think so? Yeah. You think women actually try for men in 2023? Yeah, I, I think so. I think we're just like more emotional and like we just pursue a little more than the men do. Really? Do you think do you think women cook and clean more or less now? Less. <laughs> okay. So by default. Yeah, so by default they don't try harder. I guess not in that regard. Yeah, I mean things aren't as domestic as they used to be. What what in what ways are they try, try, um trying, trying harder, harder in your opinion then? I'm not saying like in the harder than in past years i'm just saying for what it is in the present moment i still for whatever reason and i just feel like women, but you have to compare it against something I'm like a bunch of girls can talk oh my gosh what should i text back like well, how do i respond to this oh how long do i have to wait to text him back like do you think guys are doing that yes uh, yeah at an even higher sure. level oh really 100%. yes oh okay i don't know <laughs> <laughs> okay isn't it amazing how yeah. like little effort girls put in and they think it's effort but then i'm like that's nothing that, okay that guy has been sweating for like minutes trying to respond yeah. to her so he doesn't okay. get left, left on scene. Okay, so, so happy wife, uh, happy life, or happy king, happy kingdom? Which one do you think makes more sense for a relationship to last? As uh, well, as... I'm asking you, Miss Miss former wife, which one? If you had to pick one. So I guess I'm saying if I have to pick one, happy yes. king, happy kingdom. Okay. Yeah. Did you do everything in your power to make your former king happy? Nope. Well, you left your king. Yep. High and dry. It's fucked up, man, Katie. It's yeah. fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fantastic. What about you? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> a girl has to like a guy more in order for the relationship to work, I think. That's what you think? Mm. Okay. Yeah. Just Let's because it's Say like... it with your chest, man. You got one. Yeah, but it thank you. <laughs> um <laughs> for free. See what I did Thanks. there. Um <laughs> but I think because there are you know, women women get pursued at such a high volume so fast that unless you really like the guy like you're gonna you're gonna leave you have more options than him mm. so you have to like him that much for it to work mm. okay so you think you think happy kingdom happy king happy kingdom is more yeah. more important what about you happy kingdom happy king happy kingdom or happy wife happy life um i'll say happy wife happy rolex Okay. <laughs> Rolex. Rolex. Okay. What makes you what makes you say that? Rolex. Um well if you see it from the pers <laughs> if you see it from the perspective that you're saying that a woman can get like bored of a man. Um if a woman if you're giving everything to a woman, why should I not cook for you? Why should I not clean for you? Why should I not take care of you all the time and look out for you? You know, as a as a woman with my values and well, what I if you're giving her everything she wants, that's boring. Wouldn't that increase the likelihood of her getting bored? Ooh. Why? Why would you? Diamonds. If you get everything you want, okay. For example, let's say you had a kid, right? You get them whatever they wanted. Would they appreciate it? No, they have to work for it. Oh. oh. Yeah, but that's why I'm so saying. That's what. That's what I'm saying. Women are kids. No, 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 no. 
that's what I'm saying. Like, if for example, in my relationship, he really takes care of me, and I really take care of him. I keep, I cook for him. I clean. I make sure everything is clean. I make sure, like he, like when he's on meetings, I make sure I give him water. I make sure I, I'm behind him all the time. You know, so like, I actually. Okay, so you, you, you're, you're, you adore him more than he adores you. Then, you're following him. Obviously, he's the leader. I mean. So then, that's happy king, happy kingdom. Well, yes, then happy king, happy kingdom. Okay. Rolex. And I don't want to sound like an asshole, <laughs> yeah, but you're yeah. very lucky with what you got. So, um, because let me be very, I don't know if he's watching right now, but yeah. I'm just going to be very yes, honest case. here. Yeah. There's a lot of yous, but not a lot of him. Facts. Mm-hmm. Being very blunt with you. Um, you look like every other Colombian girl. No, no offense. No offense. Um, and you're I'm a regular sh- girl. He's probably wildly successful, has provided you a certain lifestyle where you can work kind of at your leisure. And you don't have to work if you don't want to. And not many men can offer that. So I think you need to understand, okay, my guy is way more special than I am. I need to honor and treasure this man because there's women that will fight to take this man from me. No, and I agree with you. Okay. So happy king, happy kingdom. Yeah. Diamonds. I'm sure they yeah. all want Rolexes too. Yeah. 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 Right? Seriously. Right, ladies? Uh, yeah. So be very happy with what you got because I guarantee you uh, a bunch of girls here on the planet would love to have a guy that is very successful, buys them Rolex watches, and would take care of them. So if you catch a fucking other bitch, I wouldn't leave it for you. Yep. Okay. What about you? Uh, um, do you think... What's more important for a relationship to last? Happy king, happy kingdom, or happy wife, happy life? I wanted to actually say exactly the same, <laughs> like like she um, she said, because uh, I wanted also to say it's happy happy wife, happy life. But okay. now you said also it's not not the <laughs> uh, not the, like this opinion. So no, you can I, if I you thought, think it's happy wife, happy life, just know, that's fine. Give your opinion, but tell me why you think yeah, happy wife, happy life. I think life. you know I could give really everything for uh, for a man if i really uh can feel um his loyalty uh mm. faithful i don't know if he's Did really with him? me yeah mm. if if i can trust in him you know it's like but what about uh, if he wants to be a happy king he needs to have maybe another chick in the kingdom from the side yeah Every but now you know i don't Would you I, be okay with that f- for sure i have to handle him like he's a king yeah but actually i want also to feel like a queen, a, a queen. Yeah. exactly you yeah know, you're the queen but that's a concubine because, concubine yeah, just a concubine I, yeah she a whore <laughs> no you're good no i could <laughs> i mean okay. but i mean come on you're 33 come on man like, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, like, like, on, like you, what, yeah. what guy's gonna i mean <laughs> no but you know it's for me it's it's really important it's from both sides we are really handling it good you know it's it's he feel really like a king and i feel really like a, a queen you know it's he, it's his queen you know and he's my so my which queen. one is more important though happy wife happy it's life for or me, king or somehow kingdom somehow it's, it's almost the same you know i don't know it's it's both not the same very important one one person always has to care yeah, more yeah, about the actually, other this is uh, fr- from what he's a man so actually he has to be yeah. uh be on the on the stage actually you know okay so that's so why you I'm have to like now, you have yeah. to like him more. Yeah, I has to be, but somehow I don't know. It's it's hard to really explain what I want to say. She knows you know? what the truth is, but well, she want to. But he doesn't. It. She doesn't feel yeah, right for her to say it. Yeah, because I want also to feel like a queen, and he has to handle me also. But you can't be a queen unless he's a king. Yeah. Yeah, somehow. Yeah. So yeah, you okay. are right. Interesting. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah but, right. Um, All right. What but, about you? Happy wife, happy life, or happy king, happy kingdom? Yeah, I think so. Also, like happy kingdom. I not start then again. I start. Change your mind <laughs> after listening to the ladies' yeah, answers. I, just, I have the same opinion. Somehow I will she start. Wants so I, if I have to choose, <laughs> <laughs> if I have to choose, then yeah. And I think the woman is really. It's not so. I think the man leaves the relationship or a family easier than a woman. I think because if if you have, for example, children as well, I don't it's, know. It's it's women yeah. that leave. Way women initiate. Do you think? Yeah, it's I mean, a fact. Um, Axe panel. Oh, okay. It's a fact. Women initiate more divorces than uh-huh. men. Eighty percent. Really? If you notice, eighty percent. Most of them left. Yeah, I, I would. Left. I would think like a man. Well, hold on, hold on. We'll make it simple. Like, how many men have you broken up with versus how many men have broke up with you in your lifetime? Actually, I didn't even. Yeah, I broke oh, up have with many. a few one, but I didn't even have serious relationships. So. Okay, in all your relationships with men, so usually who left I you was, or him? I usually I was attracted to a guy who is like not for me. So. They ne- then they never wanted me. But you so. left the guy, actually. You left. You were who left. So by default... Yeah. You no, they left me because I wanted them, but they left me. So I think I, I wanted them, but they didn't, never wanted me Okay, back, so. after they fucked? Ooh. Well, Chris? So. Like, it's smash, right? And then they, they <laughs> left you after the smash, right? <laughs> oh, man. Like, right? It was no, after no, sex they just... They left? Not not always after sex. No, man. Not did, you make, did you make some of them wait? Yeah. Yep. And then they left? 
Yes. Yeah, that's why. Just, yeah. I don't know. Damn. They, they, didn't they don't want you that bad. Anything, I don't know. I guess not. Yeah, okay. They don't want to wait. Okay, uh, what about you? Happy uh, wife, happy life, or happy king, happy kingdom? I would say happy king, happy kingdom, because if... Why'd you leave your guy for cheating then? I'm going to get into that. So uh-huh. if I'm being taken care of, I'm, and he's happy, and I'm making him happy, then I'm going to be happy too, because I'm making him happy, so... How long were you with a uh, Frenchie guy? Like a year and s- six months. Okay, so you threw away 18 months because of cheating? Well, it was, it wasn't just like one time, it was like multiple occasions, so it was just not it for me. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Interesting. All right. Well, how about if that made him happy, though? No. Okay, I guess happy king, happy kingdom isn't that important to me, then. <laughs> All right. So you put your satisfaction above his? No, because if my, by my you breaking key, up with him, that that's quite literally the definition of your happiness prevails over his. Well, yeah, but that's not my king. That was somebody along the way. I'm looking for my king. You guys were together that's, for eighteen months. That's Bruh. eighteen months. That's Bruh. a long time. That's a long time. I mean, yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> she like, she didn't like him that much. I yeah. I I guess. Um, did, did he? And y'all were in a committed relationship, right? Yeah. Was he taking care of you? For the most part. Dang. So you had the kingdom, but you left it. Yep. Because I'm looking of your ego. for a different kingdom. Uh, that kingdom wasn't for me. One. What if I told you every single kingdom is going to have concubines? <laughs> okay, that's fair, but I didn't want it. to be in that kingdom anymore, so, so I wanted, left that kingdom. She wanted a more stable, more A more stable king. Kingdom. You had a stable king, and you yeah. left his ass. He was boring. Well... Okay, you got me there, but we weren't compatible. Like, I'm not going to be miserable in my relationship just because he's what a man should be for me. There you go, just... putting your happiness over theirs. Dang. Okay. Call it what you want. I don't know. Uh, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just, just, just contradicting yourself because you're like, happy king, happy kingdom. And I'm like, all right, he was happy fucking other bitches. No, but, my, but I don't like that. So it's like, okay. wouldn't yeah. it be fair to say that as the person that's adoring the other, you have to make sacrifices sometimes for that person's happiness? That's true. That's just a sacrifice I'm not willing to make. Okay. You got me there. What if I told you that most men are going to cheat on you anyway? I know that. So but then why not just take the guy that's the best for it? <laughs> well, because... If all men are going to cheat anyway... I'm looking for a better cheater. See... <laughs> no, no. So she didn't want this guy. <laughs> right? You what? So she wants to find a guy that's going to cheat that's better. <laughs> yeah, I mean... So she didn't want to take his cheating because she didn't like him that much. Probably. It was just an excessive amount of cheating that... It was too much. I don't want my man to cheat on me at the end of the day, but I'm, it's... It's time was, was, was he like extremely attractive or something or like yeah he was a, he was good looking are you aware that like every single good looking guy or has money is gonna fuck other bitches i'm aware of that yes i know but it was just too many of them it was too many bitches wait so so so, maybe... so, so tell me why is your man cheating on you with so many girls like don't, don't you fuck him good enough I, like, I, think he has just, to be... I think it's just like an insecurity thing i think he just needs multiple <laughs> women to I make mean, him feel better he's insecure yeah, in, no in a certain in a certain way, I think no, yeah man. he was insecure. Even though he looks good, he's successful. I think he had some insecurity deep down. Maybe I, you, maybe nags. you were insecure. No, she probably nags, bro. She probably nags him to death. Um, I agree. we ain't fucking until you do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what what you doing, nigga? And he got bored of you. Just yeah. well, fuck some other bitch. <laughs> 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 That's me, bro. I'm telling you, man. Oh, man. She seemed like a nagger, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, well. Why do you feel like that? Wait, get him. Well, I didn't hear what he said. He roasted you. What did he say? Bro, show you listen to that. That's what he said. Yeah, yeah. Show us. I want to have other women. <laughs> what did you say? What did you, you say? Oblivious. Uh, I'd like to. I'd like to include you in it with other women. What? What did you say? Man, fuck this shit. You got me there. I'm leaving. You got me there. She only bro. She couldn't even pay attention for two seconds just now. No, I just couldn't hear. Oh, nigga, you these headphones are loud as hell. I know, man. Maybe she. Everybody was talking. It was hard to hear. It was just Chris. It was just me talking shit. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Yo, now we know why that nigga left, bro. <laughs> Yo, man. you probably told her a million times, hey, look, baby, I probably, I want other women. I love you. You're my only girl. Wait, what? What, what? He's like, she's she like, said, what the fuck? Nah, girl, nigga, I love you. You're my only you girl, said, but I want another girl. Wait, what? Uh-huh. Uh, I couldn't hear. I couldn't hear. <laughs> you Everybody was talking. <laughs> We're in a quiet room. Everybody was talking. <laughs> man, fuck this bitch. Man, nigga wants to go find <laughs> another chick, bro. <laughs> nigga was gone. <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Okay, selective hearing. Selective hearing, man. All right, fantastic. Uh, okay, happy king, happy kingdom, or happy wife, happy life for you? 
happy king, happy kingdom. However, the king, it depends what makes the king happy. Oh, okay. So oh, now there's have, contingencies on it. You have to choose the right target. Oh, what's yeah. the right target for his happiness? This makes sense. I'm sorry. Because you're saying it has to be the right happiness. But I'm like, wait, no. isn't he the one that dictates that? Yes, but some some men have, like, again, Okay, what addiction. are the unacceptable happy happy things for you, then? For me, it's yeah. unacceptable. Definitely heavy addictions. Well, particular ones, I guess. Like what? Drugs? <sighs> yeah, drugs. Okay, that's reasonable. And I'd say... Cheating. It turns from a kingdom to a rehab. Cheating, for sure. Oh, now cheating? Oh, uh, addiction? Yes. That's not addiction. Okay. Uh, so you would not accept cheating? I don't think so. What if I told you most guys want to cheat and that would make them happy to be able to have other women? I know that. <laughs> I wouldn't I know that's choose mine. Him. Okay, so Murder. knowing that, wouldn't it behoove you to like accept it and understand it and be a better partner for that guy when it comes down the road? I think it's one of the deal breakers. I'm better than this. Right? All right, let me ask you a question. Mm. Would you agree that most women want a guy that makes more money than them? Yes. So what if I said, hmm, I know most women want a guy that makes money, but you know what? Fuck it. I feel like playing video games. I don't want to make money. A chick should accept me the way that I come. Would you think I'm delusional for believing that? Delusional for believing... Like, fuck what women want. I'm just going to do what I want and girls are going to come get me. Even though I know that most women want a guy that makes money and is successful, but I choose not to do that. I'm just going to play video games. It, would you but I still want a bad bitch, though. Okay. Would I be delusional for thinking that? For thinking that a guy is going to have someone... <laughs> do I? Yo, question. Do you do drugs? Yeah, do you do drugs? She put this drug. What is going on, bro? Does, do you do huh? drugs? She does, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you do. Uh, like, what the hell is going on here? I think that's pretty straightforward here. LSD. Even you break you by understand what's going on. Cocaina. Yeah, come on, man. Oh yeah. English is her second language, and she knows. Like, <laughs> you stop it. <laughs> like, come on, man. That like, was a complex question. It's not me. a complex question at all. Okay. Processing. Very simple. Okay. I asked you earlier, right? Let's go back a little bit. Hit me with the rewind button. I got you. God damn. Okay. We're going to re. Wrong one, Mo. That's why you. <laughs> nigga, trash, man. There you go. Damn, Mo. Man. She's chilling them shrooms. Okay, yeah. She, she, <laughs> all right. So I asked you earlier most men want to have multiple women. And you agreed, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you know that this is what most men want, correct? Yeah. AKA, that would make them happy. So, happy king, happy kingdom. Fair? That would make the man happy to... Happy king, and then brings back to the conversation, happy oh, king, happy kingdom. Yes, yes. Right? Yes. Okay. Now, let's go to the female side. Uh -huh. Women want a guy that can make more money than them and can support them. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm a man. I know this. Let's say I change my mind and I say, you know what? I know women want a guy that's successful, but fuck it. I'm just going to play video games and chill at home, but I still deserve a bad bitch. Am I delusional for thinking that? Oh, because it's in alignment with what you said from the first place for happy king, happy life, correct? Don't worry, don't don't get ahead here. Okay. You're, you know, don't try to get the extra credit yet. Would I be delusional for thinking that? Yes. That I deserve a bad chick, even yes. though I play video games and don't want to do what bad chicks want. Yes. So, wouldn't you be delusional knowing that most men want to go ahead and have sex with other women, and you're not prepared for that? Hmm. Well, I would. That question I don't think is valid because I'm not saying I'm not prepared for that. I just you say, just said you wouldn't accept it. I wouldn't accept it, but I'm prepared for it. If it happens, then would it be I'm fair prepared. to say that the fact that you're not willing to accept it means you're not prepared for it? No, I disagree because I can be ready for something and say, "Oh, I don't want that," you but know? it's gonna come. Yeah, and I'll just say, "Okay, like Bye. I'm not gonna deal with it." Okay, so that's the same as me saying I'm going to play video games, but I deserve a bad bitch, even though girls that are very attractive typically want a provider. You don't see, I just put an analogy there and it's the functional equivalent? I don't think you can compare the two. They're different situations. Okay, I have to give right? a different situation because men and women are different, but I'm giving you a functional equivalent. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bro, okay, it's Xanax, isn't it? Is it Xanax? Yeah, did you smoke before the show? <laughs> do, do the rest of the ladies understand my analogy? Yes. Like that, you know, you, you. I know women want one thing, so I, if I want them, I should probably do what they want. Just like if a woman wants a guy, they should do what the guy wants to but be attractive. You should just be with different people then. You're not meant to be together. 
Like, if one man desires that in your analogy and the woman desires the other thing in the analogy, they shouldn't be together. That's what I think. Drugs are bad, okay? Yeah, okay. All right. Very bad, uh, okay? That was tough. All right. Um, what are, about you? Drugs are bad, uh, okay? Um, based on experience, like, from my culture... It's mm -hmm. definitely Happy King, Happy Kingdom. Mm. Is that what okay. you do though at home? Is that what you do? I try. I, I you try my best. You try. Okay. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Listen, nigga. Yeah. Pin the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Be a man. What <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay, I think we're at drop that time, right, Chris? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yep. So interesting. All right. So, ladies, we're gonna get your last thoughts on the sh um on the topic about body count. Sure. So you're saying that men don't really have a lot of sex with a lot of different women and i've heard it that a lot of guys are asking things like they want to know they want to verify a woman's body count and so is that why in your opinion that you think that men get really emotional when they hear the actual body count of a woman well that's a new age practice because uh, i want to say this just outright a guy with the game doesn't ask her body count that's just like not smart yeah, at all. A dumb question. But if they did that, it shows that they're very inexperienced mm. in itself. Yeah. Um, there's a biological reason why men have such an issue with uh, women that are promiscuous and women that have high body counts. And the reason for that is because before the advent of modern technology, to put it simply, if I had sex with a girl, right, and I couldn't, and we didn't have birth control, excuse me, we didn't have um, paternity tests, I wouldn't know if the kid was mine. Mm. So... The biggest fear for a man is raising a child that he thought was his and he finds out later on isn't his, right? It's like our worst fear. We're investing in resources and time and attention and love and care into offspring that isn't even ours. The only thing men really ask for is don't be a hoe so that I can ensure that the child is mine. That's like the biggest betrayal. So that's why guys have an issue with a girl Facts. that has a high body count because the higher woman's body count the less likely that the child is yours. I mean, I know we have paternity tests now, but you got to remember that in our animal brain, we didn't have all these modern conventions that we have now, right? I mean, think about it. Women still want a guy that's strong, tall, charismatic, charming, right? But you have police. You have entertainment. You have uh, protection. You can buy your own gun. Why do you need a tall, strong guy? But it's hardwired in your brain. You still want that. Mm -hmm. Even though we have modern conventions that solve that problem, you still mm -hmm. want these traits in your partner. Same thing with men. Even though we have paternity tests, we still want a girl that's not a hoe. But isn't that a mating uh, ideal uh, ideologue? <clears throat> it's a reproductive strategy. Oh, yeah, like you want to mate someone, mate with someone that is protective, is smart, is 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 brilliant, that can bring an offspring. Yeah, but men don't. Re so that's from the female perspective. But you the male so? perspective, it's absolutely true. I mean, uh, they've actually done studies on this. They found that the higher a woman's IQ, the less likely that she'll be married. And for every yeah, IQ, I've read that. I've heard about yeah, that. Yeah, like for every for every IQ point that a man goes up, his likelihood of being married goes up. Uh, for every uh, IQ point that a woman goes up, the likelihood of her being married goes down. So what does that tell you? That tells you that men don't screen for intelligence or competence or confidence or ambition. Men don't screen for these things because men don't look for survival value. Women look for survival value. So it's very important that you're with a competent partner. With us, we look for replication value and making sure that the kid is ours. So we're looking for a young, fertile woman that isn't a whore. So why do you a lot of basketball players or NBA players date a certain archetype of women. You mean I, feel, Zion I feel like Williamson. I'm not Her naming daddy. anybody, <laughs> but what I'm saying is they they date a certain type of woman, and they're usually tall. You know, and we're not going to go to so the maybe other we part, never so, heard of them you, before. Can you specify what what um, demographic you're because uh, there's a lot of NBA players that date women that are might might not match that demographic. So can you specify what do you mean? Um, you know, like the black players, they're dating white, tall, blonde women mm -hmm. uh, that look like, I don't know, they could be on OnlyFans or something like that. But I think it, why, why do they date these women? You know, youth, like youth and beauty are the most important things to men and to age a lot of the times ties into that. But you don't think they're breeding to make they, other they new, more basketball players? They are, for sure. I think they're breeding. They call them breeders, actually. Yeah, that's when what they I... see a, like a tall, like pretty woman, especially like yeah, but a lot that, of them like that the only blonde. that only proves my point that men are looking yeah. for replication. They value. call them breeders. Yeah. I mean, I've heard like the term. like men men have a very uh, uh, you know, high interest in a woman's uh, sexual appeal for, you know, for replication value. What? Are you confused about something? What? Oh, no. I Everyone, think I wasn't I was, just talking in my mic. No. 
Oh, but what were you saying? I think basketball player or not, a man is trying to find a woman that's beautiful. That's what I think because it's like a yeah. family line. It's like a, it's like a, an inheritance. Like you want your kids to grow up and be athletes. You know, like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. <laughs> Once you're, if you're an NBA player, right, and you're really attractive and you got a bunch of girls coming after you, then you can afford to be a bit more selective and go into the weeds and say, I want a girl that's, I'm 6'10", I want a girl that's six foot. Cool. But most guys don't have that same level of ability to be that selective. So most guys will just take what they can get. So how many, so you're saying that they're taking what they can get? Most guys will take what they can get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So at a, at, at, when you're an NBA player, top 1.001%, yeah, you can afford to say, I only want to date a Swedish model that's six foot tall, that's super attractive. But what you don't see is that he's also going to go ahead and bang a girl that's five foot two. He's also going to have a mistress that's five foot five. Right. He's going to have another girl that's, you know, five seven. Four foot eight. Maybe, if he wants some strange. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> so, if he like, wants something better. Um, She's back so, on. men, you got to understand that, like, men's <laughs> attraction standards are not nearly as rigid as a female's. Our thing is, like, yo, is she hot? Not a whore? Okay, cool, I'll commit to her. But that's I mean, why men have such an issue with body count. Controversial question. So, why do yeah. they pick Kardashians? Uh, who are you speaking it's about? It's a status thing, though. <laughs> yeah. uh, just the family. It's, it's a status general. thing. I'm, I don't That's what it really any... is. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, just status. Guess so are, you, are you referring to like maybe birthday? a Kanye West or something, or who are you referring Tristan to? Tristan Thompson. Specific? There's there's basketball players that they've dated. I mean, I Chris think Humphreys, a couple of them have Tristan dated Thompson. basketball players. So it's, it's just status. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but most but they guys... didn't have status before, right? Hmm? They didn't have status. I think Kim Kardashian was just like a Brandy's like wardrobe manager or something like that. Yeah, she gained status after the Ray right. J sex tape. Yes. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. I mean, are there? There's always exceptions to the rule. I but mean, in general, she, most guys can, would prefer to not wife up a promiscuous woman because it comes with issues. I mean, look at Logan Paul right now. Image is getting destroyed because he decided to get engaged with a girl that has a very shady past. Look at Will Smith. Jada Pinkett Smith has absolutely tarnished his what reputation. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, it's an embarrassment. I mean, people are not going to remember him. Basically, what she did was she had sex with August, who's like Paul a Cena. teenager, a uh, kid that they, I think, adopted. Um, she had an affair with him, and then she went on the red table and said, oh, we got an entanglement, didn't That's take accountability or whatever. And this is what I tell guys. I mean, controversial takes or whatever, but I tell men in general, you should never commit to a woman that has a promiscuous past. And the reason why is because it will rear its ugly head and absolutely destroy your reputation and your um, tarnish your legacy. And people aren't going to remember Fresh Prince of Bel-Air anymore. They're not going to remember, you know, I Independence Legend. Day, I Am Legend, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. Ali. They're not going to remember Seven Pounds. They're not going to remember any of these movies. They're going to remember him sitting at the edge of a red table crying because his wife decided to bang a 20 year old which is ridiculous so but the tables were turned in their situation usually the man wants a, a younger woman after his woman gets older and he's the one that cheats but the well, impact is different yeah you t you're talking about yeah. like societal constraints right like it's a double standard and, and you also yeah, gotta remember that he had status standard. he was a musician they were there was an emotional bond this is a very different uh, situation and you know obviously she's past her prime she was old at that point she didn't necessarily have the same sexual market pull that she had 20 years prior when she was dealing with someone like a Tupac mm -hmm. so you know and I'll, and I'll put it simply if a woman cheats on her man she's going to tarnish that man's reputation he loses social value for that but if a man cheats on his woman she's not necessarily going to lose social value if anything I would argue she would gain social value and, uh, and and credibility by sticking by her man look at Kobe Bryant's wife Vanessa Bryant no one remembers no one cares that he cheated on her with some other girl they just know that she stood by him she did. right she did. and she still has the, she carries the last name and she's respected for that yep. Beyonce She's with Jay-Z still, even after he cheated with her. She. So I would argue that it's in a woman's best interest if you're with a higher status guy. Just stay with him because you're going to gain a better reputation for sticking by him. I know you're some girls might better. try to please stop interrupting me. I understand that, you know, some girls might make fun of you and say, you're stupid. You stay with him. I think you're stupider for leaving. So, I don't know. I it's think women gain status if they're cheated on and they stay versus if a man gets cheated on, it's an embarrassment. Yeah, it just would be harder to want to... It would just, it would be like you would lose respect for that man and lose attraction for but them. But you're not with the high value man because you respect him, honey. 
What? Yes. I mean, you should. You Wait, should. what? You should yes. By default, you should be respect a high value right. man. No, you're, you're you there, there to play you, a role. You're, you're, you're there to be the beautiful wife, to play the role. To, yeah, but so by then default, it's not, then, but it's not just playing it's, games. By default, you respect a man like that. It's not It's not play pretend. By no default, you, end up with you will respect a man who exemplifies and those default, characteristics. default, if he respects you and you get the respect back. <sighs> and if you don't get the respect <laughs> back, then I understand. Understand what you coming from, my love. You just getting disrespectful. Honey, no one understands the what the fuck you're talking about this whole time. We're just oh, gonna really? be real. Because I'm playing with the fake accent, uh, really. What? <laughs> because I'm playing with the fake accent. And you're not Never. the first, and you will not be the last. And it's okay. And I won't be the last to beat your motherfucking eyes. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Okay, so I'm not. Oh, no. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guys, Frank Castle, bro. Frank Castle no, is insane. Yeah, 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 oh right now, bro. Uh, I barely said I'm anything. Sorry. She was triggered by the I'm mother sorry. comment that I made because I'm it was sorry. a fact. I'm she doesn't pussy, res- guys. She doesn't respect her I'm man. Sorry. I'm pussy. And for a reason. Like that's why I'm pussy. I'm just like uh, my fat pussy. Can you, I'm uh, can you um, Yo, just chill out for two seconds? All right, I will chill for two seconds because I have chill and fat accent. Please sit down. All right, yeah. What is happening? All right, just on. just how we letting everybody know hey, you hey, fake pss- pussy hole because I couldn't hey, watch yo, you yo, yo, outside, yo, but yo, you ain't yo, say yo, nothing. Yo, 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 you pussy yo. hole, you pussy hole. Okay, uh, well, I fell in my face. I love that. Okay, um, you need to chill out for two seconds. Uh, I you need will. to really relax. Um, I got you. Fish. Yeah, you need to relax. I'm sorry, I got you fresh. Uh, yeah, His name isn't fresh. I wasn't talking to you, no love. No was I? No love. Just stop talking. Just stop talking for two seconds. I wasn't talking to you. Stop talking. Stop talking. Hey, 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 relax. Um, going back, uh, you were saying something before? On the corner? I don't know. Not you, bitch. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. We were talking to, oh, we're just saying, like, you know, like, if, if your band cheats on you, yeah. you do lose respect for him, too. It, it, it goes both ways, I think. Hey, you need to fucking chill out. Look, hey, 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 you need to stop with the, with the, like, antics. stop. Stop with the antics. You need to relax. Okay. <laughs> sit up, um, please. Sit up. Yeah, sit up. Put your mic in front of you. Stop staring at girls in the panel and look. I'm looking to... at who she, who was talking. Yeah, I, I, get, I, I understand that, but you, you get. Don't try to intimidate the girls on the panel, please. You Be can. respectful. Like I'm short. sorry, they pussy. All right, yeah. I'll okay. stop. I'll you need stop. To, you need to stop. All right, you need I'll to stop. relax. Four, four, five. You need I mean, to relax. Yeah, sorry, scared you. Okay. Um, are, we, are we good? So anyway, um, you're talking. They want talking. Me to... Yeah. So you can go ahead. Sorry, you were saying. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. You know, like you think a guy, the woman, will lose respect for her guy for cheating? Yeah, absolutely. Or try, even if she doesn't lose like a lot of respect, she'll lose a little bit of respect and probably some attraction. I, I, I like that you mentioned that because <laughs> girls like a guy that can cheat on them. Uh, girls because, like a guy what? that can cheat on them. Who said absolutely. that? <laughs> cheat on her? <laughs> they you like just, to be you, done. You just admitted it just now. What well, it's yeah, n- natural did. selection, right? If a woman sees that her like man is, is attracted to by lots of other women, it makes her more attractive. But that being said, psychologically and like so far as the relationship, like yeah. unless I had pre-established with my man that our relationship was going to be like that, I would feel like hurt and betrayed, and that would affect our but relationship. When did I say not, that? When not, did I agree with that? No, no, no just, I'm just like saying it's not, it's not so they much like to be dumb. What? what what the fuck Hold on. dude no. all right, we're going to kill all the other streams right now we're just going to be on youtube and rumble probably have to switch to rumble here yeah rumble <laughs> uh but um sorry she made me lose my thought i'm yeah, sorry yeah continue Jesus on Christ. uh amy you were she not, she literally uh, completely made me lose my thought i'm sorry i just don't know when i agreed with him on that that we like men that cheat on us uh, oh no so yo. oh go ahead yeah please explain it so so basically so it's not necessarily that we like men who cheat on us but when it comes to natural selection women naturally like a man who has other women who are attracted to him, that is a signifier, like a very strong indication that this is a good man. Other women want him, a right? Like from, from our m- m- mammalian Incredible. brain, when he was talking about like back in the day, you know, and that stuff still affects our brain structure the way that we think. Now, would we say that, w- would it hurt us? If the, it's not pre-established in the relationship that it's open or he can, you know, see other people on the side and it comes as a surprise, it's going to hurt. It's going to impact the relationship. Yes. But would it make you less attracted to him? No, it's probably actually going to do the opposite from a psychological perspective. And that's I why mean, they it, like it could. dumb women. And that's why they like the the dumber women. I mean, if you have a higher intellect, then you're not going to hang around. We're not that. talking okay. about intellect. Okay, no, no. Uh, this is very good. 
So if you're smarter, you can leave, right? Yeah. And you're not do doing what? it. You'll find somebody else. And what are they going to do? Cheat too, right? <laughs> so who's smarter? Staying or leaving? It depends on what the dynamics of the relationship are. Are we talking about high-value men? Are we talking about blue-collar men? The guy that you want that's going to be superior to you, smarter than you, taller than you, more more good-looking in some sense, he's going to cheat, right? Eventually. You want him to make you feel special. Like, that. yeah, that man is is desired by other women, but he chose you, and he wants to be with you, and he's being loyal to you. Yes. That makes you feel special, and it's, But just tell me how you liked him, other women do. And if you work yeah. that hard to get to that point, just just saying, he might want to indulge in that because once again, it, t- it took so long to get to that point. So we're just saying, is it smarter or dumber to leave? I mean, I don't. I you wouldn't know the 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 goals of the woman, right? Like, if she wants a man, then you need to understand what that looks like for you. Is it is he a good man outside of the cheating? What is cheating compiled of? Is he giving love to someone else or he's bringing uh, sexual, sexually transmitted diseases home to you? Like, what is cheating to you? I think that that has to be defined first. Yeah, so I think fair. these partners should discuss together what their standards are from the very beginning. But does that happen? No. I'm just saying if the man's taking care of you, he's actually there for you and he's going to be your ideal man. Why Leave to find somebody that's going to do the same thing to you, which is going to cheat. Why leave? And you, Some and people are serial monogamous, so I don't agree as, with that all men cheat. There's no, such but the majority do. But as a, so you're, okay, for a small you're wearing number. a cross, I'm you not must, hoping for you must anything. be religious, right? And and <laughs> yeah, and, I'm a man of God. Okay, so and I'm not religious, but still. <laughs> <laughs> but that face, I, I still believe those vows that you take if you marry somebody that you're not supposed to cheat, man or woman. <laughs> Wait, that's not true. The vows of marriage. Yeah. That's, what do they say in there? Women obey. Your I don't know, husband. but I think there's something about fidelity. <laughs> yeah. A key component is till death do us part. What do women do? Leave randomly. I don't agree with that either. But once again, no one follows the rules anyway. I so think, I'm just yeah. saying, generally speaking, but we the man that you meet is probably going to cheat. But we don't. And women overwhelmingly initiate most of the divorce and breakups. Mm. So, but yeah, not all men. Like, look at like you said. Well, Jade is the one that cheated in their marriage, right? She didn't yeah. accuse him of cheating, so it was on her. Uh, he definitely did. He cheated. That's why she <laughs> said she times. cheated. Oh, okay. So, but, but it's not I the mean... same. When a woman cheats, it's it's unacceptable. Men and women are not the same. We're not equal, right? So, we don't have the same standards on infidelity. Like when a woman cheats, it's betrayal at the highest level because men really don't ask for much from women. If you really think about it, be hot, don't be a pain in the ass, don't be a whore. Men, <sighs> on the other hand, what do they want from us? Be a leader. Be strong lead me be have confidence have ambition women have way more for men so if a man actually checks all these boxes and he requests very little of you and you fuck up in one of the few things he requests that's a big treacher that's no treacherous. i agree with that if a man is like taking care of you and he goes to work and you just you get to not that like being home with kids is is a full-time job it's exhausting but and if you're not giving him what he needs like sexually then yeah I, but you're never going to satisfy guys sexually by yourself anyway that's oh. true. Even even with your sex. I know well, that's not. why they go online. Your industry proves I that. Do not hold on, hold on, agree. stop, stop. Like <laughs> if you look at the top websites, right? They're all, you know, adult websites. <laughs> why is that? Why because men's thirst for sexual variety is almost insatiable. You ladies need rather to rather do it online than in person. Can you please stop interrupting. Or is rather, it? I would rather my man go online than go out and find but how but how is that different than him actually enacting on it physically it's the same thing if a dude is looking at it's still cheating it still feels like cheating it's still hurtful yeah but it's more tolerable i guess it's more tolerable but what i'm trying to say is that if men are predisposed right to look at other women and they want quantity and they have an insatiable sexual thirst the only thing really holding them back is their capability of actually enacting on it so what i'm telling you is the higher value the man the easier it is for him to enact on it. So, or he has such high value that he's actually loyal. So, <laughs> All right. Um, are we going to live in reality here or are we going to live in a dream world? Well, some men are loyal. Well, that's not to say there's no disciplined men, but it's it's a lot of that's going to come back to religious practices, right? And religious disciplines, no, usually. I, I mean, moralistically, I, I find it really difficult to believe that without a true religious um, influence that you can have very, very extremely strong moral like uh, implications in those types of situations. Actually, like, some of the most moral people I know are not religious and some of them are atheists. I'm not myself. Mm-hmm. an atheist but like let me, I don't let me ask you a question do you think men go through the trials and tribulations to earn status acquire money get in the gym etc to have sex with one woman 
Um, Knowing that our biological hardwiring predisposes us to have sex with as many women as we can, realistically speaking. In your younger years, yeah, that's probably a goal, but that that fades out with time. Hugh Hefner. Not really. Has sex until he died. And this is what I mean when I say women truly don't. This is what I mean when I say that women (laughs) in general really don't understand men. Like, if you really understood men, you would know when a man really busts his ass and creates a legacy, a name, etc. He's going to want to enjoy the fruits of his labor. And unfortunately, a lot of times for you guys, that's other women. Because, I mean. But those are a different type of man than, like, the average guy. Like, I'm The average guy wants to smash girls, too. I know, but they don't have. They 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 can't do it. They, if he could, he would do it. Yeah, yeah. So what do they do? They but come, they could they, and they don't. Why do some of them not do it? Because they, they want could? to, but they can't. You know, because they the, have morals. No, and it's not always because of religion. Uh, look, man, you, you got to live in reality here. Your entire industry is propped up by male horniness. You need to accept the reality. I know, that but like I've also had my share of relationships, and I've ha- been with guys who are loyal. And I'm not saying it's religiously implicated 100 percent of the time. I do know. How would you know? How would you know? So every guy is... No, no, no. Honestly, I'm wait. a freaking FBI agent. How, how does every woman know? How does every woman find out when they cheat? Okay, so you let me ask out. you this then. Hold on, hold on. Those guys, the the guys that you were with that were loyal to you, etc. Where do they all. know? I don't fucking know. <laughs> what, 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 did, you bre- did you break up those relationships? Uh, or yes. did they break up with you? I One person broke up with me. The okay. rest, mostly, I did... So where, why didn't the loyalty save the relationship there? Loyalty? You said those guys were loyal to you and you still broke up with them. Do you want me to really go into their issues? <laughs> Men have a lot of issues these days. I I mean, I'm telling you. like. Must have frustrated. When the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, bitch! <laughs> There's Sorry, so many different fresh. reasons a relationship won't work out. You know what I mean? There's so many different reasons a person, people break up with each other. And it's not always because of infidelity. It has been. There's been like one of those situations, but the other ones were just so being different loyal values. Doesn't have that much bearing, then I guess. Hmm? Being loyal doesn't have that much bearing, I guess. It does once you're with the right person. Okay, let yeah. me just be brutally honest here. Go to Rumble. I'm just gonna say this shit because <laughs> I, we're just go to Rumble, guys. Switch. We're gonna switch over to Rumble. Rumble.com. Come on, guys. Special, I'm, gonna I'm be very sorry. Honest about what this. is Rumble? You can see right now. Just it's like quiet. a YouTube without. Yeah, without filters. censorship. Um, yes. Come on over, guys. Come on over, guys, to Rumble. Rumble.com slash Rumble fresh locals fit. and... Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Are we... Uh, let me know when we're on Rumble, because I'll just keep no it a thousand here. <laughs> All right, we're good? We're good? All right, cool. We're on Rumble. Um, All right. So, what I've noticed is that women will say they want something, but when they actually get it, they respond negatively to it. I want a nice guy that's going to give me flowers. I want a nice guy that's going to treat me like a princess. And you get that guy... And then you treat him like shit. You fucking, maybe you cheat on him, or maybe you find another guy that doesn't give you everything you want. What I've realized is that women don't know what the fuck they want in general. They really don't. So, as a man, you gotta know what women want and what they respond to. What they say that they want and what they respond to favorably are two different things. Women say they want nice guys, but when they meet a nice guy, they don't. They tell them, oh, sorry, I didn't feel a spark. So, <laughs> with all due respect, I don't listen to what women say they want because y'all don't know what the fuck you guys want. You don't even know what you wanna eat. So, <laughs> when you say you want a loyal man, What you're really saying is you want a guy that has the capability to have sex with a bunch of women but still chooses you. And I'm telling you that that's not realistic. Because if a man has the capability of having sex with a bunch of women, he's not going to just have sex with you. He's going to enact on the ability to have sex with those other women because men are predisposed genetically to have sex with as many women as they can. That's what we're designed to do. That's what we want to do. And that's why your industry of pornography exists in the first place. It literally monetizes on men's insatiable thirst for variety in women. There's a reason why pornography is a billion dollar industry and men are the predominant consumers of it and not women. Okay, but... Maybe that's the majority of men, but it's not every man. It's a staggering majority of men, and if you go ahead and you go into the men that you actually find attractive that are tall, money, status, etc. But what if you don't care about that status so much? Because I don't, I mean, maybe I'm different than a lot of women that want shiny things and all that. Well, you're older. No, I, I'm just a, attra- I, I have dated wealthy businessmen and stuff like that. I've dated wealthy guys, but... Like a guy comes in with like a tool belt, like that's hot to me. Like a, yeah. Life is an OnlyFans scene. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, like I just feel like women I like don't understand guys. men. Like, and... Why? You know why does they have to have status and wealth and oh my god, like you can live a humble, okay. happy. So he can make less than you then. Hmm? Can he make less than you? Can he make less? Can the guy than make me? less than you? Yeah. The blue, the blue collar guy. Yeah. 
Nope. You're going to take care of him? I, I never said I'm going to take care of him. No, because you said before how how didn't work for you. So huh? you're going to... No, remember. no a, a blue, collar, blue collar jobs can pay pretty well. Yeah, but what if... I was supported curious, on a blue collar salary. What if he doesn't, though? Salary. What, if you, you, what if you make more than him? Is that okay. viable, too? Well, at, at my age, if they make... Less than you? It depends what I'm making. If I'm making OnlyFans money, I mean, I don't expect them to make that kind of money. If they're doing... If they're... Like... If they're a blue collar, what's the bare minimum income? Just give it to us. What's the bare minimum income a guy's got to make for you? Um, in Florida. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I was in California for a while. It's different. Um, I would say probably like seventy five. Yeah. Yeah, that's a minority of men in Florida. Yeah, is that is that a lot here? Yeah, it's above average. Well above average. Yeah. Oh, I mean, mm -hmm. I don't really know, but. So status does matter. I don't know that. That to me, I thought is pretty like. Average. See, so you thought. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 60? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. No, I, guess I, I, I mean, it, it, look, you say these things, but again, like I said before, women really don't know what they want. They really don't. In, in I general. think we just need to go with what we feel. Well, that's a problem. What you feel? Merch. Yeah. If there's because, a chemistry on, 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 and attraction, just that, go that's, with that's, it. That's, that's not good because women's feelings change every single day based yep. on their period, yep. uh, based on uh, external uh, re uh, situations, how their friends are talking to them. Like women are emotionally. That, that's why I don't think women should be in leadership roles at all. And I don't think women should ever be in positions of power because women are dictated by their emotions and emotions change and fluctuate all the time. But not once you not once you're really into somebody, they don't just change. and You're like, oh, I don't like them anymore. I mean, I mean that's not my case. Can. Yeah, that's that's fine. I guess that you're saying that your emotions, but they. they yeah, we get moody. That's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Like that's a problem. Like the thing and is, and that's is that why women wh need older men so that they don't have to do that much thinking. I mean, W. That, I mean, you're still gonna be moody, <laughs> even with your older man. You're gonna be moody with. Okay, so when you're moody and your guy lets you do that and you walk all over him with that mood, like ultimately, how do you feel about him and what's your respect level for him after no, that? At the end I, of the I'm day, I'm not that kind of person. That's no, just but, but, me. But, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's why, again, having that leadership position mm -hmm. and somebody in that role can be really, really beneficial. Yeah. Like I feel like a lot of women really kind of they don't only appreciate it, but they respect it. Like it's kind of hot mm -hmm. when a guy's able to do that. Ladies, like, it is tiring being masculine and being independent. It's tiring. I'm sorry oh. to say this. You know this too, because once again, if you could just sit down and say, you know what, my man's gonna take care of the bills, he's taking care of me. I can just have fun and enjoy life. You're happier versus stressing. Absolutely. But 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 again, do you know what that man wants from you? What does he want? You tell no, me. No, no, you know everything. So tell me. Peace oh. and love. I, I would think that they would want yeah, like a clean house, food ready on the table. Maybe I mean stress free life. Just like they want to come home and their bills are paid and taken care of, and the mm -hmm. kids are are well taken care of, and they want their wife to be nice to them. And he may also and give want them some appreciation. Some strange on the side, every huh? now and then. Like, yeah, but just, do they really? All yeah, men they do. Want it's that? like eating you know steak right? every day for I'm just the rest saying, of your life. Men, you want something the, different for sure. I would, I would say <laughs> most men that are in that category want every now and then. But they don't different. do it. You know why? Some, maybe not all. Some don't is because they know that it's going to change the dynamic and the mood in their household. Their wife is they don't, not going to feel in front of you. happy about it. They'll do it behind your back. I find it incredible that you're in the porn industry and you don't understand yeah. that men literally want quantity and different women all the no, time. I'm not saying they don't want it. I'm saying that a lot of them will just go online and watch stuff online. They won't go out but and that try does to not have an negate affair. The fact that they still want to have other women. It's just that their capability of doing so might be hindered because they might not be attractive enough to do it, but they still want to do it. Or they just don't want to fuck with their relationship like that. If they could pay you for sex, they would do it. Guarantee. They. There, there's only some. That's and not I guarantee all you, men. Of, a lot of them are married, too. Whoa. That's so just... basically the principle here is you're saying <laughs> regardless, all men cheat. I'm not saying all, not all, but a staggering majority. If they and, can, they all will. And it? and if not, almost all of the higher status men are having want to have sex with multiple women. You're mm -hmm. better off pissing your bet that the man's probably going to cheat. So yeah. why not? So why so say if, the opposite? If, if you told your man, hey, like, I want to bring another girl in. And he said, no. What kind of man is that? 
Like he I don't want to want to fuck what? another girl in front of you. Front of you I don't want to do that because I don't. I don't. He I've seen do you. open he just relationships do it with you. like Having that. Having a threesome with your main girl is a fucking problem. It's a L, yeah. It's going to lead to a lot of issues. Most guys that are smart understand this and they don't do it. Yep. Oh, okay, well that's emotional. the same reason why they're not going to go have an affair where they're no, probably going to get true. caught in front of you. That's not true. That's not true. I mean, it's it's like ideology, ideologically going to have like rice and beans every day for thirty years every day of your life for <laughs> breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Do you want to eat the same meal every day? Do you want to eat the same? So then go out to eat. That's what That's they're what doing. doing. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey. Who said that? Hey. But not oh, all the men we who can't cheat. Do cheat. That's so, what, so That's now what I'm that saying. you're going out with your guy and he knows what you're doing, are you telling the truth or are you guys telling the lie, though? That's the question. What? 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 Going since out with your guy? guy? Since your guy or person or woman knows what you're doing and since what you're doing out at the moment or whatever, does your person or woman know what you're doing out or not? Okay, look. <laughs> Have you are, you being sneaky or not? Okay. are you being sneaky or not? Then summary. Apparently are you being the men sneaky are being sneaky because well, they not, don't want their woman to find out. But it's not really being sneaky. So what they're actually saying is... The man doesn't want to eat your steak every day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or your cheesecake every day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But if he tells you, then you're going to be butthurt. You're going to feel like you're not good enough. You're going to feel like you're going to you. make it a you problem as opposed to yeah. I don't want to eat this shit every day. I'm, I agree with all of you 100%. That's well said, by the way. But not all men who can are doing that what they're saying is they don't tell you yeah yeah i'm, I'm not saying, even talking about me look, i'm just look, talking look. about if, if 95 percent of men are going to cheat can you make an argument for the five percent maybe but in general most are going to cheat if given opportunity mm -hmm. you're making an argument for a small but you're saying it right portion there. of men you're saying it right there if given the opportunity Ooh, if given and they'll create the opportunity a lot of the times if they will create like yo, know, ladies <laughs> i mean with all due respect do you guys really think you're that special a lot of the times we are this women is, uh, please stop be quiet for two seconds <laughs> i think a big reason why a lot of you guys don't want to accept this cold hard reality is because <laughs> women since the time you're a little girl you're told you're special you deserve the world you're a princess you can do no wrong etc we never tell women the truth about the world a lot of the times mm -hmm. we coddle them from the truth of the world because we don't want to tarnish their innocence or their image but the reality is a lot of you guys offer the same thing that the girl next to you offers. Some titties, some ass. That's okay. Maybe but some you pleasant, etc. But that but the point is is that many women offer this. So since many women offer it, you're not as special as you think you are. There's always a younger, hotter girl right there. And if the man has the capability to attract that girl and have sex with her, better yet, without getting caught, he's going to do it most of the time. So if I'm telling you the sky is blue. Right, and it's gonna rain in an hour, and I give you a fucking umbrella, and I tell you take the umbrella, go outside and use it. You the, women, like you guys, are basically telling me, oh well, uh, you know, I might not get hit by the rain, so I don't need the umbrella. Like, stop being a fucking retard. Fuck that. I'm gonna Listen get to hit what by I'm saying. Accept that most men are going to cheat. Find the guy that you're willing to accept the cheating from, and just adhere to reality. Your entire industry is propped up on horny men that want quantity, yet you want to sit here and argue with me and say that men aren't cheating when they're whacking off to you knowing that they got fucking wives at home. Like, accept the reality, man. Like, women are not that special. Men want quantity. Most women offer the same thing that another woman can offer. Men want variety, bro. It is what it is. Like, we need to, like, once you get off your pedestal and you realize that I'm not that special, it's going to make life a lot better. It really is. Wow. It'll help you accept men. Because we're mm -hmm. not that special, but men are willing to admit that shit. But women will never admit that they're not that special. Mm -hmm. I deserve the world. I deserve a guy that makes a million dollars a year, that's six <laughs> foot three, that has a huge dick, abs, ripped, <laughs> other women want him, and I expect them to be monogamous to me. <laughs> Only for me. Only for me. <laughs> you know, you sound like a fucking retard. <laughs> like, it, it makes zero sense. And this is what I mean when I say women literally live, live in delusion world. Mm -hmm. yes. It makes zero sense. It doesn't, it like, what's going on? Like, yeah. I love and, that shit, the, the, the shit biggest, that you're speaking The biggest right color now. of man that and women's well relationships, put, you know what that is? Yes. Expectations. Because once it's off, you expect something that's never going to come true, you're hurt. And that feeling for that person that you have right now, it goes away because, again, you're hurt by what they did to you. But if you expected less, 
You wouldn't be hurt. Rumble chat. Yeah. I um, mean, I'm. Yeah, go ahead. Luckily, I'm not in a relationship because I feel like everyone around me in relationships <laughs> is having problems lately. Bigger. <laughs> a lot of it is. You have no idea, girl. Right. <laughs> but the thing is, is that women have. I think that's what you're saying is yeah. women have an unrealistic expectation of yeah. what a relation, the dynamics of a relationship is. Right? Which is why like, they want to get divorces. Well, no, necessarily. It's like, do you guys think that men were doing this like uh, back when more traditional relationships were very common? I feel like what we're seeing is a. Can I finish? Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so <laughs> what he's saying is that you, you just like you're sitting here, you're saying that you're on porn uh, what what are you doing uh, only fans uh, only fans every day and you have how many people watching you every day oh at a time different they're all men right and uh, no, they probably have but families but they're watching you something. and then they probably have other people that they're watching as well and so the fact that you're okay. sitting here arguing that oh no there's these monogamous people in relationships and they should yes. be and they could be and then by the way there's high value People, men that would dedicate themselves to me, it's just not realistic. Women are emotional beings, and the what? and the dynamic of a relationship is to procreate and and be there for the man. And then what the man wants is to go out there and live his best life and have a decent, you know, not mm -hmm. depends on what type of man you're dating. I mean, it, it depends. But, they yeah. have a, but no, I'm just saying, not all men are going out there cheating all the time on their women. But that's like a percentage that you didn't don't even want. Even, you don't even want to argue. I it's, mean, it is okay. Yeah, it's it's a small percentage. There's also a percentage of men that don't even have a sex drive enough to match their woman. I, mean, I agree with what? that. I I agree with and that. You, you, There's a lot on, of wait, impotence going on right now. Do I want a man who doesn't have a sex drive to match me? Yes. Do you want that? I'm not saying I want that. No. But why are you so speaking are you up? Like, you're yeah. making arguments for... And this, no, I'm saying not all men hold on, hold on, hold on. cheat. That's my I, argument. I hate to bring this back to what I said before, but this is why men in general prefer younger women. Like, yeah. like older women tend to be stuck in their ways. I'm right. You're wrong. Even in the face of fact, etc. And, and, and not to pick on you or anything, but... Mm. A lot of older women will sit there and argue with you about things. And, uh, well, my worldview is this because I forged it through my 30, 40 years of my experiences. But what women don't understand is that your experience is limited to your experience. And I'll be honest, women live life on easy mode a lot of the times. Mm -hmm. So you don't necessarily see the world for how it really is. Men have to see the world for what it really is because men live a much more difficult life than women do. We don't have the same privileges and opportunities and situations given to us by our gender. Mm -hmm. Men have to go out there and get out the mud for real. I'm not saying that you don't didn't mm -hmm. work hard in your life, mm -hmm. but you would not have had the same opportunities and certain things presented to you if you were a male. But in the workforce, it's it's harder for a woman to prove herself. But he's saying because uh, here we go. It, that the Wait, workforce what? is not different. supposed. Here we go. I, I disagree. I think it's actually easier for women to get hired uh, way more for jobs, even if they're less qualified. I know, but once you're in it, once you're in it, like you got the job though. You beat out a male a lot of the times that might have been more competent or a better candidate because you're a female. So you got the job. Now it's on you to prove what the, the stereotype's wrong, but at least you get the opportunity to prove your stereotype's wrong. Yeah, I mean, there's things that don't. come with that. So of quality of opportunity, and like most women are not willing to do what a lot of men are willing to do. Like men can easily do like 70, 80 hour weeks without it like affecting their mental, emotional. For women, that's way harder. Mm -hmm. Like so much yeah. more difficult. So it's, mean, it's, not, right. it's not an equality of outcome thing that's never going to happen, but we do have a quality of opportunity for sure. I mean, yeah, we do have a lot of opportunity. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. again, like I said, men aren't gonna bust their ass to become successful to have sex with one girl. A lot of times, are there guys out there? Sure, but you're making an argument for a minority that's no one cares about. Well, it's a, go ahead. But I mean, yeah, for the girls who are are idealistic and they want to <laughs> believe that they're gonna be in a monogamous relationship one day, yeah, there there are some right. guys out there. Do you want to operate Could... in the ideals or do you want to operate in the reals? Nigga, you single man. Oh, we could do I, 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 I like to operate on the reels, so I have to tell women what it really is. You want a high value man? You want a guy that's tall? You want a guy that has money? You want a guy that's that attractive? Be prepared to share him. What about me? Real quick, I want to ask you guys a question I mean, you if got that's two okay. Kids, man. You're, yeah. You're yeah. But I'm short, though. Yeah. She's young, though. She's <laughs> All right, so 9 11. Um, I guess I'll give a quick little overview, overarching thing. Um, <laughs> as you guys know, we what, covered, ha what happened then? We covered 9 11 um, <laughs> extensively with Ryan. Basically, to you know, summarize, Ryan believes there were three main entities involved Saudi Arabia, Deep State America, 
and um, Israel. Well, Al Qaeda. Okay, Al Qaeda, of course, one. as well. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on the Al Qaeda one. I'm not yeah. going to disagree. I, with I you mean, that, that, that goes no, without saying. Obviously, Al Qaeda as well. But um, that all the parties were involved in making this happen. Uh, I guess I could turn it to to Destiny. I don't know if you disagree with any of those things. And then I'll... I'm basically fully on board because I, I watched that the new Pearl Harbor, which I understand. I don't think Dawson echoes any or very few of the claims on that. But I think after watching that, doing research for that, I'm basically fully on board with the official story right now. So you th- oh, 100%. so you you go with the 2004 official uh, 9/11 Commission? Yeah, correct. That it was only terrorists, no one else involved. Uh, no controlled demolitions. Absolutely not. Um, no, okay. Well, Ryan's not saying there were controlled yeah, demolitions. No, no, he's not saying that either. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I'm saying, so you're, you don't think it was an inside job whatsoever? Absolutely not. Okay. Well, I guess there's a, quite a bit of ground here. Uh, what, so what do you, what do you, uh, Ryan, do you want to? Well, I, I mean, do you know what my 9-11 work is? Um, I, don't you generally claim that there were... Um, I think the two that I've heard from you, this is third hand, so I could be wrong, is that one is that people in our intelligence services, I think the FBI and the CIA probably knew that there were terrorists training here to fly, but they either didn't report it for some reason, I don't know. And then the second one is that um, Israeli intelligence services knew that there was a terrorist attack coming and they knew it with a great deal of specificity, but they didn't say anything because they were hoping that the United States would get pulled into some Middle Eastern conflict. You did say they, they tried to warn. No, Israeli Israel intelligence actually tried to warn. did tell the United States okay. and they didn't act on it. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Mm-hmm. I've watched a ton of your stuff, so I'm, and, and like I don't feel qualified to. to you know, uh, one thing I will say that I really do appreciate is number one, all the Freedom of Information Act things that you did, mm-hmm. all the places that you traveled, and the fact that you don't say words like Illuminati or Rothschilds or any of that shit. Oh you gosh. actually name names. I do appreciate the fact that you called out all these people talking about uh, CGI planes and all this other bullshit. So I do appreciate that. I'm not fully. Co- I don't. I'm not convinced. I'll give that- him credit too, also for not being a flat earther and for thinking that we went to the moon. So. <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> Well, really? That's such Bro, a, such oh a high God, bar. No. Yeah. Are you like, serious? He's, he's like you the same conspiracy because he doesn't believe in. Well, look, like, he probably thinks a... that dinosaurs are real. You know, like we have oh, the basics. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot yeah. of um, overlap between what I call the 9/11 kook movement, the, the airplane deniers, the mini nukes justification, and all that oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, 100 percent of flat earthers people, believe that. Yeah, yeah there's a said. huge overlap between. I'm like, do you think the Earth is round? Yeah, because the people that are saying it's holograms and things like that are usually the ones that are so gaslit or whatever they think. The earth is a pancake or something. And it's unfortunate because it's a very, very serious topic because I don't isolate 9-11 just to that day. There was an anthrax attack. Sure. And they were erroneously associated to Iraq and Saddam Hussein. They they claimed that uh, Mohammed Atta, the lead hijacker in Flight 11, had received anthrax in Prague from senior Iraqi officials. And that just wasn't true. And the anthrax was genetically, physically traced back to labs within the U.S., particularly Dugway and Fort Detrick. And so they used propaganda about 9-11 as war propaganda against Iraq, which had nothing to do with 9-11 at all. And people my age signed up to join the military to fight Saddam Hussein, thinking he had something to do with September 11th. Yeah. Now, you can say other stuff about Saddam Hussein, but sure. he was not guilty of uh, 9-11 whatsoever. And so, you know, a lot of 3,000 Americans died, and you can't talk about this topic without it. It's already a tar baby. Because if I don't use, if someone says, Are you 9 11 truther? I'm like, No, because that label's been so bastardized. Yeah, like Alex Jonesified that you're like, Oh, yeah, Larry Silverstein, Ted Pullet, blah, blah, blah. You've all heard the kook stuff a million times. Mm. And so I can't even get my foot in the door. To start mentioning, like, I can lay out the evidence so you can think whatever you want, but I go, like, here's the evidence for foreign state involvement with Al Qaeda and or foreknowledge. All right. So, so d- just uh, to stay focused here. So, Destiny, you believe in the official um, story uh, from 2004 uh, with the 9 11 Commission. Ryan, you, I, I know you disagree with the 9 11 Commission significantly. You, uh, even cause some of the people that sat on that board, you said, had um, well, it's, ulterior motives. It's a lie. It, what you have to realize the 9 11 Commission is wasn't the only investigation in 9-11. The Senate did one, the JAS report, which was much more in-depth than the 9-11 Commission. The 9-11 Commission had all this fanfare. It was like theater almost. Look at this. And uh, yeah, Lee Hamilton, who was also part of the Tower Commission for her, Iran-Contra, uh, his partner in that was Dick Cheney. There's a little bit that would be room for bias there. But the JAS report, did uncover the fact that uh, money from the Saudi state was sent through intermediaries 
to at least two of the hijackers, Nabi Falhazmi and Khalid al Midhar. And that was left redacted for a long time, 28 yeah. consecutive pages, which was now yeah, unredacted. Yeah, do, do, I don't know do, if that's even like that important. Like, my understanding is that, um, my understanding is that Saudi Arabia funds a lot of bad stuff in the Middle East, arguably. A lot of Sunni extremisms, a lot of Sunni, um, j- Jeff, oof, there's a name for what jihad? I said. Jihad? No, no, not Jihad. Salafist. Uh, it might have been that one. Tech theories. Um, but the... Um, Fatwa? The, the idea that, like, some people in that were part of the original group of hijackers might have gotten money that came eventually from Saudi Arabia, it wouldn't surprise me if, ev- like, if 100% of every group operating in the Middle East at some point is tied back to some kind of money coming from Saudi Arabia. That would that actually wouldn't surprise it's me. It's like Facebook. So you're saying it might be a coincidence that is, is Saudi I'm saying Arabia... That I think it would be really compelling if you could show that somebody with knowledge of the attacks happening in Saudi Arabia was specifically funding them with the intent to cause. That would be really compelling. And, and to me. not funding other people. I think that would yeah. also be... It's almost like Facebook gives money to the Democrats and the Republicans, and so you're only going to remember one yeah, side. Yeah, but wouldn't it be a little strange that it's Saudi Arabian intelligence so, that's doing so, this? Because so that's, thing. I think... I mean, Ryan... Well, it's more specific than that because... These men, the CIA. You said it was the wife of someone who was sending the money. It was, was that oh, it? the that particular money trail I brought we need to get up? Energy was, drink for Ryan, man. Yeah. I, no, I'm 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 sorry. Wait, like I had a 22 hour flight and then like a four hour drive down here. So, yeah, I'll try and I'll try and ganky up or whatever. But yeah, they, you know, yeah, uh, Bandar Bush's wife sent it to Muid Nalket, who was the wife of Omar Bayumi, who mm-hmm. gave it to Osama Basnan, who gave it to the hijackers. They also rented a house for them, lived with them, logistical support, financial support. But the details, as you're right, Saudi Arabia finances terrorists all over North Africa. Yes, they, that was they my point. Finance, yeah, they do do that. And the U.S. is aware of a lot of that, and some of them are on the look-away list. Can, can, but go ahead. The, the, the specifics, these guys stayed with KSM at an Al Qaeda summit meeting in Malaysia that we know that they knew about from WikiLeaks and from Operation Encore, as well as uh, Private Manning. So cooperated several times. They spent the night with KSM, whose nephew was Ramzi Youssef that attacked the World Trade Center in 1993. So the, the Al Qaeda operatives meeting with the head, I mean, that's really above, that's the same level as Osama bin Laden. They knew they're in the US, used the real names, fast track program out of Jeddah, uh, knew they were going to flight schools. Yeah. And the FBI was also warned, because you had to put all this stuff together. There was an Iranian uh, operative who spied on Afghanistan mm-hmm. who tells the FBI that they're already in the United States, that they're going to use airplanes, that these are the targets. It's not, Mike Figueli and others and translators, they squash this. It's not shared. The CIA doesn't share its information about the Al-Qaeda members that were meeting with KSM with the FBI. They say until August. Uh, I would argue they never told them, but it's not sure the FBI would have sprung into the action anyway. And this well, is something if you could explain, because this is the compelling part is why so there, do you think information wasn't so shared? I think to play devil's advocate, I think a lot of these three letter agencies are very competitive with yes. each other. And, I, and I, as petty as that sounds, and you, I mean, you're DHS, that's like true. you would say yeah, like, why wouldn't you do this? They're going to attack America, but yeah. they want to be the one to get the guy. But isn't that negligence instead of nefariousness? It, it's negligence then. I mean, so what? So like, well, that's, that's a, a, so what is a, that's a, like, that's that's a, a night and day. There's a Either, night and day difference between like if it's, my child if got it's sick because I. Yeah, I don't. I will. I will give you the case of why I think it's more than. Well, but, I, 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 just, I just want to give you an example. Uh, can you keep up with all the names he's been naming? He, you've had him on here four times. Yeah. If we asked you to re- recite all the names that he's told you before, could you recite them? Not all, but okay. Majority, but I can but, go very slowly. Like no, no, it's not, it's not about going slowly. I want you to consider a uh, a federal agent who's underpaid and overworked, who makes fifty thousand dollars a year back then, who has a wife at home, and instead of one whiteboard with a couple of guys who went to flight school, there's. 50 whiteboards and I have to if you could show me that there was this was the only intelligence that they had and they deliberately tried to not look at it they'd be fine but like there's just too many threat assessments and there's too many people and we're, the, and yeah. we're white Americans generally right yeah. like these names are not like oh it's Jake Tapper it's Dave Smith it's like Muhammad al and it's like you're fucking I don't know yeah, that, that's my only point yeah. is that like yeah. could you see listen, negligence happening in I, that case I can I can absolutely I'm not married to the site but it's not just hinge on that one example I gave so it's yeah. like it's a holistic thing and I, I was kind of agnostic on this for a long time. I like, it is the government. I mean, it could be, they could fuck it up. Absolutely could be incompetence. Had no clue it was coming. Should have. So here's all these warnings. Here's all these clear red flags. But it is the government. 
And it, you'd be amazed at how it's not run the way the TV shows show us with CSI totally and agree. Law and & Order, and they're going through and forensic evidence and got the DNA, and, oh, I found his reflection in this picture. Zoom in here. It's, you know, most policing is just road pirates, and they give speeding and parking tickets. And a lot of the intelligence the U.S. lacks linguistics, and they rely heavily on the Saudis and the Israelis because we don't have enough Arab speakers. We don't have enough Farsi speakers. And so it's very easy for foreign operatives to hide information mm. or uh, translators that didn't allow, give you an example. Like there was a blueprints of high rise buildings sent to Baluchistan by a carrier. And when you translate stuff, there's like the verbatim and there's the summary. Now, real estate in New York d didn't mean anything until after 9 11. After 9-11, you want to go back and say, shouldn't we get the verbatim of this transcript? Because they're talking about high rises in New York and it was sent by a courier. So you don't want any electronic intercepts and stuff. This would be something we need to relook at. But they didn't want the embarrassment of that field office making that mistake, right? Nobody wants to own up to any of the incompetence. And so there's a lot of room to show it could be a series of negligence screw ups on all these different departments right. is absolutely possible um but some of the other things makes me lean more towards and nah, it's not just incompetence incompetence is kind of the plausible deniability i feel like yeah okay so i think that the central claim for there to be a conspiracy because conspiracy means a plan by several people it can't just be negligence. There has to be something that rises to the level of conspiracy. Now, if we want to claim that it was conspiracy disguised as negligence, I feel like at that point, our theory becomes even more difficult to defend because now we're talking about interdepartmental people that we all, we already agree that they don't like working with each other. By the way, the, the government said that. The government yeah, said that. They, the coordination within um, these departments can be shoddy sometimes. Not everybody in the FBI knows everything that everybody else knows, right? We're talking about now some sort of plan that is roping together different departments and different members in the department to conceal certain information from other, like at that level, the coordination required would just be unfathomable. It would probably be the largest U.S., like past like the Manhattan Project, be one of the largest U.S. like Intel projects of all time, except not against a foreign enemy, but against us domestically, which well, makes not, it more Not if believe. somebody else is intercepting your wiretaps when you're trying to police Al-Qaeda and you have an ally working against you. Mm. Uh, can I, uh, I want to find like just central things that maybe the two of you can, can debate. Cause here's, here's the one question that I had and your belief is that there was Israeli involvement either through negligence or actually aiding the terrorists in, um, you're not, you said you're not married to that idea, but you believe well, that could be they, a possibility. they were celebrating the attacks okay. and they were monitoring Al Qaeda living heard, next door to them. I heard the, the Donald Trump speech where he said there were thousands of people celebrating in New Jersey or something like well, that. Well, Donald that Trump doesn't know how to say anything without going to the nth degree. Okay, Everything's the most, the best, the yeah. number one, huge, whatever. It's fantastic. It's huge. It we're was incredible. just there, there are different reports of people celebrating, but the, the more damning thing is there was a group of guys from that were working for a front company called Urban Moving Systems who were celebrating at Dork Towers. Three guys uh, who got later, the, several witnesses see them there. This woman, Maria Tepton Relly, waits till her husband gets home before she gives a report. But she's the one that got out the binoculars and wrote down the license mm -hmm. tag yeah. and things. And they thought it was weird for somebody to celebrate a plane crash much less two plane crashes. Why would that be funny? Why would you be flicking lighters and hugging? Like, sure. why are you excited that a plane just hit a building? Chalk it up to immaturity or something. You're going to have to start stretching how, but then all of them, they get arrested. All their timelines are different from each other. They're clearly lying their asses off. Sivan Kersberg was caught and witnessed at Doric Towers and prior to 9-11. Yeah, they all have passports to leave the country, $5,000 in cash. Their owner of Urban Movie Systems flees. Paul Kersberg was flagged. It, they left out a redaction. They redacted the Jewish agency, but then in the footnote forgot to redact it. Or someone and, did and you, said, you said you reverse uh, identified one of them that was redacted, but because his name was so long, you were able to figure out. Oh, well, well okay. So there's Paul and Sivan Kersberg are brothers. Mm -hmm. And then there's Yarn Schmel and Oded Elner. And, and uh, Omer Mamari. Is everybody keep, you keeping up with this, Walt? These names? It doesn't matter. Like, few, you, you, hold it, do you see my point? This is kind of my point, but just keep going. Well, I mean, 
names or whatever, but the key points you bring up are very good. No, no, points. I agree. I, I saw I saw that first thing. It was the first one that well, you so guys it, did together. They don't have the names in the my FOIA request sure. at all, but the names are all in the regular police report. So when uh, the Virgin Daily Record had it, the Jewish Daily Forward had it, and I got the police report, and that has all their names and description, mug shots, and so on. And so I did a little Rosetta Stone thing. So when saying the brothers which has to be Paul and Savan. Hmm. So, you know, not those two, right? Uh, and then you can start, it, it's, if it's somebody that's already been mentioned, they don't keep using the last name over and over again. Yeah, got it. And so through a bunch, of, it doesn't matter how I figured this out, but you just going through and seeing the statements and you know what they're wearing and so on. And I know who was driving because that's in the police report. So the driver, go to that's Savan. So you can start to, process of deduction, know which one said what. But even if you didn't, the fact that they're all different from each other mm -hmm. already, it's, it's weird. Everybody knows where they were on 9-11. It's like, oh, we were on the East Side Highway. Or, oh, I didn't get to work until this time. Oh, we didn't go there till 10 o'clock. You're on, you're there at Doric Towers based on the your own photographs from your own camera that was seized from the van. So they know. Now they did change the clock on that by 14 hours. But they were able to tell by seeing a helicopter over the Hudson River and some other things approximately is like 9 or 8.59 or something like that. So, so, so just bottom to line, understand. Bottom so line, just... yeah, let me summarize it. Bottom line, there were a group of Israelis that had ties back to Israeli intelligence that were celebrating when the plane when the planes hit the towers. When the FBI did an investigation and interviewed these people, there were questionable um, references with their timelines that didn't match up. They all gave conflicting stories. Some of them had uh, the CIA re records check show that I think two of them were tied back to the Jewish agency, and then they all had Israeli passports and they were de um, determined to be leaving the and United the States shortly after 9 11. Yeah. Um, and then when they went ahead and did a search warrant at the transfer moving systems, or the, uh, sorry, it's called transfer moving systems. No, there's urban moving, urban systems. moving systems. They did a search warrant over there. When they executed, they found a bunch of computers that didn't necessarily coincide with a moving company in artificial <laughs> sense. And the person yeah. that owned it was a guy named Dominic Souter. Dominic Souter fled the United States shortly Now thereafter. he's officially a suspect to 9 11 on our, by our own FBI. Dominic so Souter was. But, that's the summarized version but of it keep, Israel's But it influence. gets worse, though, because in the they've got a notepad of these other moving companies there's six of them and one of them is classic international movers on um, the moshe movers white glove doesn't matter but the miami field office contacted the newark office saying that classic international movers had given logistical support to a 9-11 hijacker i believe it was omar uh, or um uh, he was in the ATM photo of Muhammad Atta. I got ready to say Omar Bayumi because I'm tired, but it's, it's a similar name. <laughs> Who's well, the guy? Well, let's give a, a Dustin, I'm mean, sorry, um, Destiny. Destiny a chance. That's the summary. Destiny, would you have anything Alomari, to refute Alomari, excuse me, that's his name. Alomari. I guess so, so then the argument is that, do you think that these guys knew about the bombings in advance? It's not bombings. It's the 9-11 the the, the the attacks in advance, the plane crash. Yes, they, they knew the terrorist plot in advance. So, so, so then there's a group of five... Israelis that have ties to the Mossad that knew the 9-11 attacks were going to happen. And then these guys go out onto a roof. Well, in we New don't York know City. that it's Mossad. I, I or, don't... Uh, Israeli intelligence, whoever sure. they are, they're well connected. These guys decide to go onto a roof and have a party knowing everything they know in New York City after the 9-11 attacks. And then that's how we get some key insight that Israel must have been involved beforehand. Like, I know that you present the other story that it's so wacky that this guy had $4,700 in cash and one of these guys fled to Israel. And that is pretty wacky. There's some wacky stuff. But I feel like none of that is remotely as wacky as the idea that these guys all knew this was going to happen. They were like, we should go up and throw a party on the rooftop where anybody can see well, us. Well, that, they weren't. That's people call them rooftop Israelis. But Doric Tower is on a ledge in New Jersey where you can see. So it's just in the parking lot. And it's hidden. There's a these buildings and stuff and like a swimming pool and just like a fence and a parking lot. Have you ever been I, I, like Hoboken, New Jersey? Destiny? Probably. I don't know. So the like, building names, there's but... some, there's some cities in New Jersey where you can clearly see the New York skyline. Sure. Right? But yeah. my understanding is originally that's where they were seen. Yeah. Weren't they filming on the rooftop? Like there's, outside? No, it's no rooftop. It's the, so what it is, is well, uh, maybe it's not a rooftop, but it was an, it was an area that could be seen by other people in the city. No, there, right. It's like donut with the Doric tower. So only people in Doric tower would be able to see them. And people okay. in Doric tower did see them. What, they, wouldn't that be really stupid? Yes, it is. Wouldn't it be uh, crazy if like the largest like espionage act and maybe all of human history was exposed because those guys were doing that? Yeah. Okay. But that's, I mean, that's the thing there. Most people kept their composure and didn't get caught on film and they almost got away with it. If that woman had not called the cops, they 
they, no one would have known. The other people that saw them came forward. Yeah, I saw the van there early. I thought it was weird because it was parked diagonally. It was just facing the World Trade Center. It wasn't even parked. So they weren't, and they weren't moving anyone out of the tower either. Um, highlighted maps of Doric and the World Trade Center is also in the van. None of the timelines match up, but they thought early in the morning, everybody's looking at the towers. Yeah, but these idiots were like high fiving and. It's only three of them, not five. The other two get picked up later. Do you believe these were the individuals that you also said had put truck bombs at the bottom of the towers? I couldn't find anything on that. Oh, no, I couldn't so find anything on that. The evidence on that is... Um, Have you heard this? The truck bombs at the bottom of the I don't tower? think these people had anything. I don't think these are crack Mossad or anything because of the way they screwed up. It's just now they had a party September 10th. These, these people are in their 20s. Right. You're not going to use young people like that. To, but you had um, moving companies had been used to spy on Arab terrorists and the uh, art students. I can explain later, sure, sure. but they um, they they knew what was going down. Something big is going to happen today. They're there. They would plan where to park, where to view. And it, foolishly enough, you know, gave each other high fives and flick lighters that got back and left. People saw them do it. Wouldn't it be the case that like, so in this industry, like two people can know something, four people can know something, but 10 people can't know a secret because if 10 people know a secret, everybody knows it. This is true in the YouTube world and it's true in the stream world. And everybody will tell you if the 9-11 plot had gotten so widely known that these random 20 something year old guys that I think you said not even Mossad and their ties to Israeli intelligence is tenuous at best. If even they knew, wouldn't we have more concrete leaks by now than just them dancing and having a party and high no, each other? I mean, do we have like the occupation of Palestine is not a secret whatsoever and they openly bulldoze down homes and squat in someone's living room. Is it ever on the news? Yeah, Palestine shows up on the news all the time. The Al-Aqsa Mosque is like, yeah, of course. So number one, that is true. Number two, that's different. That's, these are openly warring. I don't like, think like wait, you have a, openly warring factions, if you can a hide an ongoing military occupation and annexation and colonization of people, because that's never explained on TV. Wait, wait, wait. Who's hiding it? Everybody knows about settlements in the West Bank. No, they don't. <laughs> they ought to. Ask around in the United States. They're like, did you know that well, they, wait, they they might not know if they don't know it is because of ignorance, not because of lack of reporting. I think, right? No, like every time Israel has gone in and shot missiles into Syria, it'll be in the written news. It's never on TV. There's never a talking head that said, "Yeah, they well, just." We're, we're getting we're getting lost. I'm not talking about like what an average person that only browses Facebook sees. I'm talking about like how many people and how hidden is a particular thing. Would you agree that like the settlements in the West Bank aren't hidden? That's not hidden. Like right? we're not saying that you can't not... uh, you can't hide the settlements in the West Bank any better than they're hiding it. Like every time they if they go down and smash a few houses today, it's not going to be on TV. If they shoot a missile into Syria. Yeah, Tomorrow, but it's not, it's it's not, not on, TV be on TV because it's so mundane at this point because people know there's a conflict. If Syria there. shot a missile into Israel, it would be on TV. But can we agree that the media is controlled on some level? No. And they don't want to show this? Not like this, no. But I'm saying that there's something fundamentally different between like nobody knowing about the West Bank and nobody knowing about the largest conspiracy theory of all time. No, look, it's you think, I wish I could believe that. But like I said in the beginning with the anthrax, all right, they lied and said... Iraqis gave anthrax to Al Qaeda. They never came back later, clearly, and said, "Yeah, we that wasn't wrong. true." And William Sapphire's report on the chemical weapons under the palace that wasn't true. Uh, the yellow cake uranium from Niger that wasn't true. Like all the different lies they use about weapons of mass destruction, they never came out. They said, "Oh, we didn't lie. We just made a whole bunch of mistakes." I think, no, you lied. And then is your forgery is a good one because that's not something you can blame on a screw up because you have to have someone's signature who was no longer there, obsolete military seals, messed up the dates, and Corban Fire and Michael Ledeen come up with this crap. But it all all the rhetoric about Iraq was on TV, all the propaganda was on TV, all the lies were there. And yeah, but that's also one of the most that's like the worst example because now 
everybody in the world talks about the monumental failure of U the United States government manufacturing reasons to go into Iraq. We all know about the Office of Special Plans. We all know that we didn't find the MDs. I, I we wish, all know I wish they all knew about no, the no, no, OSP. Wait, wait, you're, like, like, you're dancing around that. Like, we, it's, it's a really like, well spoken People thing. know that there weren't WMDs in Iraq because they couldn't go there and say, look, we found them. Here's the WMDs. They don't know the history of uh, the Office of Special Plans. Sure, they might not know, but like I can go on Wikipedia and look it up. It's not a secret. I can go on Google and Google it and find 52 websites that are talking about it. You, right? can, you can Google about the anthrax and know that that didn't happen but either. But I can't but... Google about the 9-11 plan that was so wide open that even random 20-something uh, surveillance people in the United States knew about it and then were caught because they were throwing a party that they planned in advance. That like the level of coordination and the tendrils that must have been flowing to so many different people for these three to five guys to know about this plan, for them to know about it and nobody else to have come out or said anything. Say it to who? To, to, to leak to have another party. I don't know, to leak it to a friend, to tell a wife or a husband, well, to yeah, come people, out and be a whistleblower, to have people. it revealed in some other intelligence, to have it leaked or hacked by Iran that's engaged in cyber terrorism. Iran would have a big incentive to reveal this. Russia would have a big incentive to reveal this. China, um, like so many people would be in, invested in exposing this very real conspiracy that was so widespread. Even these random 20-something-year-olds knew about it. I just can't, that's so hard to believe. Yeah, it is hard to believe, but it's, that's how it was with Iran-Contra. That's how it was with a lot of conspiracies. That's how it was when Israel stole uranium from the United States. I mean, you had an ally steal nuclear material. Hardly anybody knows that happened. Was it really stealing? Yes. Oh, wait, wait, I'm <laughs> talking, you're talking about Los Alamos or you're talking about in 67? No, I'm talking about New Mac and Apollo, Pennsylvania, where they took highly enriched uranium and sent it to Israel. Damn. Okay. Um, do you have anything else? The, like Israel constantly can do almost anything in the United States. I mean, they spied on Donald Trump with stingrays. Oh, no, 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 no. It's like a you, one-day story. You're conflating a lot of different things, okay? For, like, we have to look at where the incentives are and how people would act. Israel stealing nuclear secrets from the United States is not good, but the United States is probably going to feel a lot different about that than Israel being complicit in a terror attack on U.S. citizens. Those I, are two very different things. I am talking about the coverage of it. I mean, if you have a, somebody stole, if anybody else has stolen nuclear material from the United States, it wouldn't stand. That's probably true. But again, I'm saying where the incentives lie, it's it, it's obvious that even if it's a bad thing, why the United States wouldn't attack arguably its like most treasured ally in the Middle East. We can we can understand that without there needing to be a nefarious explanation on the US side. But there's a di and we can understand why Israel would probably want to acquire nukes as well, given how Oh, I get Middle why East. they wanted nukes. I understand. I without getting too deep in that. But I'm saying that for <laughs> Israel to have knowledge and to be basically complicit in a terror attack on U.S. citizens for so many people in intelligence to know that and nobody has leaked a whistleblower. Nobody's known about that. That's impossible. Well, it's not nobody. I mean, they they just classify all the information. I mean, it was hard for me to get the information that I got. It took almost 15 years. Damn. They, they don't. They're not forthcoming with this kind of stuff. We don't, but we wouldn't rely on the government. We would rely on a leaker or a whistleblower or somebody. If some, because you acknowledge this would be the grandest plot in probably all of human history. I, I think, right? I think, well, I think we, 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 we did get on, whistleblowers on. and leakers. Like I was saying with Private Manning, that's how we learned that the CIA did know that they bet KSM. Like they were hiding that until then. Yeah, but we didn't get any nefarious leaks, right? An error in intel probably occurs more than anybody, or maybe you might know about it, but probably more than any of us know there are errors in intel. But that's not nefarious plot and even at the beginning of this you said it might be that maybe the fbi and the cia dropped the ball and they screwed up on some things so your stance is you don't think israel was involved because it would have been too much of a ridiculous task to be able to keep that a secret that they were involved in the worst terrorist attack I, in, it, in it wouldn't history. like just on its face from what i know of 9 11 if somebody were to say that there were some people in the israeli intelligence that might have had an inkling that something was coming and they decided not to share it or whatever I might be able to believe that. But if you're going to tell me that so many people in Israeli intelligence knew that it had gotten to random 20-something-year-olds in the United States, by that point, everybody would know. All of U.S. intelligence and all of Five Eyes would know. Who knows who else in the Middle East would have an idea? There's no way that these yeah, guys would know nobody else would know. And it's just like saying, well, you know, Al-Qaeda did this, 20 guys, and kept it secret. Nobody else knew. A lot of them did know. There was a lot of information that showed that this plot was coming and nothing was done about it. And after the fact, it's like they don't want to embarrass an ally. I mean, Israel has the ability to intercept telecommunications. They were following the hijackers around. They claimed that they did warn the United States and nothing was done about it. There's the Odigo messenger, this Israeli messenger, where people were warned not to go to work in the World Trade Center before and came forward and did tell the authorities, hey, I got messages telling me not to go to the World Trade Center from this Israeli messaging app. It's kind of like AIM back in the day. Oh, the, okay. And so and. And people did say all these things. It didn't matter. They wanted war the rock. 
And where did the bogus intel come out saying they met in Prague? It came from the Israelis. Israeli security forces said they witnessed a transfer of anthrax to Mohammed Atta from senior Iraqi officials. They couldn't have because there was no meeting in Prague. But they lied. And then the notes on said, death to America, death to Israel. And it all gets blamed on Stephen Hatfield for a while, and then Bruce Ivins, and he killed himself or was suicided before there was ever a trial. And no one seems to be interested in saying, well, aren't you mad that the Israelis and Czechs said that they witnessed this meeting when there was no meeting and Al-Qaeda didn't have anthrax and turns out Iraq didn't have it either, but that dovetailed with another lie about mobile weapons labs from Judith Miller, who that's the one making this stuff. And Colin Powell goes to the UN um, and says, well, they're in violation of uh, UN Resolution 1441, stipulates the can of WMDs, and what's he do? He holds up a vial of anthrax. Like, the, the whole case came down to this bogus intel from the Israelis. Now, we all know today that Iraq didn't have WMDs, but you know what people think? They think, oh, they just lied about WMDs because they want to go to Iraq and get the oil. They do not say that the Israelis lied to us about anthrax okay. and da-da-da-da-da. Uh, just a couple things. Uh, first thing is the whole idea of Bradley Manning. You call him Private Manning. I I, I know why. Because uh, now it was, it now, was Bradley Manning when yeah now the leaks were made. Yeah, I was I was in the military when it happened. This, I, reason, I'm, we, this is not my podcast, so I'm no no. You understand? You know, so so just for those of you who don't know, Bradley Manning is now Chelsea Manning and used right. to be Private Manning. Uh, this is a reason why the Cipernet computers in in the skiffs all over uh over, all over our country and our bases yeah. don't have USB ports anymore. Specifically, yeah. But just to keep things focused, do you guys have a disagreement with anything he just said? As far as he listed a bunch of things, yeah, that, coincidences it, as to why there was. Uh, foreign involvement from Israel. This actually is my point. My point was, my point was, it's hard to keep a secret. Bradley Manning is proof of that. Julian Assange is proof of that. Mm -hmm. So that goes kind of towards his point. It's like, once you have, it becomes exponentially harder to keep the secret, the more people there are. Uh, What I would like- I agree. It is hard to keep a secret and it wasn't kept a secret and it doesn't matter. (laughs) It didn't matter about the WMDs either. Lots of people, I was saying they don't have WMDs because if they did, they would provide evidence for it. They never did. I think also, I think there's a big problem where, and this is always, it's really hard to keep up. It's always by my criticism of Ryan is that like, there's like five or 10 different things we get brought up, but all of them are like kind of half true. So like that Israeli messaging app that you brought up. People weren't told not to go into the World Trade Center. There were a couple Israelis, uh, citizens in Tel Aviv that got anonymous messages two hours before the terror attack saying a terror attack would happen somewhere. They didn't even report that to their employer until the terrorist attack in 9-11 actually happened. So yeah. it's not like all these Israeli people got messages on their cell phone saying don't go to work. So that no, was there, completely there are not people true. in New York. Now there are home. other, there might be other, but I'm saying that specific claim you just made is totally not true. I don't know every single I mean, other claim you you've made. but made up a claim you... and, then, and then attacked the straw man. I'm going to we... talk about people in Tel Aviv and talking about people in New York. Yeah, but you mentioned that Israeli messaging app. The two messages that came to the Israeli messaging app, they had an anti-Semitic slur, they were in English, and they were delivered to two men in Tel Aviv. And they didn't even report that message. Uh, that's to a employer. story you just looked up right now on your phone. As opposed to a story <laughs> that you just made up that has no <laughs> source for. I mean, like, the fact about is a that, fact. But... I know you can be upset that I can fact check you, but it's just not true. You just said it's it a lie. It is true. I'm okay. not lying. Wait, can we, can Where would I look it up if I were to look for that story? Hold on. Okay, so, sorry, Ryan, go ahead and rebut back to that. I mean, I think we should just get rid of the damn phones. It's like, it's like <laughs> I'm fine with that. This is, there's yeah. gonna be. I mean, he, has, he look, does have a point. Gonna I mean, he doesn't have a point. Wait, why would you say that? Yeah, I, I mean, if he wants to look anything up about Ukraine, Russia, or whatever, you feel free to. At the I end don't. of the day, we should only be here in service of the facts. If we want to debate our egos. I mean, like we can. No, I don't have. He was memorized like the most conspiracy things. But I mean, like, you spent like 20 years working on this. You should be like an, because I came here from Asia. My phone doesn't work in the United States. Wait, you can use mine. Yeah, you want to yeah. look up? We can. You can look up something. Or you can have a sim. It's just, I mean, but it just becomes a war of googling. Yeah, no, okay. and I like. Wait, why would a war of googling matter if the facts are on your side? Because what? Because like it, it's not anything like I said? you could say. There's a whole bunch of um, apologists for it, like make excuses, and I'm just gonna spend the whole day going. Yep, I've heard that. No, like I know exactly what you're gonna say. Same thing with like the the whole Israeli-Palestine conflict. They go, oh yeah, well we're the only democracy. And, like they have all this Frank Luntz talking points and stuff. And it's like, what I'm saying doesn't hinge on what you think it hinges on. Yeah, and, but well, what it hinges, what it ultimately ends up hinging on is like 15 loosely connected stories that it when you start to look at every single one, it's like, this is probably a coincidence. This is probably bullshit. This is only half true. This didn't happen at all. And now you've like, it, it's like the, it's like the 2007 crisis where you've created like these CDOs out of all these like bullshit investments, but somehow you think it's a really good one because you've got a lot of them together. And I feel like, because like, I guess if we were to ask for, what is the smoking gun for the 9-11 attacks for Israel knowing about them? Like, what is the smoking gun evidence? 
Or is it just like there were guys dancing, there was messages on an app, some guys didn't go into work? Because this is the evidence for the largest conspiracy of all of human history. The biggest one. Not the biggest one. Can well, I? No. Okay, sorry. Can, can I, the second biggest can, one. Ring the bell. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, I wasn't thinking can I try that. To find I, something. Oh, that's the third one. Right? <laughs> no, 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 okay. I'm just trying to make sure that we. So you're saying that there was a messaging app that um, notified people that were in New yeah. York that terrorist attacks were looming. Destiny's disagreeing that's, with that. That's saying just that it like was... extra evidence. Like I said, the the more hard hitting things is our own FBI saying that uh, this moving company with people you know celebrating and they're all israeli and it's front company and their yeah. timelines don't match up when you have people if they were just dancing you could chalk that up to immaturity or something yeah but when you've got five different timelines of them all lying about where they were when the attacks took place yeah. and denying that they were there then it starts getting ah uh, your story's not adding up then when you find out from the fbi saying yeah do you know one of these moving companies actually was, took a hijacker from florida to new york that's pretty bad and yeah, it, it, so it keeps adding well, up. It isn't, it up. It isn't probably, like, well, I guess it's probably not true. It is true. But if I look it up, he's going to get triggered. So I don't want to. <laughs> I showed the FOIA report on his show yeah. in the, highlighter. The FBI, to summarize, absolutely... FBI, FBI Miami had information that one of the hijackers used, utilized the moving service, um, the, the, the same moving service that these guys were caught working for, the dancing Israelis. It was the same moving service. And, and the FBI... And that alone is, is like, that. well... And maybe... I, I saw the 302, the FBI report on that. You it, can feel free to... You can factor. Well, I don't want to... I don't want to upset can, 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 we, can, can we try something <laughs> where the two of them could kind of come together? And uh, it, it was... It was the idea that this was a preemption by Israel to, for us to invade Iraq. Look, I don't. I mean, I don't have a stake in it. Like, this, Israel's guilty of so many things. You don't have to start making stuff up. <laughs> and uh, I'm mad about they lied about Iraq. That alone, mm -hmm. if you think all the 9/11 stuff, whatever. Oh, and I got to answer your question about the truck thing. I sure. about that. All the 9/11 stuff aside, I don't think. I still think the anthrax attack is part of 9-11 because it says death to America, death to Israel, and 9-11 is on the bottom and so on. They straight up lied about that uh, being tied to Saddam Hussein. And we went to war with Iraq, killed probably 100,000 people or more and military occupation for years longer. It was a horrible, horrible foreign policy move. And the Bush administration was hell bent on it and didn't, seem to care they just want an excuse like give me give me some pretext to go in iraq tie it in 9 11 somehow didn't really look at it it's not that they made it up but they're like fabricate stretch cherry pick but, but give us a pretext we want to get rid of saddam but, but could have the could have the bush administration wanted to do it and not necessarily had their arms twisted by jews to make them do oh, it uh, hey i didn't say jews twist their okay, arms. So, okay so the bush did want to go to all right so, so that, my, my point is because this is what i've heard before and i'm just gonna let me go back because listen the office of special plan or the weekly standard for pnac when you go back to like robert kagan and william crystal and stuff yeah they're all jewish neocons but the seed money for that is paid for by Lockheed Martin. Yeah. So, yeah, exactly. So, here, but here's my issue, right? So at the time, let's, we can look at 1990 and 2003. Israel, for a lot of people who haven't seen the map, does not border Iraq. And uh, Israel didn't make, unless I'm wrong here, did not make Saddam Hussein invade Kuwait. When no, we invade, uh, when we evade Iraq. Who did he shoot Scud missiles at in the first Gulf War? Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's been I'm there sorry. for a minute. Oh, sorry, man. Uh, no, he maybe he did, but my he point shot is shot into Israel in right. an attempt to bring Israel into the conflict. Yeah, but my my point is my point is if you want to talk about so it goes back to the thing we're talking about with Ukraine. They don't have they had a huge army in Iraq in 1990, but they didn't have a deployable army. That's why they could out they could out muster Kuwait and possibly at the time invade Saudi Arabia. My whole thing was I, one of the pretexts for us invading. I believed was not necessarily for us to steal the oil, because you pointed out before, we didn't steal the oil, but the idea of one megalomaniac controlling all the oil fields in Iraq and all the oil fields in Saudi Arabia, that would cause massive destabilization. Yeah, it's on the tap. That's a Chomsky argument. Right, but, but that would cause massive destabilization for the country, our country, that is more dependent on petroleum than any other country in the world in 1990. And so my issue is, doesn't it feel like us invading Iraq has benefits Saudi Arabia, who couldn't defend themselves, and Kuwait, who clearly couldn't defend themselves, as opposed to a country with M1 Bradley tanks, F-15s, F-16s, and a nuclear arsenal that doesn't even border Iraq? Do you see what I'm saying? That's oh, my, my Saudi, only issue. Saudi Arabia absolutely had benefited with the war in Iraq, too. Yeah. And Saudi Arabia's fingerprints are also all over 9-11.
so but, but I'm saying, okay, so if you want to say that, that's fine. But what I'm saying is the 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 uh, maybe you're not making this argument, but the idea that the, the the pretext for us to go to war was something was an Israeli plot to make us go to war and that we wouldn't have gone anyway. That's what I that's that's the only question I'm asking. No, one of the pretexts for the legal reason for the invasion of Iraq was that they in violation of UN resolution. Mm -hmm. And one of the WMDs that they supposedly possessed was anthrax and then VX gas much like we gave them something I, I'm, I'm genuinely asking this question we gave them certain weapons right when they were fighting with Iran well we gave them agricultural pesticides okay but yes we gave them mustard gas okay so if we gave them mustard gas that what, what I'm saying is then they would have had a weapon of mass destruction that we gave them but maybe they ran out of the issue it. too was wasn't Saddam Hussein not allowing but investors they, yeah, investigators to come into the country to actually verify whether they had they, weapons or not? they did have WMDs to be prior to the first Gulf War. Okay. So they had the stuff we gave them. Yes. But they lost that war. And they did, the weapons inspectors did go in and did verify that they did not have WMDs, specifically anthrax and mobile weapons labs. We know that's not true. And the Israelis said they witnesses transfer anyway. And then when the notes said death to America and Israel, just added that in there. And it's from whoever did it knew the location they made a, a very bad screw up because and i'll try i'm not gonna i don't want to steamroll this if you look at the timeline for the anthrax uh there's notes in there that said death to america death to israel get penicillin now whatever uh there was also hoax anthrax sent to judith miller who's a wnd architect she said 1993 bombing was iraq she said oklahoma city was iraq she's Iraq, Iraq, Iraq. Stating Louis Leibowitz was a lawyer for the Mossad, Cheney's chief of staff, da 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 da. Very tightly, tight relationship Zionist. She gets hoax anthrax, and the note in her anthrax was the same as the note sent in real anthrax to Tom Brokaw. They sent two letters to him. They also sent Patrick Leahy, who had the Leahy Amendment, which would forbid military aid to Israel, and to uh, Dashiell. But anyway, they said, oh, no, that's a copycat attack. Um, whoever sent this hoax anthrax to Howard Troxler and Judith Miller, that's just uh, they saw the news and copied it. The problem is that it was mailed before there was any reporting of the other letter being open. The other letter wasn't opened as quickly as maybe they assumed because all the planes got grounded on 912 and then mail was hectic as hell and mixed in bags and so on and so they're both mailed on september 18th uh one doesn't get they don't get opened until october but it could not have been a copycat letter because they would not have been able to know what the contents of that mail was until after it was opened so why would al-qaeda send judith miller fake anthrax and send who's wants war with iraq and all that and send real Accelerated anthrax. It had a um, a catalyst on it. Well, what weaponized what anthrax. What I'm curious is, Destiny, do you believe the anthrax part of the story that it came from Al Qaeda? Um, I don't know enough about the origination of anthrax. So well, the, I, yeah, the government doesn't. Sure. The government doesn't say it's from Al Qaeda. Okay. They, they said it was from Al Qaeda in the beginning, but then when it got genetically traced back to U.S. labs, they don't think Al Qaeda stole it from the labs. They they blamed it on a, a worker named uh, Bruce Ivins. Mm, okay, he dies. Tylenol overdose or something, kills himself, they say, maybe. Uh, maybe he got Epstein, who knows. Yep. But after he died, post-mortem, they showed he didn't have the equipment to do the gain-of-function research on anthrax. What's really weird is missing samples of anthrax from Fort Detrick uh, were taken in the 90s, in December 92, January 93, somewhere in there. That lab had a click in there that was of uh, Zionists who were attacking a, a co-worker named Ayat Assad from Egypt and ridiculous stuff. They put a blow up camel with a dildo in his locker and just racist stuff and stupid things. Somebody sent a letter to the Justice Department while these anthrax letters were being sent around blaming Assad again going, oh, that's that guy. That guy wasn't even working there anymore. And they cleared him like, but he said from the details of his life and stuff in the letter, this is from this group that used to harass me. One of the guys in that 
Camel Club harassment clique was named Philip Sack. He had been fired from the lab from all his antics. However, th- this is mind blowing. He was allowed back in. He would go in at night. Marion Ripley is a Confederate. We let him in the lab and do gain of function research on anthrax. The guy who's been fired from the lab continues to come back to the lab and do this work that's now illegal. And yet, uh, and then there's 23 missing samples of anthrax. And they didn't go and question him first. Hey, uh, you got caught on camera uh, entering the lab when you're not supposed to. Somebody took anthrax probably the guy they know they were missing anthrax samples because the administration changed and the i forget the person's name now but the the new head of that kind of security goes through and did an audit of the things they're doing gain of function research on and they have these missing samples of anthrax if there was a group of people in there that were letting him in to do research ostensibly for a future terror attack why wouldn't they just delete the records well, I don't know how many records they would have deleted or not, but they can't reproduce anthrax. Like if anthrax is stolen, then they'd have to go get other anthrax from somewhere else and replace it. They did not know that the the new head was coming in. They did not know that that they, it seemed like after ninety three there was supposed to be a follow up biological attack, just like nine eleven. But the nineteen ninety three trolled cheddar bombing was so screwed up that van was in the wrong place it didn't do the effect i mean it killed people it was awful but it, it didn't knock one tower into the other which was the plan um but a lot of the people involved escaped ramsey Youssef doesn't get caught until mm, the okay. following year um for any attack planes in the philippines and his uncle is the main plotter of september 11th and after the american shooting they found documents in plain arabic not even in code or something and it's like no one read them that everything was there the names all that they couldn't gotten everybody right away so this is why i think again i was like well maybe it could be maybe they are that incompetent that's totally possible it's also possible that he already knew and they didn't have to look through all those and they, they they screwed up they botched the attack and so they let them or somehow they got at large it's when he tried to bomb a plane in Japan, it gets caught. But they had the Bajinka plot there. Ramsey Youssef had a plan uh, for New Year's to take 16 airliners and ram them into targets in the all over. And 9-11 almost had five planes. One of them got grounded. Flight 23 was grounded that day. And the people somehow escaped through the police, tried again on the 13th, and 10 of them got arrested. So um, there, there was going to be some other target. Destiny, do you have anything for that? Because I, I know you're giving the whole kind of background. Uh, of I don't know, like the uncles of the guys that ran an anthrax lab. Who I, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> I really know, hard. Unless, unless okay, so the, the, the guy that movie. blew up a rider truck in the World Trade Center in 1993, his name's Ramsey Youssef. Uh-huh. His uncle is Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. Okay, that's the partner of Osama bin Laden. Okay, that orchestrated the 9/11 attack. Uh, do you uh, do you have a, just out of curiosity? Do you have a problem with the the invasion of Afghanistan? To try to get Saddam Hussein. I'm, I'm sorry, to try to get Osama bin Laden. Well, he sounded like George Bush there for a yeah, second. My, I, like... I apologize. <laughs> like... um, I am from Texas. Yes. Um, I don't have a problem with getting Osama bin Laden, but I question the motives if that's really all they were doing there. There's a lot of opium and other incentives Got it. for Afghanistan. Got it. Okay. And he, would they, when they get him, 2011? Uh, yeah, that's right. It would have been, uh, hold on. 2011, 2012, May. March, April, I think April of 2011. I think okay. around yeah, yeah. So we yeah. stayed an awfully long time afterward, and it, it was it obviously didn't. Uh, the I coalition think, building didn't work out yeah, too well. I, I think I, mean, I think that's why we stayed a little while because nobody wanted to be the one to pull the trigger and then see the whole thing collapse. I think that's probably what happened. Let's stick with it. I think the, Biden screwed up on the guys, pullout too because, because he should have done it. In the we didn't winter. finish that. I mean, so, so you, you um, so Destiny, you you think it's just coincidences that. Um, maybe some people were in certain places and it's just a coincidence, but you don't think necessarily that, uh... I, I mean, I don't have the greatest history, but I think generally when you're reading about these things, I think usually the sources are better than like a guy that worked at a lab that was let in at night. Maybe, like, I don't know. You, usually what happens is anytime there's like a loose string of people, when you start to dig in, you find that the timelines don't actually match up like they did or okay. that the mail wasn't as grounded as, and then it just, so do but think, I don't know the specifics around so, anthrax now. Okay. So you disagree with the Israeli portion. Do you disagree that Saudi Arabia was involved? 
Um, I mean, the funding, a lot of the funding sources for Al Qaeda uh, ran back to Saudi Arabia, right? That's my understanding. Yeah. And the, what, what, what was it? Since the, the hijackers 80s. From, so, yeah. I, I so, guess, like, if, I, so, if there was a conspiracy that, like, Saudi Arabia was involved, I think that immediately starts off a lot more credible. But, I mean, like, obviously, you still have to build out and get some facts. Okay. But, like, and, yeah. then, and then what about as far as, like, in, uh, American government being involved? You uh, I super don't. It you just, seems impossible. So you disagree. Yeah. So you think potentially Saudis, you don't think Isra Israel, and then you think the U.S. government not involved. You align more with the official narrative. Yeah, I think, there, I think there's a real incentive for Israel to be involved. Like, I'm not going to deny that. Like, even if there isn't a shared border fucking every country in the middle east is shipping shit to fucking either hamas or Hezbollah that wants to see israel destroyed so like i can understand that like israel has an incentive to you know say fuck iraq um but i i think it has to be built from something yeah Ryan, do you have anything Just a bunch of... i mean he did give some some examples of why but I, do you well have... they clearly wanted war with iraq i mean that's if you trace back each of these lies it's not coming from oil companies or any of that, it's specifically coming from a bunch of Zionist neocons, and they're going off the Oded Yanan paper, which wrote all this out, and then later Richard Pearl and, and company come up with the uh, Clean Break paper. And Pearl, you know, he's never, like the Office of Special Plans, he's the real master of that, not Doug Fife, but officially it's in Fife's office, whatever. But, you know, and Pearl was caught as a spy for Israel in the seventies. And you have anything if you look at, but if you look at each pre-war um, lie specifically, anthrax goes back to Israelis. The the lies about each one of these WMDs are being republished by the Weekly Standard from the Project for a New American Century, and then it gets regurgitated in the New York Times by people like Judith Miller. It's like a triangle. They're the ones that set up Ahmed Chalabi, the Iraqi National Congress, so they would pretty much leak their own propaganda, get it published in the Times, and then quote the Times, which is just their own bullshit, uh, to get a war with Iraq. Hmm. I, I don't know anything about anthrax, so I can't comment. All right. All right. Uh, uh, well, so what's the conclusion here? So um, you don't agree that the government was involved? I've never well, seen he anything. He doesn't, he's never looked at the anthrax, so he can't comment. But like, well, the at... anthrax is a silver bullet for the 9/11 terror attacks. I mean, you're already on huge problems there, epistemically. But um, I, I mean, I could I'm probably. What will happen is I'll probably dig into the anthrax stuff tonight or tomorrow, and then I'll find out that a lot of what you're saying is like half true, or the timelines don't add up in the are. Or maybe they will, and maybe I'll change my mind on some of the anthrax stuff. But um, okay. Yeah, I, I just I think that again, it's this is a huge. We're alleging a huge conspiracy. I don't mean conspiracy in the kooky way. I mean in terms of like a big plot. And to allege a conspiracy like that, I think there has to be some really compelling evidence it can't be like a few people were in the right place at the right time I what think. about dick cheney not say, saying don't don't shoot down the plane yeah no, dick... all of that is bullshit that's bullshit all of that is bullshit yeah ryan you have anything for that well, norman Manetta testified and others that he was in a poc bunker and did refuse to shoot down the plane but uh, i think rice and cheney his book said he was talking about flight 93 in shanksville that the passengers took down before anybody could get there anyway uh, but Manetta and others clearly say, no, this is Flight 77 that did hit the Pentagon. It was an airplane. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> the three of a plane we in the building. We should just do an hour on that, man. Oh, dude, I could. That would be hilarious. They, um, <laughs> this is good, by the way. Yeah. Just, I don't want to get mine. up to pee hey, Can I get another gorilla mine? <laughs> like, icy? Can I get another uh, gorilla mine? Stuff. Yeah, 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 we can. We don't have this. Yeah, uh, we got to wrap up here in a little bit, guys. Um, but yeah, it, it's so. clear he was, he was talking about Flight 77 because, um, Haji Andro did two passes. He came out at too high an altitude and so had to loop around. And everyone said it was some corkscrew maneuver top gun. No, it wasn't. It's just a nice, long, miles-long loop so they could get in lower. It's not hard to hit the first floor of a building. It's just like landing a plane on a runway, except you don't put the wheels don't down, put the gear and, down and yeah. you don't slow down. And, and Yeah, you don't put the flaps down. And yep. there's a giant hole in the Pentagon. But it everybody other than Cheney is saying, no, that was Flight 77, and maybe Cheney just nervous because, you know, they couldn't find Rummy Bush's... At, you know. well, to, to my understanding, they actually did scramble uh, a flight of F-16s that did not have munitions on there, and the intention was if they w got close to uh, a building that they were going to ram the airplane, the ram the airplane. I'm talking about Flight 93. That's what I understood. Well, and you know, people think that was shot down, too. It's... Look, the, the passengers took that down, and they should be... Heroicized of course, agreed. That. And they're just, they're all over them. And we we recovered more from that plane than any of the others. They got the black box, which is important because that transcript, you can read it from the Masawi trial, mm -hmm. the 20th hijacker, shows that uh, Zaid al-Jara was not the pilot 
the hijacker pilot of that plane because according to the other hijackers they're using um different name and this guy has two first cousins caught working for israeli intelligence one of whom Ali Al Jara been spying on Hezbollah since its inception in the 80s. And there's Yusef Al Jara as well. So it's a weird coincidence that a 9 11 hijacker has family working for Israeli intelligence. Can, can when I you say, wait, real quick, when you say working for Israeli intelligence, what does that mean? He's employed he was, by them or he was an informant? He was in es, espionage on Hezbollah. That, what, was he an informant or was he like an actual member of like Israeli intelligence, like a formal. He was a. They Ali Al Jara was, right? was was an actual agent of of Israeli intelligence spying on Hezbollah. Okay, and uh, Youssef, I don't know if he was informed or whatever. This this has been twenty years, so, but that's just strange. And it's not like he had two hundred cousins or something. I mean, th this isn't thirty third degree cousin. Like Alex Jones would say this is his. You know, his father's brother's kids. <laughs> so, like, I think we're probably. And he was planning cousins. a wedding, and had a. It's 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 odd, but they did find a, his passport, so he was definitely on the plane. Uh, can I bring up just one thing? Because um, we talked about this before. Uh, we talked about the Saudi Arabian stuff. Uh, one of the things about Saudi Arabia is because they don't elect their officials. Um, you have a lot of single points of failure, and you have a large family and people in the family that spur off have hundreds of millions or billions of dollars individually, can travel the world, and there's no oversight over them. Is it a possibility that this may be included with a member of the royal family and not necessarily intelligence? Do you understand what I'm saying? Just a, a spoiled n nephew okay. who's like, fuck America. It seemed to be Bandar Bush Okay, is the one. But... I mean, he's the, he was the former head of the equivalent of their CIA. Okay. So it's not just some pissed off prince or something. Okay. Mm. All right. But yeah, it could have been, but that is, that's not what happened. I would say there's a lot more single points of failure in that country with multiple billionaires with no oversight. I mean, not to say that we don't, we have no oversight it's, in this country That's as well, why but. Saudi Arabia is used as a proxy to finance terrorists. Yeah. Like the U.S., the U.S., Congress is not going to say, hey, can we have a billion dollars to finance Al Qaeda? Mm -hmm. You can't do that. Um, you can launder money through BCCI. You can use Pakistani or Saudi proxies and have them. You can set up these uh, attack free madrasas all over and brainwash people into doing this. And I understand Al Qaeda's point of view. I mean, watching an Iraqi children starve to death, invasion, bombing of Beirut, and all this. I understand why they hate the United States. I understand why they hate the Israelis. I get it. Dude, you can't just blow up civilians in New York, obviously, but I get how they get to that point. I understand it. But Saudi Arabia is not financing terrorists with the U S just has no idea that's happening. There's a bit of collusion there where they, you know, it's okay to finance terrorists in Chechnya or somewhere like if it's within U S interests, it's okay to finance terrorists or assassinate nuclear scientists in Iran. It's okay to release Stuxnet. That's an act of terrorism, too. The U.S. uses terrorism, but they do proxies. They used to do it in Latin America, just straight up, very few uh, intermediaries. They've gotten... Uh, Iran-Contra. Well, I mean, Iran-Contra involved Israel, too. I mean, they were selling contraband, but they also use profits from narcotics. They mm -hmm. they were training pilots in Medina. And, um, it and, and there again, they screwed up because... People got convicted of conspiracy, and Anthony Poindexter convicted. Ali North got the you know. Ali North got convicted, and then started working for Fox News. But but George Bush Senior commuted a lot of their sentences. He did, so he it's did, like, yeah. well, yeah, we had this big operation. So what? Uh, but if you look at the Somoza dynasty that had been diverting weapons to Israel, um, two in a row, and then. Suppose it's very similar to Syria. Publicly, we're against the Contras fighting the Santanistas. Privately, it's the opposite. They were aiding the Contras. You had something, Destiny? Well, I mean, like, I understand to some extent, it's probably hard for us to wag our fingers, or that's all we can do if other people are funding groups that we don't like, right? I don't know. Like, I don't even know what recourse we could take against Saudi Arabia for moving money in the way they do without... Like I like as as like much what, as we might not like that they the do, it you sanction much. their oil and cut off your own foot or something. But it's worse than yeah. that because they were brought into a group. It's called the Safari Club. After the Yom Kippur War in 1973, they realized OPEC has this oil weapon. It's a cartel. Saudi Arabia has the most 
Uh, and like you were saying, the the light crude, you know, the best kind of oil, yeah. cheapest to use. Iraq was number two, and they needed. There were huge gas lines in the seventies. They realized, well, they can't match us economically. They can't match us militarily. But if this cartel produces production of oil, a it helped the Soviet Union because then they get to sell more at a higher mm-hmm. price. And B, you know, we don't have, we were not like now where we only get about 12% of our oil from overseas, mostly from Canada, Mexico, and ourselves, but not at that time. And so they brought the Saudis in and the the Israeli U.S. nexus already existed. They bring the Saudis into the Safari Club. They work with Saudi intelligence. They help create the freedom fighters in Afghanistan to fight the Soviets. So it wasn't like Saudi Arabia is just doing stuff and there's nothing we can do about it. Although I agree, if they did, there's little we could do. But they were working with them. Like they consciously worked with Saudi Arabia to send diaspora fighters into Afghanistan, Al Qaeda, the base, just meant database, to fight Soviet Union. And that relationship didn't just disappear when this when the Soviet Union fell. Um, and so they do covert operations all over the place, Al Shabaab. Boko Haram, a lot of these things are financed through Saudis and Saudi proxies. Now, a new king or a new crown prince could get in and just 180 everything. That's how fragile Saudi Arabia is. Yeah. Whereas, but, you know, when people look at this war in the Middle East as a conflict between like Jews and Arabs or Judaism and Islam, it isn't. Most of the Sunni states are, are with it with the Israelis. It's the Shia. They want Iran. They want Syria. They want Lebanon. Uh, Saddam had the Ba'athist movement, a pan-Arabism. That was a huge threat to Israel. And like you said, when they all claim Kuwait was angle drilling and da 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 but there's no way they could allow anybody to arise and break the hegemony that Israel currently has. So they were working with the Saudis in the 80s. They were working with the Saudis after 9-11 in Syria. Everybody knew the GCC was financing um, uh, al-Nusra Front, which is now HDS, and Aral al-Sham. Now, Hillary and Biden, or excuse me, Obama, Biden, would say, oh, no, we're just, it's the moderate rebels, the FSA, that's all. But the evidence on the ground just shows otherwise, with all these brand new Toyota trucks with new paint and artillery pieces and tow missiles. Uh, they didn't go buy those at the supermarket. They, the only argument you could say is, well, it's a big black market and uh, Guys, you know, the FSA up, was a conduit to do that kind of, but they knew that was going on. They wanted to get rid of Assad. Then they lied about gas and so on and so on. And so like, they're still working with the Saudis before 9-11, after 9-11. I don't think there was a hole during 9-11 where it was like, oh, our relationship disappeared. All okay. Right. Let's, let's uh, do some rumble rants. Uh, yeah, I could I could read the rants and then uh, we'll go ahead. And- Why? Because, I mean, in society, it's built so that men make more money than women. You incorrect. At, that's not incorrect. You can wage look at gap. the UN. There's a wage gap. There's a gendered wage gap. Really? And, yes. If is you it can, true? Yes, it is. Um, <laughs> you can look it up on the UN. Um, if you look at every single country <laughs> um, in the world, there's a gendered wage gap everywhere um and not one of them is like having women like on top making more money than men you triggered my trap card the reason why women make less is because quite frankly women deserve less and the reason why women deserve less is let's hit some numbers here (laughs) women on average work we already went over the jobs that they work that get paid less in general women work less hours than men in general women work less dangerous jobs they would take more time off vacation they take more paternity leave they uh, are less likely to take risks they're more likely to leave the workforce and women are more agreeable, hence they don't argue for higher wages. There's a multitude of reasons why women get paid less, and all of it is based on choice, not gender. The reason why women get paid less is because they choose to not make more money. They choose to not work hard. Women make less because they deserve less. Men work harder than women, period, point blank, period. In every metric of uh, of labor, men work harder than women. You can say that, but the oh, point that I one was- One more thing. The, uh, the, here's another crazy part. Women dominate university attendance and they still make less yeah you had said that earlier but um, a, what i was trying the to agree s- that they get right yeah, yeah but that should but they should be making more if they dominate university attendance and higher education why is it that they still make less well because they go into useless professions a lot of the time 
Is there not choice? necessarily? It's not always the case. There's such a thing as like companies uh, preventing wage transparency amongst coworkers and that kind of stuff, like not being able to talk about um, wages, how much mm-hmm. they're making. They discourage. It's illegal, but there's a lot of companies that discourage. No, it's illegal um, to pay a woman less for the same job yep. as a man. Yes, labor it's act illegal. of the 1970s. It's mm. illegal, but not many people know that they're being gypped when it comes to like their labor. Why? Because companies tend to encourage, or no, sorry discourage wage transparency between co-workers and that kind of okay stuff. let's use your logic let's say i could actually get away with paying women less than men why would i hire men <laughs> why would you hire a man yeah <laughs> um I think about that no, no no hold on hold on let that sink in marinate <laughs> if i could actually get away as an employer paying women less than men why the hell would i hire men because you, you, because you want it. diversity. Why wouldn't you want Maybe diversity? Maybe you want their strength. Do you want all females? Do you want all males? It depends on the industry, too. No, it depends guys, on is that, just, that just yeah, flew over your head, what I just a, asked. It's not enough women, like you said. Could, because men are going to get the job done. Ladies, it was, it was, a, rhetorical, it was talking, a rhetorical question. Okay. You can't. Like, if, if that were the case, right, there'd be women in the workforce and no men because men could actually get it. Most entrepreneurs will hire women because they can get away with paying them less. Yeah. But you, the reality is women get paid less because they work less and they go into professions that quite frankly aren't needed by society as much. I just read the top professions by men versus the top professions for women. Women have very little interest in creating infrastructure for society. That might be true, but I'm not talking about um, men take men and women having different career choices. I'm talking about uh, like men and women in the same position getting paid different amounts. Like a woman typically like I mean, I, I can't speak for like the well, whole. Hold on, I, I can't speak for it. Hold on, hold statistic. on. They, they, there's a study that they did. Actually, when you at- equate, okay, here's <laughs> when you equate education, experience, profession, where they're working, etc., the wage gap almost disappears. And a matter of fact, in some cases, the woman makes more. They did this at Google. Yeah. Okay. Well, the statistic I was giving you for was from the United Nations, so I don't know what to tell you well, about the, United, the wage gap. The, the, the UN is just quite frankly wrong because. Again, the UN's wrong. The, yes, the UN is wrong because okay. they don't take it because anyone, any economist with half a set, uh, half a brain would know if that were truly the case that you can get away with paying women less, it would be only women in the workforce. They would hi- not hire men. It would be stupid for you to hire men. You would just hire women because you could pay them less if you could actually get away with it. Yeah. Well, no, because men and women have different abilities. Like men um, tend to be more logical. So you want logical workers, but you also want women that, you know, more are more uh, emotionally in tune, customer service, that kind of stuff. They tend to be better at customer service. So you kind of want both depending on the industry. So you want both, but it's in your best, in you, like the employer, in your best interest to, I guess, pay women less just because like, I don't know. It's they don't, always though. That's been what I'm like trying that. to explain to you. They don't pay them less. The women, why, the reason why women get paid less on average is because they work less and they deserve less. But I'm also not talking about like minimum wage jobs, like you're working at Burger King, like whatever. Everybody there is making $15 an hour, like that sort of thing. I'm talking about when you start moving up in positions and that kind of stuff, women are tend to, like, they tend to be held back for no, they're like, not. promotions. They're, 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 women are promoted more than men and they're given the job positions even if they're not qualified because of affirmative action. That's tokenism. You got to have like a token woman or like whatever, a token person to like certify and show the whole world that like, yeah, we're a diverse team and like whatever. But you just have that person there. There are job postings right now for police departments and law enforcement agencies and STEM, et cetera, that are female only. Could you imagine if we had job postings that are men only? (laughs) Why do you think that? Sexism inherently benefits women. It does not benefit men whatsoever. I want to give a shout out to my friend. She's a female on, plumber stop. in Philly. <laughs> That's great, but she's probably one of a few. We actually brought in. She what, is one of a you know. Few. Speaking of plumbers, you know I what? Just brought her up. Funny first. story, right there. We had a female plumber come on the show that was in trade school. Put it up. This she, was about a year ago. Guess what? She went through the plumber test. She couldn't um, squeeze the wrench. They have like a test where they're supposed to um, show grip strength and being able to open a pipe or whatever. She failed the test. They still hired her though. Yeah. Why? Because they need women that bad. In the United Kingdom, you can become a firefighter as a female by failing the test. So I think sexism only benefits women. If we didn't have sexism, there would be no WNBA. There'd be no female sports. We would have just one standard, and women would have to acclimate. There'd be no military uh, or law enforcement, etc. One standard. To, I agree with you on that point, but sexism doesn't only benefit women either. Um, How does sexism benefit men? Um, I mean, the sex industry, um, men like objectify women all the time, pimps, sex trafficking, that Who kind makes of the stuff? majority of the money in the sex industry? <laughs> Who makes, I mean, 
pimps. I mean, it depends like where it's you're the looking. It's women overwhelmingly. Female porn stars get far more than men for the same scene. Unless and I know man. this from experience because one of my good friends was a former porn star. Okay, well, I wasn't Manager? necessarily... Okay, yeah, I said like sex industry as like a broad term. I wasn't talking about like porn specifically. I was talking about like strip clubs. I'm talking about they get paid women more that too. get... Women uh, get paid more too. They might get only paid fans. more. See, but... you guys complain about sexism when it doesn't benefit you. The only thing that I could think of that women benefit from, that men benefit from sexism is we can fuck a bunch of girls and not get discriminated against by it. But everything else, women get a benefit from sexism. No. Can you name one that w women benefit from besides, or sorry, that men benefit from what I just mentioned besides having being promiscuous? Tell us more. Um, I mean, like what I said, the, you know, like the sex industry and stuff we like that. I'm not that. talking about, yeah, but I'm not talking about porn. I'm talking about what specifically um, sex trafficking, for example, like women. What? Um, that is yeah. So an illicit trade that is illegal? Um, that is yeah. your argument? Well, yeah, it's not okay. Yes, it's illegal, but it doesn't mean that it's not happening. And it's sexism at work, and it works in men's favor. Men take vulnerable women off the streets. A lot of a lot of people think sex trafficking is like, oh, um, like some girl on the street. You see her in a parking lot. You abduct her and like you take her. It's not like that. They take these vulnerable women that come mm -hmm. from you know like, um, like tough backgrounds. Um, no father at home or like um, mom. Uh, whoever was also in the sex industry, maybe also a drug addict, one or both parents are absent, any combination of those things. And they're vulnerable and they're looking for love and they're looking for someone to be there in their life to, you know, like give them some stability because okay. they don't know stability. That's an illegal so trade. They, it's illicit. It's not, <laughs> it's not legal anywhere. So you can't not. use that. I'm asking, where is there sexism that benefits men? Just because it's illegal exactly. doesn't it mean doesn't that it doesn't men. exist though. I'm not denying that it exists. And it's a huge industry, I'm, too. Hold on, no. I'm not denying that. Well, actually, it's not that huge because I actually used to investigate human trafficking and sex trafficking. Most of it is just prostitution. So nice try. But the reality <laughs> is, is that there is no industry, right, that I could think of that men benefit from sex, that men benefit from sexism. Women get all the benefits from sexism. Because they step into their, sec their sexiness, you know. There's men right now that I see making their little OnlyFans and doing their thing. Cause they Do they make as much as women, though? Little OnlyFans, you know? Uh, see, everything you guys are mentioning, the women benefit. Little, yeah. little OnlyFans. There is not, you guys can't even name one industry the pocket change. where sexism benefits men and doesn't benefit women. Right. But you guys can't name anything. I'm telling y'all, sexism inherently benefits women. It creates a double standard so women can compete. Because the reality I... is, if y'all had to compete with us with one standard, you guys would not be able to compete. Imagine one NBA. Women have to, hey, you got to measure up. There'd be no chicks in there. Imagine we had one soccer I'm league. Women would not be able to join. Well, female sports would be obliterated. Mm -hmm. Women would not be able to join uh, labor-intensive jobs, etc. So you could say, you know, that the wage gap exists. It actually doesn't. When you compare degrees, education, um, experience, time at the job, etc., the wage gap evaporates. And I would argue that women have more opportunity to make more money. They just choose not to. They don't want to go into the trades that make more money. And they don't want to go into the career fields that make more money. They don't want to go into science, technology, engineering, or math. They're more interested in social sciences, being a model, cosmetology, holistic healing. If we don't do it, who's going to do it? I might actually help heal, though. Who's going to do it if we don't do it? I'm for the people. And myself. If we the go, point if I'm trying us... to make is that you money typically is a personification of value. The reason why men get paid more for these jobs is because there's not enough people that want to do them. They're hard to do, and they create infrastructure for society. Everyone does holistic healing or cosmetology or is a model or does psychology. Hence why you guys get paid less. Get, who gets paid less? The professions I quite just named. <clears throat> Construction Versus work. an Alaska fisherman is going to make more than a sociologist because most people don't want to do that job. It's very difficult and labor intensive. Yeah, it is. But they get paid more because they take more risk and not many people want to do it. Yeah. So women get paid less because they choose to get paid less. And if you want to take it a step further, you go to Scandinavian countries, right, where men and women are the most equal in anywhere else in the world. And women still get paid less and they go into career fields that are more involved with people. Men go into career fields that are more involved with things. So let me ask you, you think I get paid less because I'm a model? <laughs> I think you the whole argument just flew over your head. I'm just asking. I said women go into career fields that pay less because of their personal choices. Mm. Not because they're being discriminated against because they're a woman, a, a woman. Mm. And as a matter of fact, female models get paid more than male models if we want to talk about sexism. There you go. 
Sexism I'm not inherently that, benefits women, and you guys can't refute that. That's facts. You like that you sexism benefits women, and you still can't name anything where a man benefits from sexism. The only one that I could think of is him being able to have sex with, uh, with a bunch of chicks and not get judged for it. So the wage gap is a myth. It doesn't exist. I just debunked it. And sexism benefits women. You did not debunk it. You can look up the UN like Don't. statistic right now. You can have your own statistic, and I'm gonna have mine. But that's from the UN, and I believe that is the UN always and right. They've been wrong multiple times. Yeah, and then someone actually proved them wrong. Okay, that's just life. one statistic that I'm talking about. Like that's from like something that like I had written that that's like a statistic that I remember that stuck with me forever that I had like studied so in college old. and whatnot. I huh? think Tyson it's old. Beckford was the only one. I mean, it can't one be that, that old. The research the is done like every day. Models. Well, yeah. you also got to remember that the United we're talking about the United States here specifically. The United Nations probably extrapolates data from all over the world. That's kind of in, irrelevant to the conversation at hand. In first world modern English speaking countries like the United States, the United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, etc., Canada, the wage gap does not exist because women dominate men in college attendance, yet they still go into professions that pay less because of choice. Women get paid less not because they're women, but because of their personal choices into what they want to go into when it comes to a profession. And I quite literally just named it. I got some other stats, too, that men contribute for about 30 years of their life, while women contribute only about 18 years of their life. Men stay in the workforce longer than women. Women are a net negative $140,000 per year versus men, as shown in New Zealand. So by every metric, men just work harder and longer than women do. It's a fact. Just hold the L. Women get paid less because they deserve less. It's been proven statistically several times. By the way, the UN was wrong about the bear bug. About what? The bear bug. I don't want to say what it was, though. You Move know, on. the jab. <laughs> Anyhow, it's fine. All right, uh, <laughs> chats. Uh, all right, uh, all right, where are we at here? Uh, was any any did anyone else have, else have something? You were gonna say something? No. Okay. Uh, David. So I want to first start off by saying a Bible verse that I think um, represents y'all's podcast the most. So. But, <laughs> okay, so it says, for a time is coming when people will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teaching. They will follow their own desires and will look for teachers who will teach them whatever their itching ears want to hear. They will reject the truth and chase after myths. So my question is, well, first, I do think that you are, well, clearly Myron's a teacher, but all I think Chris of the is guys a teacher. that watch y'all have <laughs> different ears, and what's well, funny? Because you said I'm a teacher, and I said, well, anyway. technically only Chris is the teacher here. What's your question? Go ahead. <laughs> I, get okay, what, I, get, so I get what you're saying, though. Do you think that God... Do you think that God made it so that men can be lustful and promiscuous, but women can't? I know what argument you make. She went off the Bible. So. I see where she's going with this. Yeah. And obviously not. I want Myron to answer that. He's not Christian. He's not Christian. Well, Islam says the same thing, so. She's trying to qualify to Myron. Uh, you got multiple wives, so. What are you trying well, to say here? Well, also says that he has to ask his first wife for permission to get another wife, so. Okay. But he can, though. Well, can Myron speak? <laughs> well, Myron says women weren't meant to be promiscuous, so that's why I'm asking him this. I never said that. And he says men and women aren't the same. He says that all the time. Yes. So... What what is your issue? Your issue is that men can be promiscuous and women can't. Is that what your issue is? Is that what your question is? Well, my issue is, well, my logic is neither can, but you make it seem as though men can, but women can't. And my logic is neither one can, but you make it seem as though it's okay for men to be promiscuous and sleep with women out in even in marriage or if. You know, they have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. <sighs> Promiscuity does not have the same level of negative impact on a male psyche as it does on a female psyche, period.
Well, I understand what you're saying. But yo, I mean, it's seen as though, because you say like, yo, it's what the fuck, bro? <laughs> yo, how old are you? You say that it's in a man's nature to be you? lustful and to spread you? his seed. Wait, stop, 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 stop. So, wait, 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 wait. You what? 27. Okay, cool. 27. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. God damn. <laughs> All right, so what do you have to say to that, then? Oh, what did you say? I said, what do you have to say to my, to my statement about the, the promiscuity affecting men differently than women? Um, well, I don't think it affects them differently because sin is genderless, so. It's what? It's what? I think it's still. Sin, sin is, is genderless. genderless. Okay, but we're not talking. We're we're not talking about j religion right now, right? Or if you want to bring it back to religion, you could have this talk with Fresh then. But I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about just straight biology here, how it works, etc. I'm not talking about religion. Religion reaffirms Thank what I'm saying a lot of the times. Me. But what I'm saying is that, simply put, promiscuity does not affect men the same way it affects women. For example, if a man has a hundred bodies versus a woman has a hundred bodies, are they the same? Answer the question, please. Yes, because they will both go to hell. But no, 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 no. Again, we're not <laughs> talking about religion not here. <laughs> because, because, hold on, that man can have the hundred bodies through, you know, through, uh, through a bunch of marriages, technically. But the woman ain't gonna have no hundred bodies through marriages. Come on, man. Well, I don't like how you say that it's in a man's nature because it makes it seem as though that's how God intended it, which clearly, it he didn't intend it that way. Okay, look, you want to use religion? What was it, King Solomon or whatever his name is? Yeah. He had how many how many chicks did he have? Thousand. Thousand? Plus. Six hundred, I believe. Okay. And since the beginning of time, right, since you want to always uh, you know, go to religion, higher status men have had a bunch of women, and they were just fine, but it doesn't work the other way around, okay? Now, keeping it out of religion, my point is simply this. Does a woman that has 100 bodies, is she the same as a man that has 100 bodies from a mental standpoint and stability standpoint? No. Okay. There you go. That's why it's different. Sex affects women differently. I don't know why you want to sit here and try to argue with me about this. It absolutely affects them differently. It's not the same. But I can if have, men can be promiscuous, but women can't, then who are they promiscuous with? They're promiscuous with women. Exactly. So. But who picks who fucks, the man or the woman? Well, yeah, women do. Oh, do women okay. Over, All right. So it's, it's, so it's their decision but... to make. So it's on the females, man. Like, there's no way you could really spin this. Like, it's on the woman, period. For example, right? I have 500, right? Whatever, bodies, right? This nigga said, oh, let's, says I don't have it. Whatever the fuck. Let's say I have 100, right? I could probably still find a woman, okay. get married, and have a happy marriage. But if I take a chick that has 100 bodies, she ain't having no, having no happy marriage, bro. At all. It's done. She's fried. It's not the same. At all. Me having a high body count and a woman having a, body, a high body count are not <laughs> nowhere near the same. I know you don't like that, but men and women are not the same. Period. Call and I know you don't like the way I say things, but it's the truth. This call, let's call this arguing religion. You're arguing a worldly view. And it would never match. But also as well... But even though she's arguing religion, religion even reaffirms what I say. Like, promiscuous women have never been respected well, in any religion. Religious, promiscuous women have never been respected in any okay, religion. Well, you did bring up King Solomon. The, um, God spoke against him and also said that he sinned. So I know you want to pick and choose the Bible no, verses and No, you're missing that, the whole point. He said it's in a man's it, nature it's a whole to... Story. You're missing the, the point, yeah. So the foundation is... King Solomon, even though he was God's chosen, still sinned because it was in his nature to sin and have other women. So what are you trying to say? You're trying to conflate male promiscuity and female promiscuity, and I'm saying it's not the same at all. It's just, <laughs> They're not the same, bro. bro. A I'm chick that's a hoe will never be respected, period. Horrible. A man that's promiscuous will be respected, period. That's what it is. Hold on. Are you a virgin? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> you funny nigga. Bro. Okay, yo. yo, you sound good. Yo, bro. You are hilarious, stupid. by the way. That was easy. You sin stupid. You sinner. You sinned already. <laughs> you sinner. Fatality. What that was easy. Man? You have anything else you want to say? No. Nope. <laughs> um. 
not really, I guess. That was my only wish. All thing. jokes aside, though, uh, caller, I get what you're, what you're trying to say. Um, and also, you're pointing the finger at men, but just to be real, Adam and Eve, if you're Genesis, uh, so, so to speak, who caused a sin to happen? It was Eve. So ultimately, I get what you're saying, but uh, for this show only, yeah. we're talking about men and women in real life in terms of like the worldly view and how it is with dating. So because religion is separate. Yep. Uh, but a promiscuous woman is nowhere well, near the same probably. as a promiscuous man. You're crazy if you think it is. Yeah. I never said that. You tried I to just conflate think it. that you're allowing these men to think that they can be sexually promiscuous because they're men. Yeah, they absolutely can be and still be able to find a woman at the end of the road, but it doesn't work the other way around. Yes, men can be promiscuous. And I would argue that they should be promiscuous if they've worked really hard to build themselves up to the point where they can have sexual abundance. They should be. Fuck that. Like, men should be able to enjoy the fruits of their labor. I, I Like, why is it that women should have to be able to demand standards on men, right? I want six feet tall, this much money, etc. And they don't even earn that shit. Versus a man has to earn his status, he has to earn his money, he has to earn his abundance, and then they, we tell him, no, 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 repress your sexuality, Re you'd be disciplined with your dick, do, don't do what you want to do. No, fuck that. If a man busts his ass to get to a certain point, I'm not going to have no bitch tell me what I can and can't do. Fuck that shit. I have to earn my value. Uh, Women don't. This was something else that I had written down, too, that you just said, um, because the Bible says that it's easier for... Fuck the Bible! I don't care what the Bible got to say. I'm telling you promiscuity... Versus, like, I'm telling you what promiscuity is between men and women. You keep bringing it back to religion. I'm not here to have a religion deb debate with you. That's why when you were talking about the Bible, I left fresh answer. You want to hear Myron's answer? This is Myron's answer. I don't give a fuck about your book. Okay, well, I'm, I'm telling you how it is between men and women, period. All right? That's what it is. I'm telling you what it is between men and women, period. I don't give a fuck about what book you're trying to read to me right now. Uh... No, no, no religion, since you want to bring it to religion, no religion has ever respected female promiscuity, period. <laughs> what? Okay, well, can I tell this to Fresh then? Yeah, go ahead. Since he is your co-host. I was just going to say that the Bible says that it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Um, because I find that rich people don't aren't humble and they're very prideful. And what you just said was, well, I'm rich and I'm successful and I've created this status. And so I don't have to listen to anybody. Well, I, that will be the reason why you wouldn't enter the kingdom of heaven because you don't think that you have to listen to anybody or any rules. I will uh, agree with you. Um, when you're rich, you have a stubborn heart and it's hardened by your actions of, um, you know, arrogance. So you are correct there. Uh, also, I would never say F the Quran, uh, Myron. So I'm not going to lie, man. That was kind of well. Well, I didn't mean it literally like fuck the Bible, but I f meant as it fuck what this chick is trying to say with she kept bringing it to the Bible. Religion, religion. Yeah. Okay, like, cool. I'm like there, there you go. My Chad. bad, Chad. Chad. Yeah, he, my, he, my bad, Chad. I didn't mean it like fuck there. the Bible, like he fuck meant, the Bible. He, I meant as in like fuck meant. the Bible as in, in the context of this conversation, you keep bringing it up. Yeah. She keeps running back to that. That's what I meant it as. But yeah, caller, we're not talking about uh, religion on the podcast. It's more of like, I want to say worldly semantics. And uh, just to, figure, to make this concluded here, um, my is not going to follow the Bible. So you bringing up these points is kind of pointless, which is why I'm responding to you so well, you can understand. Well, I brought it up because most of his, um, I would assume most of the people that watch him are Christians, so. Well, I don't know the actual number for religion, but it's worldwide. Bro, so I this mean, isn't a religious podcast. Like, yeah. me and Fresh are not practicing in either of our religions, so I don't know why you're bringing I know, that I know up. I you say you weren't um, religious. So why the, the fuck are you talking about religion? You, they might be Christian. <laughs> then why are you talking about religion? Yeah, I, I kept trying to None, tell you not, that. See, here's the thing. I hate when y'all call in and talk about religion when me and Fresh clear never say that we're super religious or anything. We actually try to keep this podcast as secular as possible so that we don't got niggas crying in here talking about, you quoted this verse incorrectly. Yeah. Bro, we don't talk about religion. Why are you bringing it to religion? I'm talking about strictly biology. Men are able to be promiscuous and women aren't. That's what I'm trying to say. We're talking strictly biology, what the numbers say, etc. Women that have high body counts typically don't do well in relationships. Men can have high body counts and be fine in relationships because we're not the ones ending them regardless of our body count, but women definitely are ending them. That's my argument. Correct. Anything else? Okay. <laughs> no, I guess not. All right. Thanks for the call. 
Man. Woo! I got she, hated. She just doesn't like the way I say things, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. She kept, but, she but had a real issue she, with, like, how I say she, things. She's trying to argue, which, which I understand what she's trying to say, but, like, it's not going to work here because we're not based off of, like, religious beliefs. It's more like... Not at all. Secular. We have practical, real-time advice with how the sexual marketplace is. And the current We've said it a million times that we're not religious in yeah. our re respective religions, right? So, Yeah. yeah. I didn't mean like fuck the Bible, guys. I mean, it's yeah, like fuck the Bible in the context of this conversation because she kept referring back to the Bible, and yeah. it's like, bro, we're we're not. Why are you talking about religion to two guys that pure, pure say every single time we're not religious? He was saying in a nutshell, basically, listen, like fuck her conversation thread yeah, is what it is. That foundation we're not going off of, so it, it just doesn't make any sense. So, all right, <sighs> man, crisis king though, <laughs> crisis king. That's fine. Want to cook for me, Cell? I called her mom. <laughs> She's Mexican. <laughs> okay, okay, well. <laughs> Right now, come on. Oh, get her mom. Come on. Let's go. Oh, she's forcing her to cook. Yeah. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> My fiance <laughs> didn't want to cook for me. So, imagine. A long day at work, wife is home doing nothing, you're hungry, she doesn't want to cook. You gotta call her mom to get off her ass to cook. <laughs> What's your reaction to this? Let's start right here. Um, well, if your husband is working all day and he's the main money provider and you're home all day, he should be coming home, he should be coming home to a clean house, food and all of that if you're not doing anything. Like that's what you should be doing. So hot food my... and hot cooch. Yeah, pretty much. If that's like literally all that you offer yep. to him, if he's the one that's making all the money and that's all you offer, you should be doing all of that. Okay. A question. Can you cook? Me? Yeah, I cook very well. I live by myself, so I have to know how to cook. Cool. I agree completely with her um, answer. Yeah. P profound. Profound. <laughs> <laughs> that's Shay. What about you? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> all right. That's uh. <laughs> I mean, I do as a, like the husband part, you know, there's like a difference between boyfriend and husband. So, you know, if you have a husband, you know, it's yeah. I mean, you should do your part. He's been working and stuff. So, yeah. Tommy, I like the fact that they're agreeing with it, because if you honestly look at it. Mm. This man, I guess this is what I'm impressed by, because I don't think you could do that as a black man. I keep bringing things to race. I couldn't call my black girlfriend's black mama over to my house and say she's not doing what I want her to do because she gonna come over and say nigga who you think you is mm -hmm. like I, 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 I don't think know that was just a skit though because the, if all that that's why to... I don't do TikTok though because mm -hmm. a lot of that TikTok stuff is just they know you're dumb enough to sit there and watch it but maybe it has some truth in it and so right. the fact that this woman and I've dated a couple of Mexicans and I will say this cooking is not a problem for them mm -mm. and if you have one that can't cook the rest of them will look like What's wrong with her? Like, she's broken. It's true. So it's cultural, and I think that's pretty cool if that was ever real, and we know it's not. But mm -hmm. if that was ever real, that this person was able to get a mom, and she still had that much respect for mom, that she got up and did it. Mm. Well said. Can I say something? Yeah. Also, like, the fact that he had called her mama to make her get up and cook like that's already something that should have been like before you even marry her type junk you feel me like this is probably not her first time not want to get up and cook is that kind of questioning his manhood then that he would have to have like she has more respect for her mom than her husband mm -hmm. bam deeper hey, yeah there you go shit. Susie you're Mexican so in your opinion is she crazy is she doing the right thing if that were me well that was definitely staged so yeah Mm -hmm. If that were me, I would just tell my fiance to order some food or take me out to dinner. Why she has like Mexican blood, but she was no. Right. Right. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> so why, just, I know cook. that's tough, but about. what if I don't feel like cooking that day? I mean, what if he don't feel like working that day? Yeah, yeah. what if I want to sleep all day? No, I'm saying, what no. if he doesn't feel like working that day? Well, that's why you're a fiance, not a husband. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Susie, oh my god. <laughs> you hard on men. Damn, no mercy. I mean, well, it's the truth. Well, I man, there's nothing wrong with it. That's just, if that's what you're saying you want, then then God bless you. 
Well, I'm, I'm just a little confused because if you want the Bugatti a mansion, etc., and he says, "Hey, man, I want to play the food," you tell him, "Fuck you, I ain't cooking." I'm tired. <laughs> well, then thank you next. Wow. Whoa. Then he's gonna kick you out the mansion, and there's no more Bugatti. What are you gonna do? Wait a minute. That's so fine. all That's you seriously support. are there is for how you look. Wait, I'm, what? Are, if you, in a marriage, so all you're there for is the, your looks, how you, what you bring to the table. No, That's not just saying? that. But if I don't feel like cooking one day, why do you have to call my mom? Why can't we just go out to eat or we can order some food in? Why do I have to cook? So you're saying it's not like a it. pattern. You're just saying if on that day, I yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, I'll cook uh, well, every well, let me other ask you something, though. Whenever I feel if like that's it. the case, why couldn't you Uber eat him something and then have it on the table? That's you didn't what feel I was like, yeah, yeah, you didn't feel yeah, like. Yeah, I mean, she could have done that, but. Well, that's what we're no, asking you. 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 Yeah. yeah I could do that. That's fine. But See, but what, but what just happened is I, as your husband, had to come home and call your mom to convince you that you should have already done this. Well, it was all for TikTok, right? It's an example, but... I don't think... <laughs> since I am Latina, I don't think a guy would do that. Mm -hmm. That's going a little overboard. If I were the suegra, I'd be annoyed. Why are you bothering me? Wouldn't he like probably you call your... Because as a Panamanian, they'd probably call your father. Your father has a certain amount of influence over you, and I've seen it. Like, he put his foot down, and the daughter will do it, because for some odd reason. But that's if there's respect for men. That's why I said this is odd, because it shows that maybe she just doesn't have respect for men, because her mother had to tell her, yeah. not even her own husband. Mm -hmm. So, Susie, mm -hmm. question. I mean, nothing wrong with having high standards. You want a man that, you know, can afford you a certain lifestyle, give you a mansion, a Bugatti, et cetera. And I'm not saying you don't deserve that, or you don't, you know, you can want what you want. Mm -hmm. But what I am saying is that if he has to bring all that to the table, and he says, cook for me and you don't necessarily feel like it well i'm sure there were plenty of times where he didn't feel like working but he did anyway to provide you a certain lifestyle wouldn't it be fair that you would cook for him when you don't feel like it well i mean everyone needs a day off can i get a day off of being wifey is there a day off for doing being that though like yeah what if parent? i'm hungover what if i just am <laughs> having a bad day and i don't want to cook why do i have to cook that day because he's taking care of you. Yeah, but what if I cook other days and I just don't feel like doing it that day? What if that day he worked super hard, he's just tired, can't really go out, maybe his feet hurt. Hey, he babe, really was looking forward I'm, to I'm it. just hungry, babe. You know, and just... maybe I'll just put a roofie in his drink and he'll go <laughs> <laughs> nappy nap. Oh, well, one day, you know, just put you out <laughs> to the streets, so you know? Just put you on the streets so we'll right. you know, on the streets for a day, okay. you know? All right. Please save us. Fantastic. Want to ask something? Oh, go ahead. I was, do you feel like... March. Huh? Every time you say, every time you say <laughs> feels, we have, we have you a T-shirt. No, don't worry about it. Yeah, continue. Uh, You're helping us you, advertise. Sorry, do you feel like Merch. you are wife material? Me? Yeah, like a wife, like a wife besides a girlfriend. Um, I do, but not living here in Miami. If I were to live in another city, then yes. But you know, Miami's so crazy. I'm always going out. And drinking, and I wouldn't say that's really wifey material. Okay, at least you're honest. That is an honest answer. Cool. What about you? At 11. Mm -hmm. um, I also agree with everybody that, well, with Tommy, that it's scripted. And with Susie, that it's scripted. I don't know who else said it's scripted, so I apologize. We but, kind of all agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I believe it's scripted. So the fact that it is scripted, I think that it's kind of stupid and silly to call someone's mother and then the mother to show up with a wooden spoon ready to <laughs> fake smack her daughter and then her call her husband a snitch. It was just a lot for me. Um, I'm a very literal person. So when I th see things like that, it's just not comical for me. Mm. Um, but in the in the fake life of it, if we were to assume that that was a real thing, um, I guess, you know, she could have uber eats like tommy said uh pre-asked uh are you hungry what do you want to eat tonight do you want to eat something large something small blah 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 you know just kind of figure out like where the vibe is and how you want like what you want if you want something small like a sandwich it's mm -hmm. obviously something that's possible to do uh if you want something a little bit more elaborate uber eats is possible for that or if you want like a full-blown meal i guess it's we're going to dinner if yeah, I want to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. You know. So, so question for you: If you had a husband, right? Mm. He came from work. You're tired too. He said, "Babe, I'm starving. Could you cook for cook for us?" What'd you say? Well, it depends on what we have in the fridge. Food's there. Okay, so then yeah, sure, no problem. 
even though you're tired. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Yeah, I think um, I think uh, you guys are reading a little bit more into it being scripted. I think the more the underlying issue is that not only was this put on TikTok and is looked at as comical, right, and and it's okay and acceptable, right, because that's obviously not going to get flagged, but. I think the issue here is that women don't necessarily have to adhere to their wifely duties, yep. whereas men have to. Could you imagine if I did a TikTok and I said, not paying the bills, let's see if she still sucks my dick. You know what happened? That guy would be fucking canceled. I'm going to point something out yeah. that you probably missed if you want to talk about cancellation, because I didn't know what happened is what you said. The mother was able to threaten the daughter with violence, and there will never be a problem. If there was the father or any man that said, I'm going to bring a weapon if you do not do this thing, mm. that would have immediately been canceled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think the biggest, the, the, even though I get I guess what you guys are saying, it's scripted. That's fine. But the, the underlying thing is this. This happens all the time. Women don't cook for their husbands. And it shows the climate that we're in where women can absolve themselves of wifely duties at any time they choose. But men cannot absolve themselves of masculine duties that they are held to. For example, she's living in a mansion, extravagant lifestyle, etc. She's probably living a top 1% type lifestyle much. as a wife, but she is not willing to put forth a minimal effort of providing for this man some sustenance when he's provided her a certain lifestyle. And we look at it on the internet and laugh about it. But if the roles were reversed and the man said, I'm not paying the bills no more, let's do a prank, lights turn off, etc. but I still expect you to suck my dick. No, everyone would be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Mm -hmm. By the way, most things you see online are fake. 100%. I know that. So, so, it's the ideology behind so, it. So it's not issue. the video per se. Take away the mother. This happens all the time because, for example, some women, like Susie, for example, don't feel like they need to because, A, you, you could figure it out. However, we're just saying, hey, from this point of view, what do you think you would do in that scenario? But let me hear yours, uh, Catherine. What? Make the question again. So the video. Yeah, I saw. What are your I thoughts saw. on it? What do you think about it? I mean, that's Mexican video. It's because it's like traditional. All Mexican girls is like since you born, your mom teach to cook for your husband. Mm. If you are my fiance, it's when you get like engaged, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna marry with you. So I will do everything to make you happy. Mm. Even if you're tired, you don't feel yeah, like it. Yeah. Even. I mean, if I'm home, if I don't work, if I'm busy, if I'm not like really tired to do that, I'll do that. Okay. But what if you are tired? I try to do my best, even if I'm tired. Okay. All right. Let's say that. Sleep so the effort. All right. I mean, I'll just say it, bro. Like, we don't put no standards on women, bro, at all. Like, None. we really don't. Like, like, I, and here's the thing. Like, as a guy, right? If you become a millionaire, you work your ass off. You know, you want to, you have, you build a certain life for yourself, right? I think you should hold women's feet to the fire. Like, you should tell them, like, you know, you're not cooking. Get the fuck out my spot, bro. And this is why I tell y'all all the time, don't get married, bro, because. When you don't get married, women are in a girlfriend status, and when they're in a girlfriend status, when that's when they're on their best behavior. But as soon as they get that ring, yeah, they don't behave anymore. Hold on. Yeah, I sure. used to have a boyfriend, which I live with. I don't know if I say like correctly, yeah. but we had like two, uh, two ladies. One cooked like every day, like oh, you had three meals, yeah, okay. and one and another one was like cleaning the whole day. So I don't, I didn't need to cook. I just have been like working on and starting. Yeah, because that's a good that's a good thought. That yeah. maybe what, on what Sundays? millionaire man? That's why I don't like when those women who get a divorce ask for so much money as if they were doing so much in that marriage. Because like with Dr. Dre's wife, do you think she was cooking? No. You think she was cleaning? No. So what did she bring other than just her being there? And most of the time he was on the road. Yet she feels like she deserves half, and that's what he's saying. We're not holding these women. To damn near anything. And there's nothing wrong with what you're saying because of a rich man, I'm gonna have a chef. Why would I have you in there cooking this big in this big house? But then the question he's wondering is, then what did you really bring to that situation? Well, weren't they married for years? Yeah, no, she went from years. well, but she went from Sedale Three, let's get it straight. Sedale Three, a guy who played in the NBA and left him. For a guy who made more than him. Because mm. at that time when they got married, Dr. Dre was Dr. Dre. Mm. It wasn't Dr. Dre wasn't Dre. He was Dre. Now, you'll be right if she got with him. And you got to remember, she signed a prenup up front. 20-something years later, she well, comes back and says thing. she signed it under duress. 
So under duress, you stayed for 20 plus years and never challenged That's this crazy. thing you But regardless, isn't it with the alimony, like there's X amount of years that you have to stay with that other significant other? And the fact of why he has to pay, and it's not that I condone it, I'm just saying, but the fact that the reason why he, oh, I'm sorry, I thought I was speaking, I thought I was close oh, yeah. enough. Um, the fact that why he has to pay, and I'm again, I'm not agreeing with it, it's just because they were together for X amount of years, he said, like, he provided a particular lifestyle and then through that lifestyle now she deserves by law the same amount of money to like live her life a certain particular so way so you're going to ignore the thing called the prenup that she signed doesn't matter if you were with somebody for x amount of years that's the law just saying look it up <laughs> I signed a lease, but I've been here three years. So that lease I signed, fuck, fuck it. The lease. Lease. Right. <laughs> Tell me the lease. I feel like right. Yeah. yeah, prenups can get can get tossed. I get what you're yeah. saying. He was with her for a significant amount of time, and you know, obviously, where you get married, you know, this is why it's so important to consult with a with a uh, family court law, a family lawyer in your area. But yeah, California has some of the <laughs> least forgiving and uh, New York. divorce laws goes, in New York as well. This goes back to what we say all the time on the show. Yeah. What is the point of a man being married? What's the benefit? Yeah, mm. There's, there's none, no bro. benefit. There's none. No, there's you, none. Get, you get fuck shit like this, bro. I agree. For a woman, you get all the benefits. For a guy, I agree. Shh, tough luck. Yeah. <laughs> and and if, if for, this is why I tell y'all all the time, bro. You, you need... This is why you gotta have multiple women, and this is why you gotta like, you know, keep your girls and girlfriend status only, never anything more. Because once a woman has leverage and she can, she can do fuck shit like this, bro. Because she, oh, I'm not gonna cook. What you gonna do? Nothing. Nothing. You can't do anything. Can't do anything. And if she, and she could divorce you anytime and fuck you up, especially if you got money. If you have a net worth of a million dollars or more, you should not be marrying any fucking chick in the United States, bro. So, so I wanna, she's hey, about to say something. On. I want to hear. Don't uh, tell me you're gonna get married with a chef who cook for you every day. You're going to get married with a girl who you like to be. You're missing the point. You like. no, you're, you're missing, missing the point. point. Yeah. yeah, you're missing the point. Yeah, because we, got, we do more than cook every day. <laughs> no, this is beyond cooking. It's it's yeah. That's just one facet of, of women don't have to um, do something. This, yeah, because we can't thing. require a woman to have sex with us we can't whenever require we want. Yeah. We can't require a woman to clean. We can't, they, What he's saying is name whatever you believe you bring to the table. I still can't require it from you. And look, look at that video, right? It might be fake, 100%. Right. However, here's the principle: the fact that he can't do anything at all, Thank you. Yeah. and he prank calls his, her mom to come. That's all you can do as a man. You can't do shit. So that video is saying, "Hey, in the confine of a marriage or relationship, if your wife doesn't want to do anything, she doesn't have to." And as a result, as a man, you have no power. And here's mm-hmm. the other thing too that I, I want to make very important here. This is on TikTok, yeah, and it's and it's it has a lot of views. People are laughing at it, liking it, whatever. When men suffer, nobody gives a fuck, no. right? It's like, ah, I got this chick. I'm spending a lot of money on her. I'm giving her a great life. She don't want to cook for me. Ha, ha, ha. But when it's the other way around, hey, I want some goddamn sex, bitch. Oh, how dare you? Oh, Misogyny. I'm tired today. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm on my period. We have, we have, and here's the thing. Later. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that men need to go in wow. there and be able to smash their chick whenever they want. <laughs> I ain't saying that. I'm not saying like, oh, yeah, you just go in there and you just smash and do what you want. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. But all I'm simply saying is that. I'm not saying it should or it could, but every woman can not do what she's required to do within the confinements of marriage. So I tell y'all, I'm not here to cry and complain about the way the world is. It's what it is. I'm here to tell you guys how to adapt. You keep girl, girls and girlfriend status, and you have multiple women. That's yep. how you keep women in line, period. That's you nice. have to have multiple options. Women only behave when they know they're not the only option. Go ahead. You want to say something? <laughs> yeah, that's why you need to get got engaged or get married with a girl who you who you know that is going to say everything. Yes, to everything. You no, 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 I mean? no, no, no. You, no, you do not get engaged with her because she's going to start to say no after you engage with yeah. her and get married. You're yeah. going to get another wife. Then it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you. Every time you leave Every t- or yeah. if you break up, half my stuff is Phil gone. Collins right now is damn near broke, and all of his ex-wives are jobless. They don't have to work for the rest of their lives. He's on stage with a cane because he has to keep performing to pay them. He did all the work. Nobody knows who Phil Collins' ex-wives are. But they know who Phil Collins is. And that is horrible that a man of his age has to perform to live up to the, the, the ruling of a court. And so every time Robin Williams offed himself because of it. These men are struggling and nobody cares. And to Myron's and point. And it's made fun of. It's, yeah, it's mimic. To your point, I want to show all of you guys something and no one will be able to dispute it when I say it. This is proof that people enjoy and laugh at men being harmed and no one will do anything. 
You ever heard of a woman by the name of Lorena Bobbitt? Y'all are young. Lorena Bobbitt, look it up. She cut off her husband's thing, throws it in a field, and did no jail time. Or your bush. Yeah. yeah an, an, another woman. They talked about it on the talk. Uh, Sharon Osborne. She's the wife of oh, Ozzy Osborne. Osborne. Yeah. Another woman cut her man's thing off and put it in the the thing in the sink. Whatever you call that thing that takes the food in it. The garbage. Oh, dog. The garbage yeah. disposal. Yeah. Mm. On the show, she was like, and I just can see that thing in there just going, wee! And he, everybody laughed. She was never canceled for it. <laughs> One last part. You see? If you watch any <laughs> yeah, television right. show, not, not if you watch any television show or movie or commercial, there's always a man getting hit in the crotch. Mm -hmm. And we laugh at it. But they never show a woman getting hit in the crotch or on the breast. And we laugh at it. So every time a man is in pain, it's humor for us. Society mm. teaches us. And we're not trying to shame you guys. Like, y'all can yeah. laugh. That's Don't fast. worry. Like, we, we accept yes. it. We accept yeah. it. We're not going to sit there and be like, Don't laugh at our pain. I'm hoping it's going to be fun. Yeah. We're yeah. laughing. Nigga got his dick just run through. Okay, cool. It happens. But we're just acknowledging the double, the ridiculous double standard. That's and here's fast. the thing when it comes to the law, and, you know, justice is supposed to be blind, right? Hanging the two scales. It ain't blind when it comes to sex, bro. And, and you know the funny part? They don't have to care. Why, why should they care? Because it doesn't affect, it doesn't affect them. women. And that's why when we do a lot of the talking, especially I know when I do it, I just want you, because I'm, I'm raising girls, and I just want women to be able to say, if you're really trying to build with this group, why not try to understand and have a little bit of empathy mm -hmm. towards that group? Especially if you're going to create one, because mothers really understand what boys go through. When they create one, because mm -hmm. when they see their sons going through the crap that women put boys and men through, then it starts to hit them like, wait a minute, I don't want to see my son hurt. So maybe you should think about the men you date and stuff, because that's somebody's son. You know, it's funny. I have one trait I look for in a woman per se here in America. You know what it is? What's that? So simple. Anybody want to guess? Their relation with their father? No. Consideration. That, that's it. Yeah, true. You know why? Most women... I don't consider it. They don't give a fuck. So if you don't have what you want, I don't care. As long as I get what I want, that's all I care about. So consideration goes a long way. Mm -hmm. Perfect. For real. For sure. Deep. Right, Catherine? What? <laughs> but, uh, we're actually, we're actually talking about me. We're yeah. clear. Yeah, um, I think I think the biggest thing is um, you know, is for the guys out there, this is the this is the, the marketplace, guys. This is the climate that we're in. So are we gonna sit here and cry about oh my god, it's fucked up look at now we ain't gonna take the victim mindset over here. Over here we don't cry about female nature. We give you guys fucking solutions, all right? And the solution I have, even though women hate when I say this shit, is you gotta date multiple girls, not be monogamous, and then fucking do your thing out there. Always have other women in rotation. Mm -mm. And never are get you married. Actively doing it. Never though? get married. I'm sorry. Are you actively doing it? Am I actively doing it? Yes. Yes. Have have you done it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, so you know that it's like tried and true. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just curious. Yes, it definitely does because oh, women okay, behave good. the best when they know that they're good replaceable. To know. That's why. Thank you for So there reason. isn't something in you that would just want to single out one woman. Say you find a woman and she just makes you, you know, completely vulnerable. You're just so infatuated with her. There's not nothing in you that wants to cut off all these other women, or you just feel like you need to have these other That's women. That's a really good question. And we got asked this question uh, yesterday. On yesterday. Polytainment. I'll say this. The question that you just asked is a female question. And, I, and I'll explain what I mean by that. It's okay for women to fall in love head over heels over a guy. Because it, it aligns with the Disney fairy tale. Every girl wants to walk down the aisle in a white dress and meet a man. Charming. Uh, you know, that is uh, the man of her dreams and her father hands her off to her. It's a symbolic thing, right? Women can have these Disney fairy tales and fantasies. Men can't, though. And I'll tell you why. When a man gets married or a man gets in a serious relationship with a woman, he brings far more to the table that he's at risk for than the woman what if in today's day and age. I'm sorry? What if it's the opposite? I'm sorry for cutting off. I didn't mean to. Uh, but I'm just curious. Well, like, what if she brings more to the table than he does? That's a good question. But let's be honest here. Women typically do not marry men of lower socioeconomic status than themselves. Women marry across and, uh, and up in social hierarchies. I see your mm -hmm. point. So nine out of happens. ten times when a woman is marrying a man, a.k.a. looking for that security, that man makes far more money than, than she does. Okay. Okay. Women typically want a man that makes about 26% more than they do when it comes to marriage. So if a man has to come to the table and bring all these things... Would you sign a contract with someone that's incentivized to break it? No. 
That's gotcha, why. Bitch. That's why I tell guys all the time. <laughs> that's why I tell guys that when you get married, you lose all the leverage. It's not a good look for you. All right. So, but women can can go ahead and have that Disney fairy tale because for y'all, the, the mission is complete. You know, if you get a guy and everything else like that. For a guy though, if you go in with those, oh my god, Disney fairy tale, she loves me for me. Oh my god, yeah, woo. You can get fucked over. So many guys get killed in divorce court because of it, because they believe in that dream. So it's okay for women to have that dream. I'm, I'm cool with that. You well, don't guys want to get married? Guys can't afford to do it. Never? So, well, I'll never get married? No, no, no. I'm asking if you don't want to get married. Uh, not through the state. I would probably go do it somewhere where I would not get destroyed if I was to get married. Uh. Colombia or doing Mexico. It, doing it in the United States is a very bad move. That's why I was saying, like, getting married in the United States is not really an option for you as a man if you have a high net worth. Mm -hmm. It's extremely stupid. Mm -hmm. yep. And I just want to say... Man, I, I got another bro book uh, called Marriage is for Broke Niggas. Like, it really is. Like, if you, if you, there's nothing you're gaining from being a man with money. And like how you said, don't you want to give up all that pussy for just one? <laughs> that doesn't sound like it's appealing. But it seemed like from you guys' perspective that only a woman could bring physical attributes or things like that in a marriage. I mean, what about like... I feel like women could bring a sense of security, not even on like a financial way, but like, like you saying, men getting hurt and we laughing at it, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of men got mental issues that only his woman could help him. A lot of ways we deal with our stress by fucking other women, though. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was something else. No, I've been, those are all the ones that I've finished. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> but, but a lot of times, seriously. We don't even cheat on you because there's anything other than a physical response to that other woman. Yeah. That's it. No emotional. And, and also, I just want to say one thing, too. What do men, what do women want? What's the goal when you meet a man? <laughs> Silence. I'll say security. Okay. With one, two, three, four, how many guys? With one. Fantastic. So you want the best that you can. That's one guy, correct? Mm -hmm. All right. You want quality. Yeah. Man, it's the other way around. We want quantity. Why? So you're using a, <laughs> yeah, I know. I get it. Yeah. Oh my God. But why? Well, men and women are not the same. Men want quantity. Women want quality. So if a man marries you and gives you what you want, deep down, he's still not able to express what he wants to do, which is have sex with as many women as he can. Mm -hmm. We have different imperatives. Your imperative is to get the best and brightest to commit to you. Mm -hmm. Our imperative is to get the most. You know what's the biggest problem here? You only look at what you want. You don't look at what he wants. Mm -hmm. And most women nowadays, especially in the West, operate that way. They don't care what you want. They just care, hey, I'm a princess. Do what I say. Nigga. Nigga. <laughs> the analogy king will speak. Let me, say, let me say something to you. I'm ask you a question. Mm -hmm. for you. You're gonna be Hold that question. From, we'll, let, we'll answer for you. Go ahead. Tom. We're going to be dealing from two different sp perspectives. In one perspective, you are a employer and you're looking for employees. The other one, you are a employee, you're looking for a job. If you're an employee and you got a resume, do you only want one job to be hiring or several? Several. If you're an employer, mm. do you want the best person to apply for the job or anybody who can apply for the job to send in their resume? The best. That's right. So you're looking for something different because you have more to offer. You know, you're the job. You got to sign them up for all this damn dental and shit like that. So you don't want to keep doing that process. But if you're the person who's looking for a job, you want the most opportunities you can find. And if you look at it, that's exactly the difference between how a man with money views dating versus how a woman looks for men with money. Wow. Well said. That was profound, yeah, bro. Was I'm not going to hold you. That was really <laughs> good. That was good as hell. That was a perfect. Yeah, that was good. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it's just that men and women are very different. I've come to realize that women always look at uh, relationships and dating and sex through their lens. Like, well, why do you want to fuck all these bitches? What the fuck is wrong with you? You guys look at it that way because women, it's easy for you guys to get sex. Catherine is so triggered right now. So you don't understand. You know I am too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm, before, I'm about to tell before you Catherine something. says this, guys, like the video because, uh, yeah, like the video because I don't even think we got like, we got well over 10,000 y'all in here. Yeah, we got 5.8K got... likes. What? what? Fuck? Guys, get us 8K likes because Catherine is triggered. So let's see what she's doing. I don't want to forget. I we got Tommy in the panel. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. go ahead. Okay, let me tell you something. If a girl let you fuck with more than one girl, she doesn't care about you. Mm -hmm. mm. That's not true. And we are we Thank are you. here, all girls. 
That's not true. Oh, really? That isn't true. That's true. That's not true. Not true. Yeah, no, I think it, so. Well, it's for me. That's what I think. That's right. They're, they're personal issues. But you got to remember, that yeah. would be like if I say if a guy does this. First off, it's hard for us to disagree with you because it sounds so beautiful when you say it. <laughs> so you're making this hard. But the point is... As Pause. They, they, yeah, you're making yeah. it hard. Uh, but they, 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 <laughs> Tommy, we, we go. We go talk to this. Guy. Just kidding. Keep, keep that in. I'm trying. <laughs> but, but what you have to understand, there are some women who can love you different than another woman. There are some women who get. I hate to use this analogy, but I knew a girl who used to have an orgasm from giving me oral. Mm -hmm. And I'd never seen anything like that before. Like, that was her shit. But if you tell some other woman, she'd be like, I don't do that. I don't want to do that. So, people are different. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of girls who get off on grabbing your plate, bringing you a plate of food, then taking that plate, putting it up, washing it, and then making sure you're okay and don't want to see you get up out of that spot as a man. So there are girls who say, my grandmother was one of them, who allowed my grandfather to do, he can do what he wants. As long as he provides these things, and it's like a contractual thing. Yeah, once, let me, okay, you say you don't care. Mm -hmm. Well, you, not that you I You can don't. have a boyfriend who have sex with another girl? It's like, it's it's like terms and conditions. Like, yeah, maybe because you think he's the best that you can have, but no. not for me. I mean, if the man cheats on me, it's like, it's done, I'm done. Agreed. Because I really care about him, and I don't want him with anybody. Che cheating is behind your back. Mm-hmm. So, like, my man wouldn't cheat on me because that would be behind my back. If I'm, like, again, like, the relationship that I was just in, it was an open relationship. Me, personally, like, he was the only person that I wanted, but we we're open with other girls. Yeah, but I'm not talking about open relationship. I'm talking about normal relationship. Mm. You can you can have open relationship and be fucking with five guys. Yeah, but, wanted. like, the whole point is, like, cheating. Like, he wouldn't be cheating. Like, the girls that he was talking to or, like, say, like, hooking up with... He, it would be open, like I would know. So but it's you not keep behind my back. Open. She's talking about a close, like more of a yeah. Well, well no, no, no. What you're oh, saying is she's you love, saying someone who you like. You have to remember, she name. said a woman who allows this doesn't love you. Yeah. So that means true. all relationships yeah. are involved yeah. now. I, mean, I can't gotta take love someone one. With, with, with who I have like open relationship. Mm -hmm. Me. That's my point of view. But we're all of different. So yeah, and everybody is like strong minded enough or have it's a very lot westernized of, is really the word. It's in a way and a lot of like security within like yourself. If you don't if you're not secure within yourself, you would never be able to do that. Because so, you gotta remember this TikTok video wasn't even about when we talk about what's normal. Well in the United States it's not normal at all for one, for marriages, because that's gotten to the point where it's under fifty percent. And number two, cooking and even holding a woman to that standard in the US. Yeah is misogynistic mm -hmm. so when we talk about that but where you're from you're saying well that's normal so the normal isn't what everybody else says normal is what the two people in the relationship is they, they want that's what's normal yeah. if he wants to be pegged by you it might not be normal for everyone else but it is for you and him because y'all agreed to that that's why she mm -hmm. said yeah mm -hmm. well it's a kind of contract now Catherine, you might be an exception to the rule but i truly believe that if a woman loves admires and respects you she will accept that you have other women she will. You might say, no, I will not. But if you find that guy that you truly love and mind respect, you're going to share him. You might have rules. <laughs> hey, I just don't want to know about it. Hey, you better not come home smelling like lipstick or, or perfume. But here's the reality. If you find a man, right? And this is why I always say, I love when women say that. Like, oh, I will. he can't cheat on me, blah, blah, blah. You want a successful man, right? That makes money? I already know your standards, but I'm asking where you're going. I didn't say what I want. <laughs> How much does a man have to make for you? No, I'm not gonna talk about exactly. it. Exactly. You already know. Well, <laughs> no, let me tell you. Oh, okay, for me, for like, okay, I'm gonna talk like about myself because maybe you get like disrespect. Oh, I don't know how I can say that. Okay. For a guy, he's like a pretty girl. That the same for a girl is like with a guy with money. Okay. You don't get, get you don't get married for the money. Oh, oh, I don't know how I can explain that. And you are not gonna get married with a girl just for being pretty, right? Of course. But I mean, there's like other the things, too. Yeah. They come with the time. But, but here's the mm -hmm. difference. There's a big difference. A man with money is not the same as a pretty woman. A man with money is rare. A pretty woman is common. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying it's like... I'm, I, I'm, I agree with you in that point. Yeah, but that's what I'm trying to tell you is that your standard, what you're saying, it sounds good, but it's not realistic because 
the caliber of man that you want, which I do know what kind of man that you want, is rare. So you don't have a choice. Oh, he can't cheat on me. He's just going to do it anyway. You got to accept it or not. Yes. Accept it or be single. Literally. That's why they want to get married. Maybe though. that's why I'm single. No, but that's why women want to get married. That's what because when they get married yeah. to them, Security. they got that big brother that can come in and harm you for doing something they don't like. Security. That's what it is. That's, that's ultimate why, security. Mm -hmm. You get married, the government is going to protect you because if he cheats or does whatever you, do, you don't want him to do and you leave, you win. Yep. You if you're just you dating me and you find out I'm cheating, all you can do is say you won't answer my phone calls anymore, but I'm still good. That's why he's saying it's better for a man to just perpetually date because he'll still get the same thing. I can still take you to nice trips, take you to nice dinners, and if you act out of line, I have a roster. You know that game where you the default the default trust game where you can you fall on somebody and then they, they catch you? Mm -hmm. That's government when you get married. If he doesn't do what you good point. what you like, oh goodbye. I'm falling back. Yeah. Government That's why women you. initiate divorce 70% of the time. Yeah. Because they have something to fall back on. Yeah. A dude actually looks at divorce and says, one, we actually, when we finally say we want to marry a woman, it's really love when a man does it. Maybe I think so different because we are, di we are so different in Mexico. So, well, could I can, I can hear. Our all like different. I mean, I'm Peruvian. So like we have kind of like the same culture. So like, I don't know. We still view things very differently, but we're. We have like the same culture, like I'm Peruvian. Mexican no, men no. cheat. You know that. Not do. the same. Come on. I'm. He's Mexican like, men yeah, he's right. Mexican he's men like, cheat a lot. You give him a six pack of Tecate light, he on. <laughs> you know, he on tilt. He's gonna have a Sancha. Is that something? Rocco, you <laughs> you, you have some? question. Yeah, I was curious. Go I'm ahead. I'm curious as to why we continuously. Mike. Oh, I'm sorry. Again, I keep feeling like I'm right in it. Like I do. I feel like I'm like right merch. on it, but I'm obviously not. Okay. Mm. Anyways, yes, merge. Merch. Um, why do we always continuously? I mean, maybe it's for like views or whatever. I get it, but like it's always men. You want a man with money, ma ma ma, right? Like the, this hella like manly energy that comes forward. It's like why is it that always the men has to make the money? Like for me, I'm. Well, can I'm I ask ready, you something? You Every know? time you see a boat, a yacht, or some huge party, who threw it? We don't know. You don't know. Yes, we do. Uh, you when know. It, okay, let me explain. During the NBA All-Star Weekend, there's a bunch of chicks who go to try to get very few players, right? I live in Fort Lauderdale, so I can't say. <laughs> Trying to be clever. <laughs> but you do porn, so you know. So I'm not playing I dumb, ask some damn question. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, like, you should know. Oh, you're no, failing being. It's <laughs> very difficult to hold a realistic comment. You said, and I want to throw this back in your face. You said the reason why you didn't want to even comment on that TikTok video was because of how faked and contrived it was. <laughs> Yet you want to sit here and be fake and contrived. Ooh, you know exactly who the fuck goes to the All Star games. Horrible Yet job. because you want to be an asshole to the question, I don't know. <laughs> and that's insane. The okay, same way you fine. felt about TikTok. Why not just say, we know who is a gang of women that will uh, ascend on a city just to get but they're all rentals you literally I'm just saying, don't know I, who we're not owns talking, them they're so you women. can't speak on no it. i said they're women who come there though right yeah i just said the the, the the gender that's it we're talking about like I'm, commonalities we're not I said talking about every with you human let me being think, i didn't okay, i'm trying I'm to show you something okay the WNBA All-Star Weekend, mm -hmm. there's not a gang of dudes <laughs> ascending there to try to see if they can get one of those chicks for their money. You have rich men who have boat full of women who barely graduated from high school and don't have jobs. The average 23-year-old girl has a chance to see way more of the world and life than the average 23-year-old man because women go towards money there's a reason why vips is few is full of few men plenty of women but vips aren't full of there's two chicks and 30 niggas why 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 are bottle services they are selling more bottles to men and if any of y'all work in the club tell me if i'm lying she works in the club she should know you work in the i club, do right? know who it buys is the majority mostly of men. So it's that's true. what we're saying. So the women view money as a greater influencer in their life from their mate 
than men do. I don't give a fuck if you just got through picking bananas. If you got a fat ass and some fat titties, I will take you right out of the plantation <laughs> and put you in my house. And there, there's a reason why Pretty Woman is a movie and Pretty Man ain't. <laughs> Especially you, Tommy. Well, that, Tommy? Especially you, Tommy. Tommy. I'm dropping shit. gems. Tell, yeah. tell me, I'm, am I not? Give yeah. it to me. Yeah. Don't leave me hanging. Yeah. I'm dropping yeah. gems. Yeah. So he's saying basically, uh, Raquel, in, in this sense, I'm just saying, Raquel, mm -hmm. he's saying that your money doesn't matter to men at all. Mm -hmm. So you having money to your, to your mate does not in any way make you sexier. That's all he's saying. Mm. So, yes, there are women who make more money. <laughs> Unless you're a nigga in a gutter, you don't yeah. give a shit. Only broke niggas will say, oh my gosh, she makes money. That's why I said niggas marriage is like, for yeah. we don't care. broke niggas. Marriage is for broke niggas. Because you have nothing to lose and you feel like a woman. A broke nigga feels like a woman in a relationship, which is the reason why women don't marry broke niggas. <laughs> <laughs> does, that, does that answer your question? Does I mean, it's, it's, it's very simple. Like uh, uh, A man's income and status says a lot about him as a person. That has attractive traits. Mm -hmm. mm. A man that makes money already, you already know, he's assertive, dominant, uh, confident, you know, to a degree, competent. He has accomplishments. He's going to have confidence to a degree. A man that makes money and is successful, his success speaks for him a lot of the times. You can't rise up to the top of your firm or make a lot of money or become a millionaire being a pussy. So that's why women are attracted to that. Yes, the money is awesome, but a byproduct of the money is favorable characteristics to women. Versus these same characteristics aren't necessarily sexy to men. Are you a higher earner yourself? Yeah. Sure. Probably. 100%. Yeah, probably. You earn six figures a year, right? I'm assuming, right? Okay, cool. So I'm assuming you're not lazy to a degree. You are, you're motivated, you're disciplined, you're able to create content consistently so that you can continuously earn income month over month, right? Okay, fantastic. These are traits that aren't, aren't necessarily sexy to men. Sexy to women, because you want a guy that can be able to do that. But men don't necessarily care about it. And mm -hmm. the more the more money a man makes, the less he cares about that. I mean, have you ever dated a rich guy before? Probably, right? And a lot of men. standards. Okay. <laughs> uh, did he care too much about how much money you earned? I mean, no. he, you, it might be a topic of conversation, but he probably never cared about you paying the bill or footing the bill or taking him out on an extravagant trip or anything like that. He probably footed the bill for most of the things, correct? Even though you were capable of paying for it, he probably insisted you don't. I suppose, yes. All right. All enough. right. So we'll do <laughs> chats. Does, so I guess I'll, I'll uh, Destin, you can start off with, with uh, what's your stance on the Russian-Ukraine conflict? Yeah, I guess in the broadest of senses, yeah. from 1991, Ukraine has been a country that mm -hmm. was recognized by everybody around the world. Um, fast forwarding through a lot of stuff in 2014, there was an ousting of a leader. Some people call it a revolution. I think some people incorrectly call it a coup. Uh, in response to that ousting, Russia invades Crimea and Russia begins to fund and back separatist movements. Ukraine refers to them as terrorists in the East and the Donbass. Um, and then from 2014 on to 2023, we've got basically military conflict that's been escalating in 2022. The invasion happened, the, everything is subsumed under that actual invasion, and here we are today. I think that the broadest of senses, where, well, I'm sure we'll get into the details of all of this, I don't think that the initial Russian invasion into Crimea was at all justified. I don't think that in there 2014. was- in 2014. Okay. Yep. I don't think that there's any evidence of any CIA coup or any sort of backing from the West showing that uh, Euromaidan was artificially inflated uh, by Western forces. I don't think there was any evidence that there was an actual coup d'etat. Um, I don't think that the backing of separatist leaders in the East is good for anybody. It's not good for Ukraine. It's not good for the people that live there. It only benefits Russia if they can manage to peel away those separatist states and incorporate them into some kind of Russian federation. Okay. And I think that Russia is in the moral wrong basically from start to finish with this entire conflict. So you don't think they had any real basis for invasion whether it was 2014 or now absolutely not what about and just playing devil's advocate i'll th turn it to ryan here in a second uh -huh. what about um the fact that they were planning to invade the Dunba dunbass region in march who's planning to invade uh the ukrainians Ukraine. they, it's their territory what do you mean invade well it's ethnic russians that dominate that area it doesn't matter They're ukrainian citizens yeah i mean there's or, ethnic ex ethnic mexicans that live in san antonio but if mexico tries to invade we would still stop them it yeah. doesn't give them the right to invade just because yeah. people speak the same language Ukraine, you can't invade your own ter in, their in, territory in fact in fact yeah. like, let's take this analogy further the majority can, of people you who can live, kill fourteen thousand people in the donbass right but, but the same my point is you don't have the right to do it just because those people by the way if russia is 
is giving them weapons and money to do so, then then they fight back. Then the, the narrative becomes, look at what Ukraine is doing. They're killing all these people in Donbass. Well, then stop giving them weapons. That's the difference. If the, if again, I'm going to use this example because, you know, a lot of people from this country, if Mexico started funding terrorists that live in San Antonio, Harlingen and fucking Brownsville, the United States would do something to stop it. And then the news media would be like, do you see the Americans killing these Mexicans inside? No, at some point, if you attack, they get to attack back. And his argument is going to be sovereignty. My argument is be even if there was a coup, the problem is they invaded Ukraine, they invaded Crimea. Invading Crimea doesn't make the populace more likely to be pro-Russian. It makes them less likely to be pro-Russian. Secondly, their parliament had almost unanimously agreed to trade agreements with the West. And their president on the last second switched sides and said, no, we're not going to take these trade agreements. And then that's where the that's where all these people started rioting. My point is, even if there was a coup, which he's gonna say there's no evidence, but that's how the CIA does works, they don't leave evidence. I'm still saying there's enough reason for the people in Ukraine to not want to be a part of Russia after they you understand what I'm saying? You you bite my leg, maybe I don't want to be friends with you anymore. You take okay. Crimea, maybe we don't want to be part with be with Russia anymore. So his thing is there's no evidence that there was a, a coup. My thing is, even if there was a coup, there was enough reason for the people in Ukraine to not want to join with Russia. That's okay. my, my point. Ryan, what's your, what's your stance and response to that? Well, Crimea was not annexed. That was a secession movement. And it's mostly ethnic Russians that live there anyway. Russia's not going to lose their base on the Black Sea. So they have every reason to back it. But invaded how? It wasn't uh, a military invasion of Crimea. Crimea left Ukraine. Uh, and Ukraine did attack the Donbass, and probably Russia did back separatists. But I think you have to go back before that. This was avoidable. And Zelensky's talking about the Belarus memorando. memorandum. Blah, I'm so tired. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Flew here from Asia. Memorandum, um, which is about how they had to get rid of their nuclear weapons because they couldn't afford to maintain them. And it was kind of political blackmail to say, send us money or, or, or we're going to have, we're going to reduce these weapons, but you're going to have to pay us to maintain them. Everyone agreed to get rid of nukes in that. Zelensky brings it up again. And that's a flex showing the Russians don't want a nuclear armed Ukraine on their border. They don't, they, they know they're trained to NATO standards uh, and they don't want NATO expansion. They've seen what happened in Libya. They've sure. seen what happened in Yugoslavia. And so I understand the Russians' fear about this. When they finally have a pro-Russian leader in charge uh, that was going to accept the economic agreements that were favorable to the Russian state, you have to see they're walking into this 15 billion euros in debt. Uh, Ukraine's had corrupt governments from the 90s to now, one oligarch after another. So there's a lot of people within the state that they were in favor of some sort of economic partner, either the Americans in the EU or the Russians. And obviously it's in uh, US's interest for it to not be with the Russians. And Newland and the rest of them were, when there was, a, there was violence that both sides could take advantage of. So you had protests against the election results, and then you had counter-protests. And the counter-protesters were walled up in Odessa, I think 48 people burned alive. Mm -hmm. And that's insane. And when you look at Maidan, it's very similar to Syria with snipers shooting police and things. And so uh, many people believe, you know, there's foreign, foreign backed uh, separatists. So, so would you, I guess, do so you disagree with Destiny? Because he said, Justified to they are justified. That's different than what he's saying. He's saying, like, yeah, no, he's saying that. I mean, we had all these issues. There was explaining there, why think, they would say they did it. Hold on, I, I think Destiny would understand. There's a reason for them to invade. The question is, do they have the right to invade? And going back to what you're well, saying, hold before, on, wait, real quick, because I would, I'm gonna, I would want to fight on almost every single one of those. <laughs> okay, can I, can I say one thing real quick? Yeah, go for the it. The president who, uh, who, who went and took that uh, friendly Russian deal, he agreed previously to we're not gonna, take we're that gonna have a deal. debate and i don't have the internet i don't think anyone else should. oh sorry i just took notes i, I apologize just point, get rid of phones yeah the, the point the point is that, wait, that, on, wait the facts are the facts why should that matter 
There's a lot of things to keep track of. Like that 14,000 figure of deaths you cited, I don't even know where that comes from. It's like a misciting of like the UNHCR report. That's not true. That 14,000 civilians have been killed. The fact that Russia didn't invade, that's not true. Spetsnaz and other special infantry were seen literally going when Russia called that snap 150,000 troops that they had collected on the eastern border for a distraction on February 22nd. That's not true. Um, the idea that Russia would see what happened in Yugoslavia yeah. and Libya, that's not Russia. Why would NATO attacking those countries have anything to do with NATO attacking Russia? There's February already... 22nd is not what I was talking about with Crimea. They're not what? February 22nd is the hot war from last year. On 2014. I'm talking 2014. So oh, that so was 2014. the same date, actually. Sorry, on, yeah. on 2014, so just, the, that in, there was you. a Russian invasion. There were Russian troops that went into through Sevastopol that were dropped off. There were Spetsnaz. There were special forces. The little green men, the election that they held afterwards, the locking of the checkpoints to the north. Like there, You agree. You but don't even agree Putin that, doesn't you deny think that, that election was just a farce rigged? Um, I don't know if the election was a farce, but I do know that the election was held. There were reports of intimidations on the ground by the little green men, and that there was a report that I think, what, 97% of those people ended up supporting, separating, and joining Russia, and that that election wasn't allowing any independent observers whatsoever. Are you asking me if it was rigged? I don't know. Do I trust it? Absolutely not. The, the other issue is the president in 2014, he passed anti-protest laws, and right before he doesn't take those favorable, favorable trade uh, 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 relations with EU, he, he switches his position. So when you're saying, like my point is, he wasn't the whole time he was pro-Russia. Right before, everyone was surprised when he mm -hmm. went ahead and voted for the pro-Russian package. And that's the reason why it makes me even less think, you're saying maybe he's corrupt? That doesn't fit with the CIA plot. The, the, the point is there's that many people protesting. There's there's their parliament is almost entirely in agreement with joining with EU. But and they've already had part of their country taken away. You're saying that they separated. That's fine. Or, but if I'm a Ukrainian, I still don't like the fact that Crimea is part of Russia. It doesn't make me want to vote for Russia. It doesn't make me want to join with Russia. That's the issue that I have. What I'm saying is he's saying there was no CIA plot. I'm saying if there was a CIA plot, it does, I don't think it makes any fucking difference. I think it would be the same thing either way. I think they have, they're in a situation where you've lost part of your country and the, the, the parliament has voted to join, to join with favorable trade agreements with the EU. And then all of a sudden your president one day they decides to not do it, and then there's a, a huge riot, and the president has to leave the country. And where does he go? Where does he go when he leaves the country? Everybody, he goes to Russia. That's where he uh, escapes to. So that's my issue, right? I'm just I'm just trying to play devil's advocate here. Go ahead, Ryan. You have anything back to that? Yeah, as far as um, the anti-Russian sentiment started long before Crimea, they started they heroicized Stefan Bandera and others, uh, which was reversed in 2010, but. Uh, you have to see how the Russians are looking at that when they are heroicizing Nazis from the past and then banning the Russian language and taking steps. You're talking about Ukraine, they're banning the Russia. Okay, because you said the Russian, sorry. Yeah. Well, it, uh, this, this war has really disturbed me in the sense of how anti-Russia has gotten where anything Russian, even Paralympics, athletes, mm. musicians, are being banned because they're Russian, which I... I think that reminds me of after September 11th, there was a lot of anti-Muslim sentiment where, or even just Arab. And so actually worse than that, even if you have, if you're a Sikh from India or something, you look yeah. Arab, you know, yeah. there's a lot of ignorance going around. Can a lot of Doesn't that remind you of uh, Germany when everything was being banned? Anything German was being banned? Uh, well, yeah, it's similar, but you know, you would think we, this isn't the, this is 2022, 2023. Yeah. To ban all things Russian, to have so much hate, so much of a lopsided media. And this is before Elon. So Twitter was just hardcore left. Uh, all the social media, we're coming out now with all these different Twitter files and uh, information of how many spooks are all over all these sites and why people are getting censored. So I don't feel like we're getting the best of information. But there's, there's some stuff we do know, like for instance, two months before the invasion. Uh, Vladimir Putin said there was not going to be an invasion. And from a statecraft or from a military standpoint, that was a good move. But from a diplomacy standpoint, after the war, do I ever want to sign a treaty with Russia? If they're willing to lie about an invasion like that, do you see the problem? Well, they what, saw what it. I'm saying is some of it, they're bringing it on themselves. It's a, some, go ahead. George C. Marshall uh, Strategic Studies Institute, almost half of Zelensky's cabinet's coming from that. Is seeing a lot of people around him. Ihor Kolomoisky sends them. $41 million. There's a, there's a lot of corruption in Ukraine. And so it's almost a mafia state has been since the 90s. Uh, and Russia is looking at that as these people are easily bought and paid for. And they were 
afraid of having Western weapons and military troops on their border. We can agree on that. Yeah. And that because that's what happened in Finland. Just and we can talk about that. Focus too. real quick. Um, do you have anything to refute what Destiny was saying? Because he had disagree with some of your points. Uh, from I'll also add, if you want to refute things, the Russian language was never banned. That's completely not true. Um, Stepan Bandera is, it's weird that we selectively bring up like neo-Nazis on both sides or, or on the Ukrainian side, when I think you could find like neo-Nazi ties to the other side as well. Um, Pavel Gubereva, uh, Gubereva, I can't pronounce these any fucking names, but this is the guy that called himself like the... Um, the the first leader of the Donbass People's Militia, like that guy, explicitly came from a neo-Nazi group. It was founded by Alexander Barkashov, who also came from a far-right nationalist group. Like the idea that neo-Nazis only exist okay. in Ukraine, when Pew Research polling data shows that Ukraine is one of the most welcoming countries in the entire world for Jewish people, when they've had like two Jewish heads of state, the only other country in the world besides Israel to do so. Um, I don't think that like finger waving over potential neo-Nazism in Ukraine that also just happens to align with Russia's primary propaganda vehicle, which is that they're fighting Nazis. That's too convenient, and there's too little evidence to actually support that. I'm, I'm just, I just want to hold on. Go ahead. Sorry, Ryan. I don't Do you think, you think the Nazis in Ukraine are the like anti-Semitic Third Reich, like a lot of people paint them out to be. They have the same symbols. You know, there's some swastikas and things, but the Bandera movement and the Nazi movement that they heroicize and build statues of these people wasn't about. It's the same. It's not the same as Hitler putting people in camps. It was more of an anti-Russian. More than anti-Jew. Correct. It was, a, they wanted to ethnically cleanse that that part of the country. Excuse me. Sorry. Meant, no, you can say it. I can. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like, but you and I understand it. I understand the Ukrainian point of view too. I mean, they suffered tremendously through Holodomor and the occupations by both the Soviet Union and the Nazis, and they saw a lot of their wealth transferred to ethnic Russians. They saw a lot of corruption, uh, and you know, during the whole Soviet era, and so they legitimately have. Or, you know, beef. The problems with that thinking, obviously, though, is Russia also suffered under communism and Russian sure. people also starved, but just like Holdemore, from the same leadership. You don't blame the ethnicity for what a government did. But well, when we say Russians will. also starved, things like the Holodomor caused very specific damages to like Ukraine and Kazakhstan. Like even today, when we talk about Eastern Ukraine is full of ethnic Russians and Crimea is full of ethnic Russians, that's specifically because crops were requisitioned from starving Ukrainians right. that were like defending their families from cannibals who were being shot in the back if they tried to flee their villages. And then once, what was it? Is it three to five million? I think Ukrainians died in the Holodomor, maybe more. No, like 11. There might've been 11 million. Um, then yeah. afterwards you have, and then Kazakhstan too, not even doing that. Then you're bringing in a bunch of ethnic Russians afterwards to russify the country to use that excuse, you know, later on and say, well, there's a lot of ethnic Russians there. Therefore we ought to respect that there are ethnic Russians well, there. Yeah, I don't think Do you guys understand what he's talking about? Joseph Stalin like starves out a bunch. The reason why there's so many ethnic Russians, Russian speaking, you understand Ukrainians don't speak Russian. There's two different languages there. Some of them speak both. But what he's talking about before was during Stalin, they needed to take the, the crops from Eastern uh, from Ukraine and then use that to feed their own the army. troops. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then when those people tried to escape, then they just shot them in the back. That's, and then what happened was Russia started filling that area and they both agree on this. They started filling that area with Russian speaking people. Mm -hmm. It's not their fault. The people that are there now that are Russian, it's not their fault. But just like I would say before, well, a lot of Russians in Russia also starved also had for sure. For sure. Uh, we can agree. Stalin was a, a piece of shit. How about that? But the, my, my point is when we go back, oh, you said something before about the, the nuclear weapons, giving up the nuclear weapons. It, first off, it's not Ukraine's fault that they had nukes. That was the Soviet Union who mm -hmm. gave it to them. And number two, when they agreed to get rid of their nukes, it was the United Kingdom, the United States and Russia who all agreed to accept the boundaries of Ukraine. And so it, well, they the, got they got they were supposed to get security promises for if they're sure going to get rid of the nukes that they can't afford to maintain then that's going to come with certain by the way let's let's go back to the can't afford to maintain thing because when we get to the world war three thing we're going to discuss that okay well ahead. also i think you guys should resolve because that is important yeah. in 94 well, this is, this is that what Budapest memorandum guaranteed them you said security assurances that we're not going to fuck with you but could you please give your weapons essentially back to Russia. And, and, and they you did, and you were yeah. saying like blackmail, but one more thing, well, the point I'm trying to make is they didn't make the nukes. Russia gave Ukraine the nukes during the world, when the fall, you know, you have the invasion of Afghanistan, then you have Chernobyl and you have, an ex, it becomes incredibly, incredibly expensive. Then you have perestroika, the whole country falls apart. 
they start giving off the satellite countries and they don't get back the nukes. So Ukraine has those nukes, but they didn't abscond with them. They didn't steal them. So the fact that I, they give them up, it's not like they're not blackmailing. Yeah, them. nobody. Yeah. Them. Like nobody's claiming they, they built their own nukes. Right. Or something right. Like so my, right. My point is, it's not their fault. It's like, for instance, I'll also make the argument. It's not anyone's fault that Ukraine has the 20th largest oil supply in the world. And that that's the reason why Russia is actually mm-hmm. invading. I don't think they're doing it to p- protect the people of Donbass at all. I don't think so. I think they their country is 35 percent of their GDP is petroleum. It's it's shrunk down to 18% of their GDP is petroleum. Over half of their uh, government revenue comes from uh, taxes on petroleum, and this is severely hurting them. So you have a country that's in between you and Germany, and that country is going to sell their own petroleum to Germany? Fuck that. That's why, that's part of the reason why they invaded, and the other reason why I think they invaded when they did is the 200 F-35 lightnings that are going to be shipped to NATO countries. You're going to have countries like Finland that has air supremacy over Russia now, because Russia doesn't have anything in the arsenal that can stand up to an F-35. That's why I think Russia did not can carry nukes as well. Yeah, well, well, well so pretty much a B-52 can carry nukes. So this is kind of a misnomer. A, a, a B-1 can carry nukes, an F-117 can carry nukes, a B-2 can carry nukes, an F-16 can carry nukes, an F-15 can carry nukes, an F-18 can carry nukes. The whole the thing is it's the is A it modification. Mm-hmm. They can all carry nukes. Nukes, are, it just, just means it's a bomb that has a warhead with uh, uranium, plutonium, and tritium in it. Um, so, okay, so just going back to, 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 you know, make sure we hit the overarching thing. Destiny's stance is there was no real reason for Russia to invade. Do you agree with that or disagree with that? Uh, he's saying whether it's moral, political. Well, I mean, whatever, I, there maybe. are reasons why. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't yeah. justified. Excuse sure. me. The reason they want to main, they want to keep Ukraine in their sphere of influence. Yeah, that's do, the do, reason. Do, do, would you agree with that? I agree. They want Ukraine in their sphere of influence. I think their their main reason, though, for and you don't think they were justified. Look, the Donbas tried to secede, tried to be independent, tried to join Russia. They got rejected. Mm-hmm. Then they tried to be independent. Yeah, they recognized that independence. Uh, it was like a week or so after that, there ends up the war or the SMO starts. They call it Special Military Operation. Sends in about 90,000 guys, not enough to take over the country or anything. Yeah. I think he was still trying to negotiate with the West <clears throat> by not going in full steam in the beginning. Maybe you can talk about the strategy part, but I'm anti war. Like, I don't want there to be a war For between sure. Ukraine and Russia. But I feel like the Ukraine side, Ukraine point of view is on TV. Mm-hmm. Like if you want to hear what Ukraine thinks, just turn on the news. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but if we wanted the war to be over, we should have just let Ukraine finish recapturing the Donbass. The war is only extended right now because of Russian troops, military training, and arms flowing into the country from the east. Well, they're not going to let them retake or Their conquer country? the Donbass because Russia then has to deal with NATO-trained standard troops on their border. What if, wait, 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 what about border. Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania? Yeah, They're already there. F- Finland already has NATO trained troops. Finland the is there too, yeah. Yeah, and the problem, again, I'm going to say All Russia again. has done is expanded the amount of NATO countries on their borders now as a result of the conflict. Uh, but Ryan in gets to finish his point. You're saying, so you're saying that it, they'd have NATO trained troops? Yeah, Estonia is not Ukraine. This is a, Ukraine's a much more powerful state, larger population, larger military presence, and they don't like, they would love to not have that situation with Estonia and Finland either. But, you know, Putin drew a line. He said, We're n- you're not going to expand in Ukraine. And that- it, they have a lot of, like you guys were saying, there's a lot of resources there that are in play. And they didn't have the Nord Stream lines yet. And those got blown up. Mm-hmm. But they had to transit through Ukraine. They were going to circumvent them and go directly to Germany. Sure. But they also knew how easily you can reverse that by blowing up the line. Well, but there's also the problem is that... Which they said they did themselves at first. So, so Wait, who said they did it? They're saying Ukraine said they did. Ukraine, Ukraine did malicious. not take credit for those No, attacks. Ukraine didn't say that. Just Western media tried to act like Russia blew up its own pipeline. Oh, oh got it. I, so so Ukraine, Russia didn't actually say they blew no, up the official pipeline. story now is Ukraine blew up the pipeline. There is no official yeah, story. Yeah, I don't think there's an official yeah. story. There's one official story that, like, that Sweden or Norway had something to do with blowing it up. Uh, but, yeah, Cy Hirsch had his, this is, he had his, uh, well, he supposedly documented, it was in a Substack article. He thought that it was a, the U.S. blew up the line using allies. Yeah. Yeah, but Hirsch's story is total conjecture. He provides no compelling evidence, no proof in that entire. And the U.S.'s story is, no, he didn't do it. Ukraine did it. I, the U.S. does not say Ukraine did it. 
I think right now the position is, if you look at all the evidence, it looks like it was probably Ukraine. I think that's a fair assumption to make. Um, I think the most credible story I've seen so far is that the Ukrainian military, without Zelensky's knowledge, might have sent forces to that area and destroyed those pipelines. But I've also heard, I believe, that Norway said they've witnessed like Russian yes. ships, like three Russian ships that were um, in areas they weren't supposed to be that could have been equipped for diving operations. So it looks like Ukraine might have done it, but there is no official story. I don't think anybody knows right now so for sure. So you have anything back for that, Ryan, or— I don't know what about the Russian ships. So just it's not there's no reason for Russia to blow up its own pipeline when they can just turn off the gas and sure. leave the infrastructure. But just so we're clear, there was no gas actually running through the pipeline at that point. There was gas in the pipeline because you have to keep you can't keep it in a vacuum. But yeah, there they was, had yeah. they had two lines, but it was you know on the verge of opening. So so let just just to go back to what I was saying before, one of the reasons why the Middle East became so wealthy the way that it did is because it's easier to dig for oil in sand countries. That's also the reason why we dig for oil in West Texas and places like that. Okay. That's why you you don't dig for oil in, in places like uh, Colorado. It's harder to get through that uh, that type of environment because of new uh, technologies as far as extracting oil. There's all of a sudden all this oil that's in Ukraine that's available now that wasn't really available 30 years ago. That's a part of this that's kind of being missed, and it, a lot of it's around Crimea. So what's happened is Ukraine was threatening also to allow Western countries to come in and, and get some of that oil. Uh, it's not just the fact that. Russia can't go through Ukraine with their pipelines to sell their oil. It's that Ukraine will then sell its own oil. Does that make sense? You have a country, a petrostate, which is basically what uh, what Russia is, 33% or 35 to 30% of their GDP came from petroleum. And now you have a neighbor that's in between you and your number one buyer of oil, which is Germany. And he's saying, hey, not only are we going to make it harder for you to sell, sell your oil through our country, we're going to sell our own oil. That, to me, was a pretense for them to invade. That's To me, that was the number one pretense for them to okay. invade. Not because they're worried about ethnic Russians in the eastern part. I, no, no offense well, to Vladimir Putin. they have a naval Putin. base on, in Crimea they can't lose either. They already you know, had the, yeah. that, that was already an autonomous region. They already had agreements to have Sevastopol, that naval base there. There were no problems with that. Most of the people in Crimea, one of the reasons why the invasion probably worked is most of the people there were friendly towards the Russian Navy. They had no problem with the ships there. They, they were in and out all the time. That port was used pretty commonly. But it's not like that port was ever under threat. Okay. Uh, agreement in, with that or? Yeah, I was saying that's just another reason in, in addition. I don't know to what degree uh, Ukrainian oil going on in the market is worth a war. It's going to cost a lot no, no. more. But, but the problem is, it's, so it's a bunch of things, right? It's the, it's, it, is it worth a war if that's all you sell? Do you see what I'm saying? And is it worth a war if they take away Germany, which is buying 30% of its petroleum from, um, from you from Russia. from Russia and is it worth a war if you know they can just bomb the Nord Stream pipeline do you see what I'm saying it's like now your security your ability to sell petroleum is now put direly at risk and while the United States we use a lot of petroleum our economy is not 30 or even 20 percent based on just going to sanction them from selling oil to all those places for but, going to war but, anyway but here's the problem that is exactly my next point which is even if they win, because my point was about the strategy even if they win they lose that was my issue with this whole thing because in the end you had uh, President Putin, he goes off and he lies to the entire world and says he's not going to invade. And then he invades. And while, again, great statecraft, incredible military strategy, absolutely terrible when it comes to diplomacy. You're going to have to pay for that in the end. When you tell the world that you have hypersonic missiles and then you have the Ukrainians shoot down those hypersonic missiles, turns out they're not hypersonic missiles at all. When you tell the world that you have Sukhoi 57s that are supposedly better than F-22s and F-35s, and it turns out you don't even use them in battle. When you tell the world that you have these incredible uh, S-14 tanks that are supposed to be able to knock out anything, and they're just getting blown up on the side of the road. They, they, Russia has lost 1,500 tanks in this war already. That's incredible. Just for uh, for uh, size and ratio, the United States lost 80 M1 Abrams tanks during all of uh, their invasion of, of Iraq the entire time, and 63 of them they put back in service. What's happened with Russia is I don't want to get too far into this, but there's this huge design defect with the tanks where they put the um, the uh, shells right next to the turret. And when you hit it with a javelin, then all of a sudden it blows up the, the entire tank. And you can see photographs all over the place. Look it up yourself with tanks with the turrets like knocked off. And this is another problem. So now Russia, their second biggest export, which is military defense. Nobody wants to buy their Sukhoi 27s because they don't work. Nobody wants to buy their tanks because they don't work. They don't want to buy the T-52s, the T-72s, the T-90s, the T-80s. Nobody wants to buy these tanks. So Russia has tripled People fuck themselves. They're going to have sanctions with them as far as they're selling petroleum. They're going to have sanctions with them as far as their trade agreements. They're going to have they're going to have a bunch of companies that are like, we don't want your armament anymore. It clearly put into use against American armament. You guys could not stand up to them. And then finally, do you think tanks have done well on either side? 
I think tanks are going to do really well when those 31 M1 Abrams show up in Ukraine in a couple months. I think tanks are going to do really well. A T-72, can, a T-72 cannot do anything to an M1 Abrams. It cannot. And that's going to be a serious problem for I Russia. I don't think it's a tank on tank <laughs> issue, though. It's, it's a javelin on tank. Landmines a... and helicopters and... Um, <laughs> yeah, but the, the, we like I don't think the Leopard 24A is a bad tank. I just think any tank that walked into a field of landmines that's getting targeted by drones and cornet missiles sure. and helicopters and anti-tank personnel is going to get destroyed. It's they we're not having giant tank versus tank battles. This well, is we, we it's did, not we, World we War II. We had one. We did we did have one in I forgot what the city was, but there was a, a massive one in the the entire Russian tank brigade uh, uh was I lost. Volograv, but they they lost the tanks to Ukrainian landmines and yeah. things. It's no, not... no, but, but my, my point is this, like one of the issues that Ukraine, and by the way, it was um, uh, Pr 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 Prigorin, how you say his name? He was the one who actually said this. Uh, but this is before the um, the coup, the attempted coup, whatever it was. He he actually was talking about how the, un the Ukrainian military, which by the way, has been trained in large part by the United States. I wouldn't even possibly deny that. And by the way, Ukrainian fighter pilots right now while we're speaking are training at Shepard Air Force Base in Wichita uh, Falls, Texas to fly those, those jets, those F-16 squadrons that they're about to get. My, my point with that is, is that like he actually said Ukrainians use doctrine of mechanized infantry along with tanks along with aircraft they're using them together the russians don't do that the russians will just run a bunch of tanks into a certain place or they're just use artillery or they're just use air power and they don't they don't have the ability to coordinate that was Prigozhin who said this and so my point is this whole thing is like even though you have a country that is four times bigger than the other country this should be a this should be a first round knockout this should have ended in the first week the fact that we're at a year and five months I think this is a, a really, really bad experience for Russia, and I think I don't see any way of them out, uh, any way for them out of this without. So you think Ukraine is winning the conflict? Uh, it's like it's like this. If I'm the if I'm the underdog and we're tied, I'm winning the conflict. Do you understand what I'm saying? But so you think it's tied? Well, well, no, but but the thing is, right now, well, well, just so you know, in any when you have an invading force going up against a defending force throughout history, the invading force loses more people. They just do because it's just harder. Their their supply lines are further. Also, if you have an invading force, let's just say for every person that's fighting, you need three behind them in support. So that we're talking about medical, we're talking about logistics, we're talking about fuel, we're talking about food. For the invading force, you need about seven or eight. Okay. That, that's that, that's a really reductive way to look at it. Okay. But you need more than twice as many people to invade as you do to, to defend. Is that make yeah. sense? Yeah, right? of course. So the problem is with the attrition, <clears throat> the attrition situation, you have one country that has it. You, 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 you notice how... Ukraine is not trying to defend the whole country. They're trying to defend Kiev more than any other part. Yeah. And so when that happens, you have an unlimited budget. We can all agree to that, right? Ukraine has more money to spend than Russia. Yeah. Or do you guys disagree with that? They have the pockets of all they have the U.S. Yeah, yeah, correct. So just, so, just <laughs> so, for people to understand, Ukraine uh, or uh, NATO has a $1 trillion defense budget. That's including the $800 trillion that they get from the United States. And Russia has an 80 Billion, billion dollar defense budget. I'm sorry, one trillion versus eighty billion. Yeah. So it's about twelve or thirteen times as much. R Ukraine has a blank check. We, the United States is giving them javelins. If you think this is wrong, if you think this is morally wrong, I'm not here to have that argument. My point is, if the United States is giving them top tier anti tank weapons, two squadrons of F-16s, and their first uh, um, battalion of of M1 Abrams tanks that Russia has no chance against, God forbid if they bring F-35s into this. I just don't see how Russia can mm -hmm. win. That's my point. Okay. I, I disagree with that, all of it. I think <clears throat> I'm not big on the U.S.'s wonder weapons. They thought that would be the high Mars. They thought it would be the javelins. They thought it would be the leopards, and they're all just getting destroyed. I think the war of attrition, like I do agree, they're not going to run out of money because yeah. they have NATO money. Yeah. So they're not going to run out of money. It's going to be hard to make them run out of toys. They might run out of ammo temporarily, but they're not going to run out of stuff because NATO will keep giving them things. Agreed. They will run out of personnel. Possibly, possibly, but I think they have the, better training. The attrition personnel. war, I think they were trying to set up a porcupine, and they thought that the sanctions were going to be, even Russia thought this too, that the sanctions were going to be way more devastating than they were. They were pretty much ineffectual. And they thought if we can bleed them with sanctions and force them to charge into well fortified, bunkered, entrenched positions, it would be, you know, pure victories at best. And Ukraine has been. <clears throat> extremely tough, extremely resilient. And in the beginning of the war, they did have very, you know, crack defense. And they kind of pussyfooted their way in with 90,000 troops. But Russia was looking at it holding back uh, because they also didn't know whether or not they could deal with the sanctions. 
without the clock on their side because they're not in a hurry. They don't have to, they're not bleeding from sanctions. They decided to go with the meat grinder approach instead of the blitzkrieg approach. They're going to sit back with artillery, the very slow, methodical way. That is what Russians are good at. Where you yeah. can destroy them at range. <clears throat> you don't lose a lot of personnel because you're hitting them from further away than they can hit you. It's a very slow way to do it. But they've got all the time because the sanctions are hurting NATO more than they're hurting Russia. And Ukraine is running out of personnel. The sanctions because I, I, I disagree. The sanctions are hitting, hurting NATO more? Yeah, yeah, because the reason why I disagree is because we've already had uh, China uh, denounce what's going on in, in Ukraine. So that, that to me, China is going to be... Yeah, and I think Russia has done some funny things, I think, with their currency and everything, with disallowing people to sell Russian currency. Um, and they're doing ways to try to artificially inflate like the economy they have, but I'm pretty sure most experts agree there's been like a pretty big contraction of the Russian it's, economy. It's been three yeah. percent a quarter for Russia's uh, GDP it's, over the last like last couple of years. It's already a country that's got a pretty poor, I think, in terms of GDP per capita. Like it's not Russia is not the richest country in the world. Russia is about as wealthy as Mexico, and a lot of people don't realize wow. that. Russia is right on point. Ru Russia has a smaller GDP than uh, than uh, Italy. I don't think you can judge the real economy just by GDP numbers. But you, but what I think is you can judge how well you can replace tanks and replace aircraft and replace anti-tank weapons with economy. And then once your biggest secondary yeah, supplier, they're, they're out of 155 millimeter ammo, even like NATO's supply. That's why they went to cluster ammunitions. They don't have enough artillery shells to shoot. And Russia is able to do that around the clock. And they're not running out of supplies. Uh, they've, they've been... They have been preparing for this for a while. I'm pretty sure. Haven't we used like 2 million of the 20 million artillery shells we have in stock? I'm pretty sure we just haven't shipped the rest yet. And then even if we do exhaust our supply, can Russia, the country, outmanufacture the rest of the Western world when it comes to artillery shells? Is yes, that... they are. I don't think they can. And anti-air defense, <laughs> too. And like the F-16s, that Syria shot down the F-16 by very well-trained pilots from the Israelis for sure. with an S-200. Yeah. Now you have less trained Ukrainian pilots versus well-trained Russians with S-400s S and above. So, that, so, I don't think they're going to be a game changer either. So they're going to the, get shot down. Yeah. So the difference with the Israeli thing is the United States is going to supply those F-16s with anti-radiation missiles that can fire at more than 60 miles. I think the S-400 is in deep shit and they don't have any S-400s in country. They can't bring them in country because one of the problems is when you turn, that's what happened. By the way, I don't know if you know this, a lot of those, uh, those anti aircraft machinery didn't work they never turned them on and they that that's why they didn't weren't able to defend that part of the country because they weren't even turned on because one of the things that happens is if the united states is involved or if u.s uh firepower is involved this is one thing we learned this is what f-16 wild weasel does is when, real quick because we got to keep a focus because we're going into this whole sorry. tangent here uh he's basically saying that the sanctions are hurting nato more than russia and you guys are saying it's you think the sanctions are hurting russia more i, def I definitely uh, think it's hurting uh, russia more R ryan what, what's your basis for saying that you think the um sanctions are hurting nato more There's than the cost russia. of living going up in europe it's a matter they need the oil they need the gas the gotcha. sanctions are hurting them and throwing, I agree with Andre Martinyanov about GDP. Like, there's a lot of ways to finesse that stuff. Like, Russia and Mexico are not on the same level of living standards. Oh, okay. Agreed. No, I agree with that. Yeah. Okay. And then, what about you guys? Uh, what makes you think that Russia is suffering more from the NATO? Uh, for sorry, from the sanctions than NATO is. I mean, we're having energy issues all over the world. I don't know if it's just the sanctions on Russia that are dealing with that. My understanding is the cost of energy has come down pretty significantly in Europe in some ways too. Like, I think natural gas is about where it was prior to the conflict. I think. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure Russia can can to say that like GDP means nothing. Maybe to Russia it doesn't because you say knows. nothing. Just that you, I don't think like, quoting GDP. I mean, like that's the economy. There's a lot of other factors that well, judge the economy. But it's but it's also the wealth that the government has with which to fight a war. Their war chest is a taxation of GDP. That's why I bring that number up. It depends. Like also, I don't think like we have an enormous military expenditure more than. Like the next forty countries Correct. combined so, or something. Just so you know, it's it's so eight hundred for us, and then two ninety for the next is China. Then after right. that is um is Russia at eighty. But how cost effective is a lot of our military gear? Like uh, a lot of these Lockheed Martin products. I mean, you're talking about a half billion dollar F twenty two Raptor. It's with Sidewinder missiles. Yeah, it's it's a great... should it be that price tag? Sure. It's a it's a really great question, and so part of the reason why we've been able to uh, take away some of that cost is because we sold two hundred F thirty fives to the to NATO, 
And so the yeah, cost... I was going to say, when we say, is it worth that price? The rest of the world seems to think so because everybody wants them. to buy our F-35s. It's so a very highly in-demand plane. So it seems to be that everybody else in the world agrees that that's an incredibly cost-effective weapons platform. The... Uh, maybe some people don't. Maybe Russia says it's not. But Russia, again, they also said they have hypersonic missiles, which are being intercepted by Patriot missile systems. So apparently that's not well, the case. They blew up either. the Patriot system in Kiev. So, so here's the thing. They yeah. might have blown up one of them oh. when they launched, what, with the six missiles at once, I guess? Such, only such, three. A, such a great point. So here's what... Those here's what missiles happened. shouldn't ever be intercepted accepted though by if it's a true hypersonic exactly. missile which it's not right so let, let's talk about this for those of you who understand patriot missile badgery it just fires anti um anti-air it it takes on missiles from a uh from the other the opposing side but it's ballistic it's kinetic it doesn't have a warhead in it. it just goes through it in this case what you're talking about the russians said they shot down they damaged one of the uh patriot missile batteries thank like ukraine said they had it online that yeah, day yes yeah. and 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 the Americans and the U.S., the Western media, agreed that that's what happened. That's why I actually trust what I'm hearing more from them than I, what I hear from Russia. Because what I hear from Russia is that they have uh, hypersonic missiles. And then when they don't work, they arrest three of their missile scientists the next day for treason. So to me, it, this just feels like from a military standpoint, if you want to make a moral standpoint, I can understand. But from a military standpoint, this just feels like one cataclysmic failure after another. Okay. I, um, I think, yes, and even, I'll even critique Mike because you kept saying it was uh, maybe bad statesmanship to say that they weren't going to invade mm -hmm. and then invaded. I think the initial plan was there was never going to be an invasion. It was going to be the special military operation into Kiev, sure. and they were going to have Belarus 2.0, and then they could have said we never invaded. So, it so, was just a so, thing. So, so but that you, failed miserably. You, so yeah. you believe that... Uh, <sighs> You believe that Putin believed that he was going to be welcomed coming into Ukraine? I, I just, I, I, from what I've read, I, I guess you're the military analyst guy, yeah. from other military analysts is the, the readiness no, I've, I've of the that. Russian military was just not where anybody in Russia thought it would be. And, and, and they were undersupplied, they were understaffed, the supplies they correct. did have weren't maintained, and that, yeah, what you had was a bunch of unaccompanied armor, um, uncoordinated troops that yes. were launching horribly coordinated attacks, which they've gotten their shit together a lot better now, a yes. war into the conflict, but yeah. So there's an FSB report that was released that showed that they didn't know there was going to be an invasion, so that goes to to your point. I've heard the same thing that you're saying. Well, the other problem I predicted is the invasion, got it right. Good. You you were smarter. Than... Even when a lot of people are like they're not going to do that. <laughs> yes, they are. I mean, yeah, <clears throat> I've been preparing for this for a long time. I, all right. Did so it, did Trump, Trump also as well predicted too. Hmm? Trump. Did I don't know. Did he? Oh, so I think well. we got some rants. Chris, should we look at them now or no? Or wait. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll read the rants. A 15 year old understands the game more than these three or fours. Here's the difference: when girls are raised by single dads rather than single moms. Mm. Yeah, single fathers actually do better with uh, children. Shut uh, your hurt ass up. He just sad because he's single dad. Shut the fuck no, up. No, single mothers literally. <laughs> he just needs to be on. He over there stressed out. Single mothers. Tell him the stats, Martin. Fuck out of here. I mean, here. single fathers typically do better than single mothers when it comes to the kids aren't as big of fuck ups. No, no, that's watering it down. Literally, single mothers I are. All evil on earth is because of single mothers. Wow. All murderers, criminals <laughs> had no father in the picture, and it's because she bossed up. So, said, I'm a boss bitch, so I'm leaving your ass. The sun goes and shoots up a place, and we all go, what the fuck happened? Wait, oh, wait hold on. I have something? a question. Yeah, sure. so you're blaming the single mother. Why aren't you blaming the fathers who left the child? Because women don't initiate divorce. It doesn't, it doesn't matter about the divorce. The dad could still be in the life. You're talking like yeah. single mother implies that the father's not even there. Right. Raising but the... Why is the father not there? Like, if you look at the studies, it's he men don't leave women. We just get plus. But why are ones. they leaving their child? Yeah, the you can leave. Fine. Leave the, the bitch woman. is crazy. Who the fuck want to live so with a crazy So you're going to leave your own child because you decided well, uh, to not. Here, yes, because bitch? a woman has the power Sounds to put like a, a man in jail. No, you, we're not going to stay around a crazy bitch until she calls the police and lies. But actually, she's a rapist. So you well, abandon your child? Yeah, yes, I'm not going right. to jail for my child. What the you fuck? Can't, you can't you can't I'm not going to help my kid right. from jail. Right. You're abandoning single moms. All right, so ladies, uh, I'll answer this. There's a two-pronged issue here. Number one, women a lot of the times hold the children away from the man and use it as leverage mm -hmm. in, the court, yeah. uh, in family courts. That's number one. So the guy doesn't even get the opportunity to see his child. Number two, um, fuck, what was I going to say? Damn it, I lost my train of thought. It was that, and then, uh, oh, it's the woman's fault for picking a deadbeat guy. It's both their oh. faults. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, yeah, right. How's it, hold on. Yeah. Because if you're a deadbeat and you have a child, I think you have the responsibility to take care of your child. Hold you on. should step up. Again. And so should the woman. Hold on, both hold people on. should hold step on. up hold for on. their hold children. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, it's just crazy. Who controls who has sex, men or women? Uh oh. It doesn't matter. If women, women, women control it. So stop. <laughs> so since women control it, okay? Because here's the thing. This is what this is what I'm trying to say. With feminists, you guys lack logic. If you have 
control over something, that means you have authority. With authority always comes responsibility. Yep. So if you control who's born universally, because men can't control it, only women can, that means you have the authority. So if you pick a deadbeat and procreate with that man and have that kid out of wedlock, it's your fault. No, if you have the authority and responsibility in terms of economic power, which most men have, you have the resources to fight for your child. And at the very least, that's a minimum you Those should do. Those resources go to the child regardless through the family court. Destroy. You most of the got time, destroyed. women, what is it? Most of the time, women don't get alimony, right? Um, when they do, court. yeah, when they get, um, what is it called? When they get custody, it's because they're the primary caregiver. If you're a man and you have more resources and you can basically afford better lawyers, you can still try to fight for your child. There's a ton of men there so, who well, just well, well, stop, stop, stop. I love how you said if you have good lawyers and you fight for it, blah, blah, blah. What does that mean? Well, you're saying that most high value Resources. men. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 wait, no, wait. stop, stop, okay. stop. What, I, what, what you basically admitted there without admitting it is that men have an uphill battle to get custody of their children. Yep. Mm -hmm. Women almost always get the child. 90% of the cases, even if they're less qualified than the father, do they get primary custody? I don't think so. That's why is that benefiting? No, that's true. No, that's true. No, this is based on the record. Stop, stop, stop. You can't even name three countries. Yes, I did. You can't even name three countries. What do you mean? This is a, stupid. This is a, yes, I did. Women absolutely win custody cases most of the time over the men. I'm literally based on primary caregiver, on not what you said earlier. And as a primary caregiver, okay, okay, you have more responsibility over the child, which means you can do what? Extract the resources from the man through the state, which is what a lot of women do. So what I'm saying is two problems. The reason why I got you, you can't blame the man because number one, uh, control over sex. women have control of who has sex. So they also have control of who's born. Then number two, the family courts, a lot of times, women use the children as leverage, and they know the less the man sees the kid, the more money they're able to extract from that man. Men don't um, even contest for custody most of the time, though. That's why it's granted that? men don't contest and try to get custody of their lose. kids. No, actually, that's not true. Yeah, that's actually they're not, not true. Men who, not fight, true. My, men who do actually fight for custody do win more often than women. Oh, However, yeah. that hold, hold on. However, in most states, the presumptive custody is not 50-50, and women will be presumed to have more custody than men in most states, but it depends on how the statute is written. I, I'm literally doing a documentary on this. Um, wow. Some some states have a statute where it's it will tell the judge assume 50 50 percent custody, and then based off of these factors vary the custody. So for instance, abuse. Okay, well then take away some custody from the abusive parent. But then other states have look at these factors to determine percent of custody. So then the judge is going in blank slate and then they assign a custody and it's almost always favor to the woman however if if a man is really fighting they tend to have better resources and they will oh my god frequently. i feel so much better yeah. for getting pregnant but, now but the point I is, is that the, so the man but the thing is is that if the man is going to fight it he's going to need excess resources he's going to need good lawyers it's an uphill battle a lot of the times the guy's already getting destroyed from the family court he can't even fight it so what ends up happening is the woman, most of the time, in about 90% of the cases, gets custody of the children. Wait, but she literally said that starts out a 50-50 slate and then goes on from there, <laughs> right? Like, that's really what the well, you're missing, you're missing, the whole, Here's the thing. We don't even have to get into the family courts. At the end of the day, it's the woman's fault as she procreates with a deadbeat guy and has children with him. Well, that's the thing. Period. A deadbeat. A deadbeat chooses no argument, to be a deadbeat. Casey, there's, there's no argument The here. argument is that I think men are capable. I think men are capable of not being deadbeat dads. That's not an argument. That's yes, like your gay so feelings. If you, yes, if you, you could get a man pregnant and he was a deadbeat, right? Or whatever. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Okay, so say if the roles were reversed and you could, like, life was like you could get a man pregnant. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait. You would stick around with that? But do you, you, you I'm so confused. Okay. I'm not going to have children or I'm not going to have sex with someone that I do not see. Like, okay, if I have a child, um, what's going to end up happening, right? I'm not. But honey, people change. Once you get pregnant, things happen. Yeah, yeah. So, right, so right, you right, got pregnant, right. and then right. you realize the man you got pregnant with is a deadbeat. If you chose to keep that baby, and if you chose to have that baby, that's your fucking fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. But it's also it's, it's also the man's responsibility. No, it's not. not. It's yours. It's your you body's choice. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's be clear. You do not think a man 
man is responsible for his child. No, Absolutely yeah, not. Yeah, you, not, okay. if he, not if he's a dick. We're talking about because dead. she opens the no, legs. Okay. She that's literally that's opens the legs. legs. Absolutely no. not. I just think and a deadbeat man didn't he didn't turn up deadbeat. He didn't go to sleep and wake up a deadbeat. He did deadbeat <laughs> shit throughout that you shit and he decided to deal with it. You're okay. contradicting yourself. What did I you, say that was contradicting? Earlier you said, oh, men sometimes change after you're married. I never and said that. Yes, you crazy as fuck. Wait, go back. I never said that. I never said that. You never said that. I, I, think, the- I think the biggest thing <laughs> takeaway here, Pixie, is that the person who has the authority has the responsibility. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, I, I don't completely disagree. I just think men are capable of not being deadbeats and being there for their children. And I understand it's tough sometimes. It's hard sometimes. You have the, st- the odds stacked against you at times. I completely agree mm-hmm. with that. But I think as a man and as a father, when you have a child, it's your responsibility to try your best. Wait, 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 wait one second. They should? But we don't operate on should. We operate on what is. Yep. I mean, at the end of the day, they have the authority and the responsibility. Can I say one more thing, please? I haven't said a lot today. Go ahead. Can I say one more thing? All right, Queen. I think, thank you. I think what she's confusing with a struggling man with a deadbeat. Because that's what I'm hearing. You're talking about someone that has hardships. You're talking about somebody that's going through some things, et cetera, et cetera. A deadbeat is a deadbeat. That's somebody that ain't shit. Because your circumstances didn't make you not shit, you were made like your upbringing brought you like that. A man going through a hard time in life, can't get a job, out here hustling trying to make it happen. Yes, I will give that man that level of grace that needs to be displayed. But a deadbeat baby is a deadbeat, and that man did not go to sleep and wake up one day and turn into a deadbeat. Reparations, yeah, I, he destroyed her. I think yeah, if somebody's a deadbeat, disagree. you should criticize that. You should be like, yo, you, you had a child. One. Why are you not trying your best to be there with your child? Pixie. And now if the person says, hey, I'm trying my best, but the court system this this and that okay understandable but if you're just saying oh no like i'm not going to even try then i'm sorry you're but like a shitty father you said to yourself that you would not get pregnant by a man like that right so by default let's say for example you marry an alcoholic that was your choice he's still alco- alcoholic <laughs> no matter what yeah so, i'm saying we both share responsibility for fucking up our child no no but like he should step up and be a better dad just as i should step up and be a better mom should Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I'm talking about like where should no, no, no. You don't be? get the reproductive rights and equal fucking blame. Get the fuck out of here with that retard shit. <laughs> and hold on, hold on, hold on. A child uh, is no, 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 here's where I, here's where I destroy. It. Watch me sniper her fucking uh, female go, go, go. IQ. Okay, ready? Watch me sniper out. And now you, you're either gonna be uh, bad faith or lose. You, this is game over. This is exodia. Okay, ready? stop buying time. Yeah. Okay. And then you can draw your last pathetic card. Say it. Stop buying time. Go. Do you? You triggered my trap card. Do you, Puerto Rican lady? Do you agree with Myron that ninety percent of the time they lose the kid in court? Ninety percent of the time? Yes, I don't think yes, yes or no. no? No. We already established that if men true. actually that's turn up like a for custody, that they have a higher likelihood of winning. They have to do it though. But they have they to don't do that. Do the, the, so the, what they're actually, saying, what they're saying, what the guys saying, are she's saying, using the men that are fighting, but most exactly, fighting. Exactly. Yeah, the courts are, the courts are going to give though. the child to the woman, uh, like by default. So, yeah. The man has to take the extra steps when, to when give a, the kid. When a woman is born, do they just go off of the exception every time? Like if I say men are stronger than women, they go not all women. No, a sixteen-year-old boy can beat the shit out of. 3 billion women on earth line them up he'll smoke them right and and to make it fair he'll identify as she when he's beating the shit out of them but you guys what is the point of talking to someone who goes off the exception like Zirka, when i say oh black exception. guys got big cocks and she goes well i know one that's like one in a fucking zillion. Why Zirka. the fuck would we talk about one in a zillion? We're talking about studies and stat- statistics. We right? are talking yeah. about stats. So, the one who's but, but it's important. She made, she made a very clear distinction. She said, if the man fights, what we're saying is that in general, if you take all child custody issues, women get it 90% of the time. Right. Now, it changes if the man actually fights. Right. But what we're arguing is a lot of the times the guy doesn't fight, doesn't have the resources to fight, and it's mm-hmm. an uphill battle. Some of the times they just give up. So the I resources get, I, is I, huge. I get what you're yeah. saying. The guys that are winning, what you're re- referencing, is a small minute, uh, small portion of the male population that actually has the resources, time, and lawyer fees to fight the thing. Right. But re- right. the reality is the man has to fight to get his kids. The woman has to fight to lose her kids. Right. right. And, right. and, and that's, it is that's a major issue. That's a, that's it. But poor, do you believe... poor men are having their kids mm-hmm. stripped from them. It's actually really sad. Yeah. Myron, yeah. but do you agree in the idea that men should try their hardest when it comes to their children? I just want to know. Look, see... I, said, I know we're not operating like all oh, reality is different, but yeah. do you think men should try they their should. hardest? They should. Okay. And, and from a moral standpoint, however, women have to be aware of reality and know that this guy can step out at any time. So let me make sure I get a wedding band. I'm, this guy's taking me serious. 
He's a good guy, comes from a good family. He has some moral duty obligation, and I'm not fucking a deadbeat, as she was trying to describe to you. So it's on the woman because the woman has all the authority. The problem is that women don't like having, women love to have authority, but they don't want the responsibility that comes in tandem with it. But She's don't you that kind of just, that comes with if it? If you agree, yeah. if you agree that men should have a responsibility towards their children, they should. then you agree that they shouldn't but be Albert, that what is? They yeah, should not. But I, I just, I'm just. But they will be. They will be, but they shouldn't. They shouldn't. Okay. We're, but there we should agree be world hunger, but it's here. Hey, okay. what do you have to say? I, just, I have a lot to say because I thought we were friends, but then I disagree with the shit you were saying okay because with I felt like, damn, like y'all act like people can't change overnight. People can change overnight. That's not real change overnight. People do not change overnight, people actually. People do change overnight. One day I want to play, one day I want to be faithful. Like, no, no, no. People do change one day overnight. You straight. Straight. But she's saying, exactly. she's saying ultimately the guy was who he was from the very beginning. What you saw was a facade. So you fell for so it. So that's my fault. That yes, I fell yes, for yes. it. Yes, you fell yes. for it. Pick Damn. So no, if I tell pick. you that this is my real hair, no, and then you fuck me, no. and then you pull that shit off, then I I'm it's very obviously not. No, no. She didn't <laughs> fall. She didn't fall for it deep in her psyche. She knows he's a player. They still do it. No, they but literally I literally know. No, because I know. Uh, you uh, women fuck rappers. What? Yeah, I'm talking about you guys <laughs> fuck rappers. You know they're dogging you, you and making fun of you with the whole entourage, and you Drake. still do it. You're Drake. Drake. I'm better. So, yo, do why have... do women fuck rappers, Myron? Why? They know they're getting clowned. They know yeah. they're getting kicked out. They know it, and they still do it. Zerka, if you think women always know deep inside, how does that explain the like, women who were originally, before all this information came out, like followed Ted Bundy or like other serial killers? Like these serial killers put such a good facade on that women can't sense the fact that these guys want to no, kill them. Really sense no. they, they, I, they sense the fact that these guys want to kill them, murder I, them, I, them. I love that you said that. The oh, difference from men and women. Myron, Fresh, Zirka, Sneeko would never date a bitch out of prison. All of you would date a man out no, of prison. No, but what? That <laughs> reveals your IQ. Yeah, no, that no, reveals your IQ. Do you actually think you have a higher IQ than me? Absolutely. I'm destroying you. What? No. 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 You need another Democrat degree. What's your IQ? What's your IQ? Uh, my IQ is um, I'm getting all the views, making fun no, of you. No, what is your IQ? I'm running circles. My IQ is in the comment section of this video. But yo, be honest. Why? Why do, can why can women uh, date a prisoner, but Myron and I would never do that. It's the same you reason that you talk about question. demisexual and pansexual and the reason you believe in Gemini. You like delusions. You like living in your First head. You all, like false reality. First of all, I'm an astrology girl. Second of all, you're you guys she pronoun dodged girl. the question. The same reason she said she's a 10 out of 10. I'm answering question. you. I'm answering no, you. No, you did not answer the question. question. I will, I will answer the question. Okay, please answer my question. The reason why, because I have studied Ted Bundy extensively, the reason why women like Ted Bundy, right? Well, he was charming, charismatic. He, you know, he had these traits that women found attractive. Dark tribe. Now, in general, right? I'm going to be honest here. Women are terrible at mate selection because <laughs> women are emotional and they're also erratic. So they pick the bad boy. They pick the guy that gives them uh, short-term fun. Women are emotional. This is why arranged marriages work so well because the father is involved in the selection process and picks a man that's more stable for the long term. Now, is he going to be a Chad? Is he going to be attractive? Is he going to have six-pack abs, big dick, and be charming? Maybe not. He might be a boring engineer, but he's going to be a safe bet for long-term rela relationships things. But women and don't want that. As we've seen feminism come into play, what does it allow women to do? Be liberated, right? And since they're liberated, they could pick their own boyfriends. Why do we have the worst marriage rates, the most single women, the least happy women? Because women are the ones picking the men. And when women pick the guy, they look for traits a lot of the times that are not in their best interest. But I'm, okay, oh I'm, one God. more thing. For just long-term relationship. Yo, yo, does just, it answer your question? No, other girls it, does quite, it does answer my question. Right? I can, okay, I just I wanted to clarify one thing. I totally understand what you're saying. I'm just confused on how that relates to high value men because I thought women only selected for high value men and were spoiled. Well, okay. Well, so yeah, so here's the thing. Women want a high value guy, but are they capable of getting one all the time? No. 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 They're okay. chasing them, but they're not always going to get them. But if a guy is able to display some kind of high value behavior, right? Let's say he's very charming, charismatic and he's able to, you know, finesse with his words. Well, that's a high value trait. Okay. She's not like that. So there's only one thing women want more than a high value man, and it's attention. Right, that's why they get fucked by losers in between. Hold on. Though. I'm curious, <laughs> uh, Fabiana. Right, mm -hmm. you have a man. Is he high value to you? And how did you meet him? He is high value to me. But we're all work in progress. So, and we met in high school. High school. Okay. Oh, that is so. You go to heaven. You go to heaven. Did you lose your virginity time? No. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> A bunch of shots. Just uh, yeah. It's like, uh, how do you feel about black women? And 
it's whatever. I mean, I don't normally date them. Uh, oh, shit. But, um, but my thing is, it's not necessarily it's the skin color that's the problem. It's the behaviors that turn me off a lot of the times. What it doesn't have that? to do, because I've been with black girls before. What just, is it then? Maybe the behaviors? Yeah. All, all yeah. black girls yeah. the same. Yeah. Yeah. Keep in mind. Yeah. The way they care. Yeah. What about their behavior? Yeah. yeah, what is the behavior to yeah. you? Yeah, what is uh, it well, it's the behaviors that I dislike. So, like, you know, being loud, obnoxious, argumentative, masculine. Is that black girl to you? Um... Well, not all black girls are like but that, but they're not. So the ones but you've but some are. So, do you feel black women are are aggressive when you say masculine? Do you most, associate most that with aggressiveness? Women. A portion of them definitely are. Yeah. So but does that make you stay away from well, black women since that? Since you've got that impression, kind of on black. Well, women? It, it's not that. It's that. See, in the black community, they champion that type of behavior. You know, be strong, be independent, etc. And these things aren't necessarily traits that men look for in women. Can I say something? But real quick, but you know, there is beautiful black women all over the world, and and. What you're saying, that of is Of course, not, I've been with some of them. Okay, but what I'm saying is what you're saying, that that does not account for all black women for you. We never that. said that. We never said that. Can I say something really quick? I never, I never quick? said all. I said, I, I said there's a portion of them. I said there's a portion of them. Tell us. Talk your shit. Hold on. Can you please stop interrupting? I said there's a portion, but not all. There's never an all for anything. There's always exceptions to the rule. But what I am saying is that it tends to be in the black community that we champion that type of behavior from women, and that's not the way to go to be attractive to the majority of men. You're going to say something? Yes, I would love to. Um, I feel like a lot March. of that, I understand what you're saying 100%. Yeah. I also feel like a lot of that comes from trauma because, yeah. one, black women just, in America at least specifically, now you're white. black women just... What? Oh my gosh, she's black. Y'all got to stop with the ignorant shit. Like, don't say no first of all, I'm Trinidadian right. and Haitian. Ain't no white in me, bitch. Anyways. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Me, bitch. <laughs> oh, you said, you said it? I was wondering who the fuck said it. I looked at him like, bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> wow, but now nah, I'm not fucking ass. white. <laughs> Anyways, I feel like a lot of that anger and aggression and masculinity comes from black women trying to protect themselves in America. They're not, they don't feel safe. At the uh -huh. end of the yeah. day, the masculine and feminine energy is not balanced in America. It's very fucking off. Women are trying to do construction jobs. Men is trying to fucking make women go 50 and 50 and shit and it's just, everything's just off I, so at the end of the day i feel like black women is just like it's, it's it's a traumatic response and yes it's in their responsibility to heal it and you know not exert it out onto other people but I just want to say I feel like that's a. Or what if you were Well, I'm not gonna lie, not in a bad way. I would say that. I'm giving you questions. No, no, I'm saying in a sense of. No, listen, in a sense of Myron, a woman, a black woman, women, we know how to be humble and how to submit when we're in the presence of someone that's strong and that's a leader. So would you take self accountability and maybe say you weren't a leader or you didn't know how to lead? That's not everybody. But I'm saying, but each woman is different. No, but. Most women, most women, and I'm just asking him a question respectfully. Mm -hmm. Would you feel like maybe you lack something when you were dating those type of women? Mm -hmm. Well, let's use your analogy. Okay. Let's say you found a guy that was attractive, but then you found out that he wore heels on Saturdays. Um, <laughs> Would you hang out with him? I've been in that situation and know I, once I found out <laughs> that he was a cross dresser. Uh -huh. I don't know, no, but how about this? How about this? What if he told you, like, hey, what if he told you, like, hey, you weren't feminine enough? So, like, you know, I had to kind of. And, and honestly, I've got that before. And I'm just keeping it real because everyone has preferences and I totally understand you're that. You're missing the point of the analogy. Yeah, you okay, just missed go it. ahead. Go ahead. Like, you're basically making the argument about being selectively feminine, right? Oh, you just weren't, you might have not shown the strong personalities or whatever. Right. What I'm saying is that that's the equivalent to a guy wearing heels every now and then and saying, oh, you weren't feminine enough. No, it's about your. If you're feminine, you're feminine all the time. If you're masculine, you're masculine all the time. It's just that, that I don't agree with that. I don't agree. Really? That's that's I don't agree. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. We hold on. each have a feminine look, and masculine look, energy, look, look, and look. we transfer from one to You guys, from you guys can say that. You guys can say that all that you want. But mm -hmm. my thing is this: men are expected to be masculine at all times and be a man at all times. Why is that? We let women pick and choose when they want to be a lady. Says who? Who made that rule yeah. that men has to be masculine at you're all times? You're confused on that. That's not true. And what they do. Men are able to one, one, one at a time. One at a time. We can't have. No, they absolutely Baby, do because men have to be masculine at all times. If a guy of shows course. some type of weakness or he shows some type of inadequacy of being able to be a leader or whatever, maybe please let me finish my point. No, I'm letting you. I'm uh, just, I get that, I'm but just, like, yes, yeah, distracting. Okay, I'll calm down. So. 
Mm-hmm. Men are expected to be men at all times, right? I can't mm-hmm. pick and choose when I want to go and deal with the robbers mm-hmm. that break in the house. I can't mm-hmm. pick and choose when I want to pay bills. Mm-hmm. I can't pick and choose when I want to be a leader. I'm supposed to be a man at all times. Yes. Yes. But I find yeah. it very interesting mm-hmm. that women can pick and choose when they want to be a lady. They want to be able to turn up and be a boss babe I, sometimes. Okay. I'm with and then you they want to be able to be a lady I'm and be treated like a gentleman treatment on yeah. another time. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm saying is that if I'm expected to be a man at all times, I want a woman that's going to be a lady at all times. Yeah. Yeah. Not okay. based on how she interprets things or whatever because... I don't want a woman that picks and chooses when she's a lady. Okay. Just like she wouldn't want me for picking and choosing when I want to be a man if I want to cross dress on other days. So I think mm-hmm. it's a ridiculous concept that men have to be men all the time, but women can pick and choose when they want to be ladies. I don't okay. think men have to be men all the time. I, I mean, obviously, if you're a man, be a man. But I think there are times that men are allowed to be vulnerable. Yeah. Like, I think that... When? Th- all the time. I, I allow space for my men to be vulnerable. So I can't speak on other Where people. Where are they now, then? And gone. I'm a black woman. They're Where gone. are they now? Wow. Not gone. Wow. He is trigger. Trigger. Like, no, because, no, 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 let me, let me tell y'all, because women don't respect vulnerable men at all. Mm-hmm. That's not yeah, true. They don't. Yeah, they're they're not so 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 anytime right a man, anytime a man, yeah. like, cries in public or shows some type of weakness, women ridicule him for it later on. No, when, there's a borderline. I'm sorry. Yeah. Not there, all the time. That's not true. There's a borderline so, when it's okay, too much. There's a line, but guess what? We don't know when to cross it. And we don't know when it's too much for you. That's the, that's Communication. the, that's the hard part. That's the, that's the thing. No, but no. you may that's say you're cool for, with it. Maybe yeah. but different different way way it. You had something? But okay. Go ahead. Yes, okay. So my thing is, at the end of the day, every human has a masculine and a feminine Thank side. You. Yeah. When you are born a male, you are naturally supposed to be more in your masculine, but you also can tap into your femininity, Facts. which is healthy for each person to do the same woman. I mean, the same reason a woman should be tapped into her femininity, but she also needs masculine. To, it's the yin and the yang of the universe. Mm-hmm. It's the positive and the negative. But I think in America specifically, women are, women and men are just very programmed well, for multiple different things. So what are you saying? Basically how you were just saying, if a woman gets mad over, over someone being vulnerable or whatever, I think that is like. Have you ever had a dream? Yeah. <laughs> Women are forced so to be more masculine. If, look, look. If I, I get it. You want to contribute, but just have your thoughts together to make your point nice and succinctly. I think nice there's a succinctly. human aspect I mean, that, that was, she was kind of was bringing point. in. There's like a fight or flight mode that, that when you start like. Okay, there is the feminine and there's the masculine, but there's also fight or flight mode. There's like being human. Yeah. There is a time and a place Thank to do you. certain things. Mm-hmm. So, I feel like if you just think about. Like a woman, you're supposed to be feminine, but there are some aspects, like if I have to protect myself, I step into my masculinity. Yes. Because exactly. I do know that protection, like it's it's a fight or flight mode. And and it's not just day, ma- masculine and feminine, it's also just being human. And at the, the end only, of the day, men have been raised to think like, oh, showing emotions is soft or bad or this and that. And mm. it's not that. Emotions are fucking human. Each yeah. person's going to have those emotions. It's okay to cry, it's yeah. okay to get mad, it's okay men, to get upset. You, yeah. we, One of the primary differences between men and women is men's ability to control their emotions better than women. Because Facts. when men control, don't control their emotions, guess what ends up happening? Crimes get committed. But a lot of men haven't been able to control their emotions. And have you seen them? And that's, then they're and in jail. jail. Also, they're in jail. Also, so, there's, so, instantly, it so, like. so it's not, not good. OJ, when men need to be able to control their emotions. We don't have the same, how do I say this? give that if we be emotional that we're not going to deal with consequences like with women you guys can cry and say blah 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 people are going to come to your aid and be like oh no yeah. let me console you mm-hmm. no one wants to see a man cry vulnerability is not respected men are not supposed to be vulnerable especially around female can, can you guys please can you guys please stop interrupting yeah. randomly when i'm making a point please because when everyone's talking over each other it sounds crazy i'm trying to address your guys's questions because you guys asked me right because with the first question was how do I feel about, about black women? And to oh, so answer that, yeah. the reason why I don't date them a lot of the times isn't necessarily because of the way that they look. It's because a lot of the behaviors is championed in that community. Now, with that said, I've dated plenty of black girls before that were feminine and submissive and weren't a headache. But I've dated a lot. Oh, I've dealt with a lot that were headaches. And I've come to realize in that culture, unfortunately, it's championed to be strong and independent and not respect male authority in the black community. Because a, say- a lot of them are fatherless. And since they're fatherless, mm-hmm. they don't have that masculine authority to let them know, hey, you need to follow a man's lead. Women, a lot of the times from black communities, unfortunately, grew up in a single mother household where she tells them niggas ain't shit. Then she go, has a sister that says niggas ain't shit. The music perpetuate niggas ain't shit. Like I and said, then what trauma. ends up happening is they grow up and then they don't have a general respect for men. 
And then they meet you, and then you get a lot of those toxic traits coming into you because they weren't naturally taught how to be a lady. They were very masculinized uh, since birth because they didn't have a man figure. You're right. Can I also, wait, wait, let me can just I, tell them this. Let me just say this. You're absolutely right. <laughs> just really quick, you're right because I did that, and you got to take self-accountability. I came from aggressive women in my family. My father wasn't in the household, and that, and you know, I'm just keeping it real. So... <laughs> I've seen you on your podcast. I didn't agree with you with a lot of stuff, but I definitely agree with you with that. Mm -hmm. And I also agree with her. It is part of trauma because when you grow up like that in that community and you deal with that, trauma do come uh -huh. in place. And then you have to unlearn <coughs> what you've learned, how you said what you learned yeah. in your household. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But what I'm saying is that that's why I personally don't like it. And a lot of men don't like it. I mean, it's just that men aren't vocal about masculine women being unattractive. We tell them, oh, no, we do care about your career and... We got Neo and Fabulous line no, about don't. she got her own and shit. Men don't give a shit about none of that stuff. But you gotta understand. We don't. Um, if a man brings a woman out of her masculinity, that's because you made her feel safe. You made yeah. her feel provided. When you are speaking to her, there's not a balance with okay. how you're making Let me ask you a question. Then. Hold on, hold on. Because you're women so always smart. like to look at the whole like thing. If a man isn't attractive to you, would you give him a chance? Yes. No. Yes. No, because depends on how much money hold on, hold on, he has. Hold on, I'm asking her. She said no, right? Sorry. No, because okay. the man is supposed to chase the woman. We're not supposed to be sitting there chasing a man. Okay. So what I'm saying is that, you know, you're judging a book by its cover. It's like, okay, he didn't meet my threshold, so I'm good. I'm not interested, right? It's not so, you said, wait, if he's not attracted to me. No, if you don't find him attractive. Oh no, 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 no. Then I'll give him a chance. It's not I don't give people a chance off their looks. I give people a chance off their energy, their heart, their mind. So I don't go off of oh he you know, his hair is fucked up. If I fuck with his heart, he follows God and he's good positive energy, I'm going to reject most of the guys that come up to you obviously i'm a beautiful woman every guy fantastic wants to talk to so me. <laughs> so i guarantee that a bunch of those guys that tried to talk to you were probably nice guys that would treat you really well but guess what you didn't give them a chance maybe they, they didn't look a certain way maybe they didn't have a certain look that you're looking for maybe they didn't speak the way that you want to hear whatever it may be but the point is this you made a decision right then and there i'm not interested so what if i say when a woman uh, has certain traits she's masculine as hell in her energy i don't have to give her a chance either I'm Why is that you guys want us to go ahead and not judge a book by its cover from the male perspective? Like, she's been masculine. Give her a chance. She might submit to you. I asked but the question. Yes, hold on. Stop interrupting, okay. man. Okay. Okay? <laughs> I'm, I just find it interesting how with girls, you guys are okay with rejecting us up front. You don't, you don't get to figure out what we're like or our personality, whatever. You guys reject us. But if I say, oh, this girl's kind of masculine. I'm not even going to give her a chance. Y'all look at me like I'm crazy. Like, no, you, she, you, you don't know. She might be a submissive woman. But it's like, y'all would never give us that chance. Exactly. You, let me ask you this, because you say that, word, yeah. that he's more sensible. What makes us less sensible? Ooh. Out of curiosity. What was the question? You want you asked him the question in particular because you said he was more sensible. Can you tell us why we're less sensible? Uh you guys I'm seem curious. just a little bit a little bit more uh hellbent against uh uh, women, I guess, like yeah, overall, you guys are more like, the, um, um, like uh, I'll, just, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, I'll okay. just, like, a, just a really quick example was the, I guess, the nightclub or bar thing. You're saying that uh, a woman should absolutely be in the house. Man can go out do whatever he wants, yeah. but she can absolutely not go out and and you know have the opposite roles. In my, me and my relationship. There's some nights that I don't I don't want to go out, uh, but my boyfriend does, uh -huh. and so he'll go out and he'll have a great time. And I because I trust him, I feel like it all comes down to trust and, and respect. Because I trust him, I can sleep rest my head at night because I know he's he's out there, he's having a good time, and I know that like he's not betraying me. And the same uh, is true for me. Okay, he can he Hold can on. be like. Yeah. Let's go into a dream world. You, you, you said you sleep well at night. Him going to the club, whatever. Would you sleep as well at night if you knew that there were women that were way hotter than you? offering him free alcohol that wanted to sleep with him that were offering him trips to the Maldives and Dubai, etc. Would you be as comfortable and sleep as tight? No, I, just, I, was I was gonna address that. Yeah, but would you would you sleep as tight? Um yeah, gotcha, because my I trust him. It goes then it really it really yeah. comes down to trust. That's it. <laughs> really? Yeah. It really comes down to trust. Would it be fair to say that you would just trust him to be a man and he would probably fuck those other girls or take one of those opportunities, especially if yeah. hundreds of women that were more attractive than you had gave him opportunities no. that he would not be able to get with you? No. No. Have you ever it heard really the phrase? It really comes down to trust, on, and that's on. what a lot of people stop, don't stop have. A lot of people hold don't on, have hold trust. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Have you ever heard the phrase that men are typically only as faithful as their options? Uh, sure. Okay. So knowing that, do you really think that your guy would be faithful to you if he had better chicks than you offering in the world, and he was going to a nightclub that had this in abundance? Would you really sleep well? At I night? don't entertain hypotheticals like that. That's that's a very no, hypothetical no, no, question. No, but this hypothetical is extremely important because you're trying to go ahead and say 
him going to the club is the same as you going to the club. You're trying to conflate the two as if it's the same, and I'm arguing it's not. It really is. But it's, but it's a hypothetical question, because let's face it, men are not offered the same options that women are. You Thank said you. it yourself. Thank you for proving I my know. point. That's I'm why saying, you can I, sleep I was well gonna, at I night. Was, I was stop, addressing stop. that. That's why you can sleep well at night. That's my fucking point. Women What's the problem well there? What's no, the problem there? It's a reality. Because going to the club is not the same. You're going to go to the club, right? What'd you do? You rated yourself like a what, ten, like uh, a six, seven. No, she rated herself against uh, Elizabeth Olsen. Uh, back to, to to who? Elizabeth Olsen. Jim okay. Carrey. Wait, Elizabeth <laughs> Olsen. God, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, you gave yourself a six compared to her. Yeah. You do realize that you go to the club as this six. You're gonna have a bunch of dudes swarming you, hitting on you, giving you crazy opportunities, etc. I guarantee you, your guy's not gonna sleep as well at night. But he does. But he does. So I'm he a beautiful doesn't. woman. I go out with my girlfriends and I, I have a great time. And guess what? I'm curving these motherfuckers all night long. Okay, look, they they, honestly, they, honestly, on, honestly, on, they on. honestly have a really great relationship. They both trust each other. Um, you said you gave good advice earlier, right? Trust, man. Man. They, 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 advice they definitely don't trust each other. She gave a terrible he, advice all night. Don't give advice. Get a pearly face. She's been the truth right now. He cheated. Hold on. Let me. I know you're a lawyer and stuff. No, no, no. He cheated once before. And when he did. Is he the only one that can finish this? Yes, yes, it's his show. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah. Is that your show? Yeah. Yeah, facts. Because you're you're, you're just interrupting to try respect. to add it. So know, you prove my point even more. No, it, men are all his faithful or options. So he cheated on her? No, yes, he did not cheat on her. Right. He cheated on a previous wife. And when he did that, he realized the mistake <laughs> that he made. And he said he would never do that again. And he has proven Translation. That. I will never do it again. And get caught. No, no. He will never do it again. No, 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 you guys have some trust issues. Yeah, yeah, literally. No, no. Listen, trust maybe not, listen, 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 we're the fucking dogs. Mm -hmm. Like, we are the dudes. Maybe you guys are. Yeah, we're <laughs> trying to tell you transparently, like, well, it's not like that for me, nigga. I, 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 honestly, I don't understand <laughs> how men are the prize, where if you put 50 men on an island in 100 years, the island will be deserted. You put 25 men and 25 women on an island, that island will thrive. Yeah. So I don't understand how men are the prize when you need us to have your children. Wait, you said 50, that you're 50, so worried women, about 50 having. women and one man? 20, no, 20 25 men and 25 women. Oh, this, no, notice how Survival. you have to go ahead and make it. And also, why are men surprised when you're essentially wait, saying no, that wait, you, wait, men are going to be you trust okay, okay, men, look, look, 40 look, men look, and 10 women? Gonna, there's still going to be this conversation, people there. It's got to be one mic at a time. So, number one, uh, so you mentioned the thing about the island, and then you said uh, your guy going out is not the same. Like, oh, yeah, what I was saying was... I said it all comes down to trust. Okay. That's what no, I'm saying. No, no, but here's the thing. Okay. I guarantee you, because you're trying to argue, my guy is totally cool with me going out, blah, blah, blah. I guarantee you, if I so, brought him to a room by himself and I said, hey, listen, bro, you got two options. Your girl can go to the club or she can stay at home with you. You know what he's going to pick 99% of the time? Of course he wants me to stay He loves me. He's oh. obsessed with me. <laughs> okay, so so is it really that he wants? he's comfortable with you going to the club or he doesn't have a choice? No, he's comfortable. He's comfortable with it. He's, he really cool. he's cool to hang out with the dogs and let me go hold hang on, out with my why girls. Is it that, why is it that when I ask him then, without you being involved or anyone else being involved, I ask him, hey, would you prefer your girl to be home or go to the club? He says he prefers her Because he wants home. me to hang out with him, but he's also okay if I make my own choices and say, hey, baby, I'm going to go hang out with my girls. No, here's the cold hard reality. <laughs> he doesn't have the value to tell you what he really wants to tell you. He That's absolutely fucking no, does. Because when a woman really respects and admires a man, etc., Everybody else is virtually invisible to her. She doesn't need to be in the club. She doesn't have to be, need to be consuming alcohol. No, bro, that's, need to no, be that's unhealthy. Of... That, that oh, she that's is completely that's dependent. This is codependent. No, it's no, it's not. No, I, mean, actually, I argue that it's actually unhealthy for you to go to the club, hang out with a bunch of dudes, drink alcohol with dudes that are trying to sleep with you. Who, wait, wait, wait. Who, who said I was drinking alcohol with dudes that are trying to sleep with me? I curve motherfuckers that I'm hanging out with my girls. Yeah, but, but, you're, drinking but you're drinking alcohol and you're at a club, correct? No, 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 no. I don't even go to clubs, first yeah. of all. I go Where to, you like, then? bars or bars. Bars or restaurants. Oh, bars bars. Bars. I'm not a club girl. Worse. Worse. What a I'm, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is I don't think it's... All I'm saying, really... Uh, that my main point was, I don't think it's so cut and dry. I don't think it's as brutal as you make it sound. And I think that... um. 
I, I really just I don't think that it's it's what you say. It's I think a lot. I think a lot of so, wait, 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 relationships wait, 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 are, are hold on, hold on. You self that your man would prefer you to not be in the club, yet you go to the club anyway. You self admitted this. No, no it's not about going to the it's club. It's not about anyway. going to the club. He's like, okay, babe, have a great have night. Have fun, I'm baby. Have fun he says that because he knows if he tells her, hey, look, I don't really like that you're going to the club. I don't really like this. He's gonna get hit with the. You're not sensible, or this is insecure. No, we have a kind of relationship where he will tell me if he wants me to stay in. And guess what? If he tells me I want to stay in, Christy, what do I do? You, you stay in. I'll stay in. in. But honestly, stay they in. both like to have time. their own stay space, in. which is healthy. Sometimes it's healthy he, to have time apart, to go out, and he we trust it each other. Wait, Nothing's what? going on. I have a question. <laughs> Shoot. Go ahead. So, so wait a minute. Both you and your boyfriend go to the club without each other? They don't go to clubs. We don't go to clubs, first of all. Well, bars, they go wherever, hang out with hang out with friends. Bars, hang out with friends. Let's put it that way. It okay, stop, stop, stop with the fucking like hyper explana like explanation. Do you go out and drink alcohol with other people, including men, without your boyfriend present? Yes or no? Yes. Does your boyfriend do the same thing? Yes. You guys are fucked. <laughs> what? How? I don't, I mean, thankfully your opinion doesn't actually matter at the end of the day. <laughs> Does not. Yeah. What do I know? That, I'm... that, I mean, you know. I think and, there are, I think maybe I've, I've, I've argued is, my case. I know I, you guys are going to keep. I mean, it's, uh, it's, just, I, it's I not appropriate what for women saying, to have a man to be out drinking with other men. It's inappropriate behavior. It's single behavior. Literally, I never said I was drinking with other men. Once again, I said yeah. it with my just girls. Just admit it to I him. said it with my girls. No, no she said, said with friends. I said my girls. With friends. No, she said with friends. I said my friends. With that friends. are also males? Yeah, she had and male friends yeah. that she and trusted. Goes, that they they aren't trying to fuck. They and aren't trying to fuck. They're, 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 they're not trying to fuck. And listen, listen. Hold on, relax, Pearl. This is a perfect example of women. You said you gave good advice. That's a lie. You said before for her, it's still possible for her to find a have value guy. No, it's not. It is. It's not probable. It's possible, but not probable. Right? She's not going to find that level of man again at 32 years old. It's just not going to happen. And then here, you're condoning. Behavior that I told you before is not conducive to a good long term relationship. They've been in a relationship. I just think everybody's no, like, trust wait, 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 like, like, time out, time out, time out, Why are we parking our Lambo in the ghetto? What? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we parking our Lambo in the fucking ghetto? Why are you taking the Lamborghini that is you as a beautiful young white woman? Going up there, you're wise, you're intelligent, you get all shit. Why are you parking your Lambo in the ghetto and letting people like attempt to fucking break into it and steal? No you? one is. I think you guys have a really fucked up picture of what life is like. like you don't what? get men. Wait, wait, I, I mean, I, men. I must not. I think you guys are. Wait, really you don't, no, no, you no, must no, have no, some no, serious wait, trust wait, issues because I think you, you guys are painting a really weird, no. a bizarre picture that I'm not getting. Wait, you you don't get it. You don't understand men because we are plagued with our desire to get sex. Like, we wake up, we're like, time to get sex. And yet you guys are the prize-minded men. And yet you guys are the prize when, you, like, wait, wait. like you, listen, all you want to do is fuck. Listen, <laughs> like, no, men are the prize. I mean, less, and you were saying earlier, you were like, oh, I trust the enemy of men at the end of the day. You don't get it. Y'all are the prize. Hold on, hold on. You don't get it. Hold on. What was the example I just gave you guys literally, what, like maybe 45 minutes an hour ago, where you have the trust one baby, and then you got the self-made millionaire. Self-made millionaire has more value and is the prize because he had to work for it. Women do not have to work for it. So men are the prize because it's much harder to be attractive as a man than it is as a woman. Every single one of you can walk into a club and get a guy to buy you drinks, have a guy take you on an expensive date, etc. I can't do that unless I become the guy that's willing to go on the expensive date. That's the difference. I'm not going to get a slingshot for free working at fucking Dairy Queen. They can, though, because women have inherent value. So if you're gonna sit there and say women are the prize, are you are you mad at women? Are you mad at women because it, unfortunately, and it's I'm gonna easy, it's, easier easier to, easier. it's easier no, to be a woman. Our life as man no. is awesome because no, no, no. we're fucking great. I'm not mad and at I will go. I will grant you that. I won't no, even. I won't even deny that. The thing is, you see, the, you see you're, here's the thing. I'm stating facts, and your response is to say that I'm mad by stating facts. Yeah. And life is easier for women. That's I'm just saying you guys seem incredibly bothered by the fact no, that not. life is easier for yes. women. Well, well, we can't well, control that. Okay, no, so not if easier. life is easier for you, well, then I need to is. put barriers and parameters to keep you from doing things that are going to fuck up the relationship because you have so many opportunities. You understand? I, I, get where you're coming I, I hear where you're coming so, from. So, look, women have a lot of power. And with great power comes great responsibility. A lot of the times that responsibility Spot, needs to come from a man. Because women, a lot of times when they have the power, do things that fuck themselves up long term. I have all the sexuality. I'm going to use it to my benefit. I'm going to be liberated. What do they do? 
fuck a bunch of dudes, date indiscriminately, do whatever the fuck they want to do, chase a career in education. Then they're 32, 33 years old later down the road and figure they're out. They're single. They're allowed to I'm do all those able, things. You know that. I'm not able <laughs> no. to command and get the guy that I no. wanted from the first place and get this guy to take me seriously. So what I'm saying is that as the man, it's your job to come in as the leader and guide the woman, right? To a fruitful relationship because the things that women come programmed with in modern day society a lot of times are not conducive to a good long-term relationship yeah. there's no reason for a woman to be at a club or a bar or any type of situation where there's the opposite gender there looking to fuck when she has a man at home that makes no sense to me why do you think there's all these like fucking fat women on there's all the commercials people. in america well, they, 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 like, that's, that's what they want you guys to so look, look, look. obviously you cannot say someone is mad at something when they state a fact yeah. If I say one plus one is two, does that mean that I'm mad that one plus one equals two? What no, I was saying was that I, cause I can go out and I am not, ch- I'm not having, I'm not getting chased by dicks left and right. Like, oh, I don't yeah. know what so you what, think this so, is. You get chased by dicks left and right by so, going to the grocery I, store. I, I'm, really the not, I'm really not, I'm really not, I don't know what you think this is. Like, you don't have to go to a club. There's, there's, there's people. And I have the capability to fence So, five years, and you're not engaged to a man? And I, so and that's why my choice. No, yeah. so it is. That's by my choice. He no. gave me the ring, and you said no. You're no, like, no, we nah, talked. Nah, we nah, talked nah, about nah, it, nah. and I always so, said that I would be with somebody so, for at least eight years before yourself, I got uh, engaged. Ask yourself why the fuck your man didn't bend down on one knee to actually want to marry He wanted to, and I told him not to. <laughs> yo, you know what's scary? You emasculated yo, yo, that yo, man. You know what's scary? Her man's following her program. That's oh, up. see, so he, he already lost. So he you already are, lost, bro. What's so, a man? That... And then, and then, you know, what's funny about this, right? This whole topic right now, if the man is of, of high value to that woman, whatever, maybe an option where, like, for example, she may ca- get caught up or like lose him, she won't even do it, bro. Facts. So this this whole, whole conversation, conversation is mute, bro, because at this point, if the man's of value, she won't do this, this dumb shit. Yeah, she, she won't do it. Well, it proves my point before. He's scared to lose you, which is why he can't put boundaries on because exactly. he already tried to propose to you, and you told him it's on my timeline. Yeah. Which already already tells mm-hmm. me that you have the leverage in the relationship. You he values you more than you value him, which is why he's in a predicament now where he has to concede and let you go out when you want. But like I said before, by uh, your own admission, mm-mm, am I locked mm-mm, him up in a room and I say, Hey, listen, bro, tell me the truth. Presumptive. Would you prefer mm-hmm. presumptive and incorrect? Yes. It's not presumption because you, uh, you No, it is. Like, they are this, this is all incorrect. Incorrect. These, these are incorrect, incorrect observations. observations. Other. These aren't these aren't true statements. <laughs> he tried to marry you. It's you a lot deeper than that. Life. You know what I mean? It's not so cut and dry. Yeah. Bro, he's trying to give you his ultimate power, which is nice. commitment, and you refused it. That tells me quite effectively. Yeah. That Bro, you it, takes a fuck, it takes nearly a decade to really know somebody. I'm exactly. just trying to not make nah, a mistake. That's now you're coping. Now you're coping. Like, like, uh, get away. How old are you? I'm trying to not make a mistake. As someone who was in a relationship no. with someone for eight years and didn't find out who they really were for eight years, it does take a long time to get Were you the one that gave her that advice? So wait. Eight years. No, man. I came with that advice before she even knew me. Wait, wait, okay. My mom told me that shit. How, how old are you? 26. And shit? how old have you been dating this guy? Five years. And so, like, what are you putting off? Like, when you're gonna be younger and hotter? Like, what? Like, what are we? No, like, no, off no. I, I genuinely believe that you need to see somebody in every single state, every single emotion, every single state. When they're broke, when they're sick, when they're depressed, when they're you fucking, sound like you're traumatized. No. You sound like you're trying to like fucking. No, I'm, trying, I'm trying to only be married once. I'm no. only trying to be married once. That's what I'm trying to do. Fair play, but at the same time, it sounds like you're leading the relationship. She 100% wears a pants in relationship. Right, that's 100%. the biggest commitment you can 100%. make to somebody, 100%. and you want to be damn 100,000% sure before you make it. It's too many people get Wait, married within no, no, a no, year or two knowing each other and divorcing a year later. I agree. Oh gosh, Listen, I, I totally understand Listen, from your perspective like that you do not. I think we do need to give her some merit because she doesn't want to get in a divorce. But at the same time, your man is a gigantic pussy for letting yeah. you like lead the fucking <laughs> way. I would like, say he, respectful. He, if, if, like listen. my girl would never. First of all, my girl would never be on the Fresh and Fit podcast. Oh, ever. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and neither would yours, Myron. And neither would yours. She wouldn't be out here talking some shit without no, you. Like, wait, 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 bitch. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Where you, where you out there? I, I, I actually agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Let alone no. she going to be out there running around talking some shit about me. If anything, oh, no, no, I'm going to talk shit about her. What should, should I talk about him? I've done nothing. Say good things you about have him. just humiliated yeah, your man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. To, to your standards, yeah. maybe. No, 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 no. To your look, standards, look, maybe. No, I don't know if you understand the chat. this. Ask I don't know if you understand this, but you you hold the leverage in the relationship. You dictate the terms of the relationship, and you're in the leadership role of the relationship. Then why is, is he fine. also why, why is he also why is he also role. able to call the shots? And I respect the show that too. It's a give and take. No, it's no, a balance. No, 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 it's a balance. It's a give and take. It's a partnership. What shots is he calling? What shots is he calling? 
food? He that man can tell me to stay in the house any night of the week and I will respect it. Okay. How many fucking times have I called you and been like, yo, come pick Bruh. me up and let's get fucked up? And he's like, uh-uh. He's like, no fucking way. And you're like, okay, bye. Christy. And I'm like, never mind, Christy, don't come and get me, girl, because my man wants me to stay in. Okay. It's it's a give and take. I look, we respect look, the shit out of each other. You can fool your I'll friend. Give it to her. We respect well, the fuck out of each other. When I see a girl I'll give it to speak you. about Thank her you. man in a certain way, and I know certain things. A woman is a spinning image of her man and his masculinity. The fact that you are willing to take a bet and say, I'm not ready to commit right now, that tells me that you know in the back of your mind. We are now, committed. We are absolutely have committed. You have him wrapped around your finger, which is why you can play this game and say, I'm not ready yet. He's giving you his biggest power, commitment in a marriage, and you're saying, I'm not ready now. The reason why is because you don't know if he is worth it. That's the reality. That's why you're saying, oh, I need to know this, this, this translation. He's not the guy, right, that I would ideally want. So let me see if he could qualify to me for a longer period of time until I'm satisfied. Versus if you had the right guy, you wouldn't be waiting around because you don't know if you'd stick around. That's the truth. And every girl here knows that. No. But you're just lying to yourself. That's I'm why not, you're saying No, this. Uh, there's a lot of there's That's a lot fine. of dudes that get married and have a baby and then leave. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of dudes that get married and cheat. I'm not trying to be one of Women these bitches that are left oh, behind. Oh, 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 you guys Women initiate too much an value. overwhelming amount of the breakups and the divorces. You can see here at the table, you even yourself, you've been broken up three times, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. But you've still broken up with guys far more than they've broken up with you. No. So women are the ones that we leave a relationship. Is it, is it okay to take you know marriage seriously? Yeah. Is it okay with everybody yeah. if you take marriage seriously? You know, like, you're taking it seriously with a guy that you don't like that much. Yo, you know, hey, that's the truth. You know, Can I ask you a question? Yeah, I love yeah, that. Right? Yeah. So three times, guys left her. No offense to you, but that's a red flag. And then thirdly, this guy that you're talking to right now, like you said earlier, if he was the man that you actually wanted to be with, you wouldn't even wait for it. You wouldn't make him wait. No way at all. It, it wouldn't be, it'd be, it'd be I question. think it's silly to get married too soon. I do. Myron, can I try this? Yeah. Sorry. Don't don't be mad at me, Mark. Um, <laughs> no, I want to know about you in regards to this guy, right? So you're. It seems that you're leading everything. Leading? It, it, yeah, it seems like you're the one leading and pacing everything, right? So you do have to understand that the highest value action a man can do to a woman is say like, "Hey, you know, will you be my wife?" I think that would be like the highest. We, we, we agree or disagree on that. Mm -hmm. I think marriage when done right is a yeah. fucking beautiful thing. Like, so I, I agree. Okay. So yeah. like, do you think the highest value action a man can do is like, will you be my wife? China? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Star Wars? Yeah. Yeah. Serbia? Yeah. Dog girl? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you? Will a guy, a guy <laughs> asking a woman to marry is like the highest value oh, thing yeah, you can do? Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Getting, you? Like, yes. Yeah. Seen a lot? Yes. Okay. Pearl? <laughs> um, <laughs> sure. 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 Sarah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if you're like, so you want to marry me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, you got, you got gigantic pussy. <laughs> How is that supposed to make I think, the guy I feel? Know, honestly, I think it means even more if they respect the fact that you really want to wait to make sure that you two are really genuinely going to get through this crazy thing called uh, life. All right, let's, let's, let's ask the you most guys, important I mean, question. Shit, we're not going anywhere. What's let, the rush? Because you're right? getting older. <laughs> let, let, let me ask you a question. Seriously, though. Who hurt you? <laughs> who, no, the real question is who didn't. <laughs> I think okay. that list is longer than guys who didn't right. hurt you. No, no. So who made you like this? Like, why are you so like you combative, defensive? Like, oh, I gotta fucking, I gotta cross every T, dot every I. Why are you like that? Oh, I seen that guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, uh, mom. <laughs> I'll just say mom. Or one of the three times she got broken up with. I mean, again. Yeah, that totally fucked me up, man. I mean, oh my god, man. Men don't typically break up with women. So if a girl gets broken up with by a man, she three times. Oh, I was a something. fucking. Yeah. I'll get. I'll grant you. I was a fucking disaster. Yeah, I was sure. a fucking disaster. Oh, there we go. We know. Three times, bro. Yeah. Come on, yeah, man. man. I was young. I was a fucking nightmare. Okay. And I can. I can admit that. Okay. So. Right. So then that. It doesn't refute what I said, that you did some shit that was probably fucked up, which is why they broke up with you. So Please, I was the least in my fucking drama. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, either way, the point I'm trying to make here, it's very simple. You run that relationship, and that's fine. 
but when a woman runs a relationship, she typically runs it into the ground. That's what I figured out. I I I respect uh, your opinion on that for sure, but I know that that's not going to happen. Let me let me just. I, I'm trying to like it's put not myself the case in the, with your relationship. I'm trying to put it's myself the same, in. But, you know. I, 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 women are not capable leaders in a relationship with a man. It never works. I mean, speak for yourself. She, she's you know? not. No, no. She's not. I'm never in a leader. leader. I don't. I don't really say that there is a leader. Is she the answer? I mean. Oh yeah, for sure. But, but I'm saying as someone who's on the outside of their relationship, I know that he's the leader. But you gotta admit though, yeah. the main foundation no, of being married to uh, your partner <laughs> if he can't even control that where's the control I mean, oh, he can I, honestly he controls pretty much everything no, but no, he has a lot of respect that's the for her though. that's the foundation why it, does it all come down to his uh desire to propose i mean when you really think about it marriage is like a uh, contract on paper that's we already have that we already have you declined it which effectively means you i did have not decline anything i did not decline anything would you say I, like can we just postpone this honey <laughs> <laughs> Sure conversation, yeah. and You're we like, were oh, like, "Hey, you know what? What's the rush? If we're going to be together forever, that's there's rejection. no rush. That's we're rejection. already committed. That's we don't need a piece of paper to tell us we're committed. No, you don't." Because no, you're still holding don't. out for something better. Because let me tell you something. When he's a girl... in a rush, man. He's divorced. He's not trying to. He's he, he doesn't. He, he's not trying to rush back into that shit. Perfect. We okay. are both That's on the same page. Reason. I, I mentioned that. Well, let me patient. let me let me just tell you about when you're dating a woman who's like head over here, head over heels, in love with you. She's just waiting for you to be like, hey, like. And that was me for probably the first. Uh, Two years, just on cloud nine. On cloud nine. I would even say even the past year. Yeah, even the past been. year, I've been, I've been on my tippy toes. Go ahead and cut me off. Fuck me. Fuck my name. I recognize that it's deeper than that. I recognize it's a lot deeper than that. I don't want to be divorced. And now she's switching it up after five. Like, nah, son, son's off. No, bro. I recognize. I was a kid. I was a fucking 21-year-old kid at the time. Now I recognize it's a lot deeper than that. Forever is a long time. You really want to... <laughs> make sure they're making the right choice. And I don't okay. think there's anything wrong with that. He made the wrong choice, the first we, choice, I very first we, time around. We gave you enough of the uh, knowledge. Yeah, here, yeah, I, think. I know. Up, up to, uh, at this point, well, you got to cut what this do. dude off. But, She's like, nah, you fucking homo. Like, I don't want to fucking marry you. <laughs> like, why? Why else would you be like? Hmm. No, they, I want to wait until next year when I'm older and my eggs are more fucking dry <laughs> and I have like more bullshit to deal with. Like, why would you delay? Starting a family with the guy. We're not so, having kids anyway. That's so besides the point. Yes. Well, how about no. this? What if your guy not decided, mine. I don't want to have sex with you anymore? How would that make you feel? Uh, our relationship would be over because we're both like nymphomaniacs. Oh. Uh, so, so you're nymphomaniac that goes to the club. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, hold on, let me let me understand this right. So, when you right can't give your most prized commodity your sexuality, it's the end of the relationship. But if he tries to give you his most prized committed uh, com com prize commitment, commodity. you think, oh, he should stay with me anyway. All right, first of all, we already See, have we already have like commitment. His most prized commodity is not marriage, so that becomes that true. is a man's ultimate. What's his commitment? You're not right? a, yeah. a divorced like, man. You're... That's not a most <laughs> no, 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 divorced no, no. man. Do Look, not want to bro, commitment. Commitment ladies, is just ladies, ladies, ladies. Let me let me. Am I really about to just define commitment? No, yes, no, because <laughs> yes. let me make this very simple. Men want sex. Women want commitment. Okay, marriage is the highest form of commitment. Okay, the guy, right? You you are the gatekeeper of sex. He is a gatekeeper of a relationship slash marriage. You just effectively said now, if he said, I don't want to have sex anymore, you would leave him. So your ultimate prize, he no longer wants it. You're like, ah, oh, I'm not useful anymore. Bro, if he says he doesn't want sex anymore, anymore, he's leaving no. me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, every man mostly wants If he wants says he doesn't sex. want to have sex anymore, we have a serious problem. Yeah, it's sex not is about a, me. He's leaving me. Look, look, look. Do, you not, do you not see where I'm going here with this analogy? No, I don't, actually. Because you're not fucking listening. That's the problem. What I'm saying is that, and I need you guys to pay attention to this, okay? Men control relationships. Women control sex. I asked you, if he said, I don't want to have sex with you anymore, would you be with him? You said no. So your main commodity, if you're not giving it, you're breaking up the relationship. Rightfully so. Fantastic. But why is it that he gives you his ultimate commodity, what? A relationship, a marriage. You're like, nah, I don't want it. But he stays there. But Sounds I want to know why, why, Something's why, off. but I, I want to know, like, why do you presume? Cause I understand what you said about me, uh, about no, no sex, no relationship, hundred yeah. percent. That's, that's a You're very evil. important part of a relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But why do you presume that his biggest commodity is marriage? Because that is a man's ultimate commodity. Not, every, not, not everyone every is obsessed man. with marriage. Not every man. No, but the I'm majority of people that are obsessed with marriage. The majority of people that are fucking obsessed with marriage. 
it's women. Mm-hmm. Let's just let's just let's, let's put that nail. We both happen to be women that and I happen to think that there is kids. a lot more to the life than to this man. About. Like the ultimate confession of love. Like baby, I want to fucking be look, with look, you. Look, you. You gotta. I don't know if you live in reality or on planet Earth, but the reality is when it. I don't know. I take child, a lot of mushrooms, so that's a good question. A, okay, well, let me let me bring you back to reality here. When a girl is a little girl, she dreams of walking down an aisle in a white dress. I did not. That as is so how, deeply ingrained in our society. Stop interrupting. Can you stop interrupting? Just because you guys don't believe it doesn't mean that is it isn't going on in society. Women in general dream of the day that they walk down the aisle in a white dress with their father and a man waiting at the end that's going to love them for the rest of their life. Men, on the other hand, they dream of Playboy, whacking off, looking at porn, okay? No guy dreams of, I can't wait until I put on this fucking tux and walk down the aisle and get married. So a man, the reason why is because men want sex, women want commitment. That's what we dream of. So for you to say, oh, that's not true. It is true. Well, in I mean, general. no, you're, ta- definitely, general, you're definitely talking about societal norms. You're yes. talking about societal norms. Yes. Yes. Can you agree that not everybody fits inside those norms? Well, let's just talk about not society. every little girl wait, wait, dreams of a big white wedding. I didn't. I certainly don't. Ladies, you didn't dream of a big white wedding. No. No. So why would have you married him in two years in? What? Why? What'd you you say? didn't see what I said. He said, 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 said why would you married him two years in? Yeah. You would marry him. The societal norm right now is the seventy-eight percent divorce rate. Exactly. Dude, so why that, even get married if I'm you're going to get divorced that in four the or five divorce years? Rate and they're going to so leave you with two kids. Why not just enjoy your time together, build what you have, and then when the relationship's up, because men ultimately want something newer and fresher and younger, no. why even commit mm-hmm. to get divorced to do it again with multiple people? No, no listen, honestly, listen, I'll actually, I'll building tell you, on. Stop, stop, stop. Sorry. Just listen. Okay, guys don't want something newer and fresher and younger. They like do. maybe you got left for something that was newer, fresher, and younger. I've never been left. Okay, well, great. You're the alpha female. Okay, but what I'm trying to tell you is that when a woman chick checks every fucking box, the guy will do whatever it takes to keep that woman around. Mm-hmm. So you say you're saying that men don't want f- fresher and newer, but then you're talking about how men are chasing after the Young youngest girls. ones. They take the young. <laughs> how do I know? So, my stop, stop, in two stop, years. stop! 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 So I'm gonna I'm gonna add some clarity <laughs> to your female delusion. Okay. Hold it so, whatever you want. Be quiet. Okay. <laughs> when a guy is looking at a potential sample size of women that can come into his kingdom and help him build. He's like, all right, all the old bitches go to the back and all the fucking young bitches come to the front. And they want to deal with the young candidates exactly. because biologically yeah. speaking, we don't want fucking retarded babies. Like that, if you just really want to TLDR it, that's the bottom line. We want a young girl who's going to be fucking down for our system, who's like, like, well, I dated this NBA player and he wasn't fucking, you know, invested in real estate like you. It's like, okay, great. That guy left you. So I like, do you want to go chase that guy or do you want to fucking build with me or do you want to be insufferable and on your own on the side? And that's the biggest thing. So with you girls, you have to understand the reason we want young girls is because it's just less of a fucking headache, less of like, wow, well, well, my ex did this. Cause really the reality is older women, they typically bring a lot of trauma to the relationship. Can we, I is what it is. You know what else yes. is less of a headache? Hold on, let Miss 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 go speak first and then we'll uh, go you and then we'll go you. I don't know it's cultural, but for me, my perspective, like you're living with your mom, your boyfriend, your man, and it's not nothing personal, it's in general. And you think a paper is gonna change everything i don't think so it that is real love. doesn't change a damn for thing me it's because you say like i don't want a marriage because for me it's different you know like i'm from mexico i was born and raised there so i don't know i never stay in my boy's house or like like stuff like that so for me it was like my dream you know marriage like a family have kids together goals life perspective change but i don't see how people say like i don't want a marriage because the paper but you are yeah. i really have like a dynamic as a wife husband yep. mother same house how do you think the paper is going to change right. the paper, the paper changes. and they nothing. engage like be engaged it, it I changes for the women it right. changes for the women they're like uh, okay i gotta leg up on this on fucking paper dude now for the government but if you're already in a committed relationship and living together getting married and signing that paper doesn't change anything. You are already basically doing. You're doing the same thing. Like it's maybe just it that now you have rings and you have a piece of paper. In my in my, in my life and my culture, I mean, call me old fashioned, call me old people. 
I couldn't leave my mom's house if it wasn't matters. Oh, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Yes. and my I couldn't come to the states if I wasn't like call it ring, call it paper. I couldn't do a life with a man if it was like mm -hmm. I came from right, a different yeah. world. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you make more money than your guy, by the way, or do you guys make equal? No, he makes us? more. He makes way more. Way more. How much more? Way more? Give give some numbers here. Probably three or four times as much as me. Above five hundred k. No. How much fucking womp, money womp, do you think womp, I womp, make, man? Womp. Let's go into a dream world, okay? <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Let's imagine that you're on a battlefield. Guns going off. Fucking crazy shit, right? You're a soldier. <laughs> Your lieutenant tells you, yo, man, fuck, I don't know what's going on. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What, get, what do you think we should do? Give me some advice. How are you going to respond to that? Your captain, your boss, tells you. Yeah. He doesn't know what to do. He's you're, scared. You're in the middle of a gunfight. Uh -huh. You're in the military. I know this is hard mm -hmm. for you to understand because you're a woman. Once again, it proves my point that women can't understand male problems. Misogyny. But let's assume that you're in a soldier. <laughs> right. yeah, let's assume There's you're a soldier, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, my right? point. Yeah, but hold on. I, this is, I'm going somewhere with this. Okay. Let's assume you're in a firefight. You're in a war zone. The lieutenant, your boss, I know exactly is, this is asking going. you. Boss. Yeah, uh -huh. he's asking you, what should I do? I need advice. I don't know what's going on here. How are you going to respect that lieutenant? When he tells you to do something down the road. El jefe. El jefe. So, yeah. Are you going to respect him? Yes or no? Yes, I would respect him. Stop the just... cap. But when the, gun, when the gunfire was going off and he didn't know what to do, he came to you and asked you for advice. So now things are safe now. He's telling you, okay, I need you to do this, do that. Are you going to still have respect for that guy? Yeah. Okay. Why the fuck anyway, let me tell you why. All right. Why you want... Okay, look. The reality is she's saying that because she doesn't want to be wrong right now because she can see that we'll see the no. L. The reason, the thing is, you're not going to respect them because when times were dark, you didn't have a leader. You had to step up and be the leader. So when times are safe, you're not going to respect his opinion anymore because he wasn't able so to lead you. So you're saying in the in relationship, you're the leader. Yes, men are supposed what? to lead. Wait, hold on, hold on, wait. Let me ask you a question. Do you want a man that makes more money than you? What? Do you want a man that makes more money than you? <laughs> no. You quite literally said earlier six figures and taller than you. I didn't say six figures. Well, yeah, I say money, but it doesn't mean hold You're on. Stupid. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean that I want him to make more money than me. Okay. I want someone ambitious who can be by my side, of you course. know, stupid. doing stuff. Of course, it ambitious. Mean, okay. Yeah. Ambitious. Do you want a guy that's taller than you? Huh? Do you want a man that's taller than you? Tall. Taller than you. Yeah. Do you stupid. want a guy stronger than you? Yeah. Do you want a guy that makes more money than you at, uh, or at least equal? Yeah. Okay. Equal. Do you want a guy that can make decisions? Yeah. Sounds to me like you want a leader. Huh? Uh, I can make my own money, make my, take my own decisions. Doesn't mean that I want a leader. Okay. Everything you described, I, the guy, hold on, hold on, I whoa, want, whoa, 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 whoa. I want someone to lead me. I want someone that's a leader by partner. my side, a partner. Right. Like, so if he's a leader, we're the followers? Is that what you say? No, no. That's really. how the world works. There has to be, yo, yo, yo. I don't know if you guys live in another, is the wrong another world or whatever. I literally just had this conversation like, with my boyfriend. Yo, I don't know. Well, I thought y'all were married. Anyway. Uh, I never said that. <laughs> you assumed that. I never said yeah. that. Ten... I've been with him 10 years. Okay. Yeah, yeah, she never been really. Okay. So what I'm saying is that women want a leader. You guys can say whatever you want to say. I want an equal partner, whatever. Women want a leader. They want a guy that's going to make more money than them, taller than them, stronger than them, concise, decisive, etc. You don't want an equal. You want a man. A man is supposed to be a leader. Men are supposed to lead relationships. It's always been that way. I like a guy that can lead. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Someone's being honest. There, there's it's, times where I just want to kind of lean back and, yes. and kind of feel like a woman because yeah. femininity yeah, right. cannot that's exist that's that's femininity true. cannot exist in <laughs> chaos and the only way for chaos to be dismantled is for no. strong leadership to be there but that you have a man that can lead doesn't mean that he's gonna lead the relationship correct like, himself Girl, well, if you have like, a manly man if you have like a manly man and as your man yep no, no, you're everybody, feel, I, I think most women like should a want woman. a man that can lead, right? You're but that doesn't like mean woman. I'm the follower. I want a leader. <laughs> no, I'm not a leader. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you not sound, do you not realize what you just said? <laughs> Maybe I, I, I want a man realize. that can lead, but I'm not going to follow? But I'm not a follower. No, 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 yeah. I'm not a follower. But you don't want a leader. But you just, but no, hold on. You I don't want have... a man that can lead, but... Let's not rephrase to me as the follower because I'm not a follower. Exactly. That's my it's point. the terminology. That's no, 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 no. This is what I'm saying when women don't make sense. For a leader to exist, he must by default have a follower. Okay. Those are the our children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. See, see, 
Yeah. 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 I, I'm gonna be honest with you. You are that, funny. That mindset right there is why you're single. Yes. This, is, this is a lot to talk to. Like, yo, I need the ladies. I need the ladies to understand that a masculine man is not gonna sit here and play these dumbass games that you guys are trying to say. Girl, men that are masculine, this is how it is. Take it or fucking leave it. I didn't become oh. successful, make this money, go to the gym, etc., to sit here and debate with you. It's my way or the fucking highway. And women <laughs> respect that, admire that, and typically want to follow that guy because women know deep down, y'all can't even pick what you want to eat for lunch. You want a man who's going to tell you how it is. Yep. That's what it is. What is this? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, like, so it's like a new dad? It's like a daddy? Sorry. Yeah. It's not about that. It's about I women. Mean, I, I mean, women? I have my sugar daddies for okay, that. Okay, look, that's fantastic. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is if I lined up 100 women, 95 of them are going to want a man who is masculine, dominant, assertive, doesn't take bullshit, and can lead them. You're right. Okay. Yeah. So if 95 of those women want that, I'm describing that. And that guy, to be a leader, has to have certain prerequisites, has to have certain qualities. A lot of them is being stoic, not being a pussy, etc. So you guys could sit here and say, I want an equal partner, whatever. But when I ask you, describe that dream man, he's a superior. You expect a superior to come in and make it a partnership with you? No. <laughs> There's a leader and a follower. That's how it goes. That's right. It, it, the, the problem is that the reality is, is that us women, we have to find the man that is the leader. And then we have to let them think that they're the ones still in command, doing everything and whatever. And we just kind of fall back. That's kind of what we do. We make men think that they're the ones leading so that they can feel good and we can have a good relationship. I think really that's usually how it works. So why are you really, single? But okay. you, know? you are definitely funny. You, you were right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> I just find it funny how like you guys say you want this guy to have all these traits and then you expect him to come in and not be a leader when you, how do you expect a guy to become successful, have money, be in shape, etc., have all these traits, then come in, deal with you and say, okay, you know what? Let's be equal partners. No, he got there by not being equal to everyone else. He got there by being better than everyone else, which is why he's where he's at right now. Like, you guys don't understand that one plus one is two, not three. This but, is how the world works. But I'm not contradicting works. that part. Men lead, right about that. women follow. If you want a leader, by default, that means you are following him. Okay. Like, what? Or we make if it look that way, leader. like I said. But that's what I'm saying. That's what women want as a leader. Right. Not a dictator. You can be a leader right. and <laughs> be a gentleman at the same right. time. Right, because look, when, when you... When Where did you, I say don't you, be a gentleman? No, no, I'm not saying that. Yeah. I'm saying you can... Because she said something about like us following um kind of like an it it's it sounded have you ever had a dream that no the thing is, is that you, you guys don't like how i phrase it that the no. woman, men lead women follow y'all don't like that but that is the truth of how relationships work in in a healthy relationship the man leads the woman follows but you guys don't like that because for some odd reason submission following is deemed as oh i'm a subordinate i'm less than the man no that's how the world works the it's, woman is supposed to follow her man it's the wording behind it's it. the wording I was yeah. just right, the right. that's it's why the, that's the why wording. i fixed it afterwards and i said no there is no fixing it we is. are follower well, mm. right we are that is what we Period. do they lead we follow but we act like we're following in order to make them still feel like that leader because usually in a lot of relationships when you live together when you're in a household usually the woman is the one taking care of all the bills <laughs> Um, she's the one, like all that part, like the guy goes out and works, right? But nowadays women do it too, equally, you mm -hmm. know? But anyhow, when we come home, the one taking care of all the bills and everything that's being paid for, usually is us doing that, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, or or well, is y'all. I, 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 yeah. I think you're putting it on yourself. We're talking about in general here. Ultimately though, what works? The man is at a household. He says, yo, I'm going to go out there and work, bring money to the family. Unless have you nurtured a home, take care of the home, right? No, that's what it should work. No, it's that, always that, been no, like that's, that. that's the it's only way it works. I'm writing like a whole that. book on this. Yeah. When women have, you know, make their own money, when they're college educated, etc., it drastically increases the divorce rates. Women want a leader mm -hmm. overwhelmingly, and the and the, this equality, this partnership that y'all are talking about, it doesn't work. Yeah. Relationships have been at the worst position that they've ever been right now as women have become more liberated made more money feminism etc they've been less and less happy relationships have went down the toilet <laughs> marriages have been high and yo uh, sorry <laughs> divorce has been high and it just doesn't work uh, <laughs> yeah book coming out very soon why women deserve less i break this all down in detail oh with studies God. but i think i think ultimately right the, the problem yo, is send like, me a sign copy Martin. <laughs> I, I think women find a guy right that's not a leader and they make him leader and then they get let down and as a result they think oh well you know what next guy i meet i'm gonna lead this shit and it doesn't work out either way. However, a man that's actually a real man in terms of, for example, he's doing what he needs to do. He's successful. He's leading the right way. If you don't let him lead, he's going to leave you. And he won't tell you why. He's, you know what? You, you know what? I'm going to give it to you. You're absolutely right. I'm he out. said it. That's why I'm single. 
because when a woman makes money and I mean, she can carry her own weight and she could do what it is for herself, yeah. then um, men get scared and no, they're no, like, you know, no, they're like, no. I can't handle that. I get, I get you're saying intimidated and scared. But, like but, I can't handle her. But, but the problem is, you won't let the man lead you. That's a problem. No, so, no, no. Hold on. Let me ask a better question. No. Why should he handle you? Because I'm worthy of it. Really? Of course. Okay, goddess. Hold on. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Why should he handle you at 38 with two children when he can go ahead and deal with someone who's 18, no children, doesn't have to handle her? It's acceptable for a woman to have a higher sexual partner count than her man for marriage. We can start here and then work our way. Uh, no. <laughs> Why not, you sexist? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a woman, it's... I don't know, like, well, I'm speaking of myself. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't, I'm not, like, I always been the type of girl who's been in long relationships. Okay. So my body count is very low. Uh, I just, I wouldn't be able to be intimate with someone. Like, I just, I don't know. Like, I just, I don't know. Like, who the hell wants to drive for, like, 1980? 1988 beat up Honda Civic with high mileage. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Beat up Honda Civic. Okay. And then, thanks. you know, your body is like a temple, you know? Like, it's just, I don't know. All right. I don't, uh, <laughs> do you think it's uh, acceptable for a woman to have a higher body count than her man in a marriage? Um, I would say no. Uh, it's Why not, 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 uh, because I, I, when it comes to marriage, I think that men are the one that choose their wives. It's kind of like not the other way around. Like we don't go find our husband; they they find us. Mm -hmm. So um, I think a guy would prefer. Actually, I'm pretty sure for the most part, nine times out of ten, a guy would prefer a girl with less mileage. Uh, just so you know what I'm saying. It's it's very uh, like a girl with high mileage. I, I would I would say it's very hard to get them to be a normal. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. when you live that lifestyle where you're you have sex with 500 dudes, you're not going to be the same as a normal girl that's probably, you know, might have been with one guy. You get me what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just a different lifestyle, a different vibe. You get me? The vibe changes after that many. All right. You're, you're a bigot. bigot. Mm -hmm. You're a bigot. <laughs> All right. You uh, think so? Yeah, you're a bigot. All right, what about you? What do you what do you think? Um, can you repeat the question? Uh, the question is, so. yeah, gotcha. do you think Stupid. it's acceptable for a woman to have a higher body count than her husband? Uh, no. Because no? I feel Why like not? when you're, like, I guess when you're married to someone, especially, like, uh, being a wife, you have a responsibility. And I feel like you want to, like, make your husband proud and kind of be his kind of, like, you know, like, you don't want your husband to be, like, ashamed of you and, like, okay, there's someone, a guy that pops up. And he slept with you, and now mm -hmm. you're his wife, and it's just, you want to kind of, like, okay. support and keep yourself. What about you? What do you think? I don't think it's acceptable for a woman to have a higher body count than her man. Because okay. a man is supposed to have experience and know how, his way around a woman's body. And a woman doesn't necessarily have to know everything about what a man likes sexually. And also because when it comes to being a mother, you want to be a role model for your kids. All right. Cool. What about you? What do you think? Um, I think it's not acceptable, no. Damn, you guys are a bunch of bigots, man. <laughs> Where were y'all on the last panel? <laughs> Literally. All right, so why why no? I just think it's kind of trashy to be sleeping around, and it's then trashy. if you're... God damn. Well, I'm, I'm being honest, and if you're... It's fucked up. Boyfriend, well, is it though? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because if you're with a man, and, he, and this is exactly what she said, and if you realize, oh this many men have been in you, like entering you, mm. penetrating you, I think it's a very different scenario. Whereas if a guy has slept with many women, you would never, as I, okay, my personal opinion, if you meet a guy and he says he's a virgin, would you still sleep with him? No. Yeah, it's kind of tough. Right? Ladies, would you sleep with a guy if you said he was a virgin? Yes. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Really? You would? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Guys, I've, I've dated virgins. Just dated. <laughs> just dated. Them. Wait, where are they? Virginity? Where are they no. now? What? So she didn't fuck him then. <laughs> <laughs> she dated one and she didn't take his virginity. So no, tells you. I'm very respectful. That's the cap. No. All right, well. That's good. If you like didn't want to, you didn't want to smash. <laughs> My point proven. No, no. I mean, maybe he wanted to, but we. But we you didn't want to. Yeah, you want to. No, I just I liked our relationship. I liked how like yeah, delicate yeah, it yeah. was. So oh, good boy, good platonic. boy. <laughs> platonic only. Stay in the house. Makes a lot of sense. Good boy. You do a fantastic uh, job of not making sense. But, uh, <laughs> all right, uh, so you were saying? Well, she just proved my point. Yeah. You wouldn't sleep with a man that is a virgin because if he can't find the G-spot after 10 women, what makes you think he's going to find one after none? 
Okay, there you go. Okay. Fantastic. Well said. Uh, what about you? Uh, do you think a uh, woman having more bodies than her husband is good or bad? I mean, I think it's bad. Um, I would say, like, in a perfect world, you know, you'd have the same body count or, like, none. That's impossible. I think mm -hmm. it just comes down to, you know, his perspective, your perspective. Again, it's all a perspective thing and, like, what you want out of the relationship and, like, what you're okay with. So why is it bad, though? To me, I mean, it's, like, a societal thing, and I just would prefer to have... A smaller number that way i don't feel like oh like i'm a slut you know and it really is a societal thing it like really is a second ago be true to yourself <laughs> yeah be true to yourself be true to yourself and, you know but like and be comfortable and if, if he's okay if for some reason you have a higher number then be that's true to yourself be true to yourself do what you want do what you want yeah maybe what? she wants to live life on the edge <laughs> yolo maybe but Why should she but yeah to i mean i would prefer standards? i would prefer to have a smaller number just to be honest but mm -hmm. i think yeah if, i mean if he's okay with you having a higher number that's that's a you thing that's a couple decision interesting mm -hmm. all right what about you do you think uh wife should have a higher body count than her husband no i don't i feel as though the wife is basically a prize you're like a package for your husband, how do you like it if like your Amazon Prime package comes caved in? Okay. <laughs> That's a very good one. Um, way better than mine. Someone has been in this package before. <laughs> Yo, that was pretty good actually. That was actually like pretty that. funny. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, what about you, Ms. Venezuela? Do you think the wife should have more bodies than her husband? How you really know how much body counts do the other person have? Very good question. Behaviors. You can behaviors? tell the actions, though. Mm -hmm. Behaviors. But in general, what do you think? If if like the let's say changes. let's say your let's say your son was gonna <laughs> get with a woman and it, it, uh, the, you knew that her body count was pretty damn high, probably higher than his, because he was a good boy. What would you do? Would you be okay with that? He he was really a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> was he? Yes. He was a church guy. He, he wanted to you know live a good life. He wasn't you know running around banging a bunch of girls. But the girl that he gets with was a former. Stripper or dancer, or some Ooh, shit. all right. Um, I really think that, yeah, like I believe that women have to preserve themselves, okay. And um, it's not nice to, it's not nice to be fucking everyone around, mm -hmm. I believe, okay. So, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, damn, like, okay, they'll preserve themselves. All right, what about you, Miss CDC? <laughs> yes, besides I, diseases, <laughs> I agree with all the ladies, besides the disease, and. Yes. So why should women not uh, not have more bodies than her husband? Um, because I felt like you March. shouldn't. I kind of, I want to pick it back on what she said. I wouldn't want other people to be pointing at me. Mm -hmm. Let's say if we're in public, and I'm I'm a very private person. I can only speak for myself. We know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Question I, for you. Yes. How does someone adequately Avoid STDs. I know this is very I'm not sense. having so like, sex. Could you tell <laughs> 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 how did you adequately avoid STDs? Well, I would say be a monogamous. That's a good friend. Facts. Be monogamous, right? Yeah. Thank you. Facts. So one man. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. yes. Condom um, don't protect you 100%. Facts. Mm. Yeah. Only 99. And yeah. also, I know a lot of people not educated about PrEP. Yeah, but have. that also, well, that only protect you from getting HIV. HIV. Yeah. Which is, you know, that's something that they being, you know, they putting out now, like, we want a lot of people to get on PrEP and stuff. But because, you know, H there's no cure for HIV. Yeah, it's not. But you can also get other stuff like hepatitis, syphilis, herpes. So, question do you get blowjobs? <laughs> I'm curious. I mean, oh my gosh. That was about, <laughs> out of pocket. Like, really out of pocket. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, I have a question. By the way, blowjob. Let's say. That's a good question, though. Crazy. Yeah, I mean, come on. What? Like, you never give it like a random blowjob? So, that's a good question. There's no, a theory I need that to says, answer his question. Good, good. Facts. Yes. Hey, there you go. I know that was coming. Another thing is, there's a theory that says you can get STDs from blowjobs. You How can. true is that? You yeah. can, yes. Is, but is it common? 
Yeah, because it's <laughs> bodily fluid. So yeah, you can. Bodily fluid. <laughs> oh my god. Bodily fluid. Because I know some guys are like, you know what? See, I'm gonna smash. That's why you don't want to do this shit in my. You know the girl, yeah. but I'll get you a little job because it's safer. That's, yeah, right. that's what they say. No. No. I have a no. question. <laughs> yeah, but I want to answer his question. So being in the lab, like, you know, reviewing labs and, you know, you see people having leisures and... Okay, uh, all right, all right. So... <laughs> we done with that. We done that. <laughs> question. One more thing. Oh, man. Just think of yeah. I have a friend that works in labs, too. A friend. And he sees friend. people <clears throat> that actually have it outside doing things. Right. Have you ever seen that? Like they have like certain uncurable uncurable STDs and they're dating people like normal. Have you seen that? Yeah. That's I've crazy to me. Oh, and you got you got 